I wanna be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain. Assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, but this logic You can't stop it, it's been chronic Since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic Go! Oh. I'm to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to be you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past Move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas Don't no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off on a mindless topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep them out your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease
Coming through. Looking good. Looking good. Coming through. Coming through right here. Here we go. Break it up. Hey, kids, watch yourself. I got my eye on you and the Under Armour right here. Yep, I see you. What you got in your pockets? Anything? What you got in your pockets? Huh? Don't you lie to me.
I'm not gonna lie, I've got the lid closed because I tore this thing up. I've clogged her up, I was just trying to figure out why she wouldn't flush. I thought I'd bring y'all along and let you watch. Let's see. Uh, well, hell, there's a problem. No wonder she wasn't working. See what happens, you take that stuff off. Oh, it works fine now, you take that garbage off. Ma'am? You been drinking? No, sir. I can smell it, ma'am. No, I can sir. smell it. No, sir. You got license for adventure? Are you trying to run? No. Don't you run, ma'am. No, I will chase you. I'll be here. Go. Ma'am, you just keep on moving. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. She gone. Batter. Batter right there. Some better. What's up, track shot? I'm just hanging out in San Filippo. Let me say it. Look here, Ben. Here's this, here's this predicament. It's not looking good. Turn it around and show you. He's, he's got trouble. Doesn't look good. Shut it down. You got a permit? Where's your permit? You got a permit? No permit. No permit. Get some trailer. Get some trailer. You got no permit? No. Who made these parts? Is these cannonballs? Cannonballs. Looks like cannonballs. What's this right here, sir? Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down right now. What is these? Flames? Yeah. What's going on with that? What are you burning? You got a burn permit? Huh? You got a burn permit? No, no permit to sell, no burn permit. We're shutting it down. Clean these tables up, put them in the trail. All right, this is how we do it on track shot. Wholesale runs. We just keep pumping. We just keep feeding the beast. It's like Chuggy e. Cheese, but not really. Hey, cheers. Come on, buddy, let's go. You want my shirt on or off? On. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, I've been thank watching you. you for years. Thanks, buddy. It's great, man. It's awesome. You want one? Come here, kid. I'll get you one too. Here, you sit on Uncle Fatty's lap right here, buddy. Come on. Right here. Right here, Uncle Fatty. Sit right there, buddy. Right there, Uncle Fatty. Right there. Uncle Fatty. Get in there. Get in there. That's my tennis. That's my tennis. <laughs> We're all gonna die together out here. You're a good group of boys to die with, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you should have come. Sir, you can't park here. Oh, no, you can't park, park here. You don't know when you're parking here. You'd be parking here, whether this long beard tells me I can or not. <laughs> you didn't really focus on that thing, man.
back to our gonna fall off. We got this. What's going on, America? Your boy, Decker. I got something special for you. Where am I right now? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in the city of Pittsburgh, and I'm on a special location, Sours Art opening now really cool if you guys pan here all the art cars if you are friends with sour you get to have your cars painted we call them art cars so if you have a car that you want to paint you can be part of our most wanted car club which i'm part of now let's get rocking in here because i think this is really cool i know what you're saying decker what does this have to do with demolition derby right nothing nothing this is something that's close to sour and we wanted to bring it to you guys and maybe just to expand a little bit your brain a little bit so let's go in here let's look at some art that's all sour did it's some cool stuff in here so bill let's follow us in here we'll let sour rock with you guys now just like you guys are thinking i've never been to an art studio right i haven't either today's my first day i'm kind of loving it this is how easy it is all this stuff that you're gonna see sour made so let us find this old guy over here check this cool thing he made out folks right here 64 imperial girl so you know you know i like this one myself if i could afford this i would buy it 64 imperial girl cool take a look at all these cool things he painted all right sour here's our boy okay so sour's busy everybody right now I'm, yeah i'm sorry i caught him in the middle of it i'm sorry i'm gonna jam you up can you just go around real quick and show museum piece everything you have here because uh we're excited to be here right derby guys are coming there's a bunch of people coming so go ahead tell everybody what we got all right thanks josh uh so hey this one here was whenever we went to the plaza hotel in vegas do you remember going to vegas do you remember going to Vegas, Josh Decker? All right, so we got the Stern Dirt, we got the Plaza, we got some murals from the Plaza. So this one's sold, everything's going really well. This is what we're taking to Miami. This is our Art Basel piece. This is a 1964 uh, Chrysler Imperial that I got from Smith Metalworks. And then this is a 2009 Chrysler minivan that I got from Steven Sickles. So the Demolition Derby world really helps me out, so, along with my uncle, J&J &J Sauer. All these bumpers come from wrecked trucks in Texas. So uh, once I get the bumpers, I then take it to my good friend Andy Warhol's nephews, the Warhollas, and they own giant equipment and they run it over with their excavator at the scrapyard. You didn't know Andy Warhol's family was scrappers. He came from a scrap and so Sour family, Warhol family, Pittsburgh, we got it all together. We make the stuff that they scrap, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you some else. Check it out. Skin Dog. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of this. This is that car that I tagged in Seattle with the wagon on it, and uh, it just sold. How great is that? Uh-huh. 
Then this is Kelly O, sponsor of Demolition Derby. This was during the Iron City Nationals. This is an actual photograph. So she just got this painting too. So that's our man Shoke driving the car. That's our buddy Gerardo from Mexico. Got the car club here. Here's Breeze. There's Tommy. Yeah, and uh, Leech is over here in the corner. You guys, you feel good about this? You want to go to another room? Or you want to walk back here? Walk. Let's go in this room here. There's some more artwork there and giant sculptures. More of the car club. Yay. All right, so you're seeing a theme. It's called Peace After Destruction. So Demolition Derby, uh, I'm trying to make a metaphor for it. So these are peace doves, but as you know in Derby, you kind of find your peace when you're smashing your car. So the metaphor hopefully resonates well with our Demolition Derby community and anybody else who's ever been. So a little of this, as an artist, I have to talk about war-torn countries and that we're at war and like man's inhumanity of man is not uh, something that we can live with. And as an artist, we kind of have to talk about those things. So this is my way of talking about that and me attempting to solve the problem, even though I probably can't be solved with this one painting. But the idea on a micro level is that uh, maybe some peace after destruction and uh, perhaps we can move on from there. But I really like this stuff. The chrome is so you can see yourself in it. So while you're thinking about that, come on, let me show you a few other things. So over here, we've got some other metal and this is again, some wheat paste. So this is a nice barn. And uh, so this is an earth symbol. Uh, this is one of the first symbols that humans ever made. So I feel like farm is how you sustain life. And I have the earth symbol with the sustaining of life. So you're like, what are all these little squares? Well, my demolition derby nerd friends went to Kansas and they didn't go over there with a can of spray paint. So they spray painted squares on their tires. That way they would know that they're the squares out there on the track. So this is my little friendly reminder to my square friends that they're everywhere. Isn't that fun? That was in Kansas. I think Decker won that. Did you win that derby? Did you even place? Ha! <laughs> scene <laughs> all right america now you know you know us not only are we friends but we get to be friends with each other's family right now it's always the wives the sisters but today we got something special we got sours mom now we're, she doesn't know we're coming so let's see now sour i don't know if she's game planned or yet but ma'am hi how are you josh from track shot hi how are you my name is mary sour i am jason's mother what a privilege it is to be jason's mother yes oh yes exactly okay so tell us a little bit tell us some like secrets or some things that would make him embarrassed Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. No, okay, okay. No, 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 I'm not going to no. do that because Jason is a fine young man. He is, actually. We love him. Actually, he's great. Do you do you get to watch him when he goes across the country? Do you see that? He's like in Washington to California to Miami to New York. It's it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, I am. I'm very proud of Jason. He's yeah. done, he does fine. He does well. Yeah. He does, but he makes you work his apparel table, huh? Yes, he does, and I'm glad to do it. I'm glad to do it. Are you interested in anything? We have some <laughs> items here that you might be interested in. Perfect. Oh, see, she's doing a great job. That's why I see why Jason puts you in the spot. You're very good at it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've done it a few times. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. We're enjoying ourselves here. It's a pretty cool thing because, you know, for Derby Guys, uh, uh, art gallery is not something we're used to. So it's kind of cool that we're bringing different worlds together today, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is kind of an unusual combination it is but jason has put us kind of streamlined it for all of us right that's good i'm glad yeah. i'm glad put that art degree to work yes <laughs> absolutely well, okay america hey sour's mom i think is pretty cool maybe cooler than sour but don't tell them later america <laughs>
There we go. What is going on, America? Sunday, day three, dead man. I know you're sitting on your TV saying, when's this going to start, right? Because none of us knew, right? And they're starting off right now. You missed it. Anthony, management, was just yelling. Yelling. yelling all was, over yeah. the, yes, you were. Yelling. Yes, no. you were. He drew was the he line yelling? in the sand. Yes, they all voted yes. He drew the line in the um, sand. You are good saying. management. You are good management. I appreciate it. I just work hard, and I really love track shot, and I want everyone else to love track shot as much as I do and think about what's best for track shot. Yes, thank you. I, there you go. Thank you. All You're the time. You're an ambassador. You are. You are ambassador. great. I mean, I, you And just, I'll tell you what. Here's why. Because there's 500 people right there that want to be in this chair Yeah. right now. Or more. There's probably thousands or more that yeah. want to be right here I doing know. what we're I doing. I hope 500 I, was this, The chair today, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be one of the 500. Because they've had the water pumps on, pumping the water, because that's how much rain we've had. Oh, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. rained, and now all of a sudden it's 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 like there's a Calm. umbrella over top of the I'm dressed facility. for the occasion, though. Yes. Boys, Thank I'm you. ready. Yeah, Thank you. you. You're boots. back to Kentucky. Yeah. Back to it. Decker was happy to see me roll up in the overalls, and I was like, well, here's what's happening. I'm flying out of Pittsburgh, so we leave tonight. I'm going to Pittsburgh the airport with, uh, I think, <laughs> Kettlewood. Yep. David's going to give me a ride. Cool. Okay. Drop me at the airport, and I'm just going to hang out. So I got ball shorts, like a T-shirt on underneath, and I'll just strip out of this and wad it up, put it in a bag and suitcase and roll. But I got my rubber boots on. I'll throw them in the back of the truck. But And you're headed to? South Dakota. South Dakota. Gold. I'm flying uh, fly out of Pittsburgh in the morning straight to Denver. Meet Robbie. I think he's flying out of Cincinnati, and then uh, Fatty's flying out of Columbus. Wow. We all hop the same Listen plane. Listen to you, Make sure you Trent, bring warm you're clothes. jet setters, man. Jeez. We're trend setters, dude. Oh we're, my burning, gosh. we're burning it down. <clears throat> Poor Robbie. You, you know, you're make, talking to follow us. You were talking about Alex and all the shows, and I was like, I just wonder how many shows I have went to this year. Yes. Like, I don't write them down or count them. In my, I, got, I told my wife I'd be cool to save my bracelets from the oh. shows. Yeah. It'll She's like, that's you. gross. That's disgusting. Whatever. <laughs> well, she don't get it. But I mean, my gosh, I've been to like eight shows this year with track shot maybe i say more and you know so. i say more because i don't know how many shows we have but you haven't which ones did you miss uh, i think there's 16 on the I, docket i missed Greeley and i missed wisconsin i missed utah <clears throat> 13 that uh, gives you a- missed one in california blaine williams show that was before i oh. got involved and yep but i made stoneboro san filippo throw down yeah, you bluff, the, Jess Williams. Listen, brother, you hit the whole country. And yeah, it, took, it took Ben and I a long time to get across the whole yeah. country, and you got across it in a year, which is awesome. Well, I'm a little bigger and my legs are longer. Yeah, good point. <laughs> well, you're going <laughs> to sleep good. This, you're going to hibernate well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 I walked by Brad's machine shop. He's like, what the heck are you, a hog farmer? Going to feed the hogs? And I was like, uh-oh, what is this? This is uh, What is this happening? I thought Fatty left. Someone's. Fatty definitely left hours ago. The fun police. Yeah, Fatty 100%. Just so you know, America, he's on his way home, driving home. Um, Not really. He's on his way to South Dakota. Anthony yelled at him so much that he just got up and You know, he actually, Fatty, if you're watching this right now or listening to this as you drive down the road, you're part of the problem, buddy. (laughs) So the whole, you don't know what happened, but I want to, you remember that phone call that I gave you last night? That's you, dude. You and Leach are the guilty parties that I one hundred percent have, and there's there's evidence, audio and visual evidence. Mm-hmm. That Uncle Bill can pull up. We'll get to the bottom of this, and if I have to, I'll bring in the fun police. You know what? <laughs> the fun you police. You know what? <laughs> I I just thought of something. Okay, glad. All right, we're rolling. I'm not sure that he doesn't need to deputize me, I, because I, you know, I'm like everybody that knows me knows I, I and I say a lot when those things happen. I like to party. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I also love track shot. Yes. And I'm mindful of what I say on track yep. shot. Well, um, last night we were all standing here. There was a group of us hanging out as it closed. I bet it was like one thirty in the morning, and all of a sudden our phones start dinging, and it's you sending us <coughs> pictures of all the content that you guys film. I think this weekend might be one of the, some of the best content. Dude. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah one, right? the one that I already posted is my favorite thing we've ever filmed. If you guys have not, I'm telling you, whether you like <laughs> the fun police thing or not, if you like horror movies – Michael Myers, little guy you've heard of. Go look at our TikTok right now. You won't be able to see. That's something else we got to tell them. But you won't be able to see the live stream right now on our TikTok, but there is a new video posted you're going to love. And uh, I'm not, I did share it to the Track Shop Facebook page. See, I forgot about that. I shared it this morning as, or last, late last night. But it's uh, Fun Police and his special deputy, Michael Myers. <laughs> um, it's hilarious. Yes, it I is. laughed. I don't know how many you sent us last night, like 13 of them. Yeah. But we started watching him do it, and by the end of it, there's like 10, 12 people just all sitting watching him. 
we were dying and laughing. He told me this morning. I was like, there's more, dude. I didn't send them all. TJ absolutely crushed it, too. He did um, good. Uh, thank you. Perfect. 1.30 start time. We just got pushed One back, folks. Oh, wow. That's what you get. That's what you guys get. So, guys, uh, right now, yeah. real quick, if, if we had a little issue. And that issue that is that I'm talking about, hashtag fatty do better um, and, <laughs> and hashtag leech do better. Yeah, leech. So, you guys are the reason. If You, you cannot watch Track Shot Live today on TikTok. It <laughs> is in turn because we got reported. Yeah. Let's just get it out there. We got, we got reported – for some speech in the background. I don't know which part of it was, but I heard a bunch of it. None of it was good. Well, the problem is uh, Bill's mics are so dang good. They're so good. Yeah. These mics are too Ooh. good. It was innocent. They did not mean to do what they did, but totally innocent, just having a conversation and misconstrued, I guess. But you can go to Critter underscore on TikTok, a buddy that's been on here yesterday and Friday, Critter Engines, Chris Smith. Go to his TikTok right now. If you're not following him, give him a like, whatever, and it's streaming. We're – yeah, I appreciate him hooking us up and kind of we're, yeah. we're just trying to get this out as much yeah. as we can. So he helped us out there. He's like, do you want to do it? I'm like, dude, our product is free demolition derby. Heck, yes, I want to do it. Awesome. I don't care who. I don't care. We put it on. I don't like Joe Biden, but I'll stream it through yeah. his TikTok if it gets yeah. demolition derby to the world. Yeah. Well, yeah, <clears throat> well, yeah you're right. I would think so, hard about well. it. <laughs> you got me. So, yeah, don't get upset, people, when because – People always try to come up and say hi and everything else, and then we get groups that come up alongside. And because we're not sectioned off, you know, we're not that yeah, high we're end. We're yet. one of the we population. Don't, we don't have our own, sec- <laughs> you know, we don't have private security or nothing. But they, um, we the, used to. The, we used to with Bob. Bob would slow people down. But. Well, he would, you know. And then if I wasn't on air, I'd jump out, and that's why, you know, yeah, I'm not liked. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but the good thing is, is here it was it was uh, not uh, me that got us got us booted no it's because fatty. yeah i feel better that gives that, that think of the th- ben think of <clears throat> if we had we just started on tiktok but if oh. we had og did on tiktok oh. we would have been banned yeah we permanently we'd be in yeah, it's probably yeah. a there good wouldn't thing. even be traction would have been black ball because yeah. you know you, you think back that and then you go back you think about your life and your whole life and growing up especially your youth yeah. oh. like how cool would it be to see if somebody everybody had phones and we get to go back and look at the old videos but how much Bad stuff on you would be out there. Oh my like, god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Everybody, god, not just us. Everybody. If there had been cell phone, like I was born in eighty three. Yeah, yeah. Eighty two. So if there had been a cell phone in ninety nine. Seventy two. Or oh, well. wow. <laughs> so, is there even color TV? Did, did you uh, black and white TV? <laughs> was Jesus your Sunday school teacher? No, 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 no. Oh no. man. One of his. One of his. What is it? Uh, disciples or whatever you want to call it. I, no. I wondered about now, Ben. I, I'm not making fun of you. I really like you. I have a lot of respect for you. But which side were you on, north or south? What's that? Civil War. To your born north. Born. I was talking about your age. He didn't get it. No. Yeah. What's the joke? Oh, I so ask him. Oh, what yeah, side he's on? Which side did you I was, on? On yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I was slow on that. I was slow on that. Yankees. It's yeah. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what about that, Decker, the Civil War thing, dude? Oh, Tell my him gosh. Tell without watching. I'm Listen. excited that I got – I finally – it's been in my head for years. I've told probably ten promoters. I told Tim <laughs> Clark Jr. I've told TJ before, all these people. Decker loves it. Somebody might. Well, Grab it's, it now. it's took them two days to catch up on the messages from that. <laughs> yeah, which got me excited <laughs> on it, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually on. I think we're on to something. I just, I have to figure out the logistics, but, but, I, but it's morphing in my head because by the end of the night, you had me saying, "Well, you just own the team and you just send your drivers out." I have so many drivers that want to go represent New York as a mad dog. Um, imagine this. Imagine if we had groups of each class and we could just send them places and be like, right. seven, these guys are going from New York to dead, man. Then these guys are what going if you? Over. What if you – let me put this in your head, Decker, and you think about this. And you guys at home think about this and message Decker when you figure it out. So <laughs> what if, if – you know, we've got 50 states. There's a lot of states at Derby that we don't have that many people or whatever, small yeah. following. Yeah. So what if we had, like, at track shot shows, like there was a heat where it was, you know, we had to have the rules, whatever. You had to follow these rules in the compact class or whatever. But we could have – so logistically to get Team Nebraska versus Team Oklahoma, hypothetically, instead of them having to travel to Pennsylvania to do that, You'd what if we held local. their heat to decide which team advances to the feature, advances to the championship, which would be here or wherever? But we held theirs at a show in Missouri that Track Shot was doing, or whatever. I like that. Right. <laughs> so it's a bracket. Yeah. But it's nationwide. Like that way. That way, it Team California gets a shot at a team. 
because they have to beat, you know, say Team Nevada if they're hypothetically there right. was a Team Nevada. Yeah. And now we know one of the teams from the West Coast gets the opportunity to travel to the Civil War Championship, the true right. Civil War. I right. love it. I love and then, it. And now it's just the heat. <laughs> we don't have to worry about having a host show. Yes. We yeah. just have a heat. Yes. You, or we could have a minivans, a heat, yes. a compact heat, just like we did, team owners and all. A one and one and done, one and done heats, which <laughs> my favorite thing is the draft. I want to see the draft. A draft, the yeah, draft. yeah. New York would have draft. a draft. So yeah, that's what got me excited because there was guys writing to me that yeah, dude, they're so funny. There was guys saying that I don't usually hit hard, but I will for this. <laughs> like let dude, me I, in, you I know. Had, I had, like, no, okay. It's not you. <laughs> when I, not the guy. I checked my phone last night and I had people messaging me. Tell Decker I'm in. Tell Decker I'm in. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, I want to do this too. Yeah. Are you involved with this See, or like, not? If I was a, if I was a team owner, I don't want. I want to win the Derby. I don't care about being called the hard hitter because that's where you and I differ. Yes, I, we I do. I want to win the Derby. Okay. We want to brag. I want to play the yeah. game and I want to take the trophy home because I can remind people with that trophy that I won. Yeah, it. but no one remembers. No, but I have the trophy. No one remembers like that. You know, they'll remember that Mustang two hit last night. But some of these other hits we've seen. Don't be forgot about it. Josh and I had in in, in I derby against some quite a few times, and Josh knows exactly who I'm talking about. Is Richie, Richie oh, Predmore, yeah. Richie Predmore back in our area? He's like, eh, he's like Richie. Why you you you're, he just goes and smokes people left and right, and it's like, and people still talk about him to this day. Sure. About shots, and he goes, you know what? People people forget who placed first, second, and third, but you know what? The guy that knocked them completely out of their seat and across the inside of their car or knocked them out, they're going to remember who that person is. Some of the best hits i ever seen were laid by oh, Richie. Oh, I can name multiple oh. nights where I was like, oh, man, oh, man. I mean, yeah, some people are just remembered as a mad dog. Yeah. And after we put that after we put that trophy in your garage, <laughs> no one remembers. So how do no we, one cares about the trophy. They may care about the mad dog. But how do we differentiate that? Because it, it is a certain level of. No, 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 no. You can just have a derby saying the winner gets blah, blah, blah. I don't. We don't care. We're s- let your guys get the money. Our group's still gonna come mad dog. Your right. right. <laughs> I don't even care. Don't right. even give us anything. It's we just, don't care. We're still just, gonna jump. It's just the guys. way our squirrels are aligned in our head. You know. Yeah, that's, but that's I'm like, it, that's, that's let the your guys win. We don't care. Hand them the money to start. We don't care. That's the problem. Is how do you do this? And then like say Team New. I believe that Team New York would be the, probably the hardest hitting drivers there, or top three. I, yes. So yeah. how how do we if we have their heat? Let's say we have their heat in in. Uh, Connecticut just going yep. the, versus Pennsylvania, those two heavy hitters, which we're not, we wouldn't do that. But how do we do that? How do we get them? If they go out and they junk their stuff and lose, but they put on this New York put on a show, how do they get to go to the championship? You know. Here's the thing. Now that you're at management of TSO, <laughs> I have enough. You, you get to answer yes. all this. We don't. You don't even have to ask the questions because you're going to figure it out, and no. then one day you're going to come back and give us all the answers. When, when track shot takes me on full time, and that's my job every day, then I'll start worrying about those problems. Excuse right. me. Well, you know the backside of right. that. Right? Oh, yeah. You know that that's never going to happen. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Greg Shack's lucky to be here. Yeah, that's why. That's We're why just happy I, to that's be why here. That's why I just put that. I put that little clause in the contract there because I know that's security. We're just happy to be here. Somebody was telling me like, you got to start track shot Instagram. I'm like, whoa, dude, too deep. Instagram. I'll whoa. start it, but somebody else needs to run it. Wow. Dude, I love how Snapchat just like as soon as you, two days later you're like, I wish I didn't do this. Well, I'm not a Snapchatter. Like, if I want to send you something, I'm just gonna message you or get on Messenger right, or whatever, right, right. you know. And I try, you guys at home that are doing the Snapchat, I try to reply because I know that's cool. You like to see it. We, I've been. If you're seeing me taking screenshots, it's because I plan on making a video of just all the random cool videos or videos, pictures you guys have sent us, like where you're watching track shot at or you're working on the garage, whatever. <clears throat> I'm saving those, so eventually there will be a video. So we, we, I love when people take pictures of their TV screens. But I also hate when you take pictures of your TV screens. Because your your face, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, they'll get me on. Let me tell you a real quick story. I went to a derby, and a guy comes up to me telling me how much he misses Bob. And this is just a random guy that's not much into derby. And he's like, yeah, me and Bob used to talk all the time, which I thought was cool. But he said, show me this picture with one time Bob was on air, yeah. and it looked like he was, he was out yeah. sleeping. <laughs> yeah, right? So the guy showed me the, the, the conversation him and Bob had. And uh, Bob was like, don't show that to anybody, you know. <laughs> and it was just so funny because, Bob, you, any second you can get us in some weird poses on the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yep. should do that, like. I, I will do that. I don't know how we'll do it, but we'll go back and maybe towards Christmas, like we'll give away some track shot apparel or something for the worst picture of each guy that <laughs> screenshot through track shot. Yes. That could be a fun That would be game. funny. Yeah, that would it, be like, funny. If you can pause it and get the, 
the, whoever gets the worst Decker face <laughs> on a track shot, we're gonna hook you up that's with some money. We may even, I may even get like Tixie. He's all about it. We'll design some Not exclusive, oh, exclusive yeah, T-shirts oh, like, <laughs> out or something. I won't have to worry about it because I'm like awesome. a ghost when it comes to pictures. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I keep telling Ben all these stories. I'm like, Ben, did you see? Did you see? I'm like, oh, I forgot you're not on social media. It's like, yes, I, I am. Well, yes, you are. I, yes, I, mean, I am. Yes, not I am. all negative comments go to my social media yeah. page. Yeah. It's not to the point where I can tag you or. Well, you could. Ben's it might the take a while one. to reply. Ben. <laughs> yeah. <you could. laughs> ben is the smartest one of us, right? I know. He's the only one. Like, I went the opposite way. I regret the hell about it. Dude, Why did I even open time, a Facebook page? This is the most time I ever spent with Ben. Yes. Ever. Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, he's finding out, yeah, that's not going to happen again, probably. But. Hold no, on one second. I hope so. No, I'm just joking. Better. But um, so yeah, today I'll just, I'll just run down today. I guess we got pushed. Way Josh said a little bit more. Yeah, what time um, we got now? It's uh one seventeen. Oh, not too much longer. Not too much longer. But we got the two man extreme coming up. We got youth compact. We got the most wanted fine art heat one, because we got two heats in them. Yeah. Then dead man compacts feature super stock feature. Then boy, we got the limited weld cars coming out in. There's, there's some nasty cars in Limited Weld. Um, and then you got the end of the night off or day off. It's hopefully the day. Yeah. And the day off, the most wanted fine art heat number two. So, and I don't know what they ended up coming with a final count of the most wanted fine art class, but I know there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they moved. I was down at Sowers earlier talking to him about that, and uh, they moved him to heat two. So, I think the whole car club's pretty much in heat two. So what, Ben? What's your favorite class on there? Just glancing over. My the list. I, I, What are you most excited about of that list? That's a good little good I mixture. Guess, I guess the super stocks put a good show on. I'm. I've always been a a big fan of the heavy builds, um, but there's you know the backside of that is 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 um, we talked about it last night is is the dry, driving you know. Yeah, build a heavy and fr- don't use. Them. I'm a, I'm a firm, firm believer if you're going to build a hard, a, a car hard, then drive it hard. Yes. Um, you have always that, said that, and I get yeah, and I get flack all the time. Yeah, but, I'm not. But honestly, I've I've enjoyed more watching lately. Uh, you know, basically with my feet up at home, you know, and watching the big screen and and uh, eating dinner about nine o'clock at night, and uh, basically, uh, Ben, the the lighter cl- a little bit lighter classes, you know, like the soup, the the super stocks, or you know, like uh, yep. the. Like the motor swap V8 yeah. we had last night just that, ripped Dude, this that place class up is our class. Hard. Yeah, that I love that hard. class. And uh, when them guys when them guys caught loose last night, and people, if you did not see that, that's the Joy of Track Shot Live. You can go back today and watch it. Great heat. Um, tomorrow or 10 years from now. Or ten, yeah, or, you know, when you're in your, you know, recliner, when you're 20 years from now going, man, my back hurts. I don't know why. You can watch that heat and figure out. You know, and but they just come unglued. Um, but I think, I think, yeah, I would think the motor swap ones, which we don't have them today. Is that where you're at, Decker motor swap? I love that class. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I would. I, if, if I were to run the heat this weekend, that's the one I think I could compete yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> first of all, but yeah, I love that class. But, and they were just junking each yeah. other and working Dude, each other. It, all I, different kind of old but, iron in there. You know, the builder point of view, a driver point of view. I think that's that. I, I like that class. Me too. If I was to drive, Me I too. love builder, the builder sorry. point of view. Builder yeah. point of view would be the the limited weld all day long, just because I, I yeah, yeah. what you see, what yeah. oh, doing, I, the work. I, I love burning wires. I was gonna you say know, you love welding. Yeah, I've, no, you love welding. I like the creativeness. <laughs> I like seeing the creativeness and the ingenuity, yeah. and stuff like that with the heavy builds. But yet, you also, and that's not a knock on the lighter build guys because you have to be that more that more creative. That's what I love about know? the Blizzard Bash and maybe here the Gold Rush is mm-hmm. those guys build the cars and they have to run them in the heat. Right. They're, they're built, yes. they're well built cars, they and they to. have to run them. Have to, yes. But on this list, for me, most wanted fine arts. Yeah. Not just because I have two most wanted fine art trophies. As of right now, and I, I actually got my first win, I've got two seconds and a third. You are the number one most wanted fine art. If we were doing a ranking system, you'd yeah. be on the top of it right now. Now, I think I'm not far behind you. Sickles is up. Sickles might be ahead of uh, us. Sickles, Sickles has a lot of wins yeah. in that. But you might be Yeah, but the Sickles most. runs like every Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. 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 It's like we go to a derby, he goes to bingo, and it's a derby every yeah. Thursday night. The Most Wanted has definitely brought some fun back. Yes. It has brought so much fun back. And and also, I, I made this point the other day. I think I heard you touch on it yesterday. 
I was thinking about it. I was like, guys, do you realize that the most wanted final arts class is the first universal nationwide class and rule set ever? Ever. It's, it, there's been hundreds, yep. but never that came to fruition, that never got legit, and, and it happened. I watched it happen in right. California. I watched it happen in New York yep. this year alone. Which it, it, coast to coast, and it, yeah, like you said, it's it's gaining steam. It's it's keeping the uh, it's keeping the uh, the steamroller effect going and stop. And the Derby guy and me and the Derby fan and me, there's some things that I feel like I'm like, oh, you need to you need to tweak this or tweak that. But I've heard Sour say, tweak your safety, don't touch the rules. Exactly. And as long as we keep it that way, I've had some concerns myself over bumper heights and things. Yes. Oh a, yeah. As oh a, yeah. As a fan of the sport, and I'm a diehard fan of Demolition Derby. Yep. But it's one of those things where, like, as soon as you start, well, you, you, uh, that's, then, then it's right every, back to a regular. Every game. other class, that's happened to. Yep. Every other class, and that's what's happened to the sport, so leave it alone. Yep. No, Bill, it's fine. It's, he put it in here because he, he made me get in the middle. He's like, you're the dude. I'm, <laughs> I just, you know what I was wondering about, Ben? This little thing we do back home. Watch out, Decker. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you. That little thing. Well, this, man, I'm well. just wondering what his reaction would be. If I knew he wouldn't cuss. No, oh, I'll, get cuss. I'll cuss. I'll cuss. I'll cuss. It would be. I was like, this dude may hit me. <laughs> what I was going to do, Decker, was this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. Okay. I'll leave you alone. You I see grab where that, we're going. I know. Reach over and grab that fat. have an uncle do it. Oh, my. We, listen, one time. <laughs> hurts. Jerry, it was on her yesterday, a cannonball. Me yes. and Jerry are cannonball. We were going to the Derby. I had a like a 91, the OBS, little Chevy short bed. Yeah. My uncle's old trailer, I started out hauling my Derby cars on, that had mobile home axles under it. Mm-hmm. We was going to this Derby, and Jerry didn't – his truck was messed up whatever. I had give him a box Chevy wagon. And this is like 2004 maybe. And so we're, we hook up. Well, he, anyway, I didn't have a hitch for it, a receiver to fit this trailer. So he pulls his out of his truck, and we take off, and his brother Jason is on the far side. And Jerry's in the middle, and I'm driving. And I'm a young man. This is I was early 20s. Mm-hmm. That trailer starts walking as oh. we're going down the 464 highway <laughs> in Graves County, Kentucky, and there's these drop-offs on both sides. Oh, Old Jerry's riding in the middle, boy, and he's got both of our thighs inside mine and Jason, and he's screaming. Don't hit the brakes. Don't hit the brakes. <laughs> and he's shaking. And this this trailer, this old box Chevy, I don't know how it's training. It's wheel hopping and everything. I mean, it's jumping off the ground. Yikes. And it hurts so bad. Like, I, I said, I can't hit the brakes. I can't do nothing but flex from hurting. <laughs> well, we got to the gas station up the road. Which somehow he made it. And he had, the ball had come loose. That's oh, what wow. it was causing. So it was caddy walking. So that OBS was just the rear end was wow. lifted and sliming. <laughs> and, I mean, God, you couldn't have drove a nail up my butthole. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that little – you can imagine what a metric GM on a 16-foot trailer with a short bed Chevy truck pulling it. Up in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A Whopping. short bed no less. It was, yeah, it was no joke. Oh, Old Papa was he, – he was he was floundering. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. So, um, okay, so you guys were talking about what was coming up today. We got through pretty much yep, what was yeah, coming up Yeah, today. we went through the classes, and uh, – we don't. I'm thinking this is the order now, so they would. They must have changed the order. Yes, um, that is the running order. Okay, that so they the they changed that up a little bit. Yeah. From what we you know what I wanted to today. touch on earlier, Ben, is this year you and I got to stay home more, and you were saying you liked watching with your feet up and stuff, and yeah, how much is it enjoyable to watch these guys working like long, long days while you're just eating Chinese food at, at eight o'clock at night on the recliner? Because I love it. I well, love it. it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'd rather sit at home than be Listen, here. There's that's, a lot of that's truth a double edge. It's a double edged sword, you know, because <clears throat> I I enjoy not as much this part here doing this, but being out in in over the years and being involved in different levels of the shows, you know, that I was at in. Uh, I don't know, sitting it, with it, your feet just, up, man. It, I, I'm not a good one for that. I am. I'm not a good one for that. <laughs> I'm just, and what I was getting at, I was kind of being, you know, uh, sarcastic, at, you know, at 8, 9 o'clock at night, finally eating dinner, put my feet up, is is my day starts at 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's I get done with a full day of work, and then I, I go and go in the shop, and, and lately I've been, and been uh, working for another, you know, four hours or so, and then come home and, in, uh, if you guys ever start to miss doing this or miss, the, you know, and wonder, like, whatever, just go to the Linden Washington show that we do and carry Bill's equipment to the crow's nest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, that. you guys at home, I'm serious. I'm, thinking, I'm, the, I'm, the not, I'm not really the newest track shot guy. 
that's, maybe. that's way up in uh, – the, There's that's, there's that. Robbie and then there's the prospect, Joe Lanky. Yeah, the prospect. Maybe. <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I'm kind of seasoned now catching up with Fatty, but, like, there's a, it's really a lot of work. Yes. Just, like, the amount of equipment that it takes and the cases. And, yep. I mean, there's so much work. And then, you know, you want to hang out. Like, you want to do the derby. You want to meet people or people want you to sign yep. something or whatever. Yep. But, like, we're here, dude. There's eight inches of water right yeah. there that we're dealing with. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely the behind-the-scenes stuff. And, and, and tonight, uh, I'm spending the night in Pittsburgh Airport, if that tells you. Like, if you think it's glorious. Oh, and it's not fun spending dudes. nights in an airport. Oh, uh, right? no. no. It's definitely yeah. not fun at 300 pounds. Uh, no. <laughs> I've slept on Utah's marble floor. Remember that we, night, man? We were getting arrested. I was getting arrested at the airport <laughs> because I talked to one of the ladies because – our whole flight, they messed around and messed around for hours. In in this, people I call them seasoned flyers. Basically, this they were, uh, it they were probably in their late fifties, uh, ladies, and boy, they weren't having it. Mm-hmm. They were like, we've seen this. They they we've seen this. They don't have the guts to come tell us now. They're gonna send somebody else, you know. And they're canceling this and that. And they're I mean, these ladies are ready to throw down. I remember that. And, uh, so here it is, and I didn't realize because I always hated to fly. I had a fear of flying. I hated to fly. Um, that kind of got me out of that niche uh, all the time, flying out to Utah and stuff. But uh, he's, I didn't realize the places, the restaurants and stuff actually closed. I thought oh, yeah. I thought airports were 24 no, hours. No, right. And here they are. Here's this whole flight. People are wanting waters and everything else in this. They're like, we, we're closing. I'm like, oh, uh, I'm here to tell you, you're, 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 if you stay open another half hour, you're going to make thousands of dollars because I says all these people are, are thirsty, hungry, or whatever. Well, this lady sold us some drinks, yep. basically, yep. and her shift manager or whatever came back and went bonkers. Really? Went bonkers. Well, then I went bonkers. I was going to say, you weren't really smiling they, back, well, though. Went bonkers to them, <laughs> and next thing you know, there was phone calls being made, and, and these guys were like, Ben, let's just go. Let's just go. I think they just called security. And uh, uh, But, yeah, it was it, it was just crazy. But, yeah, we that was the night. It took us almost 27 hours yes. to get back to New York. So what time do you think this will be over tonight? No, no, <clears throat> don't do it. Don't do that. Okay, that's don't jinx it. it. Let's just say whenever this is over, I got to ride to Pittsburgh, which is an hour and a half. Yep. And then my flight doesn't lead to eight twenty in the morning. Oh yeah. You're but now it won't be as bad as like Syracuse Airport. Why don't I just take you in the morning? Day. Like I have Fatty didn't even sleep in his bed. You can sleep in my bed, and then really? I'll get up early and go to the airport, and then go home. I'll just go home seventy nine. Yeah, well, just it makes me get up early. It's well, fun. I gotta be there. I gotta be there. Uh, my flight leaves like eight twenty. So okay, you got to be there by six thirty seven. Yeah, probably it's, yeah early to get through security. Okay, we just wake my ass up. So, so that's my response. Or not? I don't care. I'll that's sleep in and I'll be home at one. I don't oh, care. I was gonna say. You do whatever no, you I want. Like the idea of that. that that's yeah. sleeping. I'd rather sleep. Where are you staying? You got a hotel here? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's it's like a half Tick's hour. Got us, Tick's half got us, hour that way. Tick's got us the oh, best hotel way. in it's the that, country. It's it's a half hour that's towards. Cool. Even if I don't go to sleep, it's a better environment to hang out in the bed and just go to sleep and or not go to sleep and more TikToks, whatever. I snore. I don't care. It makes all the difference in the world. I've slept in the same room as Mike Ticks. Oh, my God. He's the worst. Uh, well, no. Buell's uh, really bad. Buell's, Tompkins was really bad. Yeah, Dumpkins is terrible. Oh, my God. No, I'll tell you who's bad, and I'm not calling him out. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not uh, Joe Lanky. <laughs> like, I, we were standing at Ticks for the throwdown, and I was standing up in the, you know, like the, I don't know, it's the coolest thing ever, the garage above the garage. Yes, it is. Yes. And it was just Joe and I for a while, and, like, I was sleeping in one chair or on a beanbag, and he moved to this other, this other, because there's beds and stuff everywhere. And Joe, when he snores, it's like he vibrates. You know, he's like <laughs> it's an like old a cell chainsaw. phone. It's not loud. It's not violent. <laughs> no. But it, it's like Tremors. His like body shit, yeah. That movie Tremors, Joe Lanky is dead. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> They eat him first thing in his sleep. Too that was funny. that. That was kind of my my. I I was upset about that whole thing. Not my because my work pulled my vacation and I couldn't go up there because I was supposed to help Tuck for throwdown. I I really was excited to meet him. Lanky, I've never, I've never met him, dude. He's and I've great. heard so much <laughs> he about funny. him, and he just sounds like a super cool dude. He is. Him and I spent two hours. I never really hung out with him. Well, when I got there, 
him and I ran and just ran chores together for about two hours. Yep. And, dude, this son of a bitch had me laughing. We were in a Walmart together in places, <laughs> and it's like, he has got me and you dying gotta, I mean, you laughing. Get, get, get him on a beer or two. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. He, I, you know, and Fatty's, Fatty's, like, trying to keep him. I know why I think Fatty tries to keep him off here. Because Lanky's going to be funnier. Because Lanky is Lanky. So, so funny that Fatty doesn't want him to steal but like his the Snapchat spotlight, account, I think. Lanky's like, like, he's like a master level Snapchat, and I would love to give it to him. Yeah. But the fun police in me is like, yeah. he can't handle it. Yeah, late night, he can't, he can't, he can't oh. have it after nine at night. Him or ticks, neither one. Yeah, yeah. Th- yeah. Let's not, let's, that's like, yeah. Yeah, that's pay-per-view material. Tix has to use his own. That's role. where we need to open the OnlyFans. Yeah, there's some things that would people they, would pay to watch. They pay would, hundred percent. <laughs> they definitely, they definitely would. Because it's everything else is so sensitive, and, and 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 I'm just learning now today earlier that there's lists of words, and it's like, oh, Ben says I, them done. all the time. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. Ben Dude, says you those want, words all the time. You want to talk about a party? I went to a, a Minnesota Twins playoff game with oh. Billy Joe and Joe oh. Lanking. Oh boy. Dude, it was over. Ticks, uh, ticks. I mean, uh, Linky celebrate. They're both celebrating. Neither one of them watch baseball. They're <laughs> celebrating like hell. But Linky's got popcorn. He's throwing it in the air. See, what, this that. old man walks by with a hearing aid on and tells him, "Will you please shut the up?" <laughs> Swear, it's a true story. Swear. Old man, he's like, "You are too loud." And he's like, "Turn your hearing aid down." <laughs> <laughs> and just keeps partying. Joe, Joe don't care. No, oh. he's a riot. He's a riot. But I see what you're saying. You got to get him between nine in the morning and nine at night. Yes. Like after those times, you probably he's probably not made for TV. After curfew, no good. <laughs> he's not made no point. No bueno after curfew. curfew. Well, it's okay if I'm there, like in California, because I can just edit the good parts. Right. Right. And we have great videos. Yes. But. Yes. Yes. I'd like to have him on some more, though, but every time I bring it up to Fatty, he gets all upset. He's, he's like, like, no, 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 he's not funny. And I'm like, I think he is. Oh, he's hilarious. I laugh at well, him. Joe Lanky's hilarious. When, <laughs> I laugh when we, at him. When, we, when, when Fatty's sitting behind bars because he keeps impersonating a police officer, yep. where he's, Lanky, he's, he's, he's a replacement. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he's right on your footsteps. He's on the footsteps. Dude, I have stuff that from Tix's house of him being the prospect that I've never. <laughs> that was funny. I, I thought that was funny. I, I seen that vest when I'm great. watching the stream. We went, we went I'm the watching the live world. stream. I'm like, I just think I started thirty dollars. First out laughing. Who thought was that? Whose idea was uh, that? Great idea. Awesome. Well, yeah, he's been running like, with that for a while. Fatty was trying to keep Joe out for a long time. Like he don't want him to like. You know, keep him on the edge of track shot, like close enough that he'll still build Fatty's motors. Yeah, but oh. not any closer. Oh, typical <laughs> you know Fatty. What I'm oh, I can feel so, it. So, so I was like, so you're telling me Joe's a prospect? He's like, yeah, kind of like a motorcycle gang. I'm like, yeah, that's what a prospect is, fool. Wow. <laughs> and uh, we went. So Joe and I got in Tixie's Tixie's '75 or six wagon, whatever it is. And drove to the Goodwill and bought a leather jacket. Like I didn't think they'd have anything in extra fat, but we found something. Cut the <laughs> sleeves out of it. Rock and roll. I just thought it was Fatty's old old vest. No. So real quick, Bill, could you? T- I mean, we've just been babbling for a while, looking yeah. at our faces, and I, you know, how I feel about that. Bill, can we go to a quick video? Do we got a two, three minute video? I don't even care what you choose. I hope it's some of the Michael Myers stuff. I don't know yeah. what. Do, do you? Show. I don't know if he got them done. Did you get any Michael Myers ones? Especially done? the the one where he the the initial that start the whole thing. Just surprise us. Yeah, I don't want to go too far into that. <laughs> but it kind of. It's the kind of leads up to everything else that True. we've got. we got some good content coming out of America. Watch some of them. If you're sick of fatty, you're like the rest of us. <laughs> Keep that <laughs> hashtag fatty do better going. Yeah. <laughs> that was and also, I mean, everybody's seeing all these uh, all the logos, all the sponsor logos that uh, you can't thank those guys enough. Yeah, DD for, uh, Power Steering. I love that yep. dude. Uh, I can't call his name now. He's always at Metal Mayhem Spring X. Mm-hmm. Derby left. You see Lexi and her mom dressed up, Uncle Mania. Will you let him go to commercial? Go, he's, Bill. I was waiting on him. Yeah, he's thumbs up, Bill. Too. He didn't he's come out. Bill. No, he said Anthony. He just yelled, Anthony, shut up. <laughs> big thank you, Bill. Big thank you, though, to Big D. Uh, he has an auction house and everything else, Damien Davis, for the use of the, the enclosed trailer to keep Bill dry. Ben, Bill That's says, true. I mean, Decker says, no, shut up. Ben's the boss, though. Ben overrules me. So you, you haven't been around, like, you know. That's why you're too new. You're too new. I'm you don't even know. I'm, now. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one that when Josh fires people, I rehire. Management, <laughs> management, <laughs> micro management. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bill, go ahead. Give us something good. Micro or macro.
man, hunting for TJ. I'm gonna need somebody to help me, that's for sure. I'm gonna, yeah, this place is way too big. Wow. Hey, uh, hey, buddy. Buddy, did you have a little too much last night? Uh, I'm looking for some help. You're a big fella. I'll tell you what. Here, buddy, when you wake up, there you go. All right. Great fella. I think it'll be just fine. All right, America, so we're just finishing up a one another wonderful weekend. Great action here at Dead Man, and we're closing up. And Fatty, you know, I see, or uh, not Fatty. Whoa, bud. Yeah, actually, whoa, I'm whoa, sorry. Whoa, you bud. just look a lot like this guy that I I tell you what, I hear this Fatty's a good-looking fella. I haven't seen it, but I hear it. All right, but anyways, myself. right now, let's get to the, the, the task at hand here, to be honest with you. We ain't got, I mean, it was a great show here, Buried Alive, but the perp got away. Not proud of it. It happens. Um, I did deputize, um, what's your name? Uh, Mike. Mike, I think is his name. I uh, found him on the berm earlier. He had a rough night. But, uh, yeah, the perp got away. So just to let you guys know, we are heading to the next town. Um, if anybody does see the dead man, please let me know. You seen him? I have not seen him, actually. All right, well, I'm not wasting no more time with you. I'm going to get on the hunt, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next city. We'll see you, America. We're out of here. Got it.
right way. All right. We're back. We're back. So what did you think about that, America, in the words of Daddy Decker? I was laughing. They're, listen, it's cool because you see those little clips, but those clips are like 30 seconds, some of them are a minute and a half, and I've got them all, and they're coming out just – there's more. There's a lot more. Yeah, no, that was like teasers of a bunch of them, which yeah. I, they're going to have you guys laughing. These guys have seen laughing. it, so they know. <laughs> laughing. It's good. Uh, that was funny, though. I got to, I mean, I hate complimenting Fatty. God, he's funny. On, like, his, it's, Ben said it's his calling to just be like, Mike, Mike, Mike. It <laughs> like, is. It's it just, is. That Nag. character is just so, so, it's his alter ego. You guys don't know this at home. Like Everybody kind of has it. Like, Decker gives me hell about management, management, because I do all the social media stuff now, but they do, too. But Fatty's, like, little job, his real job in track shot is, like, if you can't get a hold of Mike Ticks ever. But Fatty can talk and run his mouth and work a oh phone, like, gosh. call people. Oh. So anything, I, it don't matter who it is, he's the operator. I just call him. I say, here's my problem, and he calls and gets an answer. He's our dispatcher. Yeah, he's a dispatcher. Yeah. He calls and he demands answers. So that's his job. That's what he does full time. He demands answers. He, do, he does. He, he does? Found, he found out he, okay. that don't work well with me. I was going to say, I didn't. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, no. Well, he demands them probably from ticks, or and then mm-hmm. ticks calls you guys, or it goes up the line. No, n- no. Because he hasn't, he hasn't ever called me. No, ticks is um, calling ticks is an endless pit. Like when you're calling ticks, you're wasting a call. Yeah. Because if if it rings more than five times, hang up because the voice box is full. Yeah, the voice box is full. But yes. well, if you click, I, I warn you, if you do um, figure out how to make it unknown caller. On his phone, he will. Pay. He'll answer it. Yes. If it says unknown caller or potential spam, yep. He'll answer it. even four in the morning. Answers yep. it. Then you hear, I'm losing you. I got. I'm losing <laughs> the signal. I'll call you right back. No. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> you guys like that? You guys like the fatty fun police and stuff? Let us know. We want to hear about it. We want input. I want input. I'm not saying bombard me, but on the comments and the videos and stuff, get on there and comment. Tell us if you like it. Tell us what. You, if you don't like it. Just keep your mouth shut <laughs> and don't watch it. Oh no, Anthony, that's not how the internet works, well, my I, friend. I know where the delete comments. That's why. Is. That's why they say don't read the comments. But that's I'm why t- I constantly say that. From what I seen earlier today, there must be people that like it because there's already people trying making spinoffs of it. How cool is that? There last are already night. people making spinoffs. Gooch, is it Gooch? Yes. <laughs> They're like sending videos. I get tagged in my personal Facebook, and I'm like, what is this? I, I look. These guys are recreating Fun Police. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, guys. We love that. That's Winning. Killer. That, that was cool. Yes. The gooch. So you guys at home, <laughs> I challenge you all. TikTok, Facebook, wherever. You recreate it. You do whatever you want with Fatty Fun Police. Get you a beard off Amazon. Yeah. Tag us. Tag Trackshot Live. And hashtag Fatty Do Better. <laughs> hashtag Fatty Fun Police. Listen, no joke. I've been doing the hashtag Fatty Fun Police so long now since May. On my videos, it's about to hit a million views. Wow! With wow. video, million views of videos with that hashtag. Awesome! Nice. So that is that's a real thing. Like, yep, it's a real deal. Hey, Bill, real quick, can we play that uh, TV uh, apparel trailer video for Kayla? Um, I'm, we got lots of videos today and lots of time, yep. folks. And I'm going to pump them all out. So sit back and relax, and we'll keep rocking in and out of commercials today. But Bill, if you don't mind, let's hit that. Let's hit that apparel trailer for. Because they have the best apparel in the whole oh. country. I think this show has the best apparel. And I almost want to say they're sold out or not yet. He I don't know that. on Friday that they were low. Um, he did tell me that this week you will not see them out for sale on the website, but next week they'll open up the website and you can buy again. So they'll be full of inventory in two weeks no matter what, and you can buy online and get it shipped to you. So, Bill, can we play that quick? Hey guys, it's Kayla here at the Dead Man Trailer. I wanted to pop in and show you guys a couple new things that we have going on. As you can see, we're in full operation here. People are coming up, getting their event stuff, which we love, Buried Alive 4. But TJ and I put a lot of work in this year on doing some new art pieces. We have a whole new Dead Man Vintage line that we released with a clamshell shirt. We have an Imperial, and we also have a P71, which is a lot of fun. As always, we have our kids stuff that's out there and our dead girl apparel as well. We're doing our hoodie, which has been a lot of fun to work on. We're working with a new artist. So TJ has been really hands on with doing a lot of drawing, which makes our apparel very unique, just like he is. But we just invite you guys to check everything out. We're here at the trailer now. So if you're at the event, please stop by, come say hi, check out the different things we have. We're doing buried alive for hoodies we have long sleeves we have t-shirts we have kids t-shirts and we have kids hoodies 
So if you want to take a piece of the event home with you, remember the stuff you did, the people you saw, the memories that you made, this is definitely where you want to stop and check everything out today. But as well, we have some of our stock items that we keep in here at all times. We definitely have our Reaper t-shirt. We're going to see a couple different Reaper heats tonight. So if you're a Reaper and you walk a mad dog on a leash, make sure you stop by and grab your t-shirt as well. And if you can't make it to the show, we'll have our website back up. Hopefully in two weeks after we get back, we need to restock some inventory, but you can check it out at deadmanderby.com. But we hope to see you next time at the show. Thanks guys. Hey bud, you seen TJ? No. All right, folks, well, it's Fatty Fun Police. We're in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. Dead Man, Buried Alive 4, October 27th, 28th, 29th. Tune in uh, Track Shot Live on Facebook. TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Scene. See, hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, well, but, but, but hey, get up. Come over here. Get against the wall. What do you got going on here? You haven't even my Who's your yet? dad? Who's your dad? John Shipley. I'm Who's calling him. You from? He's, he's you seen? Boss. You seen TJ? No, I haven't seen TJ. What are you doing? You buying shirts? Yeah, I'm buying shirts. You like Dead Man shirts? Yeah, they're my favorite shirts. All right, carry on. Carry on. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you get this deputy badge? This guy over here gave it to me. You impersonating a police officer? Never, sir, never. What are you gonna do with this badge? I'm gonna promote this guy and whoever he works for. He's a good looking fella. I like him, never had a problem with him. You ever been incarcerated? Twice. You seen TJ? Once. Is he here? Back there. Where are you from? Eaton, Ohio. Good people there. I like him. Did you get any of these in that incarceration? One. It's on my butt though. All right, sir, keep it moving. Keep yes, it sir. moving, keep it moving. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, what are we doing whoa, whoa, here? whoa, whoa. You I, seen TJ? TJ? You seen TJ? Hey, Who's I'll TJ? Against the wall right here. I don't even know who get TJ against, is. Get against the wall, what do you got? Anything down here? Who are you with? Um, track shot, I guess. What's this on your shirt? Uh, no, nobody you need to worry about. Nobody need to worry uh, about. All right, you ain't seen TJ? No, who's TJ? All right, keep it moving, bud. Keep it moving, that's right. I know he's seen TJ. Sir! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't make me chase you, <laughs> sir! Sir, what do you got here? You got, you got anything in your pockets? Well, I do have... Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, all right, all right, listen! Listen, bud! Your probation officer know about that? Huh? Oh. Where are you from? Ohio. It's fine. Don't be, don't be afraid of the whistle. Hey, I got a job to do. What do you got to do? You seen TJ? I'm supposed to go wrestle. TJ? They said I was supposed to wrestle some guy wearing a police outfit named Fatty. You don't want the heat. You don't want the heat, bud. You better keep just keep it moving. Let's just stop right here. These people. You guys got license? The answer, the answer is blue. Blue. Yep, that's, that's the answer. <laughs> Do you know we just made a big announcement just about an hour ago? What was the announcement? Track Shot Live is signed to come to Full Send Derby Promotions, Cambridge, June 29th. In Ohio? In Ohio. 2024. That's my jurisdiction. Uh -huh. It is. That's right. There's a couple of good restaurants you've ate at there, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I just happen to have a house on the lake that you're probably going to be staying at, you and Sowers. You believe that? All right, I'm going to be real nice to you folks. Um, you got, <laughs> wait a minute. You guys seen TJ? Uh, not lately. TJ. You guys are good people. That's all I'm saying. Best people I've probably met here all weekend so far. <laughs> all right. All right. Just keep moving. What are you doing? Hey, you got any warrants? Probably, maybe. That hair oh, looks no. like you've been to prison. That hair looks like you have. I like it. Let's see that hair. Give me a little flip. 
Give me a little flip. There you go. That's what I like. That's what I like. Good people right here. Good people. Can you switch cameras, Bill? Yeah, I know we know we're on Bill, but they're doing uh, prayer right now. All right, America, Mark was doing prayer when we got there to start, and we're going to kick off right into our national anthem and right into action, so bear with us. If it gets quiet, it's because we cannot play the national anthem on YouTube. You know that whole spiel, blah, 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 blah. Social media sucks. Um, we'll be back in two minutes.
right, crowd is pumped, and we are back to action here. Dead man, day three, show four. Is that not the greatest hop song? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, do you, do you guys get the back. feeling? Like, do you feel yes. like you're about to get in a car when you hear yes, that? Like, yes. every show you go to. Yes. Oh, yeah. You get that. When I was a kid, as soon as it was done, the announcer would say, fire up your engines, and he one would pull right out, dude. Yep. And I just would just get like, oh, I love hearing a dang national anthem. Uh, it's, it's, you get the goosebumps every once in a while, but especially back home, I get them. Anthony, can you go through them tic-tac, tic-tac uh, messages that I have there? There's 99 Dude, of them. I had, my, I had my head down because we were at the tents blocking the flag, so I had my hat off, and I was kind of bowing my head to, during the anthem trying to pay respects. And I'm looking down the table, Decker's phone goes off, and there's 99 notifications on TikTok, <laughs> eight new <laughs> messages or something else. I get, Probably all about the Civil War. I get behind. Oh, I got a lot of good stuff about <laughs> that. I like to see my area getting together. It's almost like when you say New York, like regulators, like yeah, we like, mount it up. Like mount up. We mount it up. Yeah. <laughs> But, dude, how cool is that? So, like, every team can have its own theme song. Yeah. You know, there's, like, music's regional. You're going to become a promoter. I can hear it. Oh, I used to promote some, and I kind of got railroaded back home. But okay, well, it's time to regroup. I don't I don't want to go through that again. You have nothing but time. I mean, I do at some <laughs> point. <laughs> I know everybody's seeing Cannonball Derby parts, but the half of that's mine. Yeah. And at some point, I'm a part of that. But, you know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Sometimes I'm a part of that. I'm just so honored to be here and be a part so of yeah, Track Shop Live. We I got, love your uh, – go ahead, Bob. Go ahead, sorry. go ahead. No, 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 I was no. going to pick on you. No, I was just saying we got two man extreme coming out here at the first heat, and there's a bunch of them, so I was going to start reading them because there's a bunch of them. We got uh, Junior Cabana, 411 out of Central City, PA, and Mark Klein, 25G. Mike Horn and Chris Crossier, 54 and 333 out of Ohio. Cage Borger and Josh Labar, the 02 and the triple zero out of Allentown. Mike Franklin and Jackson Penchek. 5475X out of Forestville, New York. Justin Carney, 39116 with Cole Shellhammer out of Kitanning, Kitani, PA. Bill Chrysler, and 305, and Bill Shellhammer, 666 out of Ford City, PA, and Vandergriff, PA. Harry Boyer and Karen Boyer, 5527 out of Randolph, Ohio. Greg Pink, Prinkney, Prinky, and Josh Oler, 866 and a 087 out of Collinsville, PA. Mark McHale and Allison Sopko, 048 and 024 out of Greensburg, PA. Hank Petchek and James Prill, 54 out of Dunkirk. Derek Snyder and Matthew Snyder, 75 and 76 out of West Lensering, New York. Mason Swisher. Brandon Buck, 134, out of Unityville, PA. Chris Small and Dale Smith, the 007, out of Derry, PA. Jesse McBriar and Sean Harmon, 225-35H, out of Derry, PA. And J.D. Lorraine, the 728. That's our two-man extreme that's pulling out on a track right now. <laughs> what about this 5527 card? You guys know the spider webs hanging off of it? Yeah, I dig that. I dig that. Oh, nice, yeah. Boyers. Harry and Karen Boyer. They're out of Ohio, Randolph, Ohio. You know, I don't know the guy very well, but I've heard his name a lot, especially last year. But J.D. Marine, I'm noticing as I'm going to more of these shows, there's a few guys out there that – Excuse my language, are badasses. Oh, yeah. And Bobby Whitaker's one of them, J.D. Lorraine. But what I love about these guys is I've watched them at lots of shows, never met neither one of them. Might not recognize them if I see them, but I don't hear their names in drama. Right. I do not hear their names ever getting mentioned about, he hit me in the door, he did this, he, no. you know. They just come, do work, go home. Yeah, yep. cash some checks. And I've seen Bobby Whitaker, of course, he's a lot closer to me. I've seen him run hundreds of times. Oh, yeah. Dude just goes home cash a check or, or lick his wounds and I wish out. I was more like I wish I was more of that personality Me like too. Mike Klinger is like that way he used oh. to just go whoop on everybody and if you had a bad night you never heard it you just went home and came back next week and kicked your butt but how do you how do those guys turn it off you know I don't know it's a personality for yeah. sure I don't have it I no. have to tell people I'm great because I'm not those guys get, are great. They don't need to tell anybody oh, yeah. I have to get mad <laughs> yeah. I, I want to win so bad that I have to get mad to turn it up and Mike, yeah, and if Mike Klinger, if you're watching, which you probably aren't, but 
text me back. <laughs> All right? Message me back. Yeah, text me back, will you? Shoot him a message, Facebook on Messenger. No, <laughs> no, no, I actually he need really to talk He really wants to him. it. I actually need to talk to him. <laughs> That's funny. No, he All right, we're going to go to. green. Not he, a lot of cars in this class, seems like, for what uh, I'm this, used to. This is going to be this this was a great wild. heat last year. Yeah, yeah this was a great be. heat. Oh, that track's going to give some troubles here for a minute until they get her turned over, I believe. This is going to be a driver's track. They're going to have to lighten up on that throttle a little bit for some traction. Flat tires are going to really make it a bad day for you. Yeah. There's another guy right here in this. I think it's a 585, that two-tone black and gray, Crown Vic backing up. If I'm not mistaken, he's running tracker wheels on the rear. Yeah. Yeah. He's running tracker wheels with 27s or 700s on it. My mind explodes when I see stuff like that. Love it. Because of the bead width. Ticks, I know another guy does that. Mike Ticks. Yep. Uh-oh, looks like a little Vira here in the spider web car is having some trouble. Is this not Degger besides the horsepower and the builds? Is this not old school derby though? Yeah. This Just is battle. our childhood, like the mud and the Yep. You really don't want to get in bad spots though. I mean, we didn't have motors that sounded like that as kids. Running, but Yeah, you opened that one up. That 55 there, I see that nice set of chrome, shiny, narrowed SS <laughs> wheels. Get my attention. Have you guys ever done one of these cars? Ben and I yeah. did the original extreme ever at Blizzard Bash. At Blizzard we have it over a million views, Ben oh. and I, oh. on our in-car cameras. How do I not see that? I, I, I probably have it. Didn't. I was probably like Decker who? Yep. Yeah, that was that was fun. We ben and I, fun. Ben and I got to do the original one ever at Blizzard Bash, yep. and we had over 1.2 million on our on our camera. So yeah. when was that? What year was that? Oh, I don't know. 17 or 18, probably Somewhere 19, maybe. There. Yeah, not that. Yeah, much. I was thinking uh, I, that was probably the year we went for the first time. That's when uh, Ray, uh, Ray, Ray, we call her Ray, Ray, or Ray, Ray, Ray. Yeah. Ray, well, was let me ask you, was this the last yeah. year? Was who was over it? Who was up? Was it the first year Tim Clark took it over? No. No. Sam had it. Sam had it. Okay, so that was been the year before because the first time I went was the first year Tim and the Sam were making the trend. Yeah, no, this was just Sam. <laughs> yep. But I really brought the I brought I me and Ben had so much fun that day that I brought it back to New York and we started running it because right. like Ben and I just like dude oh, we had so, so much fun, fun together. <laughs> this class was so much fun. And Ben thought we could talk to each other and then it started and we're like two minutes in threw that out the window. No, ben just it, hammered just, and I held on. It was just hand signals. God, it was one. fun. This class is so fun with a friend. Yeah. I love it watching uh, like like at Redneck Rumble. Whoa. I love watching when the passenger starts trying to see, like right here on the 048 or 024, the passenger's trying to steer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're turning that track over good. You got an LS in that with turnouts. Yeah. Man. Wow. Woo. Sounds good. You know, the one thing I kind of I, I, I hate axle. about track shot not being in the south is I know all those drivers. Like, you guys know a lot of these drivers. You know, those, yeah. those guys south Midwest, I know them, friends with them, whatever. So. Well, if Tick stopped being lazy and got us hired at some southern shows, that you know. Dude, there's I, a show next weekend, and it's in, I was telling that, I mentioned it's in Dyersburg, Tennessee. I don't think you were on. I would love to get track shot there maybe next year. Kevin Richards, uh, it's a fundraiser for St. Jude. Yeah, we'd be into that. Yeah, southern show would be fun because. My my son now down to, is down in Raleigh, so awesome. That'd make it. That'd be an all-around trip. 
thinking of Dyersburg. I got to say hi, Vance Winters. If you're watching, buddy, I'm thinking about you, man. I, he's battling leukemia right now. He's uh, he runs back home. I'm thinking about you, pal. Hope you hope to see you at Blizzard Bash. What's happening here on the old old iron? Is it lost? Is it dropped down? No. This one in front of us? Just how it buckled, yeah. Oh, no, it's it's definitely buckled. Uh, I couldn't tell what way it's angled at here. Yeah, it's the like nose. the rear end dropped on it. Yeah, old Hank, he's out there. He's an open face helmet. <laughs> he's up above Dunkirk, right? There's old porn stash on him. <laughs> They're making junk out here, guys. They are bending them. They yeah. are. Oh, man, just that black. I can't get the number off of it. The frame rail, driver's side rail pushed back several inches. She's wore it bad. What's your opinion on these? I, I think that uh, 048 car there, did you see that front bumper? Isn't that one of those, like, like DC bumpers they used to make? They come out where they fabricate their own, you know. Yeah, it does look like that. Lots of vendors do. We don't yeah. do, but. You, have you guys ran any of those bumpers? I have not. No, I just wondered what, what a driver's opinion is on that. I have not run those kind. I know uh, Smith Metalworks made some. I've run a bunch of Smith Metalworks. I have three of them. Of their bumpers? Yeah. That's what I was wondering. I just wondered if they were pretty good bumpers. They, no matter who made them, just that concept of fabbing your own bumper. Uh, I love them for mounting. Because it, because you got nice fresh clean metal, it's oh, very that, nice for mounting. That would be great. Yeah, lots thought, of good penetration. Yes, yeah, so I like well. that part of it. Um, I like so you can add stuff to them easily because it's also clean metal. Yeah, take and, them apart, load them. Yeah, you yeah. can load, and they're wicked easy to load. Wicked easy to load. But in my heart, I actually think OEM bumpers are stronger. I do too. I agree with that. I see some of these released like two by six, four by four rules on a front bumper. I'm like, why would you even do that on the front? Now on the back, like this car here, I, I get it. Yeah. But, uh, no. Well, I, no, I, you want the, the, I don't know, that's just me. I mean, you can make a bumper as hard as an OEM, but an OEM to a square tubing, I, I'll take OEM all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless you start, unless you start slicing and putting, uh, pin gussets in them and every, in the tubing and pin gusset in them, then yeah. The but if, if the rules allow you to seam weld, I mean, an OE bumper is is awesome. Right. You can seam weld it and cut it down, cap it. Yeah. Would you guys have thought when we started Derby, like, do you remember when we were buying bumpers and if, if someone would have said, someone's going to build them someday and they're going to build hundreds of them and the guys are going to drive six hours to go get them, you'd say, like, hell no. We throw them, in the, we throw them out. No one's going right. to do that. Yeah. You would never believe that people would be – I remember when the DC, I think it was DC, it was the first yes. one to come out. And yeah. I remember yes. thinking, are you kidding me? They're going to yeah. make, that's so stupid. And like, no. People and bought I, them. I'm to the point where I'm wondering when they're going to just start phasing out OE bumpers and saying, you have to run a 4x4 quarter wall or 4x4 eight. You know what I mean? As a rule set. Yep. But to, to fair it up for all the drivers. And just, just say, well, boys, that's enough. You know, we can look through that 4x4, but your OE bumper is out the window. Wow, that'll be a day when factory parts on cars. You're saying no factory bumpers. That's going to be a sad day, I think. I'm saying that in some classes. No, I understand it. I can in see your it. situation in New York, I can get bumpers. I got probably four Texas Crown Vic Ford bumpers sitting beside my shop right now, just rusting. But I'm still in the South. So you, your rules, so even up for all your guys, you can cheat an OE bumper in the bins and the hides, or whatever. But a two piece of tubing, you can't. You can look right through it. True. And you're leveling the playing field and the affordability for all the drivers. True. Whether they make 100000 a year or 10000 a year. Yep. True. And, you know, in an economy like the – is it – was it your, your – like, I don't want to say uh, derogatory, but your low-end VA. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Whoa here. He's got problems. Uh-oh. He's – uh, oh. It's getting worse and worse. Yeah, it's getting bad. Oh, uh, he's – there he goes. His corner of that bumper was right in on the pinion. Yikes. But what I was saying, Digger, what was your, what's your like lowest level of V8 build at, at New York? Bone like, stock. Bone stock V8. So I thought it was the v economy V8. That's our middle of the road. Okay. Oh, in my the economy V8 was the, it would not entry level, but the stock class. No, economy is you can change shifters, pedals. Gotcha. 
any tire rear end. No, that's like our built class. Yeah, see, in my head, economy is like budget, gut and go. Uh, Save money. Well, I think in that, originally, I think it started there. <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm telling a you. A decade later, where we're at, we're at. As someone who has loved Demolition Derby since a child, I don't understand these class names still. I spend every day of my life thinking about Demolition Derby. Like, what's a limited weld? What's a exactly? Like, like, it's boys, generic. If we're gonna if we're gonna organize anything, let's get their terminologies. Yeah, Maybe. because the, the the when you name a class stock or bone stock or something like that, that it's yeah, like his bone stock, Decker's bone stock is their big class or entry level class. No, entry. Yeah, entry. And our bone stock is our big class in Kentucky. What? Yeah, like Bone Stock is what the the big class everybody's running now. All the shows, like this uh, the St. Jude show next week, it'll be a Bone Stock rule set. Most of them are going off. Brandon Dixon, who owned Wicked Derbies, just sold it to a guy named Will Norwood, I think, is the, the deal in Paris, Tennessee. And their Bone Stock is the terminology used for our rule set. I don't know what's going to change there, but man, imagine if how bought her the Northeast would be. Because the word bone stock got them all crying yeah. up at Mini Meltdown. They were all in tears about the word bone stock. Imagine, like, your bone stock. They'd be. Well, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. They'd be calling the police. We've had guys build. There was kicker cars big for a while or, you know, the quote, unquote, pro mod. You can't really call it a class because every word differs. Just I know. Like, I agree. So you can't even really have the conversation. Nope. That's why there'll never be a stock rule set. There is, though. Well, well it's, it's ours, ours class. Yeah. That's, that's the glory. Yep. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's the only class that'll ever work. Yep. Because you you cannot you couldn't have a mod class, and then like, it's just the country's too big. Tech wouldn't be the same. Well, who tried that? Was it? Um, well, uh, Utah. Dubai, not Dubai. It was uh, the other guy, the XDDL guy, years ago. Oh my gosh! Extreme XDD Demolition Derby League. X XDDL tried doing the unified and going and traveling across the country stuff. I'm wondering if that's not the guy that we did that, uh, a guy from back home, we did oh, this, this I can't thing in Nashville, Tennessee. And yeah, he, he was all over the place doing it. Yeah. And that was the thing. He was taking the same rule set all over the place. But they had this deal where this guy I know built a car. I, I gave him the car. He built it. And I was like a backup driver. But they had celebrities. Um, and it was at Nashville Speedway, Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm thinking he, Dudley something, Dudley Disastro, was that, do you remember that name? Was no. this guy, and he had something going Jeff James. Jeff James, yes, Jeff James. It's on my tongue, because too. I'm, I knew it. Because I'm thinking Dubai, but Dubai, yeah, that was, Dubai done. was done. Um, <laughs> well, that's back when TNN, you know I mean? TNN derbies, yep. you know? They had, the, the, they had Dusty Rhodes on there to commentate and all uh, that stuff. Ruined it. What? Dusty? Ruined it. Okay, yeah. He, TNN yeah. The Motor Madness would have kept going if they didn't bring in stupid Dusty Rhodes to ruin <laughs> it and make it corny and trashy. He killed it for us. Now, Dusty Rhodes did do good on the monster trucks. He was I, in, now, I say that now. I might not have thought so back then, but now. <laughs> um, yeah, I was not. It's like, can we go back to dirt? That's why, like, this fatty fun police has me um, deja vuing Dusty Rhodes. No, we already had Dusty Rhodes look alike. Yeah. In crash Course days. Well, like, is Dusty Rhodes ruined TNN Motor Madness? And I don't want, you know, I don't want to say Fatty ruined. Someday we're all going to say, no matter, actually, no matter what happens, I think we should all say Fatty ruined yeah. Crack Shot Live. But, you know, I also think now we're in a little bit of a different time, so you and I. I'm, like, awesome. <laughs> I'm not being serious. No, I know, but we had <laughs> we had that TNN Motor Madness on Saturday. You had to watch it, or you just didn't watch it. Dang right. right. Well, like VHS now, it. Yeah, with that, I mean, if you had money and afford to be. I did whatever, it. Yeah, well, I'm saying you, now you can go to TikTok and watch the videos or not. You can go to Facebook and watch the videos or not. True. Or if you just, like, you see that and you're like, oh, fun, please, I ain't screwing with that. I'm going to go and I hear the derby part and watch it. So we're not, like, forcing it, you know. I think that's the, the social media aspect. Yes, yes, Separating things. Well, you know, to me, when we started this, when Ben and I started this, we were just trying to, like, stream derbies. But it evolved where you started realizing, like, we're very family oriented. There's tons of kids yes. watching. Not only are we old school, OG, loving old iron and stuff, but we also are trying to bring in the new age. So we have to play like this up and down. Where, you know, some of you guys write me things, and it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Have you seen focused towards you right now? I'm trying Snoop to get Dogg, kids. Snoop Dogg has a thing where like 
he sits around doing what Snoop Dogg does with like Chris Rock or somebody or whoever, and they like watch Animal Planet and talk about. That is it. so funny. But what if we had Snoop that Dogg is so funny. calling a demolition derby? It was like like a heat where it was all Reapers. We already had. I told you you got to get that AI. Let's just start AI in it. And, and you don't have to do it like for Snoop real. Dogg's like, look at this mother. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, we had dude, those are funny. We by had the way. Flavor Flav out in Vegas. We that's did. True. Yeah, that was that was wild. Yep. But you have somebody that's like hilarious and knows nothing about derby. Like that's what our OnlyFans needs to be. True, true. Yeah, you know what I mean. I remember Johnny saying, "Flavor Flav's over there. Go interview him." And I'm like, "No," and he's like, "Seriously, Josh, get Flavor Flav up." And I said right to him, "The famous person that we get on track shot is not going to be Flavor dude, Flav. You <laughs> give me someone better, dude. You I'm not going to put him up. You there. would have hated it if I'd have been. I'm like, if I'd have had Flavor Flav riding Fatty's back, All right. <laughs> dude. I'd have been. We'd have had so much video. We'd had to go buy another memory card." Yeah, I didn't want Flavor Flav. I'm sorry, America. We could have we could have had Flavor Flav, but I I watch Flavor Flav and Bridget Nielsen. I watch that, so it's anchored down to three. I think so. Four. Quick Hank, on the four. four. Yeah. Hank and Pearl look good in that old iron. Yeah, they're going to be hard to beat. I'm it's, not going to lie. I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm watching. I'm, I'm seeing that most wanted fine art number one. I'm getting pumped up for that. Oh, he's stuck in the mud. It's a little sloppy right there, right? Well, this is where if they come out, scrape it off once, it'd be like it was last night. Mm. But but do you got compacts coming out? And youth compacts at that, which is don't, don't pack off it the in. leash. I mean, those youth kids in the sometimes in the mini cars are wild. So, you know, would it... Let them turn it over again, let them tear it up, or go ahead and clear it off. Work it in. Decker, what do you think the odds are we'll ever get Ben Haw in a compact? <laughs> no. Never? 0.00. Zero point zero zero. Could we, could we no. get him in a most wanted compact car? We could get him in a most wanted car, but not a compact. Like, I could see him getting in a Vic. I really? could, yeah, I get. We could get him in a Vic or something. Well, I run like a Taurus at New York and a Honda Accord. In he Minnesota. ain't getting a Taurus and he ain't getting a Honda Accord. Really? No, he won't even. No. I'll take it though. <laughs> I'll take Ben's ride. No. Um, no, Ben's not gonna ride that stuff. Maybe a minivan, Ben. I ran one of them once. And oh, they yeah. hurt, don't they? They're hard. They hurt. Yeah, They're they do hard. hurt. Of course, we weren't running them light either. You know, yeah. it's like put it in reverse and hold it right to the floor and let it rip. They'll go. Yeah. Well, I ran it, and then we ran the minivans out in. Uh, oh, at um, at Throwdown. Yeah, mini, uh, AB yeah. Cat Tech versus Track Shop. Yeah, that, I think a lot of that was rigged. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Prusman had like Prusman had imperial yeah, vans yeah. out there. He had a like, a van, like the, a rumble van. From I remember night out there. getting to his side, and Prusman started like going after me, and I'm looking at his van, and I'm thinking like, "What the hell is this? This is, is a this? tank. What is <laughs> I have no front bumper, and Prusman's like just <laughs> built like a tank right now." You know how I said I'm a fan of the sport, so I keep up with social media. Everybody like everything in the sport. I'm not just a fan of engine builder. I love everything demolition derby, and I met Prusman at the Throwdown. Never had met him before. Uh, the hop is real about Jacob Prusman. Great guy. He's a guy. legit good human being. Oh, my God. Guy, his yeah. dad, his whole family. He introduced himself to me. Dude, saw, and his dad, his dad's Super hilarious. great guy. <laughs> funny. So yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> They've helped us so many times behind the scene. Yeah. Uh, 448 Designs are, like, just wonderful people. He put a lick on me and Fatty. We were, we were filming stuff and didn't see him coming. Boy, that old Prusman come in and smoked us. In the inspection line, just making videos. Love it. And these these Vicks get around so good in this mud because yes. it's so light, you know. It's old iron here having some trouble. Do you guys have a lot of a lot of real 
your tracks down south, are they like this condition-wise, or are they like, are they? No, they're getting where they're. A lot harder. Well, yeah, I think I think the problem is you have a lot of people over Demolition Derby, especially in my area, that don't, that might, you know, have done it, or not, but they don't know it. And they don't pay attention to what's going on and what works other places. And they're, like, I noticed the track in my hometown they ran Friday night. It, it was just gigantic. It was just gigantic, and it was pretty well dry. It looked like, from what I could see, the, the picture I saw. Yeah. And I feel like what happened was, especially in Kentucky, I put a lot on this, kicker cars got big there for a minute. And it's like the cars got harder and harder and harder, and they weren't hitting like we talked about. So they made the tracks bigger. They're like, oh, we're going to give them a show. Well, now everything is reversed. Yes. And the, the cars have gotten, people want to run softer and softer cars, quicker builds, but no one ever thought to bring the track walls in with it. So when you get, you know, if you put 10 New York drivers in most wanted cars on this track, it's not good. No, 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 no. no this track here currently, yeah, but if uh, it was dried out some, right. not good. No. But, yeah, they, no, these tracks up here seem to be a lot harder packed. Yeah. They, our tracks seem to come apart a little more in certain yeah. places, you know. But it's, it's like I told Decker, where I come from in West Kentucky, you know, growing up, you saw the county fair once a year. They had everybody, got, but now – as an adult, and I, like I went up and hanging out with Fatty for a week, we'd go to a derby every day in Ohio. Right. And and in Kentucky, we had you know five or six county fairs within an hour. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had the Redneck Rumble was our our claim to fame about an hour from where I live, and Doug Omer and Misty Shrunk there. I just got hashtag Illinois will win Civil War. What? I just got it. Who's it from? Can you tell me? Now, big cars, I believe that. I guess. John Connor Sr. John Connor Sr. Okay, I believe he's from down around Sturgis area. He's wrong, but. <laughs> not really. I'm just playing, wrong. John. Because who, who, you said New York's not going to win it, but they're going to be the show. So, if Illinois Well, this originally it, started for heaviest hitters in the country. You're right. Now you're evolving it about winning because no. your team's going to lose. No, but no, no, it's no, fine. no, no. I'm just saying I would want to win. But I, I'm not, we need a premise. I will prep talk my group not to care about winning. Did we, you know, but we need some way of saying we need the five hitters. We, we need to find out who the hardest hitters are. We need some, we need some. Uh-oh, cool. Hank's hung up with the other guy. Yep. Oh. Got over top that rear bumper. You know, not, they're not going to knock them loose no, either. No, no, that's no. That's good driving. No. You know something I wish that the promoters nationally would get on board, unified with, is some kind of roof sign rule. Because, like, I do your car however you want it, paint it however, but, like, your roof sign just needs to be your number or your name and your number and plain. Because, like, we got the roof signs to be able to call it and, and whatever, and now it's evolved to decorative. And, and yes. I, I get it. It's cool. But it defeats its purpose. Yes. Right now, I mean, obviously you got guys two. There he got loose. He got loose. Good deal. But sitting here, you can't really call it. You can't see who's who for the most part. Yeah. Except for Hank. That's the other thing too is, what is I, got, I got spoiled with dry tracks and hard tracks because then when you get out on tracks like this, you're just getting rifled with mud nonstop. Oh, yeah. Some guy back home the other day asked me, he's like, what was it like running on that track up there in New York? And I was like, um, Pax Kitty Litter. Yeah. I was like, it's the service is like really like kitty litter. And then you put water on it and it turns to some kind of a mud that's, <laughs> Stone dust. Stone dust. I like it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, you want to come on? I don't care. He better come on. He better get away from where he's standing. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's bring. You want to bring Sour up here? And I'll, I'll sure. check. I need to go check on stuff, and I want to come back for the yeah, yeah. class. So, wait, no, don't, don't, don't say a word. Nobody say a word. Look at this great content right here, boys. Oh, he, he woke up. He was sleeping. <laughs> Critter was sleeping. Got him. No, he woke up right beforehand, but he was. He here was we out. go.
Sauer. What's up? This is the first time we've sat with you all weekend. Hi. You've been busy. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, doing what we're going to do next weekend, hanging <laughs> in the pits. That's my role. I love it. It's a good time. Yup. Nice. I love you guys for giving me the space to do it. And uh, thank you, Demotion Derby, for uh, keeping me busy all weekend and meeting new friends and family. Oh, my gosh. So great. I heard you painted 147 cars. Maybe. <laughs> wow. Maybe. I don't know. I had help. My, my friend Kai Devenich helped me. He's been helping me all weekend. Salute to Kai. Salute yeah. uh, TJ, Deadman Derby, Deadman Crew. Thank you. Thank you, promoters who uh, believe in this. But uh, the weather's holding off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting antsy. I got to run here in one more heat. Are you the next? Yeah, okay. I'm, the no, fir I'm in the first most wanted heat. Yeah, you got the youth compacts next, and then they're doing the most wanted. Yeah, yeah. So is most the most wanted car club together? Yeah, we're all in that. Awesome. We're all signed up late, and Breezer can't go. Oh, did you bring the trophies down? I forgot to do them. I forgot that. I sent David Kettlewood this morning on Thank that you. mission. Well done. Oh, running it up. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Good ending. I think it's going to end like that. Are his wheels even touching the ground? I think it might end like this, folks. There we go. Are they all hung together? If he hooks over his halo, he's in trouble. That's the way it'll okay. end. Okay. Oh, there we go. the other guy's loose. Wow, wow. How's this going to end? Ugly. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, I mean. Look at this. Close, oh, yeah, close, he's close. got him coming down. Where would you hit? If you're aiming, you're coming around, you turn this corner, you're going to take this shot. What do you hit? Rear wheel. The front. Yeah. Of the back car. Give him the best chance you got, right? Wow. Wow. Freight train. That's a lot of weight that just came over there. Good action here. That was really cool. 866. Greg Prinky and Josh Oler. Oler? Oler. In the 686. That's the car that's all by itself. That's uh, Hank Pensick and James Prill. Yep. In the old iron there. Which car are they? Are they the bot yeah, they're they're bottom? Yeah, they're bottom car. The bottom car. Top car is. Uh, Can't make the number out, really. It was. Uh, can't really tell. Oh, they're going to make him break his stick. They're going to make the top car break its stick, I believe, because it hasn't made a hit. The bottom car made a hit. Bottom car made a hit, yeah. I think they're going to make him break I think that's what they're telling him to do. I'm gonna, it makes let's sense. Just, let's just watch the hand. Here he goes. He broke it. Oh. Wow. It makes sense, but this could hurt him, too. But this is a good – I think this is the right call, right, because the yeah. top car never made a hit. Right. I mean, it's a weird one, folks, but – Oh, it's J.D. Lorene in that one. Yeah. Yep. Crowd favorite. If I'm yeah, Hank I sparted the same up. Thing. I don't know who his partner is. Uh, yeah, he didn't put his partner down. He just has J.D. down. One. What do you think? Is he going to leave it in neutral? Ooh, don't start. I that. think, yeah, I think, boy, I don't want to stipulate. Oh, he got the helmet off. The helmet was all on the stacks. What's the legality here? It's just jerk to leave it in park, right? I mean, it's well, jerk, it, but it's not. Of, it's, it might grab enough that it's it'll not, stick, it's, and then you can drive out from under. Right, right. That's a good point. I mean, I don't know. It's science, man. I think if you it was if it was me, it'd be, it'd be a bummer. I got I got shut down, but I think if it was me, I'd I'd make sure it was out of park. Yeah, I agree. That's that's just me. You know, my own personal preference. Mm. Yeah, well, I locked up. I it's would. in park. I can see the back tires. 
I wouldn't know. It'd still be in gear if it was Jason Sauer. <laughs> I'd still be trying to drive off the Oh, park. it's in park. It's in park. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's tough. Well, and then the other car is the 856. Uh, 866. Greg Prin Prinky and Josh Oler out of PA. Maybe. Maybe. Turn the car sideways almost. Tough, tough ending here. In the two-man extreme. Good heat, though. Oh, that, that ride that they took where the two of them went in there and just kept, that must have felt like something. Hank's trying to get them to knock them loose, but they're like, no, nah, we want this to end. Yeah. Yep. Nice. So, Oler and Prinky, first place. Prill and Hank, second. And J.D. Lorene, third. Yeah, and Snyder. It's, oh, I'm sorry. No, I don't, who, I can't see who's the second. No roof sign. Okay, so I don't know who's in there with J.D. Lorraine. No, he, yeah, they didn't put it down. Sorry about that, America. Merck. Wow. Yeah, look there's at a all, lot. Look at all them youth compacts that are coming up next. Oh, yeah, and they're going to they're gonna work the track in for everybody. Well, that's what we had a conversation in the pits, if I'm privy to give you guys some information. Uh oh, how go. Works. Well, we want to talk about because I pulled the Fatty Fun Police car up here to uh, do a little B-roll for Alex Vasco. Um, and Bill, because we had the lights on there and stuff, we we wanted we needed one more B-roll shot. So I yes, pulled up here, and I saw this soupy mess, and I was like, I don't know if I'll get stuck. So I just did donuts out there by the uh, ambulance because it was right. right where Alex was at. So we got that roll, and I went out there, and TJ followed me out in the golf cart, and we wanted to talk about how we wanted the order of events to go down and whatever. And so he come up with this. He's like, let's run these two heats first. That way, uh, it chews up the track. I agree. And that way, the most wanted class will have a fighting chance. I agree. At uh, better track. A little, little, little more traction. But I'm, I'm, you know, because I'm scared. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I've been. They hit hard, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they oh, hit yeah. hard. They, everybody comes here, put on a show, and I'm in the fatty fun police car. I, they might not know I'm in it. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were driving it. <laughs> yeah. You are a target. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might yeah wanna, I, can you paint over the paint? I painted the one side with Saving Christmas right over Fatty. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I had a Fatty written down one side, and we went Saving Christmas right over it. So, But I still look like the Fatty Fun Police car out there. And uh, But so, shout out to my man Greg, uh, Derby Rides BF0. Uh, Greg, he uh, helps me out, brings the car down from Canada, wants to be a part of the team. I love it. Thanks, man. That's really cool. You know? You're the man. I love Derby. I love what we're doing. Sour, we've been playing your art opening video both days. Everybody's been seeing your art opening video. Uh, I thought that was fun. It was something totally different. I'm kind of jealous that I didn't get art, but I understand it a little bit now that I've been there. Certain things just grab people, which I know people say like that. It's about, but I saw it. Mm -hmm. Like somebody said, like, oh, that would be great for blah blah blah, and that's why they buy it. And I, I, I'm waiting for the day that I see uh, something, and I'm going to buy it. Nice. Um, yes, because I, I, I like that. Well, I'm happy that you came and experienced it. Kind of see what the other part of my world is. Uh, I bring this energy this demolition derby energy and since y'all have my back i take it to the most bougiest corners yeah you do of yeah. the world and i'm like look at demolition derby let me tell you about it <laughs> let me tell you all about yeah. the sport i love and how i like to see these things smashed and uh you know seeing the sculptures of a piece of smashed metal uh i think resonates between us it, it's a nice it's the transition you know i'm hoping that i can transition art with these sculptures for, and derby. Like, I can get that to, like, really synchronize. Um, for me, it's just, you know, it's just, just living my great. life every day. You know what I mean? That's I sell derby. I've had a derby car on my trailer at every art opening since I've been 18 years old. I'm 48 now. That's so wild. I've been trying to be Andy Warhol for 30 years. And uh, for 30 straight years, I'm going uh, to give a shout-out to Stonebro and uh, Randy there, Brazel's Chop Shop. He really helped me out in the beginning years. He donated the uh, tilt bed 
And uh, Jeff Reeser and I used to go to art openings. We used to catch derby cars on fire in the street until nice. the police came. Nice. Um, awesome. I, I told you we used to play derby videos on VHS yep. tapes on yep. black and white TVs. We just lived it. And it wasn't until this. I did not know how derby was, like how we're seeing it now. So it took me many years to find out this. Yeah. So I felt really alone in this world. And then you all were like, no, come on. Like, come check this out. And I was like, yes, this is what I've been looking for. So my whole life I've been looking for this community of Demolition Derby. And uh, Thank you. I'm that's super cool appreciative. That that. Yeah, that's cool that you say it like that. Um, yeah, well, you, you like, uh, as I said to your mother, <laughs> um, it was pretty cool. Like, it's, we're just a bunch of country pumpkins and sours got us in an art gallery buying art, you know. I just thought that was kind of cool. Like, wow, two totally separate different worlds came together today and. But we did it well. Like, we hung out in a room full of celebrities. We hung out in. Yeah. I don't have my marker. Um, yeah, no, I totally agree, Sour. I got two red. I got Sharpies. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, it was right. super cool. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's nice. You just basically are hanging out in a room with stuff on the walls uh, that's for sale, <laughs> you know, and you support it or whatever. There's so many ways to support the arts. And there's so much art in your life you might not even notice is art. Like you look at the bobcat, like the uh, the text on the bobcat is a certain way, you know. It's and you recognize it. Hey there. Hey, pardon me. Yes, I love that idea. Sour's got definite time to sign that T-shirt live on air. I'm happy because he's very famous. Stop it. You got it. Look, yeah, hold it right. Up. Oh my parking. God! Imagine that. Fatty and I's signatures are already on it. Oh, look ah. at that. Oh, sorry. Nice. Sorry, I just had it. Ah, That's cool. I see all for him. Who's this one? R.I.P. Th this is the best one, I think. <laughs> just so you know, this corner of your shoulder is the best one. This, this. If you cut this out, you could sell it if you ever needed money. Just this one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just save it. Just save it in your bank account. Listen to this influence I have oh. on you. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> oh, I like this one too. There's some you got some good ones, young yeah, lady. Definitely. Bam. Thank you so much for definitely. coming on. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Madison. Madison. Okay. Thank you so much, Madison, for yeah. coming on. Bye. See ya. I love it. Got her Iron City Nationals sweatshirt on. Salute there. That's where we ran our very first Most Wanted Fine Art class. So uh -oh. got to give thanks. We had Colin Ray on last night. Dad wants to get a picture. Oh, Dad wants to get a picture? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, come on. Yeah, go ahead. Go get ahead. Here. Right, right in there. Rare. Right right <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Sweet. Yeah. Go, go team. Yeah. Awesome, Sour. <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing I wanted to talk about, Sour, is I remember when you and I used to talk about, like, dreams, because we were big dreamers. We um, and you used to talk about, hey, you know, I, I want to be to get to go to California to be in the art gallery. I want to be in New York City art gallery. I want to be in Miami art gallery. Now, fast forward all these years, you've already done them all, right? You're doing them all. I, I have surpassed my bucket list. Uh, I kept my expectations low. I never thought I'd be invited to the levels that I've been invited to. Yeah. I basically bullied my way there, but uh, I, I'm been fighting. I, I compete against generational wealth, and uh, I do it <laughs> with the confidence that Demotion Derby gives me. Well, and people, I don't know if people know that you build these sculptures, and then this is, in my opinion, this is how I know you made it. You get paid to deliver them and set them into the place for the person. Mm -hmm. To me, that's like a real, like yeah, you're full circling the art. Absolutely. It's a part of the price once you hit it at that strata. Yeah. So I I've, I've volunteered for professional artists, uh, Dale Chihuly in Seattle and other professional artists. And I watched how they moved and I, was, and I did the best I could to keep moving. But I'm moving at the grassroots level um, and that's where I'm at on this whole effort. And I'm happy to be on the lowest rung. But I'm happy to be on the ladder, and it's super fun. Uh, if you're going to let me say one more brag, I, yeah, I definitely uh, never thought I'd ever make it this far. I never thought I'd ever make it to Miami. I ever, never thought I'd be on year number eight in Miami. But the biggest brag I'm about to tell you guys right now is the Demotion Derby car has been requested 
to be at the mu Museum of Graffiti in Windwood, Miami, last day of Art Basel, December 10th. We wow. are being accepted into the museum. We are in the canon of spray paint arts. Yes. The Demolition Derby car has been accepted on year eight. We awesome. came in 35 years late, and by year eight, we got accepted into... <laughs> Man, that's final awesome. show, Art Basel with the car. We're we're coming in as sticker bombers, so it's our sticker, sticker bomb bomber. gang. Everybody that plays nice. with the stickers with us, uh, we're gonna just a ton of people are mailing in their stickers, and uh, they're gonna sticker bomb that car that hopefully Decker and I are gonna get uh, going. We're gonna get it. We're gonna, we're gonna get, get, it. get it. All right. We're so Josh it. Decker took me out to the best station wagon I could ever want. Um, yes. So I'm I'm I want to. Uh, Represent Demotion Derby at its most highest of forms. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I got we got I wanted a very specific town and country station wagon. <laughs> Seventy seven. I wanted it big. I wanted the back seat to face the back. And I want when people see it, they're like, Oh, my grandfather took me to Derby's and they used to wreck that. So I'm trying to my goal was or I have an ambitious goal in the next year of how many people in real life we can get this car in front of and just pump up the uh, uh, Demotion uh, Derby, uh, pump up the most wanted class. A Chrysler Town of Country wagon or a... What is yeah. it? Chrysler Town of yeah. Country? Green with wood grain. Mm -hmm. Big block car. You know, just as I, pretty as they come. Uh, the Everest green with that green interior. Yes. It's beautiful. We're taking every window out but the windshield. What's he, do what's he doing? No, don't. No, don't. Where's this kid's parents? They're egging him He's out. going down. Him. He's doing it. America, we are not condoning this kid jumping in freezing cold water. This is not track shot approved. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Easy. Last year, remember? Oh. No. TJ. 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 Oh, the kid's like. Uh, ha, ha, ha. That's our guy. <laughs> TJ. You want to talk about a little responsible this guy right like, there? No. TJ's like, come on, jump in. And he goes, no, I cannot. I'm, I'm, I'm in my good clothes. He did say that. Yes, Actually, he did. I heard him say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here, I'm finding parts for you. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, that's your child. <laughs> that's your child right there. Oh, uh, that, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> just so everybody knows, that's right next to our trailer. Our trailer is underwater. We are floating in that pond. Well, way to... Good thing we had uh, General Ben. Oh! Serena's going. Serena's yeah, she taking says boots she's off. Going. What? No way. Is this happening? Yep. Is this happening? All right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Derby. This is like the ice plunge. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Too funny. Watch this. <laughs> Where's the replay? <laughs> That's awesome. This I'll is our honest. entertainment while they're scra scraping the track off. It looks very <laughs> cold for this right now. It is, too. <laughs> it might be almost 60, but it, it, that water's cold. Do you think it's 60? It was 60 out yeah. earlier. Uh -huh. it's, they were saying it's supposed to be in the 50s. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, don't do that too much because that is clay underneath. That's going to yeah. hurt. Young. It's awesome. Remember when Sour, how do people send you uh how do people send you stickers? Oh. 
Uh, do you just want me to give you my address? Is that bad? Can I just uh, give you my address on air? Yeah, well, I just got people saying, how do we send you stickers? I mean, my address so. is already on the Internet. I know it. All right. MWFA5217. Hillcrest Street. H-I-L-L-C-R-E-S-T. Hillcrest Street. Pittsburgh. This is PA15224. We're saving Christmas. We're slamming stickers all over Miami on this car. We're taking this car to... The Art Car Parade in Houston. I'm going to get 300,000 viewers right there. Bang. 300,000. Wow. Right there. Love it. Week love before, it. I'm going yeah, to Austin go. with it to a festival. Nice. That's it, why we had such a hard time scheduling our April, remember? Yes, yes, yes. No our way. April's full. Our, our April is very full now. I'm, I'm, like, doing some outside derby efforts to really sell it, like, to some real big crowds. I like it. Uh, well. Taking it to monster festivals, revving it up, you know. We've, I think Track Shot's maxed our, our <laughs> crowd as far as demolition. Actual oh, wow. demolition people. Oh, safe. Oh, we had you on air already. Oh, my. All right, hit the showers. <laughs> There's got to be a camper out there with warm water. It's going to be cold <laughs> in about a half an hour, if not already. Uh, I believe TJ owes you a handwritten thank you note. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was going to go to another video, but go I think, should I, should I? Yeah, because they're going to clear this. Bill, do you got a two-minuter? Two two Hit us with a two-minute, but not an eight How minute. about uh, Fatty doing dishes at Kelly O's? Yeah, see, Flower knows. I don't know if he's got a cued, though. A two-minute fast one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Surprise I, us. I don't want cobwebs getting all over Bill. <laughs> all right? I don't want him getting rusty. You know? We've kept him hopping today so far already. We have, right? we have. He's yes. on his toes. He can't see us, which we love. Well, you can right now. He's got us on us now. <laughs> well, he does. Yeah. Hi, buddy. He knows, yeah. Oh, he oh. can't yeah. see us. I'm wearing yeah, the new right. yeah. Von Clutch sweatshirt. If you guys are wondering what's up, Clutch, Clutch. hook me up, Von Clutch. Uh, I was thinking he is the uh, Pamela Anderson to oh. Tommy Lee. Okay. He's the Pamela. Okay, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's Von Clutch. I like it. So if you watch the documentary, that that's a dad joke. Dad joke. Um, Bill, hit us. What do we got? CNC. Check out our products on NDCNC.com. Let's talk about your products. All right, these are strut risers. They go between the strut and the body to give your front end ride height. These here fit a 02 to 06 Camry. These go to the W bodies, 98 up. Thanks, Clutch. And they also have some big car stuff. These are 03 Vic. Same thing, strut risers goes between the strut and the body, gives the front end ride height. Nice, so somebody that needs to get their car up a little bit, don't have to struggle with uh, tires, they could do something like this. Right, you and guys. where you're not allowed to do certain things, that's a bolt in, plug and play. Nice, and what do we have here? What's this other item? Uh, this is a header protector, it just offers a little protection to your uh, brand new exhaust you paid for to keep from getting bent or to uh, put a little pressure out there. Nice, and what else do we got coming in here? Thanks, Clutch. We have a line of ECM mounts. We have them for Camrys, W bodies, Hondas, even the 4.6s. For those that don't know what an ECM is, can you explain? The computer. Okay. It's our computer. The brain of the car. Yeah. We have them for a lot. You can check our website for the variations, but we have them for LS2. 
very nice. Very and this nice is your, uh, your big product, correct? Our stable product. Thanks, Steve. And what do you guys do with this? Uh, you can narrow wheels, you can remove a center, and you can remove a face. Multi-wheel tool. I like that. I so where do people go if they want to get in touch with you to order stuff? NindyCNC.com. Nice. Remember, folks, NDCNC.com is the place to get all their great products. And if you want to have a drink while you're watching commercials of NDCNC, they even got a product for that. Hey, all right. Hello. I'm back with the most wanted car club. Who do I got here? Brandy. Brandy. And Kai. And Kai. Uh, we've been doing this for quite a while, and I'm happy to uh, get my great friends on here. Uh, we've got to squeeze in tight like we're in a hockey, like we're in the basement in Dormont. <laughs> Some of you out there have been to the basement in Dormont. This is how tight it is, right? It it's, is cozy. Tight. it's cozy. It's cozy. Uh, how do you guys feel about the motion derby today? Uh, it's a little soggy, but it's good. It's yeah. good. We just had that nice little uh, uh, impromptu uh, mud wrestling situation there <laughs> with the kids. That was super cool. Um, you know, just trying to stay dry and stay warm and, you know, it's a good day. Right? I love it. Hold on. Our it also bag stopped over. raining, so that's nice. Yes, it has. But Kai has been helping me spray paint uh, all weekend. Uh, Kai, we, we had a bunch of cars lined up, and we really knocked it out, and I, I got a salute to my man Kai. But, hey, uh, while I got you all's attention, first off, thank everybody at home. That's watching right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to Track Shot Live, taking Always. part of your Sunday and uh, hanging out with us here. In your nice, warm, dry living rooms. <laughs> <laughs> or wherever you're. Send us pictures where you're watching from. Yeah. So up next is the Youth Compacts. There's quite a few drivers there. Then after that, it's the Most Wanted Heat 1. So you're going to see all of us from the Most Wanted Car Club in that heat. Yep. Uh, so we're going to just be on here for a moment and then go get in our cars, <laughs> put our helmets on, and... How you feel, Kai? You nervous? Throwing some mud in yeah. a Subaru this time. Guys nice. in a Subaru. Nice. I'm in a Dodge Caliber. I'm here for moral support. Mm. What's your husband driving? I don't know. Crown Vic. Crown Vic. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's told, only told you. I was gonna times. say he wouldn't stop talking about it. So. <laughs> he probably hasn't stopped talking in weeks about it. Uh, he talks a lot. <laughs> he spent the night here at the track last night. He is so stoked. I know. He and he had a buddy, David Kettlewood, pulled his car up next to him. He spent the night there too. So he had a roommate in the uh, pits last night. He oh, was so happy. Isn't he was fun? so happy to sleep in his truck. <laughs> Right. I was like, I'm going home. I did the two-hour drive. He's back just a happy time. guy. I, there's nothing else I can say. He's nice. just happy. Uh, so while we have your attention, saving Christmas, December 16th, uh, if you have the ability to donate, we are accepting coats, food drive, art supplies, and our big one is Target gift cards. And if you're, like, wondering, I don't know how much to give, I would say 50 bucks is just, that's plenty. Oh All right? Gosh, or yeah. less. Or less. Just yeah, don't. Uh, we're we're doing it. Yes, we're gonna December sixteenth. We're gonna have the. Um, we we've got worked with Bloomfield Garfield Corporation. We got uh, Santa coming to yep. the community center. Um, last year we were outside the community center. Remember, and yep. we did such a good job. They invited us in. Now they're we're teaming together and we're creating a saving Christmas. Remember when we saved Christmas, Kai? Yes. When Every we first year, started it, save everyone's Christmas. These people are so excited just for a $20 gift card. So if you could give and help save someone's Christmas, uh, that's what we're here for. So, uh, How it started was years ago, Toys for Tots uh, wasn't able to facilitate. Uh, yeah, they weren't able to do it. So as most wanted as a gallery, we had the building and the resources and access to box trucks. Do you remember that? We had a chest high. <laughs> Toys, toys and, and just they went in the building they went out of the building and i was just so moved by that that i was like we need to recreate that you know what i mean yeah. just that level of care well the really? other thing is is that toys for tots i mean they're fantastic don't get me wrong but they focus a lot on the younger kids and i feel like that preteen teenager age kind of gets overlooked a lot and you want to make them feel special too you know, you, you don't want to leave those kids out. Right. And, and the gift card lets them get something that, you know, that they really want or that they really need. And it might it's be age just, appropriate. Yeah, and it might know. be just, a, you know, a charging cord. Right. But for them, some that's access or to earbuds, their world. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I can't just guess. But what it is, it might be food that they buy. Yes. You know what I mean? This, or just 
supply. So why we choose Target is because the neighborhood that we're focused in Target on, or we help, uh, Walmart isn't within the buses. The neighborhood that we're targeting. <laughs> nice, nice. Target. <laughs> that was a leech joke. <laughs> That's a leech joke. Bad joke. Uh, so we're yeah we're helping we're helping out our neighborhood between uh, what is it 45th and 55th, and then the East End Ministry Cooperative, which. For your wedding, we did a food drive for, and that was pretty yes. cool. And uh, they're they're stoked to be working with us again, and along with the Mary Lemieux Foundation and the Children's Home. How can they donate to uh, make this happen? Uh, okay, so hit me up on Messenger. I've already given you my address, MWFA 5217 Hillcrest Street, Pittsburgh, PA 15224. I accept stickers and Target gift cards or Aldi's or Family Dollar or Dollar General. Those are the four things that are within walking distance of the neighborhood that we're trying to help um but you know i i just i appreciate it and if you're saying hey i want to do that in my community i i encourage you we have the ability to help on like a micro level and uh we take it you know we're very passionate about it as a most wanted car club oh, it's nice to do you know you might not be able to fix everything for everybody but you could maybe do something little that makes a difference you know yeah it makes someone's day we're very blessed to be in this situation we are in absolutely you know, extra cars to smash right so it's yeah. always nice to give back to people you know make their christmas happen and you know if gift cards or you know whatever if that's not the case if you want to send 20 bucks we can run to the store and get art supplies or coats or gift cards you know yes we'll, we'll make it work right and we're we're trying to be more legit. We had me we're having meetings now. Oh yeah. We have we're meeting on first Mondays as a car club. That's coming up just so you know. And yeah, uh, it's next Monday. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're just so we're 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 putting in the effort. We're moving yeah. at We have a we're, gavel. We we're moving at the snail's <laughs> pace. But we uh you know we can you know I mean we I see how other car clubs are able to make giant impacts. Right. And I was like Let's give it. Let's give it a. Tr well, let's give you got to go. start somewhere. You know what I mean. And uh, so I appreciate you guys coming up here and like helping me tell the story. Oh yeah. Uh, you guys got my back all the time, and I appreciate it. You call me in the morning and get me going. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the other day I was shaking, didn't wasn't ready to jump jump on the ladder, and you gave me a call and made sure I was okay. Well, I know ladders aren't really <laughs> your your thing, which is kind of weird for somebody who paints murals, but you know. I do. Well, uh, here's what I know. <laughs> The money's at the top of the ladder. I just got to go get it. But I'm well, so scared. It's just as long <laughs> as you're not in a stalled out like boom lift. Oh, that was the worst <laughs> moment. I had to act cool, and I did not have it in me. I did not have it in me. I was like, <sighs> I went up there with the tech, and he's like, this thing isn't working. I was like, you're the tech. We're, ni <laughs> we're 90 feet up in a windstorm, and I'm just like, don't puke. Don't puke. <laughs> oh yeah, that would but, be awful. But my, but our main man Mike Tix is up there. That's how he starts his morning. That's his first yeah. rep is ninety feet. Yep, uh, stretch. Goodness gracious! <laughs> right, I could never the, those guys in their cranes. But hey, I love it. You can hey. buy with a little help from your friends, you know. Right. Well, hey. So tell everybody where you can uh, find you on the uh, internet. Uh, me? Yes. I believe my TikTok is Brandy Woz W O Z right there. Um, I'm Facebook friends with Jason. You know, if, if you see me out there, shoot me a message. We can get you to the right place to make donations. Same with Kai. Kai's yeah. a super fly Kai. But if you find Fun one of us, great. you'll pretty much find all of us. So Yeah, we just you know. follow Jason. You'll find us eventually. That, well, I wasn't answering my phone yesterday, and old Colin Ray had to reach out to the rest of the car club oh, yeah. to find out whether or not we were here. I was like, because I, I always use my phone to look at the pictures, and I just... Once you open it up, I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Well, but you're a busy man. man. I love it. Well, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to get Greg up here. No, you got <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Greg from Canada. Come on. Hey, did you – Um, let me ask you real quick. What were the donations like so far this weekend? Because this is my first day here. Oh, okay. So our friend Timothy uh, Johnson out there in Minnesota started with 100 bucks to get the season started off. Oh, wow. We got – Nationwide Insurance jumped in. Uh, we no got way. Team Ramrod j dropped off a yeah. whole pickup truck load of nice. toys and stuff in the back of Kai's truck. Oh, my God. Uh, team uh, Boyer from Ohio, formerly Meadville, showed up with uh, gift cards and art supplies. So shout out to everybody that's, that's already 
started to help out and wow. like, are jumping in. And uh, we have other people, uh, you know, and uh, I'm very thankful. Sayopa Racing already donated. Uh, so how the day of event for December 16th is going to go. Cash on the hood in the morning from 8 a.m. to 10. Noon to 2 is at the community center. Then from 3 to 5, we're having a party at Todd's new uh, bar there called the Dante Club underneath the Rankin Bridge. Okay, Plenty cool. of parking for art cars. Nice. Plenty of parking. Yeah. We'll be there with the Las Vegas. Right. By, and then by 5.30, it's nap time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be ready by 5.30. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Right, but uh, I'll be emotional wreck is what those, it is. Those podcasts so our, start early, man. <laughs> they do. So uh, our goal is to get Clutch in the elf uh, costume, and uh, he can sit on JR's lap. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, JR. Mm -hmm. I hope you're watching, JR. We missed you today, bud. That's for certain. We don't have the all-wheel drive on the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, guys, let me get Greg up right, here. Cool. Come on, Greg. Yeah. Come on over, man. Yeah, I'll see you guys out in the parking lot. I'm going to get Greg and Decker, whoever. I want, I want Greg for just a second, but you can come up with me, Decker or Ben. Come on, right here. Yeah. How's this first? Oh, you're going to slide in the middle. Move over here. Slide over here. Oh, Wait, I got to be on this side. So I All right, I'm here now. Okay. What the hell going on like this? Just like that. There you go. Oh, I hear you. Yep. Can you hear me? And then we'll adjust your mic there. That way they can hear you at home. Okay. Great. All right. Tell them who, the, who you are. I am Greg Miller from Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. I uh, you've, you've hooked me up with some great Canadian flags that I've been uh, using for all season. Right. And Good flags, bad cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to wreck a car that you brought me from yeah. Canada. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what it came from, Canada? Yeah. Well, yeah so awesome. I'm wrecking the Fatty Fun Police car. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, I don't think people are know that I'm in it, even though we've wrote my name on it. I think yeah, they probably already assume who I'm going to be. Uh, well, I'm fatty out they're, there. They're going to be paybacks from that whistle all weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much okay. for all helping right. out the Most Wanted Car Club, bringing cars, helping the crew get their cars ready, bringing assistance yourself. I do what I can. I, I, I don't know if you want all this, like, but I, I want to let you know, BF0. What's that I, mean? Uh, <laughs> I used to run double zero, and then I got lazy, and I went down to one zero. And somebody out of the corner said, oh, that's appropriate because you're a big, fat loser, big, <laughs> fat zero. Yeah. So that kind of stuck. So I'm big, fat zero. <laughs> Up at home, I've got a little business called Derby Rides by BFO. It's zeros turned to O, BFO. Yep. I build for the kids. I still like building, but I'm too old to drive. I'm 60 years old, so I don't really drive much anymore. I'm kind of old and frail, but I still enjoy doing it. Yeah? Yep. yep. And uh, so when you say you build for the kids, what's this mean? Well, just the same as I do for you. I build the cars and yeah. I rent them out at home for and, 100 bucks And that's in your local track? Or you drive well, long distances to hang uh, out with me? Well, I come down to the stage because the derbies are that much better. Mm. There's the car counts are just crazy down here, and they wreck their stuff. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the old iron is just, I love the old iron because we don't have that at home. All our stuff's rusty. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I really enjoy coming down here. There was five weekends in October, and I was in the States for all five. Hey. <laughs> oh, nice. I was in Morris, New York, and then I was Dunbar three weeks ago. I was Florida for a couple of weeks, and now I'm here again. Mm. i got to take a break when I get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. take a break in Florida. Yeah. No, I gotta, <laughs> well, i got to go back there again, too. Yeah. I, I take my dad back and forth. Mm. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you making the drive and coming out here and uh, hooking me up with cars uh, all season. And I'm sure we'll do it again next season. I know it's not much, but it's enough to cover my weekend. So I appreciate it, too. All right, well, it, look, isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. That's like, super cool. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have uh, such a generous offer. Yeah. You know? Yep. It keeps me in the game, yeah, which, exactly. is, which is really cool. And, uh, you know, that's, and that's helpful for, uh, for people who can help. Right. Because like, there's people out here just like you who want to just build and not so much drive. Just enjoy being a part of it. If yeah. You can. So yeah, if I've, you feel I've, like you want to build, there's, there's, there's that most wanted driver out there for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've yeah. transitioned into that class, a little bit more dude. now. Class is what I like. Yeah. I hate taking windshields out. I hate dropping gas tanks. You don't mind if we leave them in here. We did take yours out today because of the rain, but right. I just hate doing stuff like that. So I enjoy this class a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you are taking advantage of it and uh, making it and helping it grow. So that's why I really wanted to... Let Track Shot World know 
Uh, we have a lot of support out here oh, in the yeah. pits. Yeah. It's not just yeah. five, eight, nine of us. There is like no, there's, oh, it's, there's it's, two thousand people that really make sure that we're. It's a movement, you know what I mean? It's it's a literal movement yeah, across right. uh, with your classes going all over the place. So we even have it in Canada. Ron McClung has a couple. Yeah, of Ron, Canada, bad Ronnie. Yep. Uh, he shops at my uncle's, J and J Sour, and he comes and gets pickup truck beds uh, and stuff. Okay. Been there before he put me to work. Yeah. Ron put me to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a vacation. <laughs> uh -huh. Here we go with the youth compacts pulling out, and there's a bunch of them. Nice. You want to stick around for this? Um, I just would mention that Wes Riley's daughter's in it with the car that Wes Wes ran yesterday. Uh, that's not her. She's in number 40, Skyler Riley. Right. Yeah. Another Canadian. There's a lot of Canadians down here. Right. Not I'm maybe at this show, but a lot of us come down here. We like yeah. for you. Well, I got to jump off because I got to go put my helmet on. I'm, I'm up Wait. next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Josh will jump back on. Yeah. Josh okay. will jump back on. So uh, I'll just run down real quick. And uh, good seeing you, man. Good seeing you. Uh, good luck, sir. Right. Good luck, brother. They, uh, I'm gonna run down real quick at the list. It's it's a little long. We got uh, Deuce Burgess, the number two out of Muncie. Natalie Burgess, number five out of Muncie. Mason Cumberledge, 910 out of PA. Landon Daly, 253 out of Ohio. Jason Delerto Jr. out of Dillonville, Ohio. Annie Duris, Duris, 69 out of Wellsville, Ohio. Cade Gruss, 201 out of McConnellsburg, PA. Madison Grimm, 575 out of Connellsburg, PA. Connellsville, PA, sorry. Danny Heaton out of Ohio. Skyler Hunter, 13 out of Muncie, PA. Mac Lulee, 35 out of Rootstown, Ohio. Brendan McCall, 349 out of Ohio. Parker McAfee, 18 out of Ohio. Connor or Brady McAfee, 11X out of Ohio. Connor Miller, double zero out of Ohio. McKaylin O'Hara, 527 out of Ontario. Tyler Fluge, 23 out of New Brighton, PA. Caden Phillips, 28 out of Tynesta, PA. Corbin Sampson, 11K. Aiden Small, 007 out of Derry, PA. Hunter Wheeler, 69 out of Tawanda, PA. Landon Young, 01 out of Pittsburgh, PA. Eric Young, 02 out of Rochester, PA. Skyler Riley, 40 out of Smithville, Ontario, Canada. Chase Clemo, 40. He's out of PA, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Salem Rupert, 27. And Richie Dickin, 420. Bill, would you mind swinging our camera on us? Because we got the man, the myth. <laughs> Jeffy's Fab Farm up here. And, Jeff, this is like, tell us what we got here. Um, yeah, Bill, could you switch back to us? We got a floating camera. Uh, there we are. Yes, there we here we are in the bottom of the screen. Thank you, Bill. Not taking, not taking up deck. No, that's fine. Get in my face. That's All right. right. Check this there out. There we go. Yeah, there you go. So what this is, is this is unique to a dead man show. Um, this is TJ's creation, and I just brought it to life. This is the Jeffy's Fab Farm Wheelman or Wheel Person Award. Uh, we do it for the youth heats. This isn't the top five driver. This isn't the Mad Dog. This isn't anything. We've done this before. I've sat with Ben and done this before. And yep. Yep. What this is is somebody gets themselves out of a great predicament, takes three on one, drives smart, good shots, brakes, wheels. It's a wheel person, somebody that shows great promise, somebody that shows that in the future they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Like a, a Cody Riley yeah. from right. back in the day. You yes. know, man, exactly. that, that kid's yes. going to go far. So yep. um, so that's that's what this is. And uh, thank you guys for letting me come sit up here, watch this heat. We get to pick a winner. Yep. And uh, we get to present this to somebody who's uh, deserving of, uh, you know, smooth controls, yeah. cool heads, and, uh, you know, something new, unique, it, so. Yeah, and with the kids today and these heats today and the kids and the ones I've been watched and have been involved with, that's not an easy decision because they're all just like all of a sudden, you know, you look at them like, man, I don't think I want to be out on the track with them, you know, because they're so level-headed and they're making such great decisions. There's so much at their fingertips now that we uh, never had. I was going to say. I mean, they get watch raw footage, playbacks, listen right. to people talk yes. about driving styles. Before, that was kept in your court, yes. right. in your shop, yes. and you had to 
beg for somebody to yeah. give you just a little taste of that information. No, you know it's just I mean? it's, this is just like no. sports. Or take your pile home and go, yeah. what did I do wrong? This you is know? like sports back in the day and what athletics teams I'm do. I'm going to set you know, this down watching, so I don't chop my leg. Though. You know, they watch they watch the game tapes, you know. They watch the game tapes. They they, they uh, do the research. They scout scout teams, you know. They're able to do that now in the derby aspect. They're know? scouting cars. They're scouting parts. They're scouting venues. Scouting what type of cars, what and, and 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 everything else, and it's crazy. I had two guys in front of my table. They must have been, I don't know. I'm bad at age twelve. <laughs> they were talking about track conditions. What are they? I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't care. Put me in a car. Get me out there. Track right, conditions. Right, right. Yeah, it was the last thing on my mind. Yeah. In a lot of ways, like kids now are like way more mature than we were at that age. Like some of these kids, I, I talk wouldn't say to mature. Like I'd say advanced. 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 Yeah. advanced. It's not, yeah. Some of them are <laughs> mature if you listen to their mouth. Correct word, correct. Their mouth. Yeah, you're right. Um, but, yes, they, they have some huge They're huge way advantage. farther than I was at their age, right? You're and, like, and, oh. and we are a lot nicer than the guys that oh, yes. would yeah. or wouldn't give us yeah. information. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But the rain sign has subsided. Hopefully the track, Hopefully the track holds up. up. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited, boys. This is awesome. Yeah. This good. Th the good thing about having this heat on it right now, it'll it'll work the track in pretty good. Not yep. not not particularly tearing apart yep. like like a like and a digging, heavy limited weld class. And digging you know? down. Yep. 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 Nice corner to corner shot right off the hop. Red flag. Got a bumper on the track? Yep, bumper on the track. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was vacuum sealed in the mud on the track. I've seen that. <laughs> It's some of the stuff, some of the stuff these kids got on their cars. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just reading some of the stuff, and it's like, yeah, there's adults. <laughs> they missed that, right? <laughs> you know, we're also gonna watch for who's taking the coaching, who doesn't need coaching right. out there. Right. You know, and it's so hard. I've I've ridden past, and it's so hard. You want to grab the controls, and you, but you gotta let them do it. You gotta let them. Duke it out, fight it out. Now what is, do you, do you know what TJ's uh, Limit is that it's considered a youth as an age or is it? I think it's 17. Chase Clemo is, is over 16, I know. Yeah, depending on the venue, depending on the promoter, there is that one little gap yeah. between 16 and 18, but. Yeah, that's, that's a big difference. Yeah. Big difference. Kids grow a lot in that year. Yeah, because this, this little 007 over here, uh, Aiden Small, he, he needs a cushion under the seat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little guy. But Drive, he's, he's driving wheel, smart. He's wheeling that wagon, yep. though.
Nice wheel shot by the 910 there. We got a wig, a wig on a helmet here with this double O Miller. Looks like he's got a little staple up marshmallow man. He's got a big wig on top of his helmet. I'd say a, a good chunk of them gone, but a, a lot of them left. Good battle here, all these kids. Hunter Wheeler looking good in the number 69. Did very well in the youth championships. All right, I saw some broken sticks, so we're losing a couple oh, yeah. here and there. Waving it up, saying I'm done. Yep. Natalie Burgess, she's looking pretty good to number five. Oh, something's going on here. She got a fire. Red flag, red flag. What we got going on here? They got a fire, I think. Not sure what. Not sure what we got going on. Yeah. I don't know if there's a wire, wire fire or something maybe. I think maybe. It's yeah. something that they see. We got Wes and Skyler getting out of their car, but I think it's in front of their car. I don't think it's Clemmel's. No, I don't know. I don't think so either. You're learning with us, America. This dad's yes. got a costume on. I like it. He's a dinosaur right in front of your screen. Um, they got some, they, his driver, he's got some sort of a afro on top of his uh, helmet. They're trying to decipher now. No, maybe it's a fuel issue. Yeah, I think so. So, Jeff, do you have a good weekend? I had a great weekend. You look busy yeah. back there, brother. Started off by getting a uh, little knocked out by Oh, Andrew let's go Meyer. back to that. Oh, my <laughs> God. It seems like an eternity ago. But, dude, what a – dude, first off, that was one of the best heats of the night. Was it? Oh, my God. I knew with 10 trucks out there, this Shoot. big track, and me and Andrew Myers out there. <laughs> it was going to be fun. Dude. I knew it was going to get rough, but not that rough. You got to watch it back because – well, well, maybe you don't want to because you, you – right on camera. I mean, it was on camera. Apparently, it was yeah. disturbing. Yeah. 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 I, get, uh, I, get, I get laid out. 
You got laid out. First time in 26 years. As soon as you got hit, I'm like, he's all light you, you can't tell people you weren't. Uh, yeah. You can't I, you I was definitely out. Uh, they gave me a minute to come to. The biggest thing was that I needed a drink. Yep. I, I had such bad dry mouth. Yep. yep. And, and I was like, just pass me a bottle of water. I'm good. I'm good. And the EMS guy was like, He's like, are you okay? Where are you? I said, Dunbar, Pennsylvania. He says, what are you doing? I said, I'm in the demolition derby. He goes, what are you going to do now? I said, I'm going to kick Andrew's ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was really cool is, um, and I don't know if you noticed this, but he was in a leaf sprung suburban. Yes. You were in a coil sprung yes. suburban. We analyzed it all, went back and forth between the two of you because you guys are rocking back, rocking back, right? We all thought that the leaf spring would have been a better choice. But really, yours bent so much nicer than his did. And Andrew and I actually just discussed that on the table, and we are going to get some more, and we're going to put some more to the test. And yes, I've, I've, everybody told me coil sprung is going to go down, it's yes. going to do this, it's going to do that. And in the Northeast or in Canada, they do, they, they go bad. Nice little Southern, my old daily driver. It's solid in the back. That thing bent exactly like a Crown Vic. It's nose in the front. Yep. It rolled in the back, and yep. I will run. And that thing's got a 70-inch one-piece drive, drive shaft. shaft. <laughs> and I thought for sure that was going to be my downfall because I know yep. my foot can be heavy. Yep. And I love that thing. I liked how your back I rolled. I love it. Oh, yeah, Andrew's beautiful. roll back did not. No. He said the leaf springs were actually out of the frame. Yeah, yeah. and you can see the and it pushed the front one. Yeah way ugly like his, yeah. his tires are shoved way up forward and he'll yeah. be the first to admit he's like i thought i had you i thought my truck was gonna be i said your nose was deadly yes and i said mine was nose from last week i pulled it down you can't do anything and uh, he says i'm gonna start looking for those suburbans i love those gmt 8 800 chassis i love them love driving them they're 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 awesome that truck owes me nothing yeah that was fun to watch <laughs> yeah you, i mean that truck gave you a good yeah. life Now we've got some heat in the vehicles. We've got some dead cars tying things up. A little bit of a greasy track. And now it's more and more of a chess game. Yeah. I'm watching the, the, the head control and the steering wheel control of this 420. 420 is this uh, Richie, Fourth, Richie, Fourth. Richie Dickin? Right on the bottom there. Richie Dickin? Is yep. Richie, yeah, Richie Dickin. Very, very good car control out of that, uh, out of that, those guys there. Uh, 69 a wheeler he's he's driving very he's good he's doing a lot of work yes yeah he's a he's an up and comer for sure that's uh hunter right yep yeah good tire shot there in front of us
still a good number of cars. I'm going to say almost yeah. 10 of them out there, right? I mean, there's a good number. And you're right, Ben, they're really having no problem traction-wise here, like no. it's in the center of the track. There's some ugly no. spots in it, but they're moving fine. I was actually gonna, just going to say that, you know, these cars have such an advantage to learn how to drive because if we were out there with rear-wheel drive cars as kids, we'd right. be holding to the floor, not going anywhere. You know, these kids can still navigate, steer, get around. Yes. So... Well, and in this From day and age. From a learning standpoint, this is really hard to beat. Yeah. Right. And in, the, and in this day and age, when they're coming up through as kids, when they get their licenses and start driving, nine times out of ten, it's going to be front wheel or all wheel right. drive. So it's, it's like my, my daughter hasn't even ever driven a rear wheel drive vehicle. Right. <laughs> Hunter, right. Hunter, on the other, way, other hand, I put him in my truck, you know, and, and learn right. how to drive in that. But I got people chiming in on my Facebook telling me who to pick for a wheel man. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. That means people are watching. Hi, everybody. Yep. Old Rupert there, he's doing pretty good too. That's very, three, very smart. It's 349. He's been making good shots and he never stays in one spot. No. Nope. Really, good really good track awareness. And he, he hasn't made a really quote unquote bad shot yet, really. Right. Super patient. But he's also con he's also conscious that you're not even close to 60 seconds on a on a shot clock right. on him. So he's probably he's he's averaging. That was a good shot. Yeah, it was. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Number five, uh, that would be uh, Natalie Burgess. Yes. She, uh, she's all done. She was doing real good for a long time. So how's your weekend been, guys? I've seen you here or there, but we've all been busy. Um, well, that's, that'll sum it up. Long, <laughs> long, yeah, yeah. long days, yeah. lots oh of action. Oh, my God. We went to bed all every night at 2 a.m. in the yeah. morning back up here. I've been sleeping in which has been wonderful. Um, Fatty decided that he was going to tell people he was going to get here early. He so did. I said, well, we knew that was happening. Yeah. But that immediately <laughs> let me show up late. And it's the first time I ever got to show up at Track Shots late. Nice. I loved it. <laughs> and I can't wait to do more of it. <laughs> but I got to hang out with you guys a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was up great. In New York. Yes. And then you went to Minnesota. Minnesota was awesome. Uh, I mean, just loving it. Uh, New York was wonderful. The weather was great. Oh, was it ever. I definitely have a soft spot for Morse, New York. You know that. But, man, yep. I have frozen there before. Yes. It's hit or miss. It is. It's very hit or miss. But just like Dead Man, right? It's just like this place. You might get you might get a couple of good days. You might not. PA in October, it's gonna rain. Yeah. It's gonna rain at least one day. But make the most of it. And let me throw a shout out to you because you For helped me. us raise our goal. Oh. We hit eighty-two thousand dollars to San Filippo, over five hundred thousand in our our history, and yes. I loved you because people don't know how much you. <laughs> Donated. <laughs> loved, and loved in past tense. You no longer love me? No, no. <laughs> Bring your flag with you. Jeffrey, no, no, no. I definitely love you. Yeah. Um, I don't think people realize how many gaps you fill for us. And you gave away tons of product. I there was tried. times where we got in little jams for this or that, and Jeff just get, get, take, 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 take it, take it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I've told you from the bottom of my heart, I'm very fortunate to be in the position I'm in. Everybody says you work your ass off for it, but it does take people believing in me to get where I have been. I try and give back as much as I can. Maybe one day I can't. Hopefully that never happens. And, and while you can, you do. I am I am very, very blessed to be where I am, and I, I thank all you guys for that. 
I don't think Mini Meltdown or San Felipe would be as great without you. Oh, I, you man. Know, no, that's a fact. I'm not even you wondering. Hit, I you know. hit me right in the feels. I know. And it's like when we say with TJ, when we when we're a partner, right? And I've talked to you. I mean, we've been part. We've been talking about. And we don't mean partner like business partner. It just means you trust each other and you, you just tell each other straight up all the time and you work at, to get to goals. You help Absolutely. each other reach goals. And I love that. We've been doing that for a long time now. The partnership can be simplified by just believing in each other. Yes. As it, you know, you may not talk for six months, but when you do talk, you got each other's back. Yes. And, and that's Ooh. what's elevated me and got me where I want to be. You know, and, and I'm sure you feel the same way. Yes. And it's just, I mean, to do this, to do what I do is, I'm just so freaking thankful for it. I joked last night, Jeff, because your name is said Jeff, Virginia, and I said no. He's not <laughs> yeah, Virginia. I know, I know. He's not Virginia. He's Canadian. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. You are you are born and bred Canadian. Thirty-eight years. Thirty-eight years. The same house. The same town. Yeah. Thirty-eight but, years. They'll never take that away from me. Yeah, I'm not gonna call you a Virginia boy. That 69 and Wheeler's car is just stupid loud. Yeah, and I think he's getting hot, so they're just really he's getting a little bogged down. I think he's a little low in the front now, maybe a little little bellied out. Corner, no one's coming to save you out there. Number 11's got no front bumper in there. They're driving smart and only using the back. They've been kind of protecting it well. Or is that the 14? No, J1. J1X. J1 Jr. Jason DiLoretto Jason. Jr. Young's been driving good in that red and, and black yeah, one yeah, the yeah. whole time. The two with the, uh, was it 01 and, uh, and uh, Dickens? Yes. Richie Dickens in the 420, right? The white one you're going to talk about? Yep. Driving very smart. You got. I think there's another Young out there. Is there two Youngs out there? Full blue roof signs? Yes. 01 Landon. and 02? Yep. Landon in 01 and Eric in 02. You know that's a huge Derby family because they're both driving smart. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And they've got it even harder because when they come off the track, it's like, you should have drove like him. And yes, you know, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, I placed higher than you did. <laughs> yeah, think about that around the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> Besides these cupcakes, I don't know how much I ate today. Oh, some fries. Uh, I had, I had a slice of pizza, which was delicious. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to swap seats with somebody soon. <laughs> if Anthony <laughs> Wallace ever came back to work. How about some back? Yeah, all the action's unfortunately on the opposite end for us. Yeah. What do we got left? 01, 02, uh, 1J, J1, yep. J1 Jr. Yep. yep. 9, Fredo. 10. Who's 9, 10? Mason Cumberledge out of PA. And what is that? Uh, was that 11, that orange car over? 11, yeah. That'd be uh, 11X Brady Mc McAfee. He's out of Ohio. Scoyo, Ohio. Ohio boy. Well. He's in camouflage because he's not. He's in a red car instead of black. <laughs> <laughs> they do have colors in Ohio. Well, Walmart must have sold out of the black. <laughs> yeah, January first. Right. 
I forget where we went. We went somewhere and we went to go buy paint, and there was no black. No <laughs> black. All no, the black. No satin out. black. No, no. I went. We went through that this year up our way, up my it, it for be right before uh, Seneca County. Went long, to, long before I did this. <laughs> crazy thing. My wife's and my cousin, yeah. When Marsha did that, I thought that was the best thing in the world. Super cool. Yeah. She's like, all oh, you guys keep coming here for the same thing. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And I said to my cousin, but we're the only ones buying black paint. Right. <laughs> no, it's pretty bad when when you walk into a part store or a, or a hardware store and you're like, oh, get back again. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or, or, yeah, we ordered extra, you know, threaded rod because we knew you yeah. were coming in. Yeah. Well, a couple years ago, we all went to Minnesota Throwdown, and it was like in the 20s. Oh. And we went back. To, it was a hidden jump. You can walk in and ask for a torqued up spindle window, and they'll have it. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Well, they, they got what are we down to five? Four? One, two, three. F it looks like five moving. This guy's been running without a front bumper, Jeff, for 10 minutes easily. Very smart. Oh, yeah. Been really good driving. Is he from New York? He's got no front bumper? <laughs> I don't think so. No, he's is that the one Ohio. that fell off? He's another one. The first Ohio. red flag? Huh? Is that the bumper that fell off for the first red flag? It might be. So. It might be. That would be impressive. Getting hot. Yep. And he's been wheeling that around by himself. The whole time. Right, right. Yep. Let you be curious on how old he was. He's the last one without an adult with him, right? Everyone else has an adult yes. with him. Yep. And I'm not sure if our viewers realize that when the track gets this slick, it's not about the engine overheating, it's about the transmission overheating. Right. Yeah, exactly. The dynamic completely changes when the track gets greasy. So you may be cool and calm and, you know, the radiators are steamed out, but your transmission is just begging for mercy. Yeah, relief. it's begging for some relief. Yeah. Now, in these compacts, you know, like, you know, in back in the day where you had to check your Mopar in neutral. Anytime the transmission's engaged and you're trying to drive a clutch pack or a drum or something Building. and it can't just cycle through and drop in the pan, there's forces, it's called dynamic fluid forces on that fluid, and it creates heat. So anytime, and I told my guy that's in the compact features tonight, my buddy Mike Miller, any opportunity on this track today, putting it in a neutral is just as important as keeping your wheels clean, keeping your bumper clean, anything else. Take the load off the equipment, and that that might buy you an extra three or four minutes at the end. Now, any, do you, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no I wanted to ask, like, do you think um, let's say let's say you're running and you stop for on a red flag and you got that 20 30 seconds. Yep. Do you think it makes a notable no, a, a number difference of dropping in temperature? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. Absolutely. When we had our red flag on Friday night, I just shut mine off. I knew it would start. Red flag. What do we got going on? A lot of guys would not think about training heat, not heat, training temperatures. It's I, key I like today. that. There's a difference between winning and losing. I like your yeah. thought here. I've literally seen some of the coolest, calmest drivers on the planet. My yeah, I got some flack the other day, but I said it out loud and I'll say it again. The best driver in Pennsylvania, in my opinion, is Mike Klinger. And I know there's amazing drivers, but I've watched him clinic it, clinic it. Oh. He's just one of my favorites. Yeah. Just to watch. He's just. I used to sit and watch his in cars. If yeah. America, if you're bored one night, you're I sick, you're laying in bed, do. watch right Mike Klinger in car camera and sit back and enjoy. Oh yeah. And take notes. There's one of them that's he's like real calm and then somebody goes and smokes Tiffany and he <laughs> just starts eating them, dude, and it's like, oh my god, what a great video, you know. And they yeah. end up getting first and second. Yeah, I was one of the lawyer class derbies, I think, out in uh, Pastor Cash. It was fun to watch. The third to them, I was like, kick your butt all the way. Cool, calm. And right, right now, he's at home swearing at you. Yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Him, he's yeah. like, don't talk about don't me. I don't, about you don't, he's, a I, non, he's a non-spotlight guy. I, I got my two, and, and, and for both for different reasons, but I got my two, and thankfully, they're both good friends of mine. One is Reg Bonneau from from Canada. Oh, yeah. Absolute iconic wheel man in yep. any class, any car. Just I've seen him just pull the rabbit out of his hat night after night after night. And, and, 
give you the shirt off his back. True gentleman. I want to erect a statue for Reg. And the other one is Mike Klinger. Yep. And, yeah. And, and to say anything because no. he pr he his personality more than mine. <laughs> Remember you know? last year when he showed up? Yeah, here. Everybody's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought you retired. Yeah, the when, jump, when the jumper get, boys built when him a jumper car. Bring, brings him in yeah. as a. We need we need a sub. A yeah. We need a we need a relief driver. Yeah, well you can reach in your Rolodex and pull that one yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, just, I'll give I'll give Klinger a call. You know how many people were like, uh, that yeah. just changed the dynamic of this feature. And that derby was man, awesome. that was awesome. Oh my god, my Cadillac goodness. heaven just yeah. working each other. You remember that here? Yep. Smoking each other. Smith pulled it out. And, and and the jumper boys, all those boys, just solid boys. Great guys. Run hard. Yeah. Just huge. Even them as, as brothers, ball busting. I mean, they're awesome. Yeah. They're, they're great. Great. I like them guys because their iron is like 110% clean every time, like Klinger. But they show up at places and it makes you drool their iron. You're oh, like, yeah. oh, where did you well, find that? Yeah. Oh, where did you well, get I that? Well, I just sold them a two door Impala. Yeah. And, and they were going to, like, give it to a buddy of theirs. <laughs> Sam Smith and Sam Smith Jr. Oh, yeah. They're good. Yeah. Big Derby family. But, oh, man. And, uh, no, and they're great people. It's, 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 there's so many great. And, and I hate I hate naming people and name dropping like that because there's so many others that you could be here all night. No, I agree. I agree. But, like, there's certain people that, like. standouts. Yeah, stand. Exactly, stand Bob. Absolutely. Yes. And we've seen some battles cool. where it's like. I couldn't have done what he just did. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, my God, this guy's the man. <laughs> you know, And you got to give respect. That's a problem with our sport sometimes is people, like, cannot give respect where it's due. Like, yeah. you know, some guys are better than you. Absolutely. We all want to be the best. I want to be the best. <laughs> Triple tape. You know, that's, that's yeah, you know. My, my, my own personal opinion, whether it's right or wrong, and, and it might be totally off of what he's thinking. but Everybody email Ben, tell him he's wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send it to my Facebook page. Right. Yeah. They, um, but... <laughs> He kept the old, the old style thought process of building. Oh, absolutely! It kept that with with the newer technology, in newer in the in the in the modern awesome. heats, in the newer heats. Basically, he understands and still utilizes that the cars have to flex. Yes, they have to bend. Well, I told a story to someone yesterday when we seen them notch that frame in front of the. Ant and when we talk ten years. Yeah. So you ran hard. And you know, we're not we're not just talking from my understanding, not just talking a day here and a day there. It was literally seven days three sixty five. Yeah. And it's just Well he had to to run the classes and as many. Constantly learning, constantly evolving. We're down to three, two, two or three. Looks like three. Eleven, nine, ten. Nine, ten, eleven and uh oh, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and here comes the rain. Yep. We don't talk about the rain. Well, just as long as we don't need jet skis to get off the trailer at the end of this, we'll be all set. Don't, Ben. <laughs> don't chase us. <laughs> we need when we start floating in this thing? Bring the kayaks in. Ugh. Alex Vasco bringing us good camera angles oh. on the bottom side of the track. The track don't look as bad down there. There he comes again. Just packing the back of that end. Pretty much the fronts on every one of them still look really good. They do. Uh oh. Ben, nope. I was going to say, Ben, you jinxed us. <laughs> so is there anything left on the schedule for a track shot for nope. a year? This is it. Shut her down. Finale. Shut her down. Finale. Take come a back, nap. Come back, hit it hard for 2024. Ooh. Let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> it's so we're far just, away. We're getting through today. <laughs> it's not. We're you should see my schedule. It's today. right there. Uh. It's right there. No, that, I was joking with someone late, earlier. It's like literally we finish a show and everyone starts calling and wants you to renegotiate. Yeah. And your sponsors and you finish your rule or whatever you're doing. It's like everyone's just on you as soon as the as soon as the season gets done. Now the rest of the group is going to Gold Rush and 
uh, Blizzard Bash. So, like, our crew. Yeah, I mean, that's easy. It's actually Fatty going to do that one. That's a brainer. So. Yeah, Fatty, Fatty's going to be in charge of sponsorship. So, you want to be a sponsor of Trackshot 2024? Get all the Fatty. And let me tell you, America, you've seen it. Our production is, is on top of the world right now. We're doing more. Um, we want to do stuff with TikTok and social media, and we want to add you in. So, like, not just the stream. The stream is a small part of what we do. It's bigger. It's We, we are the biggest marketing and advertising group in the sport, I feel. And uh, we want to get your stuff out there. Ask other sponsors. If you haven't been a sponsor, ask them all the random ones. Does TrackShot help them? Ask them. Let them tell you. And if so, hit us up because we'd love to have you as a sponsor, and we'd love to help your company grow. Um, I could tell some really great stories of vendors that we've hooked up with <laughs> have oh, been, yeah. <laughs> that have worked as great teams. And uh, Anthony just, did a wonderful TikTok of my trailer from yeah. from New York. Yep. And uh, I got t I'm on TikTok now. So no, no, Jeff. As a vendor, about. right? And this is all Anthony. Anthony said, "Hey, I want to start going to vendors. I need to do more. I want to do more." Yep. You like that, right? Oh no, it was great. Like just and to he, wake up and it's there. And he showed it to me ahead of time, and he's like, "I don't know if you're into this type of music. I'm thinking about doing it this way." And I said, "Dude, show me." And he's like, oh, "I'll walk you all through this because I don't, I don't know." Yeah, I don't yeah. TikTok. I'm an old guy now. I don't know TikTok. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, looks, it looks great. And then he sent it to me, and you know, and well, and we're. Then, Bill's always been good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Bill has always yes. brought yes. it you know, <laughs> yeah. since day one. Yes. Bill's the magician. The art can help more 18,000 people. It's like, dang. Like, you don't even have to do that today. No, exactly. You worry about something else. That's Let right. us advertise the market for you. Um, if you need help with that, hit us up. Come on. Hit up by Anthony, actually. He's management of that section. Yeah. I mean, it's literally in your face, up to date, advertising. Back in the day, Ben and I would tell people to hit us up, but I'm not doing that anymore. Hit up Anthony if you want marketing. Yep. You want a sponsorship? Fatty. Um, you want to waste a phone call? Tix. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll call Tix anyways. <laughs> Go 45 minutes with a blink of an eye. You got to call him before 7 a.m. That's a trick, America. His 7 a.m. Right. It's early. You got to get up early which, to talk which, to Tix. <laughs> which I just call when I start work. So yeah, so you guys are on the same level. Oh no, it's way early for me. Oh, re oh, because I'm 4 a.m. Oh, too early, Ooh, too yeah. early. <laughs> you you <laughs> call it 4 a.m. I, I might be shutting it down by then. I, I, I don't see too Ooh. many 4 a.m.s. That's it. That's tough. Yeah, I don't see too many 4 a.m. Yeah, we're down to two. Brady I, McPhee. Yep. And Young, I believe Landon. Yeah, Landon. I can pretty much, you know, have that, uh, what was that, uh, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. You said the word, Loved they it. go, ah, and they yeah. freak out or whatever. Yeah. I can pretty much set my watch to when I'm talking to Tixie within the first four or five words, he's like, brother, I tell you. <laughs> <With, Yeah. with, laughs> you're going to hear it now and you're going to totally, laugh. Totally, totally. the first six words, is, brother, I tell you. He also and says all the time, and things like that, and things, yeah. and things like that. I know his lines. It's so funny. Everyone has, just so you know, when you start being on uh, social media and stuff, everyone has ticks that they they automatically go to, like words that you say. Yep. Mine's awesome, right? Awesome. Um, yeah, I got lots of them. Mine. But every one of us have our own. I oh, can't say mine because I definitely have it. Banned from TikTok. <laughs> you can't say yours. I just learned that. There's a list. <laughs> There's a list. And I'm like, well, that just took me out of the whole mix being on air. Ben can just so everybody knows, if TikTok was alive when we started this, track shot would have never happened. Ben would have been we yeah. would have been banned our first five shows. And I'm not just, I'm not talking cuss words. No, they're I'm not talking, cuss words. No. They're they're everyday words that people use and I don't I don't realize Social media, if you're listening, you suck. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. We're sick of you. Well there's okay? some filter you can put on, Ben. When you say it, it bleeps it out automatically. Oh no. Yeah, way. Bill's yeah. fingers but we go by Bill's finger and it gets tired when I come to shows. <laughs> Seven second <laughs> delay. Funny. That's why I think, you know, he probably has my, uh, secretly has my, my mic, my headset mic muted. Yeah. But I don't know if anybody realizes this, but I, it's an eternity now. But I, I have to blame Mr. Josh Decker for social media in my shop. I mean, you were the first one to ever go live in my shop. Yes, I remember that. You need that. more videos. You need yes. And I'm standing there just, like, embarrassed and stressed. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. And he's like... You just be you, and I'm like, not a chance. Yeah. <laughs> it's not happening. I, and he's like, you give so much information to the people. I remember that conversation. Yes, I was like, yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, you're killing me. And now look yeah. how many videos you got on there. Yeah, I'm a little yeah, more comfortable yes, doing it now. Yes. Yeah. But but the nice thing about it is like you don't have to say the same thing over and over. You can just send the video, right? Yes. Yes, you've yes. saved yourself time. Yes. Yeah, 
Yes, absolutely. Because I remember you answering the same questions 30 times a day. <laughs> That's As a man that does it himself, I know that gets old. Yes. And you say it in your own sleep to yourself. I now have shortcuts on my phone. I only have to punch in a couple letters. It sends you the links. Yes. It's, it's Smart. crazy technology. Yes. Blessing and a curse at the same time. <laughs> Well, Eleven's getting him in a spot where he wants him, where he can hit him and hit him and move. There you go. He's going to get away from him, make him come hit him. But it's er over. There it is. Earlier we were talking about the advancement of these drivers. The chest mass at the end of these youth heats it's is awesome. just as good yeah. as, you know, any of these shows out there. Brady oh, Mc McAfee. Yeah. Mc McAfee? Yeah. McAfee? 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 Got to go out there now. Who I got, does? I got interview. Go oh, no. Bill's got a uh, – Bill has to – I still have to set up the thing for his thing. Um, oh. um, I, I'm thinking 420 with the skull and crossbones on the front. It, does anybody have any input? Anybody Maybe. against Richie Dickens. No, you're good, bud. I think Richie Dickens was – I thought he drove fantastic. He drove very, very smart. So Absolutely. I'm going to sign out. Thank you, Track Shot. Yes, we love, love you. you. Guys. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. America, go to his page if you haven't. Like it, share it, buy some stuff. He's got the best stuff out there. I have, my garage is full of Jeff's stuff. Sure, I'll get off, please, Lord. God, no, I want to get off. Oh, God, yeah. Sure. I don't ever want to be on here. Yeah. Well, a lot of people think, like, oh, it's fun to be on track shot. It's cool. It's like, it's, I promise you, it gets old fast. Who are you bringing on, Critter Todd? Yes, I'm out of here, boys. My car? Your car has all my stuff in it. Okay, perfect. <coughs> yeah, but it's still there. And Jerry, Jerry didn't hit it with a tra uh, trailer swing, tail swing. Hang on just a minute, guys. We got uh, a couple, <coughs> a couple people coming on here along with me. A couple you may know, may love, and one you may despise. Critter, everyone, TikTok fame, in the words of Ice Man, and. Let me jump in here. All right. Of no fame, no Todd fame. from Indy CNC. What's up, y'all? Did you lose something up here at a derby? Uh, a few pounds. <laughs> yeah, you could. I tell you what, I'm like a rose between two thorns. Oh, son, it's like. Yeah, it, it just uh, happened. Wow. The stuff wow. I want to say would get us kicked off another platform. That's all right. Yeah. We're, we're two for two. Yeah. So what are you guys thinking about the derby so far? Ah, uh, Amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, Critter, it's your first time. Yes. So. Now you got you take consideration the rain dampens but everything. But there's it's good it's good ground here. But good what about here. what about the plus you're on top of a mountain? Yeah, it's yeah. They've been rolling it and stuff and scraping it. Yeah, they've been scraping it in between here today. <coughs> That's helped quite a bit. Yeah, and then what I mean like yesterday those stands were full. Yeah, uh, and these stands are still full. Yes, sir. But uh, that just shows you what they got going on here. And uh, I'm, I'm Todd. You go to derbies all over the country like I do. Yeah. Oh, critter, I'm sure does. He's getting there more and more now, but. Uh, we have to go with our business, Understood. and you would sing the, of all the entertainment derbies. This is the king. Oh yeah, there's is, something for everyone here for sure. Yeah, there is so absolutely. much extra. I missed out. Did you hear about the cannonball thing earlier? No, no, See, no. See, I, I have to go to the airport to fly to the South Dakota tomorrow, so I like try not to get dirty. That's why I got my overalls on. I don't get wet Listen and dirty. Him. I can't. Well, get the big dirty. mud hole right here. I guess Serena and John's little boy Jonathan jumped in it for like 50 bucks. They give it to oh, kids' no. cancer thing. Yep. Well, then TJ did it. And they were calling out Cannonball to do a Cannonball. Oh. But I wasn't there. Somebody called uh, you, Ramrod uh, from Car Club come back there and was like, dude. I was like, sorry, man. I'm busy. We're loading can't up. Can't do it, huh? Well, I wanted to do it, but I was really yeah, loading up. Yeah, I wanted up. to, but just didn't, right? Well, yeah, well, no. he, was, he was like, oh, I can't. You guys hear it first. Right here, right now, Cannonball will not do a Cannonball. Yeah. Well, how's that? How's that work? I'll do a Cannonball <clears throat> another day that I'm not going to be cold and wet and Sure, oh, sure. Here yeah. comes the stipulation. Yeah. Do you realize how much water these overalls could hang, hold on to if we had to wrangle them out? Like, <laughs> no, but we can find out real quick. Yeah, we could. It, yeah, we that's can the problem. That right now. They've got to go in a suitcase. Yeah. Suitcase? You yeah. might just ditch them, bud. Yeah. You can't, can't find overalls out in South Dakota. You don't know Oh, I bet you. Yeah, I bet you. They <laughs> got them that, listen to my idea. Somebody oh, out God. there in, oh, in, here we go. Somebody out there in track shot world, if any of you guys have connections, one, connections to Liberty overalls, Let's get somebody to give some, make some calls and make that the official piece of clothing for Demolition Derby. 
Overalls? Overalls. It is. It's the perfect. All the I, don't think it's the, I don't think it's the proper clothing. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with the Dickie shorts. No, no. That's and not. hey, dudes. We're talking about legit welding. No, no. Stuff. The, the uh, I legit clothing. weld and hey, dudes. And, and, and the other thing is, if anybody out there is really good at, like, bedazzling, I want a custom <laughs> pair of Trackshot Live bedazzled overalls. The Rhinestone Cowboy, right? And yeah. I've been looking. This has been a, some talk for quite some time. My best friend got married, and I was the preacher. Oh, he wanted me an overall, so these are my new overalls. So these are the ones I was a preacher in. Right. But I, I will buy a new pair and send them to you, and I want rhinestones, TSL, cannonball, like whatever we can do. Like, you think know, Porter it, Wagner. It okay. needs uh, fringes. Fringes. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't have fringes yeah. on overalls, Todd, because there ain't no there. There ain't nothing. There's no there's no. Always with the uh, reasoning. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what sets that's us apart. That's probably a good idea. Buddy. I guess. I shoot for the moon, bud. So you're up tonight, huh? You're running? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's uh, the last heat, I believe, yeah. of the Most Wanted Fine Arts. Well, you've only been told like 12 different times when you're supposed to be running today. Yeah, I keep getting confused. You know, it's a blonde thing, even though I'm burnt. Not, not blonde? Yeah, more gray now. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah. So our, I got a liberty we're going to do. Fueled by Haters hooked us up. And, I was about uh, to say that. I brought the car down. Tracy and Nick, I like those yep. guys a lot getting yep. on. Yep, they're good dudes. <coughs> uh, follow them if you get a chance. Dang. Yeah, they're uh, – sorry. Oh, wait a minute, we got official business. Official business happening here. We got Decker intervening. Trying to give a oh. – trying to give him a heads we, up. We got – we got a uh, – We got a special – We Fatty's left already because he's got to go to South Dakota. Turn number five down. I'm uh, probably number five, right? No, I'm going to be numero permanent uno. mute for Todd. Numero uno. So, guys, Fatty is headed out to Gold Rush along with some of the rest of us. And he's headed back to Ohio for a birthday party and things to fly out in the morning. But we've, we've upgraded this weekend as a young man. Oh, around. yeah. A big upgrade, I would say. Yeah. And he's not – Clark is not the only famous name in Demolition Derby. That's you know got some champions. Right. Shipley right. is another Ooh. one of those milestone names, and at 12 years old, he's probably Slade one, one more than I have. Is going to be our special guest. Oh, track right. side commentator. Track side with. Uh, oh, we're getting him suited up, y'all. Be patient with us. All right, I'll, I'll turn him up as soon as he's ready. Well, this ought to be exciting. Yeah. Slade, you hear me? You hear me good and clear? Yeah. Talking to that microphone. There now you I'm go, talking. guys. Slade. Show him where to get out there, Decker, where he can get uh, yeah, yeah. Bill and get him on camera. Oh, here, Slade, I put you on the spot yesterday, didn't I, buddy? Who? You. You. Yeah. you. Remember when I we were down there at Jason's at Sowers and I had you do yeah. the just put he did a great job. You killed it. <clears throat> yeah, I think I did all right. Yeah, so what's your opinion now that you're up here and you're in the spotlight on the wall? You yep. know that that amount of dirt right there, that's where Fatty Clark cut his teeth. <laughs> You know, I think uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. I never thought when I started uh, coming to derbies that I'd be here right now. Yeah. You know? When you started coming to derbies 12 years ago as an infant? <laughs> yeah. Not, uh, I really, like, started, started around the point series, like the beginning of the first ever point series when my dad was um, chasing the points and yeah, started actually remember that. winning. Yeah, Two years ago, three years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how old are you now? I'm 12. All right. So real quick, guys at home, uh, some of you you guys that were started derby in like early 2000, you'll remember this well. You guys played the PlayStation 2 game Test Drive Evil Destruction. Have y'all ever played that? Yes. Is yeah. that not everybody's favorite PlayStation game ever? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know about that. Well, anyway, a little tidbit of that. <laughs> it is. It is. No, Ask everybody not. out there. Yes. You two don't count. These two guys, these, these guys do. But anyway, so you're watching that, and you know you get unlocked extra scenes or whatever, and you see the school bus pulling on the track. That's Slade's dad. <laughs> yes, right, it is. Slade. Is that right? Yep. His dad is in the video clip that we all saw as kids, young derby drivers. Well, that is something. So, oh, but it wasn't nothing a minute ago. But now you're trying to make friends. I have no beef with the game. I, I, I feel don't like know I'm about in the middle one. of a, a situation oh. here. Yeah. You're well, you agreed with me, so I don't know. Are you backing up now? No, I, I, I'm right here in the middle. What's up, Slade? Can you read from over there? What's on his shirt? Can you read this that? This is Cannonball Derby Farts. <laughs> you know who Cannonball, Cannonball Derby crowd. Farts is? Yeah, I know what Cannonball is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you say? He made me wear this. <laughs> I mean. I was held down and he put it on. He they pulled it over my head like a 
Oh, I if thought you, it, I thought it was more like a money thing. But Slade, if I you had hey to, hey, if, if you had to not the cat out of the bag, if you had to pick Slade, uh, something, who's the most fun uh, derby parts builders that you know? Is it Cannonball or Indy CNC? Who has more uh, fun? Or Critter Engine? Who has yeah. the cooler stuff? Maybe not. Yeah, who has the cooler stuff? It's probably Robbie with Sybil. <laughs> 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 get, Robbie. The, get the mic away from that Robbie, boy. Dude. I'll guarantee oh. you. Robbie might be home by now, but oh. if Robbie is not home, he is driving and listening to us right now and that about to a, pee his pants. That wasn't even one of the choices. No, but no. yeah, he's no. You didn't get D all of the above. Knocked it out or of the neither. park. Wow, Dang. what a diplomat. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, Blade, it's been fun, buddy. We enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can tell who your dad is reading right between the rules. Yeah, yep. great area on that. Man. Huh? You, you know a lady too, Slade, that doesn't like to be on film either. Huh? You know a lady too that doesn't like to be video. Oh don't yeah, you? yeah. We had some fun with that. Yeah, we chased her all over the place. Yeah, no, she. Uh, she ain't down with it, old Bobby. Uh. -uh. No, she's usually all over the place. So. She is always all over the place. <laughs> uh. She's always jacked up on Mountain Dew. Uh, not Mountain Dew, but it's Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Yeah. Well, Dad cut her off the Mountain Dews, I heard. Yeah. Getting a little too wild? Yeah. Had to dial it back a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking for the list from this uh, first class. Oh, come on, finals. man. And Give it back. I was going to have you know, Todd, not, though, but I forgot he could read. It. We just got you're done with the youth. You're not allowed to read it. You know that. Just got done with the youth, so find it and then turn the page once. Yeah. Well, it had already been turned before that. And then go back to oh the youth gosh. and then turn the page Look, This is... If I could find if the I youth, had the you book, would think I could find the most wanted fine article. If I had the book, youth, I'd be, look, I'd be, look, I just right want you there. all to know, Critter, right here, just turned right to it. Indiana boys. Where everything was marked. So Indiana you get boys. Oh, we don't. Oh, everybody, while Critter's making fun of me, Ben Ha. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind. Oh. Easy. Easy. Yep. Yeah, she'd yep. be most wanted fine art number one. Yeah, it's Next. number one because I'm in number right there. two. I'm See that? Two. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the youth one. That's where we were just at. We're going to flip it one page. What's that What's that say? So, Slade, what uh, What do you think of the track I got this, y'all. I'll there. keep them in line. Okay, hold on. Slade. Slade. Oh, wow. Wow. Organize it. Who is this kid? Well, it's hard. I only okay. got one in here. And that's because yeah. Hey, that's because you're a rookie. So huh? We're just, what? Veterans. Yeah, we just just rattle on. Yeah, just Slade, keep talking. Slade, what do you think of the track conditions out there today? Uh, sticky, wet. It's a hard track. How do you think the most wanted fine arts cars are going to do out there uh, with their lack of tires? Usually, like most wanted goes. There's usually one between five just people who hammer it. Do you think? And, do you think they're going to be able to get around out there? No. no. I mean. Get around is in slide in circles and donuts and probably slide into multiple people at a time. Okay, very good, very good, good so description. So, there, Slade, there's a Jeep or Liberty that's going to be out there or whatever that thing's called. Renegade. Will Liberty Renegade? Renegade? I don't know. I don't. It's a Jeep. Jeep. Uh -huh. Yeah. We don't think the guy's going to drive it real hard. So, we're not. How long do you think he's going to make it? In a Jeep. He's in, in a Jeep. Jeep. Well. It's kind of like a wagon. You don't really got much give in the back. I'm, pr I'm thinking. I've never ran a Jeep. So. <laughs> well, he's ran. This guy's ran a wagon, and the back did not work out for him. Yeah. yeah we, so I we're think bringing uh, that up. <laughs> it is the best. It was a Chrysler wagon. Wow. I think, I think we'll have the same story here. I think he's just gonna probably his back end's gonna drop, and he's gonna get stuck. Okay. okay. All right. That, well, that's me in the Jeep. Steve. Yeah, he's in the Jeep. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what I now think. <laughs> okay. I know there's a guy I, out there with an El Camino. I saw it earlier. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Slade, I'll tell you what would be wrong with that Jeep why it wouldn't last long. Why? He's probably using Indy CNC parts. You cut out. He's probably got Indy CNC parts on it. Well played. Oh, yeah. Well played, Slade. So. He cut out. No, cut I out. think the parts that he does need, some simple solution parts. Oh, my gosh. Now he's, yeah, he's cutting your throat now. I mean, he's I, let's go throat. back. You remember you and I being at the expo? Yeah, that was pretty cool. That, that was, was good time. And they had the youth class outside, and it was freezing cold and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This young man happened to win that with a 4.6 simple solution harness. Oh, so that's what it is. Oh, oh yeah. there's all the shameless parts. Okay. I, oh, if I there's not a sponsor. this year. The only reason he's relevant is because of me, and you can ask him that. Slade, is that a dinosaur out there? What do we got going on out there? Do you see uh, it? It seems like some uh, Run out there and interview him. Suit. Run out there and interview him. You want a track I? interview? Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. We don't want to get him out there with the cars moving around, do we? I can. I can handle myself. He's learned to crawl out there with the cars moving around. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me get out here. Get, get an interview hey, with hey, the Slade. dinosaur. Oh, uh, just yell at him. You, get, you can't go away very far. 
Oh, I can't? Yeah, flag uh, him down. Yell at him. Say, hey, dinosaur man. Hey, dinosaur man. <laughs> <laughs> he literally yelled at Hey. We, uh, we'll, we'll see if we get him. Anybody knows the dinosaur man there on track, call him. Keep getting him. Do here, some jumping here. jacks, Slade. Point to the crowd and then get him to point at the dinosaur guy. <laughs> too much fun. I love this kid. <laughs> it's like a mini fatty out there. Can you still hear us, Slade? Okay, yeah. well, just give it a, go a little farther. We'll test the waters here, old pal. We got a minute. When you stop hearing us, Slade, stop. Say, yeah, dinosaur man. Barney. <laughs> He's yelling Barney. Bang on the car, Slade, so he hears you. And then it causes the stress. Oh, he don't want no oh, part. Oh, he don't want no part. Oh, he don't know. He All don't know. Right. He's a kid out there, and he don't have a mic. Show him the microphone, Slade. Show him the microphone. Come oh, back over this way. Watch that equipment. All right, come back before you get hurt. Yep, Slade. Yep. Forget it, Slade. Don't worry about it, buddy. This is going off watch the rails. It. Watch that. I guess I, I'm going to give up on Quit, that one. No, we'll watch get, the I, back there. Watch <laughs> the back. I'm sorry, buddy. No, no, you're good. Terrible There's idea. There's somebody there you want to talk to? Is there somebody right there, like the guy with the beard? You want you know him? You With the glow in the dark hat. Go yeah. talk to him. Get him. Get him right quick. Just let's talk to him right quick. Yeah, just walk over and talk to them, dude. Which What's one are we talking about? I think his name's Jacob. Is that Jacob? Jacob. Talk about the guy in the green hat. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Walk right, over yeah. there. And Jacob tell Gilliam. Him, tell him to come over with you. Let's see what. Let's see what he knows. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Slade. Oh man, this kid's a riot. I think we just right. found our fatty replacement. So. Yep. What do you think about this track, sir? I think it's tacking up real nice. It's going to be a nice track. I think that, too. I think it's a hard track, sticky track. I like it. So, like, uh, ask him his name. So what's your name, sir? Jacob, Derby News. All right. Uh, how long have you been working for Dead Man? Since the beginning, all three years. You live in uh, PA? No, I'm Central Ohio. All right, same. Uh, well, not Central, but... You know. That's fine. Black cars, black frames, though, right? Ask him. Ohio, black cars, black frames. Well, you cut out. Say, so ask him if Ohio is truly black cars, black frames. So, the fellow's got a question. Is Ohio okay. truly fellas. black cars, black rims? Black rims. <laughs> black rims. <laughs> black frames. <laughs> black frames, man. Not rims, frames. Huh? Black rims, black frames. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black rims, black frames. Yeah. Yeah, that's he what, said yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. All right, well, Tay, thanks well, for talking to us, Tay. All right. Thank you for talking to hey, us, sir. We're going to get him over the wall Skinny. here. Skinny, I want to give a shout-out to Skinny. I know he's watching. I got his hat on. I love you, man. I pray for you every day. I wish <laughs> nothing but the best for you. Hey, Slade, wait, one, one thing right quick. Talk to Jacob. Skinny, shout-out, special to you, buddy. But there's Skinny, I know you, and I know you You don't know this story, but ask him about Jeffica. If he never met a, if he ever met a girl named Jeffica. Wow, this is weird. This yeah, is it, trust me, boys. Trust Have me. Have you ever met a girl named Jeffrica? Jeffica? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's what we wanted to know. Oh my gosh. I happen to know her last name? You happen to know her last name? Clark. Jeffica Clark. <laughs> Jeffica Fatty Clark. <laughs> All right, Slade. Come on back over. Come on up here, buddy. Great job, dude. You, you blew that out of the water. Yeah, he killed it. All us. right, now hold the mic away from your mouth while you're huffing it. Oh, yep. yeah, never mind. Oh, he's got it. He's got <laughs> he's, nimble. he's not built like a He's the no. goat. Up up there. Yeah, mountain goat, billy goat. The goat oh, here we Shipley. Go. Here we go. Look at him coming down yep. with grace. He's graceful. Yep. Dude, you little redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Wow. Look at you. Oh, man. Well, what do you think, guys? Are you having fun? Oh, this is a having blast. a good time. I am, too. Having a good time. Oh, uh, yes. So, like you said, we're getting ready here. We, do we know if this list is remotely accurate? Well, I, I, could, I got a pretty good idea. If I'm not on this list, it'll be the right list. You're not uh, on, you're not on that because I was going to mark you up. That's the right list then. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run through these car names and list, while we're getting this since it's so long. I'll do a few, and then I'll let old, uh, let old Todd or Critter take over. Clint Abadi in the 216, Austin Bates the number three, Matt Bernard the number 15 from Oakdale, Pennsylvania, and out of New York – David Blackman, the 76B, 65B, sorry. Cage Border, the number two, Allentown, Pennsylvania. John, Jarrett Dijon, 212, Seagertown, wow. Pennsylvania. Kentucky He's not, boy. He never didn't mind. set the bar Kentucky real high, did boy. I was trying to be neutral with it, but. Where did you leave off, Dijon? <laughs> Just, yeah, go oh, start with. Dave Fry in the 17 machine. Michael Harris in the 90. Derek Head in the 1X. Austin Hunt in the 88A. 
Uh, then we got Jacob Johnston in the 11, Brandon Kenny in the 12, John Noss in the 78, J. Charles Manfield running in the eight. Uh, Kyle Morris in the 30, Brandon Poling in the 716, Matthew Popish in the 77P, Sean Romsberg and Ramrod. And Shane Ross in the 69, Oliver Ross in the 70, Christopher Shoot in the 53X, Jacinda Travis and Froggy for you, Tyler Weller in the 28, Ron Wheeler in the 6, Jeremy Wilson in the 107J, Jason Sauer in the Fatty Fun Police, and Cody LaJoy, De La, Cody DeLo in the 315. He's good at that, isn't he? He did rather he, well. I yep. saw him, uh, where was we at, Todd? Was it Minnesota when you Minnesota, did that? Minnesota, Minnesota. You said the, the secret you got to say it with confidence. Yeah. I could be completely wrong on all of those, but I said it with confidence. You did. You were all very good job. Well played. So they are scraping the track a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. They, I they think they're going to have to for this class. One correction to that, I believe Sauer was moved to the second class, but I'm not saying that he won't be moved back to this one. Or Well, I, I, I'm not sure because uh, I know he I, told I think me box in here, and so I think maybe the classes got jumbled a little bit. I'm not exactly what they've done with them. I'm not sure what they've done. Well, that tends yeah. to happen when you had one fill up so fast and you start yeah. a second one. Yeah. Oh, okay. The whole car club's together. So yeah. Ty's in there. Ty's in there. Ty. Um, Kazenbach. Kai. Um, Kai and Ty. There's two. There's Kai. And there's a Kai. There's a Kai. I didn't meet them all. I, well, I met them all, but I couldn't retain it all. Yeah, there's Kai, T.Y., so. uh, Breeze, Leach, Ramrod, Tommy, Jr. I, I can't, I'm not even going to start on the wives. One, one of them had an issue with the, the Subaru they got, and that didn't pan out. So I'm not sure which one didn't make that. That may be Breeze then, but yes, Leach is a Subaru guy also. So I'm I'm excited for this. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that was Breeze that doesn't get that the Subaru motor laid down on. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Long, real long hair. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Could be anybody in there. Could be. So they are going to clear the track off a little bit, which is going to give a lot of ground to the most wanted tire, or the cars yeah. with the slick tires. But yeah, that's probably making Jason sad. He he wants to keep it slow. I don't know. He was he was going to take you out when he told me, but you know we had, we had a game plan. A lot of people tried. Yeah. A lot of succeeded. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> it was kind of scary, Critter. I'm not going to lie. And when you're out there, like the most wanted class in New York when we were in, and Robbie, Simple Solution, brought that Camaro, mm -hmm. and they give it to this loser, he's out just. Bop, 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 bop. Turn you it just, up. You just heard him. You didn't know where he was at, but you could hear him. What engine oh was in that? Uh, V6. Oh. I think. I'm, I'm I went to back up here. He came about mock Jesus. He said it was 300 horsepower V6 yeah. or something he was saying. Awesome. Yeah, he was flying. I, I was grabbing gears. I know that. He caught me once. He caught yeah. me once. I turned and he was smiling at me. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I hit him and pushed him over in the mud. And I got yeah. him stuck. Yeah. I, I was starting to go push him out, and then he came on out. Uh, yeah, I wore my way out of there. That car held up surprisingly well. I was I was impressed. It was. I really thought the front. Have you ever? You obviously probably never looked at one of those, but the frame rails are huge. Yeah. yeah. And they, they. But they look like every four or five inch section is its own crush box. Yeah. Does like that's like that. It, yeah. It's meant to hit head on into a tree, I think. Yeah. So. I don't right. know. Well, I mean, it looks like it's meant to just fall apart. Fall apart. And versus the drive versus the occupants get hurt in a car crash. Yeah. Right. You know something that you guys may not know, but all you derby guys taking this, some of you may know it. The windshields out of these cars. <clears throat> how many cars have you stripped and you notice at the roof there's like nothing? This right. Sheet metal. There's not right. even a brace. Here a while back, my mom was having a window replaced, and I was talking to the guy, and he said, oh, it'll be so long before it sets up. So the, apparently these auto manufacturers now, the reason the windshields are glued in so tough is that is how they've saved money. That's what I was explaining to you by him. To make them stronger. So they glue the windshield in, and the windshield, they don't shatter because it's part of the roll bar system. It's the rollover protection. Really? Yeah, and that's oh. why that glue is so hard to get off because it's so the new glue. Right. Because it's so special. Can you confirm or deny that? It makes sense. I don't know. Makes sense. I mean, it does, but I, 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 mean, I don't, don't know. I'd have to go to the Google. But, I mean, you yeah. think about when we were running cars from the 70s or 80s and all the bracing in the roof that you had, that yeah. understructure. Well, yeah. I think it's just technology's come a long ways, and they've realized they don't need all that. Necessary. Yeah, because they're gluing in the windshields. Well, I and don't they're know. making. I don't they know put the more money in the windshields. windshields. Glass is Maybe. cheap. This guy thinks he knows it. I don't know. 
think she knows it all. I know some. Well, some things. You just got to do Are you – what are you trying to do? Uh, cannonball hoodie on, hanging out at our trailer, selling merchandise and stuff. And, like, is it just because, oh, you're beside an Indiana boy? Like, what, you Hoosiers? Like, what do you mean? What do you I mean? don't know what he's How he's at. trying to side with you on everything. You haven't noticed? I, I just think it's common sense, really. I don't know that it's a side thing. I think it's – what? <laughs> what am I going to say? Yeah. It's I, Hoosiers. We, you know, know things. Clutch Marles is a Hoosier. <laughs> hey, he acts hey, like a lot he, of things. He's, he's, he's way, way down south. Like Southern Indiana. He's way down south. He's like, he says. might as okay, well be seriously. from Kentucky. He's no, south. We had this yeah. conversation with Clutch last night. He's Indiana borderline folks. Kentucky. He come I up in a penguin suit. So I didn't even know that, that, that Indiana had an appendix. And I was like, so where are you from, Clutch? And you show me. I was like, so you're from if uh, Indiana ever had to have an appendectomy or whatever they call it. And I was like, you'd be <laughs> deleted. He's like, exactly. And yeah. it really does. Indiana has an appendix. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Could be a gallbladder. It's all bile there. Ugh. Wow. Yeah, that's a low getting, getting dirty. That went a little rough. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> the rain looks like it has quit again. That's at the moment. That is nice. So, we got, what, four classes left, four heats? Should be about, about four. This is been a pretty good scrape off they've done here. I feel bad for the folks at home that have had to listen to us for the past uh, yeah. 10 or so on this. Well, I mean, it was more comical than we need to get Slade back. Oh, Slade wow. is awesome. If you Wasn't count he, the, though? the MWFA coming up next, that's we've still got six, six shows oh, to run boy. today. Oh, so we got MWFA. Then M we got Dead Man Compacts. Then we get into our feature. Then we got our super stock feature. And we've got our limited weld feature and then our most wanted fine arts. Number two. Number two. two. Isn't that great that they're getting enough cars? Yeah. I, I've always said I'll never run a mini car. But I think I would run the most wanted fine arts class. Now, we Were had sure? this discussion, I think. Didn't we uh, yes. do a TikTok Live and had this discussion? Yes. I said I'd never do it just because y'all hit way too hard. Oh. But I think I would probably do it in that class. As a bucket, that's like a bucket list item for me. You think the most want to find arts or mini it, car? Uh, the not nah, not the mini car, <laughs> just the most want to find arts part. It, not, re it uh, really should be a bucket list item for anybody that's in a demolition derby because it is as original, old school. Well, derby. I'm thinking about the fact that you know when we build cars, we spend months at it, months at a time doing it. Okay. I'd like to step back and do one in like a weekend. Oh, dude, we can see. Yeah, that's that's too much time for most wanted yeah, fine arts that, car. No. I'm slow. I know, but still. See, I have the problem building gut and go cars too. Yeah, it gets out of hand. You can't stop, and it's no, an addiction. The, the it's welder a, doesn't get put down. Yep. Next thing you know, you're out of wire. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. No, you don't run out of wire. You get extra wire. You don't run out. No. Well, that's just like you know all these no, things no, no. where you got a nine wire and everything. What is up with that? <sighs> You know, let me ask you guys something. My 035 you know, identifies the, as 9-gauge wire. <laughs> here's the thing. I don't – everybody uses the 9-wire, and I actually think electric fence wire. Oh, that stuff just goes – Everywhere. If you do it right, if you can put it in a bundle, I think it's better than 9-wire. See, I like the 11-gauge stuff. But that stuff is – it's a, it's it's a easier to work with. All of that's a consumable. Yeah. You're going to go through one. You're not going to feed it off a car and put it on another car. No, absolutely So not. why have these promoted? That's what I was going to ask you guys. I've put a lot of thought into this. Why have they not gone to some kind of steel cable allowing a driver? A uh, cable, I don't know. Why? It's reusable, I got, a cable well, clamp. Here, let's I mean, go just, even old school. <laughs> What's wrong with a chain and a piece of 3 8 all thread? Yeah. I mean, we used to chain doors shut all the chain time. Chain and a bolt. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's... There's now, your reusable chain. Uh, nine wire, I don't see the point in putting it through sheet metal anyway without it, a washer. Well, absolutely, 100% yeah. correct. Without a washer, if you can't weld a washer on there, it's pointless. And then half the time, depending on how where you're able to what you're able to do with your nine wire, about five minutes in, it's loose because it's bent. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a chain around the door post, on the, you know, that's something. That's one thing, whatever. But. Well, I think they got the right idea for this class, you know. Absolutely. They do, and that's what Decker and I were talking about. If what's the, the downfall of this class, as far as it's gotten, would be changing things at this point. Yeah. yeah. So what, what, here's what, what, what I was wondering is, 100%. so since the most one of fine arts class is basically coast to coast now. Yeah, it is. It's 100%. the most unified 
I saw it in New York. Rules. I've seen it in California with my own eyes. So right. So we're coast to coast with it. Um, does do they come out with the most wanted fine arts like? Um, how do you say that? Like a a gut and go class, like the next step up, so we can get this unified rules across right, the nation. Right. I don't. I don't think you'll ever get unified rules across the nation. But it's, it's that's our first step to it. Can we do that not, next step with it? <clears throat> it would. You think about that though, and, and the drivers too. But what would that do for you and I as vendors if it was unified rules across the country? It hurt. It'd make it easier. It would make it ten times easier. Yeah. Because but, then we know the guys are going to need. Yeah. They can't if they can't run a column brace. We don't need to build column braces. Yeah. But then that's less. <clears throat> that's. I get it, but that would have, I think that would hurt you financially, right? Because then you're building less things. Well, if you're in derby parts, you're hurting financially. Yeah. Well, you, <laughs> know what I, you know what I mean. You know, but, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know, though. Like, to come here, we had to build 4x4 four four plates, and then Everything back week, home, we're all 4x6. Four four by by six. Six. Yeah, so, hey, you know. Speaking of Indiana, have, would you, have you guys heard anything about my Civil War idea? No. Okay. I, if it's no. Indiana versus Kentucky, we're probably out. No, no, it's like it would be yeah. like everybody. We were talking about you and Dot. I know you agree. We talked about it. The hardest hitters in the country is in New York. Yeah, I'd say for everywhere the, we've been, the, that's loose cannons. Good, yeah, yeah. yeah that, I'm not saying the best builders, but the hardest hitters. Well, you can't go on builders. They have a, no, a, a, a yeah. uh, not a good car selection to pick from. So anyway, then you know, we're like somebody's like, well, I was like Pennsylvania second or whatever. We were talking about if like say Decker's a captain of Team New York. He doesn't drive. He's just the team owner. He has to pick five of his his hardest driving Mad Dog compact drivers, five of his big best well, big car drivers, okay. and you had some kind of a tournament, state right, versus state, right. for an ultimate champion. Ooh, that'd be neat. But so, like, I'm just asking you, do you guys have a top five Indiana? If say you were the captains of Team so Indiana, so now would, you're looking for what <clears throat> crazies? According to Decker, crazies. I want to win, so I'm not caring about Mad Dogs. But well, I'm gonna say Heighton, maybe. Yeah. Like, can, um, can you? T- I don't know a lot of Indiana drivers. Can you tell me five? Just there's some nutso ones, but we're more laid back state, man. We uh, yeah. take our time, pick apart. I mean, you get your hand. I mean, you got a few that just go. Yeah, go ham. Yeah, I go ham. It. But then the thing is, there's times the guys that go ham, no matter what state they're from, aren't always there at the end. No, no. Just because they go ham. No. Yeah. You're I would right. definitely say I'd like to be in the running for going ham, though. I can tell you for a fact you can put this in stone. I would not be in anybody's top five of going ham as a mad dog. Let me, let me, Indiana. Let me go. This, <laughs> this may be unpopular, popular. Let me go a step farther. Of all the shows we've been to, I'll tell you who the, the one single constant hardest hitting driver I've ever seen in my life that I can recall is consistently at every derby. And I don't know what – I'm not sure that he's not from Indiana, but it may be Illinois, and that's Austin Johnson. I'm not familiar. Austin Johnson, he's – I've been pretty you sure know he's what? from Maybe. Illinois. Austin Johnson, know. Pound Town. You know Pound Town? Oh, he's Missouri. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't he Missouri? No, I'm pretty sure he's Illinois. Illinois or Missouri. That yeah. dude, I've, I don't know him personally. I've known him if I've seen him. I've yeah. talked to him in passing. It may be – you know, but every time I've watched him run, there's a couple other guys that try real hard, but I, they, they don't – I don't know. They just, Maybe Richie not awesome. Price. He might be a Richie good, likes to go wild. He likes to go wild. But, yeah, I definitely would not be part of that list, and I'm okay with that. No, uh, yeah. I'd like to be considered. I don't know if I'd make it. I'd like to be considered. You, I would I could see that. You're, But sometimes I just wonder, are you crazy or just, you know, don't got a good sense? It's straight adrenaline. That's the – that's the high in it. Because I know. just can't wrap my head around doing all this work, going out here and just wreck a car. Like, you can't get that feeling. You can't get that feeling back. I know. I remember that. I remember can't. that. But after I got that first or second, my second time I won. Yeah, you just got the big head. You didn't get the. Well, I won my hometown show, and my mom was like, won't you drive a good old time and just settle down? And that ruined it for me. It used to be right. just wild. And then right. it was like, now i got to start being smart. Yeah. Because I think any time I get in a derby car, i got to win. Like that's it. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Uh, so I, want I don't the, feel the same. I want the trophies, and I'm sure. That, I'm sure that 98 percent of track shot does not feel the same as I do. But I love the competition of it, and the. I love to see these drivers drive. That's one thing I hate about these huge tracks. Not that they're not driving, but the old when we were coming up watching the guys in the smaller, they didn't have all the horsepower. Okay, and so work. now you're saying, you, we talked about this before, you're talking about how tracks are getting smaller. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. But with I, do you see that around us? No, I don't no. say they're getting smaller. I said they're not getting I don't smaller. Think they're, 
huh? saying the cars are getting stalker. That we, we built these these hard cars and they kept, they started making the tracks bigger and bigger and bigger. And now the, the kicker car days and all that's faded. The five foot cars have faded it, other than like Ohio and a few places. And we're going back to more stock builds. But the tracks are staying big. But the tracks never adapted. <coughs> I'm not our saying. tracks not just stayed the same around us? They haven't at all or where I'm from. Not even relatively close. My track at home, my hometown track is probably two, two and a half times what it was 20 years ago. Really? Yes. See, our home, uh, my hometown track has always been big. Martinsville? Yeah. yeah, that's a monster. It's, pro how, it's probably what? This, I think it's the perfect size. It's probably what, a little wider than this and probably yeah. half as, like one and a half times as long? Yeah, it's definitely bigger. But like, have you guys ever watched the Wicked team show in Sturgis? Yeah. When they do the heats and they split the arena in half? Yeah, you could probably do my hometown track in thirds. Like that heat this, yeah. this last year of Corey Parrish, That's Max it. Parrish, and all them versus Don Santel and uh, uh, I can't even – Trevor Jones, I think, was out there yeah. with them. With all these guys in one heat and half a track, was it was probably the heat of the year for me. Right. It probably honestly was. I think that was uh, I think about, that was this year, early in the year. I mean, that was the heat of the year for me, and that was a third of this track size. What do you guys? What happened? I don't know. What's he doing? Making TikToks for you? Are they? Uh, I thought they were running. Are they not running? Ask him, Anthony. All right. So now that he's on, not on here. Yeah. What do you believe? Any of this stuff he's saying? What's he talking about? Oh, Here's the big thing, America. Since Anthony's not paying attention, go shop at ndcnc.com. Yep. Check out Critter at TikTok at where? Yeah. Uh, so on TikTok, so any of the social medias, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, just look up Critter, uh, Critter Engines, oh, no, uh, Critter's back. Garage. Back. You can find them on all of them. Hit that sub and that follow button. I greatly appreciate it. While you're at it, go hit my, my guy, Todd, at NDCNC. And while you're at it, Buffalo Bob, Cannonball. Buffalo Bob. Buffalo Bob. I'm the hog farmer. At Cannonball. All right, Derby guys, Park. here we go. At hey, Cannonball Derby little newsflash. The Jason Sauer, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, most wanted fine art fame is in this heat. Oh, boy. Okay, so the rest are in the other one. Yeah. All right. So we're rolling out. The windshield wipers are working on the minivan. That is a problem with the old Renegade. Yeah, your wipers are stuck in the up position. I did uh, notice you still have your shoelaces. Yeah. So you're not going to fix the wipers with not your shoelaces? Not going to worry about it. Have okay. either one of you guys ever ran with a windshield? No, never. No. So listen, I did in Minnesota. And I was like, okay, this is going to be weird. And that's what ended up making me get disqualified because my door came open. I wasn't securing my door. Right, right. And the Honda Accord at my size. And so anyway, I was like, this won't be too bad. It was fogged up when I went to get in it. Thank God they had it, the heater worked in the car. <laughs> if I went ahead and turned the heater on, yeah. I get on the track and start derby, and you know how old dirty windshield? What Glare. Is, what is that 69 car? That's, that's, that's a huge Ford in. 500 or something, right? Uh, yeah, possibly. Huh. It's like a Ford, uh, yeah, I'd say. They're rolling in, though. We got Blackman here in the 65B, Purge over there in the 1X. Yep. We've got an unknown Saturn. Oh, uh, 15. What is 15? That's another Jeep. The Buick. That's Matt Bernard. Matt Bernard. We've got 78 over there. Here comes the old Lumina. Yeah. That's kind of a fun just to guess. There's these. uh the low on the 315. There's the old fatty fun police. Fun police. Here comes the car club rolling in. They had to roll in together. Okay. d d a day to hunt. Now the trucks look like he's having a little trouble. Ramrod. Ramrod, that's the most wanted car club member also with Sauer. He's lining up. Oh, right he's got a front wheel drive. Yeah. <clears throat> so the 90 went rear wheel drive with that truck. I don't know if it's a four wheel drive model or not, but bold choice if it is. Michael Harris. Yep. Did you see the heat critter that Todd and I were in at the throwdown? Uh, yes. <laughs> 111. I would have it loved right. to have been in that. 11 of Jacob Johnson. All right, we're going to do some rearranging hey, here. Uh, right quick, I'll, like. You guys want me to bounce out? Uh, I don't know what to. Uh, yep, oh. we're going to bounce. Boys, it's been fun. All right, guys, give it just a minute. We're doing some changing out. 
gets a derby here. Who's that? A Cavalier coming in, looks like. There's an El Camino here somewhere. We were um, stealing all the product out of Todd's trailer while he was up here. He didn't know it, but. Uh, yeah, there's a, you got three boxes in the back of your car. You give me some foam mounts, we're going to take them out and awesome. try them out. Perfect. Okay. Um, I didn't ask, but you guys already did. We did. A little premature, but we did. So. Okay. TJ, go. Wow. <laughs> what do you got going on? Oh, my gosh. I'm overwhelmed right now. Um, we just crashing for kids cancer um, was at $14,500. Long story short, we have a banner. We tried to raffle the banner off to try to push them over, get to that $15,000 mark. First one, 200, 500,000 thing. Jamie St. Mary is the absolute man. Great we raffled guy. that that banner off, $2,700. Wow. Dude, I have tears in my eyes. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Well, man. they're a great family. So I turned around and I said, listen, as long as you're Derby and you'll never pay an entry fee a dead man, ever. That's Super respectful. cool. Very yes. respectful. All love right, that, there we Keith. go. I love that. Green flags. Are they going to get traction, Josh? Yes. They will in a minute. No, I think it'll be fine, man. I think it's going to be just as fun as usual. Yeah. It's just going to progress as they, and the more they run on it. Sour and a fatty fun, please. You know, in this class in particular, I've noticed, TJ, one thing about your track is like every third tire is pretty forgiving. Sour with a tire shot. So when you get slammed into one of those, you, you never know what you're going to draw, but it may be a soft one. For sure, for sure. But then you, there's the other ones that are like concrete. This actually so might be really dropping the track and helping us out. Yeah. Sour just got rocked right in front of your screen, America. That's Sour right there. Just took a nasty tire shot, and this kid's eating them up. Let's go, Jay. Let's go. Get him. No one gives Sour an inch in the most wanted class, which I love. It's his class, but they still junk them. In Maine, they were eating them up, too. Decker, you know, shout out to Robbie Crittenden. That car wouldn't run. Robbie found out that Bumpley car didn't run. Spent like four hours or so at night going I through, digging it up, wiring, getting it running. Robbie's a machine. He is an absolutely awesome guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, since we're talking about Robbie, oh, it's always the hardest to get this many crazies out there to come. Um, Rob, Robbie Critton and I are working together. Um, we are going to bring to Buried Alive 5 a new class that's never been seen before at Dead Man. It's been seen before, but not at Dead Man. We are going to do a du double-decker and maybe you should get yeah, involved Yeah, yeah, we've talked, I've talked about him with this. I, a a double-decker demolition derby, and I think what we're going to do, it's going to be a lot of safety rules, right? But um, I think we're going to do a mandatory bottom car has to be like a Crown Vic. Yeah, I was going to say V8. And then the top car can have no engine transmission in it, and it has to be like a compact car. And then the guy up top will steer, and the guy in the bottom will have the gas and the gas brake and shifter. I love it. I love it. It's going to be great. That will be so much fun. Hey, I'm going to get off here and let Sour. Yeah, Sour. This is jam right here. The most okay. wanted fine art man himself, Jason Sour. Sour got a great tire shot in, then got tire shotted. So that was a quick in and out, Sour. <laughs> He's smiling, though. I love it. All right, back to action, America. A lot of them, about 30, 35 of them out there right now. Heat number one here of the most wanted fine art class. This yeah. class right here, Jason, thank you so much, is taking off all across America. Yeah. We had a huge record-breaking MWFA in Minnesota. Yes, 111. 111 cars. We have two heats here at Dead Man. Start. We started out with like 15 of these at one time. Now yeah. we got two heats. Where do you think this class is going to go over the next couple years, Jay? Well, if it wasn't for Minnesota, you would have won the record today, buddy. <laughs> yes, you would have won the record. Come on, Minnesota. Right? But they smashed the record. I love oh, yeah. it because you, uh, it's, it sets a ton. You got to chase. Yeah, you got uh, 56 cars here today, right? Wow, that's amazing. 56 in the most wanted class. Congratulations. I don't know what happened to my car. It won't shift. No, it, no. Like, no. I don't know what happens when it doesn't shift. You've had some bad luck in this class, man. I don't no, know. You I'm, took I'm, a bad I'm, tire shot, Jay. Uh, that's probably what happened. In this, uh, but that's fine. I had fun. I wanted to get my one hit in. It felt good. Jay, that car right in front of us, this yeah. green one with the late over tire, you yeah. did that late over tire. Look at that. You. That was you. Look I, at that. That was Jason. One shot, and then you got one shotted. <laughs> but it was still fun. I still was cheering for you for that one I, shot. You saw how I drove right to you guys? I love it. Oh, I knew exactly <laughs> what you were doing. I'm like, I'm going to go find my friends. Because <laughs> they, they moved all the most wanted class to the main, main class. Right. So it's just myself and Ramrod out there. He's out there in Durango just whooping up. Now, you'd think, like, this would be a field of vans, but look, we only have four, maybe five, That's and the rest are cars. 
No, it's yeah. that's why I like this because it's what people have laying around. Yes, it's not, they don't go search for a car. No, you just buy whatever's cheap and you find. You know, yeah, I'm, you run your neighbor's piece of junk. Exactly. How many exactly. people sell cars because the batteries? Are right. And this is a good class for Saturns and Hyundais and all them just things you're like, what do I do with this thing? Yeah, the Suzuki. This is exactly. I do have to ask, is that is that how you how you pronounce Hyundai in New York? Hyundai. <laughs> I, I believe that's correct. Oh, thank you, TJ, by the way. You're such a great person and promoter. I want to thank you for putting this show on for people who love Demotion Derby. As a person who loves to drive Demotion Derby, I thank you for creating a space and a stage for me to drive my most favorite thing. And I only got one shot, but it'll last me for a full year. You're still thankful. smiling. I love it. Thank you. Thank you of course, for, man. for doing this for all of us here well, in the Derby world, my man. Thank you guys for giving me an opportunity. Thanks, Tracks Out Live, for being able to showcase what we are all about. Because every time we do this, Josh, it just brings more people. Yeah, exactly. It, it does. I mean, yeah. people don't see that sometimes, and they don't realize it. If you're a promoter out there and you're worried about, hey, I'm going to bring track shot in, is it going to hurt my attendance? It's not going to hurt your attendance. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a platform to reach way more drivers than a Facebook post ever could. Yes. We started you. at 212, and we've had track shot live with us, what, now five times? Yeah. I think five times now, and now we're sitting at 520 drivers. Right. Thank you for saying that. It didn't hurt us at all. Yes. I know we've been a good team. We have, and we've, we've built relationships all across the country. Yes, yes. Ooh, this Lincoln is just smoking. I, mean, I know if I go up up your way, i got a place to stay, right? 100%. You know? And if you come to me, I'll put you up in a hotel. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Deal. I'm okay so, with that. You don't want me staying at your house. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Back to action, guys. Sorry, oh, I got a little Thank you so track. much. Flystone well, out there doing work in that van. Get it, Zachary. So Look at this little Colorado still getting after it. I like seeing stuff that's still still lasting. So cool. Uh, sorry, Greg, I didn't perform well in your car. Oh, you were going to say something. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, you know what? Next year you should come up and you and me together should just go run a random Most Wanted together. Uh, 100%. Come up by me. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. We'll just what should I bring? No, no. I'll, no. Whatever's in you, your you neighbor's just come. yard. Yeah, uh, you um, just come. I'll take care of that side. You and me will just go run some vans I got what, later what show? I don't know. Let me think about that. But we have some in between us, actually. I'll just meet you there. It'll be fun to you. 100%. Right? Like, like a random, like just you and me show up at a, like a rando. Like, don't tell anybody. On a thir no, exactly. On a Thursday night, 100%. you and me are together running Most Wanted. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. I'm absolutely in. I actually know the exact show I want to do already, I think. But I'm not going to say it because then everyone's going to. Right. Then, then, then there's like we'll 47 talk. cars. Yeah, no, my, ma my main oh. question is, are we, are we getting it on or are we working together? No, 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 no. Work together. Yeah, right. I figured you didn't want to smoke. <laughs> no, not today. No, 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 no. We're a team. I thought. Come on. No, no. We should get. We should get two old shockers because I'm. A, I'm originally a shocker guy. That's true. So I'd like get two old shockers and we'll go out and just bang it out in front of the in front of the dead man crowd and buried alive. Maybe. I'm okay shockers, with that. It'd be fun, right? We'll just keep it. Keep it stock, right? I love that. Were shockers made in 1980? No, he's saying to come do it here. I might just do a. a I've said I want to see an old Iron Most Wanted any year. People could run like a 72 whatever, I don't know, a wag you see wagon ears out there and crap. No mercy, well, no mercy for. No, it's a I good idea, that, right? No, it's a great idea to get rid of them little wagons, some little Chevy wagons. Yeah, Aspens, yeah, Dodge you know. Aspens and Malibu wagons. Yeah, because them 1960s cars aren't going to hold up as well, right? I mean, just smash them anyway because they're little. Decker just wants to open it up to every single year. Yeah, I do. Just every single year. I'm sorry, I do. No, it's not a terrible idea. I mean, no, nice. just one show because I like the '80s and newer. I think the premise is right of what you have. I just would love to show up with an old shocker. Out there. Listen, <laughs> if you get it done, okay, I'll bring a round back wagon. Okay, I like this. Okay, I like this, Steve. Nice. Oh, Blystone still out here. Yeah, he is. Pulling right up. He's the guy that's had some bad luck at Dead Man Derby events. Um, I'd love to see him you know, get in the money here. He's done it at New Alex with us. but He said out there in the pits that he's going to win this heat. 
I yep. love it. Go up there, re-register for the final heat, and bring that van back out. Yeah, we love, hope so. And try to get Reaper. Both times. So I like his spirit. That's some good spirit. Teej, you got to tell us who's your crew that did the track because you're, you're, I got to say, like, that you better give them an extra steak dinner because they've really kicked butt. 100%. Um, Bill Gowacki, uh, Schultz, Schultz Jr., and Nate have been working on this thing all week. I'm so, so proud of them. I was so scared. You know, a track kills or makes a derby. Yes, yes. I haven't had one complaint. No, no, no. Um, it's been very random. Before today, I don't know that we really truly had anybody get the track get them. You no, know what I mean? I agree. Um, so, I tell you, the last yeah, and we didn't have rod. to we didn't have to put water on it either the last two days. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and I don't know whose idea it was to roll it, but I think that was huge. Yes, yes. huge. And and that's what gave us like today would be absolutely awful uh -oh, if we had not done that. The front tire. You know, before we got it. But those guys are amazing. Bill, you guys are just, you're special in my heart, I can tell you that right now. Oh, they got hours and hours. It's around 40 some hours. Woo! Ramrod's got it in front wheel drive this Durango and he's about to spit off both front tires. He's got to get rid of one of them to get some traction. You don't want to spit oh, it in your rim. He's about to spit it right, right there, come on. Oh, yep, there you go, he spit, there's one. Ugh, I don't know, that aluminum ended up being as slippery as <laughs> yeah. Slippery as a flat. My phone's in my car. Looks like maybe eight left, folks. Smoke across the whole track. Did you get to see the back of the butter machine? I did. <laughs> butter cracks me up. Butter cracks me up. I think, I don't remember what Derby was, but we Derby. He come right after me. He come right after me. Oh, yeah, have her up. Have her. Sour, bounce real quick. Do you mind? Can you grab Kayla? Yeah, yeah. I've been begging her to come out yeah. like 10 times. I, I've been harassing her. <laughs> Every time I see her, uh, TJ, I say, like, you're not doing anything right now. Come on. And she's obviously always busy. Um, but I think I finally got your old lady to come on. Or you got her because she knew you were coming. She came in like, you did this without me? <laughs> oh, I've been right. I've been asking her ten times to come on. Well, listen, she's right behind you to the left, Sour. Oh, she's right yeah. around the wall. I 100% put in a ton of hours on this show, but there's nobody that puts in more time than my wife. Yeah, I'm the guy that gets to splash around in the mud puddles. Yeah, while my wife is back there just absolutely Working. knocking out every little detail of this show behind the scenes. Behind every every good man, there's a there's a strong woman rolling her eyes. I can tell you that. And she's the one rolling her eyes um, for me. So she's gonna come up in here. This is my beautiful queen. I roll. I roll my eyes at you too. Well, you can be my second girl. <laughs> uh. So this is my beautiful queen here, Kayla. I'd go farther. I'd say. I mean, she is definitely. But I'd say also the brains of the operation. The marketing and advertising director, the um, name of job, I, the really, I, I don't know what you do sometimes. This is a good. Now, in the middle of the more. derby yesterday, I went back to grab food, right, because I was so, so hungry. I go running back there. TJ's just having conversations, walking around, relaxing in the back. It's like, and I seen her. She's just walking at 100 miles an hour past us with her clipboard and moving and I met my goal, my move goal yesterday by 200%. Oh, nice. boy. That was nice. What was that? <laughs> I mean, how many steps you got in yesterday? Too many. 20 miles? TJ's a show. He's the face. Can I ask why TJ doesn't have you a golf cart? Um, you shouldn't be walking at home. We have a golf cart. Have you seen it out there, though? It's pretty crazy. Sometimes an individual walking, it might be quicker than trying to get a golf cart through some of this. Okay, I agree with that. But aren't you exhausted? Nah. What about the exhausted ratio? It's fine. You guys work out. I don't work out. I'm thinking about that. <laughs> listen, so I, honestly, I don't. I mean, that's probably why I, so I Josh, could not do what she does. Bro, listen, we, we, we were working out like every, like probably like five, six days a week. We were killing it. We had both lost a ton of weight. We were looking a, way better than we've ever looked. I mean, she's a smoke show all the time. So, like, you know, she's, she's always in good shape. But we were both very proud of where we were, eating healthy and everything like that. And then the derby season started approaching. And we were <laughs> like, um, 
we Good better start. Yeah, so this this is our, our last cheat week. We'll eat out probably six or seven times this week, yep. maybe maybe ten, and then after that it's all about trying to get back in shape. Because, listen, I got the call. Pro Elite Wrestling wants me in. Oh, I'm sure. I've seen it. I'm seeing it. I can see it. So I got to <laughs> I got to get the body right, man. I can see it. Now, are, you're saying that, but I don't know. Those guys were really throwing themselves. Like, that's for real, TJ. I watched it. They actually go way up and slam on their back. Yeah. I don't no. know if that's what you want to do on uh, Thursday nights. Yeah, I think maybe I could just be like a ring announcer. Or you something. should be the manager. Yeah, yeah. I told you you're the show and the face. Yeah, you could be the. You got it down. Ring announcer, that's too easy for you. Come out and cut some promo. That's too easy. That's too easy. Well, who's going to be cutting a promo as the victor of this class right now? Because we are getting down to it here. I love that it's. It might not be a van because the one thing we hear about this all the time is Durango's and vans shouldn't be in it. No, they're not winning. I mean. That's what I love about this class. It's so random what wins it. It's about driving, staying clean. Kayla, for the most part, if you were ever to Derby, and I know you said you will never do it, if you ever were to Derby, this is the class. Everything, The cars are soft. Yeah, some of the hits can be kind of crazy, but when there's 30 of them out there and you can just drive, you know, it's, it's soft and it's fun. And I don't know. I feel like these people are crazy, and <laughs> some of them, okay, but some of them aren't inexperienced, and this is just where they fit in to begin with. True. So everyone's just, it's not always methodical, and yes. I feel like things just get messy. But if I could run a class like you and just sandbag, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. whoa. I think it'd be easy. She's right. No, she's Shots right. Shots fired. I'm just saying. She knows you. Wow. So well. We're not telling America anything we don't already. <laughs> yeah, Tease, we watch. You put your lives up, buddy, or your videos up. We get to watch them, man. Hey, listen. We Kayla, get to watch them. Kayla always asks me. She says, when I say I'm going to a derby, she'll say, are you trying to win or are you going to try to drive hard? 95% of the time, I'm like, I'm going to try to win. And when I say that, she's like, okay, I'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. But when I have seen you drive hard, I'm thoroughly impressed. And I'm like, that was so cool. Like, that was awesome to see you do that. That's awesome. You should do it all the time. But she's also, like, <laughs> the hardest one to, to please in that manner because she, um, she'll, I'll, I'll, I'll think I, I killed it, right? And she'll be like, I don't, I don't know. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> she was like, I don't even know how you got Mad Dog. I'm like, what? Are you serious? Are you oh trolling me right God. now? Like, what's she, up? She's not trolling you. She's the most honest one. Ah, uh, that's you what. Know? That's awesome. So, Kayla, let's just imagine when there was a van here last year, Sour painted your name on it. It was all pretty and beautiful. You wouldn't run in that? Well, you wouldn't just one, put the helmet on? Let me stop you. You can make it happen. Let me stop you. Pretty ain't her style. No. She ain't, <laughs> she ain't that girl in pink and all that. Okay. She's, she's like Tara from Sons of Anarchy. You know okay. what I mean? Like she's, we can make this style. happen. We can make this motif happen. Absolutely. Just keep talking to or into her in the wintertime and then. Maybe in the spring we'll stick her in a van. Yeah. Come on, you could win in a vans. I would never put my wife in the van rumble. <laughs> no, in the van rumble? Oh my God, gosh. no. No, in this no, class in the van, vans. No, in the van MWFA. Yeah. You, you, know, you know why you, you Your would, van rumble was awesome. You only put your wife in a van rumble if you're looking for a new one. Exactly. Wow. Because <laughs> she's not. Yeah, she's she's not going to be very happy with you when you're done. Dude, you're going to be divorced. That class was awesome. <laughs> And we figured out how to solve that problem last night. Good. Um, what we're going to do from now on is make it mandatory that you come in backwards. And what that will do is it will at least give you that first opportunity to come in, make the first hit, and not break something off that first hit. You didn't like people breaking stuff on the first. I, I, I liked it. It, I, it, made the, it made the pace go. It, it, they're still going to smoke each other. I actually I liked it. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But I liked it. Well, what it – I guess what the problem was is, like, when we were, like, 13 in, there was only two cars running. And I think the crowd, even though they loved – I was the actually really surprised that the crowd loved it as much as they did because, to me, I'm like, man, I was really hoping there would be more targets for people coming off the line. No, see, I thought opposite. Yeah, well, I dug that, like, one of these two are going to get chewed. One of these two are going to get chewed. I loved that. Well, yeah. that's good. That's nice to have a Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just saying I lo how it rolled. I actually – I liked it. So how many of those hits do you think will be on Alex's video at the end of the day? <laughs> Every single one. Right. I mean, you had like six six in a row that was like straight out corner tire shot on something. Then corner tire shot. I'm like, these guys are eating each other right now. But again, what Kayla and I love about our drivers is is that when they got out of their cars, they weren't like whining and complaining about how it went or anything like that. There were five, six guys that came up to me. Man, I only made one hit, but man, I couldn't have had more fun. I'm like, what? And, and they're serious. 
because that's just who they are, and that's what makes our drivers so much more special. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to add to that. You and I have had conversations about atmosphere, mm. and certain promoters do not build atmosphere. So that had so much damn atmosphere. You're out there running, right? They're sit, they're, they got their helmet on. You're jumping up and down doing the 10, right? They see the crowd counting down. The horn goes. The atmosphere is what has them so excited. They made one hit, but, dude, that was crazy. It's not like the county fair where they're like, chug, 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 mm -hmm. into the track, pull into your corner. That wasn't this one. You know, this was a battle royal. You were running for your life. It was the atmosphere. I'll I have give, some. Okay, baby. I was going to say I'll give you props on that. See, you'll let me talk now. Should have started with that. I'll give you props on oh. that, though, because, like, yesterday someone made a comment, you know, Kayla, you're running around with, like a chicken with your head cut off. You're here, you're there. Every time I turn around, there you are. And TJ's had three different outfits on today. <laughs> he's has a costume. He's walking around with a mask. He's shooting promo videos. He's goofing off with kids. They were like, wow, it's just so different. But that's what he's building. Like, he's Bruh. making the atmosphere. He's making the experiences for the kids, yes. you know, interacting with drivers. Like, what promoter do you know that's walking around in the pits with a costume, taking pictures with people, goofing off, talking? So, like... It's a yin and yang. There's a balance. Like, I may be doing some of the background craziness, but he's doing his own part to more than contribute to make it all work. Oh, uh, absolutely right. Once we build up and get some more people, like, I told her she needs, like, that. Um, like, she's the president of her group. And she yeah. needs a, a strong CEO and a strong. Once we, like, really start building that where she can. I want people to know how much fun. I want people to know why I married her. Because. She, it's not for my paperwork skills. This is true. <laughs> Which uh, are awesome. <laughs> but she, um, she's such an amazing person. She's fun. I want them to see that side of her, yes. too. Not just the, man, she's walking 100 mile an hour with this face on her. Like, she's got to get here and she doesn't have time for anything else. You know, she does. She's just taking care. She's, she's the one making sure that everybody in the crowd's having a great time because everybody knows what's going on because of her. Yes. You know, so I want to get her more involved in, fun, in the, the fun stuff. And, I don't want to tell you this out loud, but I, when I need something, I actually go ask her. I skip right past you, and that's just friend to friend. I mean, first off, I can find her, yeah. and then when I go to her, she's like, "Bam!" It's like, "All right, bam!" Thank you, and you know, that's just friend to friend. I doesn't. I always say, <laughs> I always say, if if you're lying in a ditch dead. Don't call me because oh, you will be <laughs> rotting there by the so time I return times. that call. Yes. He finally calls me back three hours later. Uh, hey, do you need something? I well, should start saying I'm that. I'm glad I didn't. Dude, that's wicked funny because people complain to me I don't answer my phone. I should start <laughs> saying that. That's wicked funny. <laughs> well, to touch on something that Kayla um, that just said, you know, <clears throat> last night I'm sitting up in the grandstands. I'm talking to some fans, getting their input. What would you think? What are you doing this? Um and I, I went down and I seen a kid, and he's sitting in the middle of the 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 bleachers, and he's got six derby cars. And I'm like, man, you know what? Like that's my kid, right? You know, yep. like this kid's out of derby. Mm -hmm. He's looking down at these stairs, and what what is his eye seeing? He's seeing this huge production value right in front of him, and he's got his back turned to one of the best derbies in the country <laughs> because his derby and his world is the biggest thing going on. So I just I laid down on the steps with him and derbied with him for That's like cool. the two or three minutes. That's so, awesome. And I, I never, ever, no matter how big we get, no matter how many fans we have and thing, I will always be that guy that will sit down and play cars with the kids in the crowd. That's awesome. Did you get to go down the bounce house? No. Speaking of that. Have you seen all the video shot? I have not seen. Oh any my! Of the I video. have them on my phone, dude. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We sat in a group of twenty here last night. We watched all fifteen of them in tears. A bunch of us. It's so good. You killed it. Really? The the mat. <laughs> dude, they're so good. You'll have yourself in tears because um, they kept showing them me, and I'm like, when did you guys shoot these? There was fifteen videos. I go, Rapid when fire. did you shoot these? <laughs> And, dude, they're just so funny. I, America, wait till you see. Anthony's going to release so many good videos. And uh, follow us on TikTok. You'll see them. They'll say Dead Man right at the top and stuff. But watch them. Watch them because they're so funny. My, my number one question is, are the charges legit? Did I live up to it? Did I? Did Kayla and I promote vehicular violence? Yes, all yes. 100%. Don't include me. Okay. <laughs> you can handle it. Now, yes. My second question is, yes. did I impersonate an officer? Yes. 
So these charges are legit? These char in my opinion, these charges are legit. Maybe which I, I thought should, was great. Maybe you know, I should not be sitting up here. Probably not. <laughs> well, you have you have stuff coming to you in the future. I know that. Let's just say it that way. Oh no. Your days your days are not done. He's not this isn't a setup, is it? It's not. You're lucky. Okay. You're not. Nope, it's not, actually. You don't have to worry about I it. I saw the fun police out here, and I thought I was safe because he was going to be on the track, and then they threw a swerve on me, and it was sour in it. So I, I thought it was fatty fun police. I thought I was safe for a heat. No, no. He had to uh, – he's out of our jurisdiction right now. Let's say that. But the guys got done filming with you, and they had such – Anthony Wallace was like, this was this is the best content we have ever got at a derby. And I'm like, awesome, dude. He's jazzed. He took so many videos. He's like, this is a, he has you planned out. He has five months of videos every two weeks and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever, it. Anthony, whatever, do it. I'm in. I'm in. Like, <laughs> it was funny. I need a caricature of myself on a track shot live t shirt. Yes. Right okay, now. well, let's work towards that. So, like, when I was uh, probably 13 or 14, my mom's like absolutely crazy. And also, talking. absolutely oh crazy God. about Halloween. She is the, just, I can't even describe how messed up in the head she is about scaring people like she'll lay <laughs> under your bed grab your ankles when you walk by wow. like record doors creep in and scare her sisters and stuff so she got <laughs> me into halloween like big time well when we had haunted house at our house for trick-or-treating for literally 10 years straight i dressed up in the neighborhood as michael myers so awesome i was in my zone today. oh no way okay <laughs> dude the one where you speed walk <laughs> and then you do the long strides, dude. It's so good. Oh my god, with tears so on it, dude. It was so funny. He looks at me. Is that what we're doing right and now? And at the end, he grabs your hand. He's like, "Follow me." And you guys are like holding hands, like, "Oh my god, I'm in tears, laughing on it, dude." It was so good. How about when he comes in? He goes, "Mike, Mike, 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 Mike." Dude, I love when he says, "Mike, Mike, Mike." <laughs> and all of them. It's so funny. Him calling you Mike was great. Oh my gosh. People are like, TJ's crazy. He's like all like hyped up, and I'm like, no, this is just him. No, he hasn't flipped a switch. There's nothing. He's he's not performing right now. This is just daily. Could it be this car being our number one? I don't know. Oh man, sorry. Let me jump back. And the stick. He's still moving back there, man. He's. I'm I'm having he's a tough time dungeon. reading a number on this. He's got enough weight to move it around. Is that Blystead? No. No. Okay. Oh. Who do we is have here? Not? I don't think it is. Him. Nah. GTF. OTF. OT. OTF. Eight. Eight. Right here. Charles Mansfield, I believe. Yeah. Charles Mansfield. Oh. Yeah, it's Charles. And now the white car I can't see. Maybe if we could. No, I think it's a seven. So on the opposite side of this van, what is on the opposite side? Like a tarp? Is that a spider web? Is that like a tarp? Is it an advertisement? I think it was his airbag went off, Bob. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's his curtain airbag. Oh, I only know that because I had a habit. <laughs> Oh, okay. You well, thought this it's was a methodical decoration. No, it's his like, curtain airbag. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. These airbags are dangerous and inconvenient, but I do love safety. That might be Austin Bates in the three. Do we think that's a three in green? That looks like it. It sure does look like it one. Would, that would be Austin Bates and Mansfield in the eight in the van. Now, last year, I got second in this class in a Corolla. Two Sickles, who was in a Camry, so no minivan won last year here. And uh, it's looking like he's got him in, in a pretty good spot. It does. Yeah. And now, Josh, do you think it's? Let me ask you your opinion on this. Do you think it's bush league if somebody runs a set of like E78s? <laughs> well, it's kind of bush league, right? Like everybody knows it's a DOT tire, but everybody knows that's not what we intended, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think we should ban them? Or do you think if somebody's willing to put $600 worth of tires around the bottom of an MWFA car? It, it takes away from the premise of it, the original premise of yeah. it, but it's inside the rule. I, I, yeah. Kind of, but not. But it's not, right? The, the thing about it's Sauer fixed. I love about this is he, um, he like, you? You got the headphones? Ask Bill, please. 
Yes, sir. Where did your headphone thing go? He took it back. God damn it. Sour, get on it. Um, the uh, sour. Well, the thing about sour is he wants people to self-govern this a little bit themselves. Like the drivers, if you're trying, let me just say this out loud. If you're trying to cheat in this class, don't even do it, dude. Right. It's not the. This is for fun. This is like just go run another class if it's like I want to push the rule here. Here, no, right. no, 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 no. Not even the fun of this. Right. The fun of it is just junking Mike in. Mic check. Yes, yeah, Sour, I, I we can, can hear you. Can you hear us? Hi. Yes. Okay. Sour, be careful. Be careful. Fall, he is on the move. Okay. So this is uh, Sour. Have you done on tracks? This might nope. be your first on track. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Who won? All right. Um. Right over here. The number. Yeah, yes. I'm coming. Yep. Look at you even running and all. We love it. We got Austin Get Bates. the move. Get Austin the move. Bates. All right. Oh, hold on. Come on over here. We're on you, We got to so. aim, aim, aim over here. Got it. Uh, all right. Can you guys see us? Yes, Perfect. Go. All right. Who, who are we here with? Austin Bates. You did so good. Back and forth. How'd that feel? Oh, I'm telling you. It was an adrenaline rush. I, I didn't think I was going to get it when I got in here this morning. I was like... Well, I have pretty good odds. I didn't, it's a sit cylinder. I never ran this before, so I'm excited. Oh, congratulations. You did so well out there. Your car lasted. You went back and forth. How'd that feel? Seriously. Yeah. Oh. Hey, awesome. It felt great. I, I've never ran dead men before. And I'm, it's awesome. Wait, well, we got what, TJ right there in the booth. What kind of car is that, Sour? What kind of car was that? A Honda Accord sit, uh, sit cylinder. Oh. That's really cool. How much awesome. time does he have in it? How much time do you have in that car? Three hours. Yes. Yes, congratulations. Hey, Austin, real That's quick. super cool. Hey, who do you want to give a shout-out to? I want to shout-out to my cousin, Cody, for everything he's done yesterday for me. I want to shout-out to Bates Recycling for the donation of the car. It's just awesome, man. And my family supporting me and everything. Every, every time I come out here, it's awesome. Well, congratulations. Go get your trophy. They got it right there for you. You're the winner. All right, Sour, where's the man's Sour field? Sour, yes, Sour, 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 I love you. Might be, you, you, I'm going to say it. You're better than Fatty at this already. Uh, oh, okay, oh, come oh, on man. over here. <laughs> Fighting words. All right, we got to look at the booth. Turn it right over here. You did so good. Tell everybody who you are. Charles Mansfield. Charles in the Chucky Mansfield. car. Hey. Yep, I'm in the Chucky car. How'd you feel out there driving? Well, I think I going. It was pretty good. I just so long retired. You definitely look like a pro out there. I was saying you probably have the most experience of all the drivers on the track. I wouldn't say that. If I did, it's them. You think so? Yep. Do you want to give a shout out? Who helped you build that van? Brian, Tyler, Spike. How many years has he been derbying? Hey, all right. Yeah, uh, congratulations on the best paint. But how long have you been derbying? I'm 36. About 25 years. Okay, we got 25 years. 25 years. 25 years. I drove truck for 23 years. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, you have a great family. Thank you for uh, we, we love you. Congratulations on best paint job. Yes. You coming out later? Yeah. All right. We got more of the family coming out later on tonight. Congratulations. Back to the hog sour, barn. Sour, 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 But come this way over here. Matt, Go to Matt your thought. right. Go to your right. The got the Reaper over on your right. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> we no, no, you're absolutely we right. right. We wanted it. <laughs> Who we got here? Matt Poppish. You just won the Reaper. I love it. I was trying to get it for a long time. Finally got one. <laughs> How's that feel? Feels amazing. Awesome. Trying to hold it up. Hey, let him know I'm on here, and I want hey, to try to hold it up. Like I got a lot. Hey, TJ's talking you. I got a lot of friends that have had it and everything, and. You know, we've come a long way to do it. They've all got one, and it's about time I finally did. Tell it, tell him we've been watching, and we've been impressed, and now he's got one. Wow, they've been watching you a long time, and they're super impressed at how well you did. You were really playing. Like, I couldn't believe how much traction you were making this happen. Honestly, I was shocked. You know, when it came out to this muddy, I was like, it's going to be a full send or no send moment. We're going to either we're going to bite or we're going to send her to the moon one way or another. <laughs> oh, it was so entertaining. Yeah. Running the Reaper is something special, right, Josh Decker? Oh, yes. That's super exciting. Good for him. Congratulations. Congratulations Brian. for winning the Reaper. Thank you very much. <laughs> back to as, the hog barn? As, yeah, please. The rain's coming down. We see uh, it. Back I'll to the hog you, barn. I'll, I'll get you out of the rain, brother. Don't so, slip. 
So I got I got He did 100. He did 99.9 percent perfect. The only thing that he messed up is when he said, "Right, Josh Decker." Handed the mic to the other guy. Yeah, I, I failed there because I thought he could hear me. No, Come you get this. <laughs> no, you got to get up. You got to get up one-handed. The camera's on you. Don't fall. Sour. Sour. Oh, he's got moves. Jeez. Sour. Take a dive for the people Doing in, the, in the pool. <laughs> All right. Nope. Nope. I got to celebrate my friends later tonight. This is true. This is true. So, so um, if you don't mind, I'm sure Kayla and I would like to like to thank all the Track Shot Live fans out there that are watching. Hopefully, we've done enough to impress you that next year you'll be up here on the stage with us, watching, and meeting, maybe hanging out with you know Josh and, and the crew, and hopefully Skin, you yep. know, and Jason Sauer here live with us at Dead Man Derby presents Buried Alive Five. Maybe No Mercy. Check us out. What, what, what do we want? Honey, from how how do we get these people to come out? I mean, like, what do we we have a great crowd tonight? What would you say to them? What are we? What are we about? That why should they come to our show? Well, I think we've said all the time, like, Dead Man Derby Productions. So we do it all, A to Z, everything. Um, honestly, and I know you guys have heard it before, like before Dead Man Derby, just no, sorry, go have fun, I'll stay home. Um, but I think because I felt like that before and like we have, you know, three kids and it's a lot and, you know, lugging everybody in and mm -hmm. TJ's busy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for us, of course, TJ sees like the driver's perspective and wants to make everything on the track perfect and, you know, tech to be fair and the officiating on the track to be great. But then there's so much more outside of just what happens on this track here. I mean, kids activities and family stuff and vendor row is packed and full and crazy food is insane um entertainment wrestling you know we did Kickmaster karate demonstrations just there's just something for you guys had, i was just gonna say you guys really did kill it on that aspect where people are not and you know again i'm gonna go atmosphere because it's something i was taught keeping everyone busy keeping it not boring keeping the kids entertained is like if your kids want to go home on night one on a three-night derby <laughs> right stuff to keep them there weekend. right right and you guys have done such a great job i gotta say that um i realized that there were trick-or-treating people here that were non-derby and that's when i thought mm -hmm. you guys really killed it because when i start heard that families were coming local just because the kids heard they get like insane amount of candies like okay now now right like because now you've included in community now the community is actually coming to your event, not just for the derby, but to get their kids here. And it's like, that was cool. I think that was next cool. year we might have to like really plan out a, a, even a bigger line that maybe goes around a big loop because we, we went BFs uh, down the road here. They, they actually were handing out, they were stuffing the bags with our flyers and telling everybody to come. Awesome. And, the, and that, those are the type of partners that we want with dead man. If you're, if you're a really good partner, or a sponsor that's potentially out there looking to be a part of something like this. Yep. We want you, not just because we want the money. That's not what I'm saying. We want good people involved with us. And it needs good people. And it does take money to put a show on like this. We need good sponsorship that we can trust and rely upon. And and we're not, I'm, not, I'm not money begging or anything like that. No, no, a we, partner. We, Someone right. to partner it's a partnership. Up with you. Yeah. yeah. And and call me and say, This is what I'm willing to do. What can you do for me? We can put together some amazing packages, you know, as a sponsor to, to get you on a driver shirt. Yes. Or or maybe it can be Track Shot Live presents Dead Man Derby's Buried Alive. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. You know, so yes. there's opportunities okay. out there for yeah. anything. It's if you want to throw a hundred dollars to a, a power wheel reaper, anything. Yes, yes, so, uh, yes. I'm gonna run and go do why many, what, many what, things, what, but what, I have a comment what, first. Come I have a comment. On. Here's a comment. <laughs> I have a comment. Well, you said community, and I feel like uh, I'm not sure if it was last year, Buried Alive three, maybe. But we touched on how like we're not in Cumberland, and like right. we don't have a home. And this place has been great, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like home. And as corny as it sounds, I feel like they say you know like home is where your family is, or home is where your heart is, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like we're building a family. Yes. I feel like you know Dead Man family, the fans, the drivers, our crew, our volunteers, like everybody that is a part of it is a part of it, and we exist because of all of those pieces. So where all of those pieces are is home, and. I don't know. Well, think of it this way. I, I love when you guys put up stuff and, like, your stuff sells out for the next year. There's people talking about buying hotels and stuff for next year already. It's like those are your family because they're, like, they're not questioning it. They're here next year. 
we're coming back, right? They're like they haven't even got through the weekend, and they're talking about buying their hotel rooms for next year because everything's sold out around here. Just yeah. by the way, everybody, book your stuff early because everyone's here. So you gotta, you gotta, you know. But I think that's pretty cool, right? I mean, you got you got people planning a whole year before. I don't know. One of my guys, favorite things, and I said this on one of my lives the other night, or maybe we were even talking about. It, I said I can't believe that people message me and they're like, "Do you have dates for?" you know, your shows next year, and I'll try to give them a tentative date, and they just say to me, well, you know, I have to get, you know, a week's vacation at work, yep. and I, I'm not going to miss it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, you're not going to the beach. You know, you're not. Oh, my gosh. Um, Bailey Allison um, got married. Sorry, got married. And they're on their honeymoon here. <laughs> Love like, it. Like that's cool. Hell, that dude. stuff. It makes you feel regular. good. It yeah. makes it worth yeah. the work. Where I'm it's like, it. okay, people love it that much that they would do that. I, you know, it makes it you not want to stop. It makes you want not want to stop. Good stuff. Well, I'm glad I got to pop on. Thank you. Question. Everybody. Can I ask a question? Because I did, I was not here earlier, but I I think I lost the feature. I might have lost the feature lists. The I'm sorry. You're fine. The core um, packs and the. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think so. And I also think I lost your limited. Well, then I know you we just had. Need them the rest of the evening. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm She's sorry. I don't know what I did with them. Let's put a timer on it. <laughs> no, she that's pressure. Stop. <laughs> Do that. I have no. Because no, my no, phone no. has been blowing up since I've been here, and three people are going to stop me on my way to the bar. <laughs> oh, so don't even talk I, to me. I need cushion. I need. Cushion. I don't even want to hear that. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you so much for coming. If out. I could donate a dollar to charity for every time i hear tj <laughs> tj <laughs> tj <laughs> TJ. <laughs> i'm like oh man you know you know what i tell people i'm absolutely sick of hearing my name especially as an announcer well you know because you stay on the wall as soon as you turn around people are like dude i there were people that will stand on the wall and yell my name for eternity until i turn around and there's really like I just want you to know, people, that sometimes I want to hit my head off a concrete wall. <laughs> I guess it's like, <laughs> I hate my name. <laughs> it gets said so much. Listen, I've had them pull my headset off like this <laughs> and, and scream in my ear. They'll be like, hey, can I sign up for a show tomorrow? And I'm like, are you serious right now? Uh, like, there's a time and a place, and yeah. some people don't have that. Well, what I learned is everyone thinks that what they're doing is the most important but sometimes, actually, I have something going on that's important, too. <laughs> it's like, Decker, Decker, Decker. It's like, which, you know. But the, the problem is, Teach, can I, can I, um, can I just, it's just you and me talking here. You want soapbox here? Or no, what? well, okay. the problem is, is like, as, you know, as you know, you gain popularity, you love talking to your people. Like, there's, I don't like when people give me problems to handle. Decker, the bathroom's clogged. Ah, no. Decker, I love you. Can you sign this shirt? Like, you know, you immediately are like, yes, yes, I'll sign this shirt. But, you know, or Decker, can we get a picture? Yeah, I'm down for the picture. But when it's like, Decker, go fix. Decker, there's a problem. Decker, doesn't right. like, you want to just. Well, and that's, and as a promoter, you you want to have your hands in as much as you can to make sure that it goes right. But sometimes you have to let things fly. And you got to give them legs and see if they can, you know, walk the walk. People say, I want to be a part of this. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, you test them. Sometimes they fail. Sometimes you test them and you find out that, you know, Jacob Gilliam was not my head official. Mm -hmm. We had a guy that was supposed to be the head official, and it, he got a new job, and he could not get the time off. So he was only able to be there, like, for, like, the late evening stuff. At Buried Alive 1, I lost my head official two weeks before the derby. Ugh. I mean, su like, you know, derby suicide, you know what I mean? And I just went to Jacob, and I said... Are you ready to lead your own line? And he looked me dead in the eyes and said, I am so ready and I am so thankful for your opportunity to do this. And he's done nothing but deliver for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, sometimes it just happens. Sometimes it happens when you want it to or sometimes it's somebody else's time. And, yeah, it's been great, man. And just a humbling event. This is the best Sunday crowd we've ever had. Uh, dead man feature, compact feature. Um, yeah, you know, and teach, I mean, like, just to take a breath, like, you should be really proud. You should be really proud, dude, because it's tough. Like, I know, trust me, I'm like, the week before, you're like, I got to get all this stuff. All you're thinking about is it happening. But now is that it's happened. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know if you could ask for better action this weekend. 
I don't know if you could have asked it to go any better so far. And I know we still got a little bit to go, but there's only five left. I appreciate Four left. It. Four left. I really do appreciate it. But you got to look over here to your right over here. This guy in his dead man hoodie. That's Butter. He's got something special in the back of his car. It says, hi, Daddy Decker. You know, I seen that. I seen that. Which is, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Uh, I like Butter. Butter's a good guy. He's He supports you very well. He's always he's been, one of my been, best friends. Yes, he's been around for a long time. And uh, I don't remember what derby it was. One of them, he came after me. Butter? Or like did I go after him? No, I think he came after me. From and, what I heard, <laughs> you, you hit him first. Okay, that's fair. Well, that's always how it goes, right? Um, no, I like Butter, and he's a good time, and uh, he is I appreciate that. Huge loyalist to, to Dead Man. Yep. Huge loyalist to myself, and you know his his wife Shayna absolutely killed it. Um, if you saw an animatronic character this weekend, Shayna basically put it together by herself. And let me tell you, some of our animatronics are ten feet tall. Shane is not 10 feet tall. Right. She's like four foot nothing. And she is just a sweetheart. And But watching her put them together, Kayla helped a little bit. Some other people helped too. I don't want to, you know, miss a name or anything. But it was really cool because we're just a bunch of booger eaters that found a way to work our way up from stock chain and bang to mid-tier classes. And it's really cool because then I've been able to pass the knowledge that others passed to me. Exactly. And and now they're running. Exactly. Buried up. Butter won. Dead stock of Buried Alive. Six foot trophy, everything. Big heat. One of the heats of the weekend at Buried Alive. And now tonight, he steps up again and, and runs the limited weld. Ooh. And, and it's like they keep taking these steps to see, am I ready? Push themselves. Yeah. Am I ready? Yeah. Test you know? themselves. Yeah. Because the builds push you. You know, the. Yep. It's always evolving, so you have to keep up with it. You know, and not only that, but financially, it, I was just going to say <laughs> you got to throw money at it. The huge financial commitment you make to even participate in uh, in getting to a derby, let alone all the parts and everything that you need. Like, could you imagine right now if I said, Josh, you have to run a full cradle car tomorrow. You don't have a car. How much money it takes to start from the beginning? I just pass on it right now. And say, Bro, yeah, right. Forget like about a full grade cradle car right now. No, I'm not, I'm not there in my life right now. Today. Well, you can't even take a loan out because the interest rates are 45. percent Well, uh, now let's stop on again. Right, we've watched across the whole country. Numbers have been down, dude, because the economy is bad. I don't care what the news tells us. The economy is bad. I'm broke. We're all broke. You still got everybody here. You still got a full amount of cars. And and TJ, as we've seen the year, I mean, we, you and I both know we've been to county fairs this summer that were eight. 11 yeah whole cars on the night folks they got full stands and there's 11 cars um so then to pull 300 400 is hey anthony rare can you go grab an urn over there from christy like a yeah, thank you, young man. So I wanted to show you this real quick because we got the Dead Man Compact feature coming out next. So we started this at Day of the Dead. Um, if you guys have ever seen a huge wrestling fan, uh, the pay-per-view Money in the Bank. So you climb a ladder, you win the Money in the Bank briefcase. That briefcase inside of it has a contract. Anytime, any place, you can cash that in and get a championship match. Okay. So typically what happens is, is you know, <laughs> Roman Reigns is down on the mat after he just got jumped by a tag team or something, and here comes Seth Rollins out of nowhere, tells the referee, yeah, I want to fight him. They'll stand him up in the corner, but guy can barely move, and uh, he pins him one, two, Thank three, you. and gets it. So in this urn, the feature Reaper from Dead Man Compacts, inside of this urn. Today. Uh, the right feature now. Reaper today, right, right now. now. Okay, right now. There's a contract okay. right here. Okay. This contract says this contract is provided to the winner of the Feature Reaper Award award during Buried Alive 4 in Dunbar, PA. This contract is authorized for one-time use and is valid for one full year starting today. This contract is certified to expire one year from now, and it is immediately null and void if you do not use it after one year. Now, what you get... Your choice. You can sit out the first five minutes of any one and done heat. Or you can automatically be the last driver to enter in any of the graveyard rumbles. Oh, geez. Right? Oh, I like that. Right? Or you get free entry, direct qualification to the feature, entering late with the Reapers, 
two additional fix it oh on boy. top of the rolls. Oh boy. And you go straight to the feature for wow. the class. How crazy is that? Wow. How crazy is that? So these Reapers will not be chosen lightly. Wow. Uh, real quick, Secor in number 11, Colby Blaze in the number one, Dibble in the 27, Hendrickson in the number seven, Reno in the seven. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll be back. Thank you, TJ. Of course, thank you. Jesse Cressy in the 12-12, 121 of... Josh Diamond in the M4. I don't want to sit in this chair. I don't like it. You want me to sit in the middle? I can sit in that one. No, just the round thing underneath. <laughs> no, 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 no. You might like that chair here shortly. Oh, Anthony's coming. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. yeah, yeah. No, here. Quick, guys, I'm just trying to find some numbers. They should be, uh, oh, well, the guys from Noah yesterday. Durbin on the 121, Davis in the 23. I'm sorry, I haven't. Hendrickson Stanley in uh, seven. Terry Reno in the 07. Red one, Blazy. Uh, that's Colby from way up north. You got Dibble, 27. Josh Diamond's M4, Crusty in the 12-12. What's that, 52, you think, Ben, or 20? Starts with a... Stemmen in the 86. Cooper in the 14C. We got a 238 rolling in, a 227. Two. 227 is BJ Hundermark. Justin Griffin, 238. Got three of. I couldn't make that one out. 3M and Noah Morrow. Uh, or Brian Shivitz in the number three. Three. Yes. Regular three. Yep. 16S. The 1055. 12M a Springer. Thomas Danner in the 1055. 16S, I just don't see it. Oh, Bradley Stemmen Jr. in the 16S. Yeah, 34. You got a 72. Tyler Dodd in the 34. 72. Ankle Yackel. 52. Danny Delar in the 52. Oh, Whiplash is out there. Okay, the Whiplash car, which is William L. <laughs> Aldinger. Three, the three M. Noah Morrow. Oh, Woody's out there. Woody time. Woody, uh, the 62, 67, I think, Woody 67 is. 67 W. 67 W? Mm -hmm. Or 57 W? 67. Ryan Wood in the 67 yep, W. Wood. In Sorry, a, uh, I'm trying to... 60, I think it's 62 was the other one. Yes, yeah, 62 is in the orange. 62, Brock Swank, maybe? Yep, Brock Swank. Okay, is that all? Thank God, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> there's I got a lot four. of them. All right, so who are we with? Uh, Andrew Vitale, Mafia TV. Andrew, where are you guys from? South Jersey. South, oh, South wow, Jersey. Wow, South, South Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, South Jersey, 45 uh, minutes from AC. How far from here? Six hours. That's, a, well, that's, that's what we are. Yeah, that's about what we are. <laughs> Five and a half, six. Guys, I thought we were the last one, but I see another car pulling out there. Yeah. Which I think is, if I remember, this is the kid that was pulled in yesterday. I think this is number five or something. Uh, he was the mad dog yesterday, and I believe in the Mustang 2 heat. Yeah, number 15, does that say? Five or 15, you think? 
don't know if it's 55, 15, 65. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> six, <Give me. laughs> In all honesty, he's missing half the pass. Oh, it's yeah, Aaron Ah. Old. It's Aaron Ah, which is <laughs> Jerry Aaron, Ott's oh, son. Jer okay, I Jerry Ott's son. I did see that on the poll. Okay. So, Derby Mafia TV, you guys been doing a bunch of stuff, right? Just a bunch of what, – what, what's your specialty? So, my personal specialty is, like, uh, TikTok clips. Yep. Um, edits for people. I have did a couple edits for people, like freehand edits. Um, but we're trying to do uh, in-car cams right now. Awesome. And try to just spread it around try to get it more drivers on camera. Which you got Trent on there in the I old did. ambulance. That went all right. That went great. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was fun. Trent was loving it. Track was a little dark. Yep. A little magic, but we, we got it going. Ooh, another one. 29. I got to stop putting these sheets away. 29. H. That's uh, B. It's either a B or an H. Brandon yeah, Cook. Brandon Cook. Thank you. Brandon Cook is in that one. Well, I think the sad thing to say, we're going to have to admit, is this is settled in for the night. Yeah, the rain is. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. You can see it deep. from looks yeah. straight out. People, we used to be able to see the mountains back there, but all you see is that white up there. Is, yeah. There's mountains back there. And um, I think that's the rain setting in on us. Yeah, it's been a very, very, very wet weekend. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, my wife's going to kill me, and I'm going to have to clean the car. All oh, yeah, day. my car's nasty. <laughs> but the thing is, we really can't complain because it's been like 60. Yeah. It yeah. really hasn't been bad. Yeah, we've been the ones where it's been like this, and it was like 40. Yeah. And you're freezing. Yeah, you mix cold in with wet. Nope. No, I'm done. I tap out early on that. <laughs> I don't like being wet. I just hooked Bill up. Got him. Yeah. I forgot about that. So you'll see the heat radiating out of the waves out of the end of the door pretty quick. Oh, Dead man. man feature, folks. Compact feature. Oh, Hendricks is gone. Hendrickson says, I'm out. Coming around for lap one already. Yeah. <laughs> Hammering on it. Oh, he's Whoa, just sending shot. people down there. Big Hendrickson. Shot. Big shot on the 52. There's just too many of them. They're flying like crazy. Whoa, I just got hit in the face. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, big oh, one. Oh, swing and a miss by Ah. Uh. You don't want to be on the ends on this right no. now because there's about three drivers out there who are just going from end to end. Is there a Reaper in the seat? Yes. Oh. I feel like more people want the Reaper than anything else. We're losing cars, folks. We probably lost six. Got you, huh? You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Track shot has a good insurance policy, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> well, the track shot, no. no. So the feature, the, the Mad Dogs are coming in late, they said, which I don't know if they've come in. Okay, so just so you know, Hemi Black in the Yaya car, Aaron Ott in the number five, Brandon Cook in the 29B, and Chase Cobbett in the 22 were all the mad dogs from Friday night um, in this heat. So those are previous mad dogs. It says that they could come in late, but all of them are in there, so I don't. I think I picked a good heat from up there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> And these yeah. guys are licking each other, man. Oh, yeah, they are. That Yaya was... Ooh. Yaya's out there, yeah. He was cracking people last night, yeah. man. He deserved getting pulled early. Or no. Two nights. Two nights ago. Yeah, Friday. Friday. We've been Friday. here a long Friday. time. Yeah, we've been here a long time. <laughs> it's all running together. Two nights ago. Oh, boy. Two nights. We're going to get hammered with one right here. Yep. Yeah, this one just needs to die right here. Yeah, I agree. 23 has been so bad, his tires aren't even touching. Up in the right corner. Wow. Hendricks is still going. Isn't that heaven? heaven? Diamond's still going. Yeah, Josh Diamond doing work out there in the four. Yeah. Diamond Jr. Trace Trumbull in the 16. Breaking down the two separate battles, one at each side. Yep. Man, Hendrickson's just lacing people. He's putting on a show. Man. And he set the pace right from the beginning. Here comes the Yaya hammering right in your screen. I feel like they're starting to bunch up at the front so they can stop people from coming in. Man, Hendricks still hitting with that thing. Yeah, that 12 bombs pretty hard in the front. Yeah. It's straight as an arrow too. That looks like it for all the Reapers. Yeah, good call.
looks like he's about to smoke his cranny. Red flag. Tire on the track. Look at Vasco zooming in, killing it. Vasco, you frozen up there yet? Soaked yet? <laughs> Your boots full? Vasco's been putting hours in this yeah. year. Yeah, he had a good interview last night. He cracked me up when he was saying he did 46 shows in a yeah. year. So I was like, dude, uh, it's did, okay to take a break. He did that many shows. In one year. Yeah. yeah. Consider there's only 52 weeks in a year. Imagine his edit time. You know, you're, you imagine uh, his edit time, right? This he earned, he, he earned being the biggest in YouTube, right? I mean, he's earned it. Yes, sir. He has. My son adores him. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Him and uh, Clutch. I, I had a guy from uh, England come, and I said, like, hey, you know, he's like, I love New America Derby, and I'm like, okay, if you could meet anybody, who would it be? And he's like, Alex Vasco, and I'm like, awesome, you're going you're gonna yeah, to get to I'm like, perfect, him. I can hook that up. Now, imagine Alex going over and doing banger racing, there you covering know. that, doing a video on that. Oh, I thought you were going to stick a minute car. Oh, yeah. going to no, do that, Alex? No, 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 no. Alex, man. fly over there. You've got extra time this I summer. Wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I don't even want to run a banger car. <laughs> I mean, he does. I believe Alex does do uh, figure eight. So, yep. <laughs> yep. Well, I know he has a lot of free time, so I'm sure it's something <laughs> he can yeah. he can put yeah. in his schedule next year. Schedule it in like two weeks. Put me there. <laughs> Everybody's pushed towards the center of the track. We can see about as much as you can. Just smoke, smoke, <laughs> and smoke. That 12M is just. He looks good. Fresh yeah, straight in the front, front. but he's, he's smoking. He's steaming, so. Uh, ben, that was a good little tip that Jeffy was saying about the tranny temperatures. Were you up here when he was talking about that? That was like, okay, a lot of people don't think about tranny times. They just think about engine times. Yeah. And this is the exact track where you got to change it. I, I like that conversation. Do you want to film in? Because I missed that one. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff was saying that when. when if you're getting hot, your tranny's getting hot out here, just put it in neutral and let it relax for a second. Give it give it as much time as you can instead of leaving it in gear because it doesn't dissipate heat in gear, which I like that. Great little tip. Demon in the 16S out there doing work. I don't think Yaya's moved since he sent it in. No. No, he's all done. Oh, we got like three little derbies going on. Right. Yeah, small collection. Three or four cars. Thomas Danner in the 1055. Purple and black. There's Danner there. Back tires locked up on him, kind of slowing him down. That's the thing with this track right now. Anything Dragon's just going to, like, just kill you. Suck you right in. This one is terrible. <laughs> Josh Diamond in the M4 is still battling. I think that was Diamond on there on 1055. Danner in the 1055 red flag. He's got the old phone mount hanging in the back. Yup. <laughs> yup. Red flag. Oh, pop goes the weasel. The old V6 just wanted to breathe a little more. So what Jeff was saying is right here, you'd put your car in park or yes. neutral and just let her chill, let the fluids roll through it, let the temperature drop. And I know some of you old-time dream drivers are like, duh. <laughs> well, you know, we're not all veterans. But those are little things that help guys get to the end, right? And sometimes the old veteran used to say to me all the time is, 
Sometimes it just matters one more hit. Oh, yeah. Sometimes all you needed was one more hit, and you never want to lose because you couldn't make one more hit. The little things break you. The little things can also save you. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's a fire. Or are we seeing all the way through to the fire? We're I seeing all the way through. That's the fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> Kind that's, of a bad spot. Yep. That's the old truck box with the <laughs> truckload of wood in it, and they just set her on fire. Is that what they're doing? I didn't <laughs> see that. I didn't see it was in a truck box. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah they do. That's he's awesome. Pickup truck box. They just take it to the scrapyard. It. My kids were feeding it yesterday. Awesome. They're like, just grab wood and throw it in. Sad part is it didn't look like a rusty one. It wasn't. <laughs> it was pretty clean. Yeah, they could have. The bottom was burnt out, but. Yeah. <laughs> So while we're waiting on this flag, uh, where do people find you if they want to see some of your stuff? Because you're doing a lot of a lot of stuff lately. Yeah, we're we're trying to branch out, but you guys can find us on YouTube. We just started rolling with that. It's uh, Dirt Road Mafia on YouTube, um, and then also TikTok, uh, going strong on there for the past couple of years. Um, it's uh, Dirt Road Mafia 11X, and it's me and my boy Ronnie, and we just. Film stuff that we do stupid in our yard. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But, yeah, we're trying to branch out, get more in-car. We're working on trying to get lives, in-car lives. That's what we're working on next. Awesome. Josh Diamond's getting kind of beat on here on the right side of your screen. Javits in the number three right there doing some work on Stemmon. Down to about eight now, right? Yeah. Two stuck in the front corner, and everyone else is in the back. <laughs> yep. Cressy in the 12-12. Springer in the 12-M. Diamond on the left-hand side of your screen. The 3-M. Noah Morrow. He's got that Frankenstein on the on the roof. Oh, looks like looks like he's about to lose this journey too. M three M. Yep. Cressy and Diamond playing patty cake down there. Three, Ooh. three just dropped his flag. Shivitz just took a bad shot in the three from Stemmen. Another one. Tough to see through the smoke, oh. folks, but I promise it's they're derbying over there. Smoked that wheel. He, he <laughs> broke off. Yeah, he broke off. No. Oh, he didn't even see that one coming. 10.55. Oh, and now we're down to five. Uh, there's a few of them moving at the other end, yeah. Justin Griffin in a 238. <clears throat> That's that green roof sign. Uh, he's way up on your right. But yeah. 16S. Stemmon. 1055 still going. Stemmon, Danner. And 
Griffin battling it out on your, on your screen right now. Three of them. Battling on the top side. Two, two on the top side. 72 just backed in. Cressy, you in limp mode down there? I think Cressy must be in limp mode. <laughs> I'm just joking. Springer with a good shot on Cressy's tire before the red flag. Fire on the 1055 of Danner. Right in front of us. Zoom right in on that, Bills. That purple one. Uh, fire. Yep, Vasco's got it. <laughs> fire, fire. It looks like he's jumping up. Are we going to lose him? Yeah, I think he's all done, folks. Yeah, just flash back up. Good feature here for the track, man. They're out beating them, each other. They're not. He's I don't know. He's getting back in. Yeah, I'm going to give her another whirl. The man, the myth across the screen, Hendrickson. I'll tell you, the... You were saying, Ben, like they scraped. I think if we scrape again, because we got three more to go, folks. After, oh, let me before I say that, because <laughs> I've spoken out of turn many times today. Yeah, we have th three. Yes, next is going to be super stock feature, which is that VA feature, limited weld, which is going to be naughty uh, after that. Yeah, and we're going to finish off with our second most wanted fine art class. Then Ben and I are going to spend hours and hours in the mud taking down this tent that just got covered tonight with <laughs> mud <laughs> and filling trailers with muddy crap. I'll hopefully be home in my work. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like we're about ready to finish this one off. Here we go. Yeah, there's like six still moving. 34 is still straight, pretty much straight in the front. Yeah, 34 is <laughs> crazy straight in the front. He's Mike, about, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I just see Mike Miller on the far side. I have not seen that car. Mike Miller, way far on. In front of your screen right here, that 52 is Mike Miller. Some of these guys kind of snuck through here because I don't know if I said their name right at the end. It's like, okay, some of these guys, I really, they yeah. might, might have been battling on the far side. Yeah, they had that front battle going on. There was a few going over there. 12M still pretty straight sagging on the driver's side, but. Yeah, he's been driving good. <laughs> Far into the track, we got somebody stuck in the mud. Got two people trying to pull him. That's not good. <laughs> Two eighty three starting to shift in the front. Uh oh, Coach I think our uh, I think the twelve M's in trouble. Uh, it got him into the wall. And I'm sorry, Springer's twelve M. Those corners. Suck you right in. Are you going to have him on here? Is Frizzy going to come on here? 
Or no, you're just doing your out. Struggles of being a superstar. <laughs> Definitely. Well, Sour, you know, Sour and I joke because we never go to an event and just do one job. We're always like, we try to do a job and run and this and that. You know, you know, you know uh -oh. exactly. Uh -oh. Don't forget all the public relations you guys do. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Which that part I like. Dot still in the 34. He looked really good the other yes, night. Yes, he does. Got that nice heavy six cylinder up front. Uh, yep. Give him some traction. Well, looks like 34 is turning going the other way. Yeah, these these two got these two got their own little thing going on down here. Just taking their time. Yeah. The one that's still being pretty stealth is right here. Thirty-four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's just, he's just, yeah. Because I was like, why didn't you push him into the wall over here in the corner? And I'm like, uh, why not? And then he just turned around and started going the other way. Yeah, he's not picking any fights. Nope, he's not. He's just, he's he's just, just smart at this point. He's just staying in the mix. Exactly. Ooh, got somebody the, up against the, oh, nope, not the wall, not yet. The back of Cressy's is a rock, that 12-12. These guys get them push up against them gas tank protectors inside there, folks, oh. and they just do not move. Their cages are all the way against the speaker deck there, and they get pushed in, they do not move. Bone jarring shots it is. right there. Yeah, you know when you get to the gas tank protectors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. Get a little stinger. <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no more of that. Good hit. It's the point now nobody wants to take that bad shot. Right. Everyone's keeping it close too. It's not yeah. letting everybody try to get far out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Did you see it? Oh! oh. <laughs> 16S into the back of 238. Good tire shot there. A very good tire shot. Griffin gets the 52. 34 Lamar. still dancing. Mike Miller in the 52, I'm sorry, Mike Miller. Twelve, twelve's trying to get into it. I was gonna say, I thought 12, they were down to like these four. Nah, he was sneaking up on the. 12 12? Yeah. Nah, he's been in it. Has he been in it? Cressy's playing the old. Uh -oh. uh, the old Sunday German. They're getting on, uh, getting on our bandit right there. 34. I don't know if he's, I mean, he ain't driving any slower than anyone else. I mean, he's making his shots, you know. Again, we've talked about this week in picking fights. Sometimes you still want to pick fights. 
and you get longer because you haven't I picked guess, any fights. Oh, TJ's not. TJ's happy. just TJ's <laughs> just saying, hey, let's get this, get her done, guys. Two thirty-eight. He had to take off his coat or something. Maybe that was hindering the gas pedal. Maybe. <laughs> you think so? Is it, is uh, I'm just, a, I'm just joking. Somebody's gonna take. Stop. Somebody's gonna take that serious. <laughs> well, they can yell at you on Facebook. Yeah. You uh, I, I keep forgetting. How do we get a hold of you, Ben? Find me on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way of saying it. Find me on Facebook. Still waiting for that TikTok. <laughs> They're still trying to find them. Still waiting for that TikTok, man. Oh yeah. I was on TikTok. I was. How'd that go? For a short amount of time. And you didn't follow me? Well, Come on. That must have been during Bobby. <laughs> Bobby got you on TikTok? Bobby got me on TikTok. Yeah, and then my, my, my daughter with their their volleyball team has, has thrown out TikToks all the time. Gotcha. So. so Ben's a TikToker. No, I'm not because I'm oh. not on it now. I'm just waiting for the dances. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> I don't move. see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready to rock. All right, guys, let's throw it down. Let's get her done. 52 stuck. Yeah. Oh, he oh, got, he got out. out. Oh, yeah, looks like TJ's little words of wisdom uh, got everyone rolling. I didn't notice how bad two, 238 shifted in the front. His bumpers jacked on the driver's side. And about to fall off that thing. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's hanging out by a thread. Does he know it? Thirty-four with a good passenger shot, and fifty-two is trying to take the rest of the bumper off. All right, there's not much holding on, that's for sure. It looks like nine wire is the only thing holding it on at this point. <laughs> Twelve, twelve with a good shot. Driver. Uh oh. Somebody's down there just trying to blow it up. That's uh, 16S. Uh, Stemmons, I believe. 16S is Stemmons Jr. Griffin, Miller, Dodd, Pressy, our final four.
Uh oh, Cressy got over and flop. And he's going to have to get out of there. Clock Six, ticking. 16th just trying to get out of it. Like Miller stalls in the 52. We might be down to three. Miller on the clock. Got it. Cressy starting to struggle to get around here in your 12-12. Look at it, look at the tire spinning and he's just humped up in the slop. 16, that's just dropped his flag, so we're officially down the floor. Oh, the back of Cressy. Look at it in the mud. On the left side of your screen, look at the back of it, just deep in the mud. And they're gonna leave him alone. He's plowing. He's gotta get out of that slop. He's waving for friends, but there's no friends when it's down to four, I don't think. Might not have to scrape the track after all. <laughs> Cressy trying to get out of there on the right side of your screen. And this could be our final two. Justin Griffin out of Dreban, Pennsylvania. Tyler Dada, Carrollton, Ohio. Cressy trying to get out. Cressy got through. Can he make contact? No, they just waved 12, 12 off. Two thirty-eight. That's Griffin right there, yeah. Justin. And yeah, him and thirty-four. I was gonna say thirty-four, still cooking. Now remember, Griffin doesn't have a front bumper. Does Dodd know it? Does Dodd try to get to the front? Does he just keep working the back? 34 still straight in the front too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and he's, he's getting, getting, he's getting them corner shots yeah. like he wants. <laughs> he is. He's gonna buckle him in that slob. Yeah, he's just, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guy went down. Track official down. She's slippery. That burnt, was it it's starting? Burnt Tranny, slipping. right? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it myself. Tranny's slipping into 34. Yeah, Dodge Tranny. Yep. There's some really hot fans over here about it. I don't know what they're <laughs> upset about the arrows. <laughs> that right now. I was trying to look myself. Man, if, if Griffin can pull this off. He's got no reverse, bumper, but when he puts that in drive. You're right, Ben. Yep. He just burned it up. He's going to burn it up on yep. this shot right here. If he could if he could spin it. Oh, he burned uh, it up both bumper, ways. The bumper. It's the bumper and it's getting him 238. But did he make contact with him when he was backing up? He did. That's a good I, question. Couldn't but tell it, from here. It looked like he did the first that Oh. You just got to get there. Smell that tranny fluid. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can, Ben. Wow, we're far. <laughs> Uh-oh, he got a fire. Uh -oh. He's trying to make a mutual hit. There's your hit. There's your hit. Get away from him. He, but he can't because oh. the bumper's right in front of his wheels. He know, he just, he's jumping for joy in there. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Everyone's going running. Justin nice. Griffin out of Stray Band, Pennsylvania in the 238. Um, yeah, go ahead. If Bill has it ready, yes. If he doesn't, then skip it. 
All right, awesome, brother. We're going to go to some commercials here. So, again, real quick, where can everyone find you? Dirt Road Mafia 11X on TikTok and Dirt Road Mafia on YouTube. And I just want to shout out to my wife and my kids and Ronnie and Haley and all the Mafia t TV family. Appreciate you guys. Love you. And uh, thank you guys for having me on. Awesome, brother. Thanks for coming on. Awesome. We'll have uh, our pig farmer come up next. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, he looks like a pig farmer. What did he say, Ben? <laughs> but you have to go back and watch it. <clears throat> um, we're gonna go to a commercial, actually, real quick. We're gonna hook we're up. Now. We're gonna hook up Slade. Okay. We're gonna hook up Slade. Hook but first, we're gonna go to a quick commercial. So go ahead, Bill. You got something? Surprise us? Not not too long. Where are you going, ma'am? You seen you seen TJ? No. You sure? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir, sir. Man, I'll tell you what. I got to go, man. This hunt, I got to go. Man, I got to go. I got to go, man. Yeah, these are stolen for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're stolen. Look at that. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. It's fine. Yep. Here we go again. Every derby. Every show. I think this is a trap. Right. Do I even have to ask? Do I have my permits? Where are they at? Well, look, it was closed that day. It's a what holiday. day? It's a holiday weekend. It's closed at the. It's a Monday. They they went for lunch. At noon. Let me tell you what. I'm just going to get to the point because I'm tired of the petty stuff with you. Petty. 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 You know, permits. They're fifteen dollars. You need you need fifteen bucks. You got fifteen bucks? I could probably go to the Cannonball and ask him. But anyways, oh. Uh, oh. Brian Machine Shop. Did they have their permits? They were up to par. They got their permits? Yeah, they got permits. They called the day before. But anyways, they said they seen TJ with you. <laughs> uh? Well, I mean, I, I won't confirm nor deny. I've used my... So you're an accomplice now. Amendment. So I'm you're an accomplice. Well, I'm just telling you, if I see you with him, you're an accomplice and you're going down. Are you? This ain't no ticket. This is personal. You're going down. This isn't, you're above the law. Well, watch this, watch this, watch it. Stop right there, shut her down. Shut her down. Shut her down. Hold on, just give me one second here. I only got 22 minutes. All right, you go. You only got 22 minutes. Get on out of here. He's a, that's a cheater right there. You see that list? That's a list. We'll be, we'll be fighting him later. Hey, whoa, whoa! Whoa, stop it right there! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! No, 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 ma'am, hold on. I'm I'm doing an investigation here. You seen uh you seen TJ? How's come nobody seen TJ? Where was you last night? We were at Sour's party. You got on me. I'm sure you got something. Let me go over here. I think you might have a brake light out. Who? You got a break? I'll tell you what. I'll do I'll, I'll, I'll do this later. Where was you last night, ma'am? I was at Sowers Art Gallery. What'd you do there? I bought a painting. Was TJ there? TJ was not there. <laughs> you know, if I find out you two were with him, you're accomplice. Where'd you stay last night? In our camper. Here? Here. And you ain't seen him? Nope. All right, ma'am. I'm going to keep my eye on you. Hey, Decker. All right. this oh, you was with Decker? You're that type of people. I see.
let's go. Come on, Bill. We're gonna walk around here. We're looking for TJ. Ma'am, what's that? That's an imposter. Wait a minute, it is him. <laughs> Ma'am, why didn't you tell me? I just did. Now you're an accomplice. Oh, you want to arrest me too? You, you want arrested? Sure. You got a warrant? Possible. You with her? Yeah. She got a warrant? Absolutely. You got a warrant? I know I do. Them look like some prison stuff going on these arms. <laughs> That's Good all thing. I'm saying. That's Good all thing. I'm saying. What are you doing over? I know you got a warrant. You won't even look at me. You won't even look. I'll be running your. I'll be running you later, bud. Yeah, I know. I got you guys. I keep an eye on you. I just keep it moving. All right, just keep it moving. We'll go in the inspection barn here. Check everything out. Hop on on here. Let's go check this out. Hey, how we doing? You seen TJ? Not yet. Not yet? You ain't seen TJ? Let me shut this down real quick. Let me shut this down real quick. Let me come in here. Hold on a second. Right here. This guy looks like he's got prison tattoos right here. Let's see. Hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay right there. What are you doing? Um, holding you that, holding you, that chair down. You seen TJ? Uh, no, it's been a while. I think he's hiding. Is he here? I, uh, I think so. He's you, taking a nap. You working? He's sizing me up, big man. Well, oh, I yeah, mean, well, right. like, uh huh. Oh. Step back, Bob. Step back. All right, all right. I'll keep my eye on you. Uh, I got. Thank you, thank you. Let's let's go over here and check something out. TJ might be over here. Nope, you're not TJ. Okay. You TJ? Hey. You TJ? You you seen TJ? No. You don't care. Hey! Shut it off! You seen TJ? Nobody's seen TJ in here. Y'all working for TJ, ain't you? Where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> you huh? I am the 20th. <laughs> Back up. Back up. All right. You from Ohio? You know it. You got warrants? Probably. I'll check. I'll check. Don't worry about that. All right. Let's go somewhere. You know TJ? A little bit. You seen him? Nope. How's come nobody's seen TJ? Nope. You working? Always. So you know. All right. I keep my eye on you too. All right. Let's go. Let's go over here. Look, this guy here. Yeah, yeah, hey! Keep him moving! Get it out of here! That's right. Come on, bud. Let's go! That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you better go the other way. That's right. Well, that's one inspection building down. Figure I'd start with the workers. They have to know. Somebody has to know where TJ's at. We got the big car line coming up here now. Just got to check this out. Don't mind me. Just looking. Just looking. Get away from me. Get away. From me, you know TJ? <laughs> yep, sure do. Okay. Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, you want me to answer or not? Yeah. You, gonna, you want me to answer? You I'm going to run, I'm gonna run you. I'm going to run you. All right. I'll run you. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, bud. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, where are you going? I was, you know, inspecting the car. You know TJ? Yeah, yeah, I know. He here? I don't never know. What's her name? What's that? What's TJ. Her? TJ. Sounds hideous. I don't. Okay. You got a warrant? Probably. What do you got? What do you got? All right. Just checking. Just checking. You know TJ? 
You seen him? I haven't seen him. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he's you at. You don't know nothing, do you? Huh? You got warrants? What happened to that one right there? What'd you do there? Playing football. Looks like something happened in prison. I'll run you. I'll run you. <laughs> you know TJ? Get out of here with that. You know TJ? <laughs> yeah. You seen him? No. You got warrants? <laughs> got ID? <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry about that. You law enforcement? I am. You're awfully bossy. Uh, yes. I made for that. Okay. I was just saying. You got a whistle? I don't. I didn't think so. I didn't think you had one. I didn't think you had one. I'll be back. What are you doing? I don't want to. You sure you ain't seen TJ? Mm -mm. Not at all, huh? Mm, no, I don't know anybody goes by that name. Mm -hmm. right, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. You know TJ? Yeah. Hey, but once you get against the car, let's go ahead. Get against the car. Let's go ahead. Let me see what you got here. What do you got? What, what, what do you got here? What is that? You know TJ? No, I've never heard. I didn't think you did. Okay. All right. We'll be back. All right, buddy. All right, everybody. Shirtless? Is this a shirtless sure. scene? Okay. Soon. Okay. All right, you guys, we talk about uh, destination. Dude, we're in San Francisco. This is wild. This is so wild. I've never been in Southern California. I am seeing it right here. So as we talk about destination derbies, this is truly what it's all about. Take your friends, take your family, and be part of the destination. So what happened was, is we were so close in Yuba City, and we were able to just come on over here and do some sightseeing. And uh, this is what we do with Track Shot Live is we do this cool stuff. We're, uh, we're a traveling company. Track Shot Live brought us to Northern California. We're still in Northern California. Oh, I thought I was in the south already. <laughs> Dang it to no, me. We got about eight more hours to go before <laughs> Southern California. Well, yeah, we're in Northern California, Golden Gate Bridge. Demolition Derby brought us here. And if it wasn't for the fans, the Track Shot Live family, we wouldn't be here. So I'm super stoked to be here. You know what I mean? You'd be able to show my mans where I used to stomp around. So right over our shoulder is Alcatraz Island and right behind Bill is downtown. So we just drove through downtown to get here for this first shot. And then we're gonna do some more filming, uh, get, get a couple more scenes while we're here. Right? Fun.
which I thought I go Ben. Oh, we're back on. We're yeah, back on. Hey quick. guys, Jeez. we're uh, <laughs> talking about tires. Talking about tires, and that would be a hot subject if you're here today. What you're gonna do for these next two features? We got the super stock feature coming up next. We got left, uh, which is stacked. Uh, then we got the 80s limited weld weld class feature heat one and done, which is gonna be wow. wicked. And then uh, we cap off tonight with the second most wanted fine art heat, which has like 30 cars in it. Um, but once again, the rain hasn't stopped. They're doing the best to come with the track. That that was a that was a big compact feature. It was a very good feature, very action packed. It was. And uh, for the amount of money that they're paying out, and I don't know what it was. I can't remember what it is, so I'm unprepared on that. Um, but I know it was a good, a good amount. I used to try to keep up with that stuff at the show. Yeah, we normally do. We normally do. This is, we're kind of, we're out for a game a little bit today. Yeah. But, uh, well, there's so many, a show like this, there's so many classes. Oh. And uh, these guys, the, the hats off to the Skidster guys because they're, they're making short work of this. Um, we're anticipating them to skim it off again. But we don't know for sure. But that would be my my. I would agree with that. Definitely before the most wanted class runs again. But oh, I yeah. think I think this is the class they need to. Well, this yeah, this the next two. Yeah, the, well, this... if you do it here and these guys keep it working, it it might be okay right. for the next one. But um, definitely because these guys put a good show on. Was it yesterday or Friday? Hey, <laughs> I got I the the name the, but. I might be thinking of bumper stock class last night. Yeah, that, the bumper stock. That come yeah. unglued, you know. Um, but, yeah, it looks like we have. Nineteen, possibly nineteen coming out in a super stock feature. We have one, two, three, four Reapers coming out. And sometimes TJ. Um, throws a twist with the reapers in, in these features um sometimes he throws everybody else out there and then releases the reapers a little bit yeah after um that's that's you can never predict that because that he keeps keeps people on their toes with it i was just looking here ben i think there's five states represented in this feature yeah ohio pa new york in new hampshire uh, was one we missed in, in michigan marlboro new hampshire yep so so Ohio, PA, New Hampshire, New York, and Michigan. Michigan. <coughs> Mr. Sauer, Sauer's Jason up here. Sauer. Hi, buddy. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Come in from the rain? Uh, yeah, I was out there helping. <clears throat> I got that other camera crew that's here. Oh, okay. So uh, they set up a tripod out there in the most wanted station, and they're interviewing drivers. Okay, all right. You got uh, you got somebody coming still? Or? I hope. Fingers crossed. Every ever all signs point to yes. Okay. So awesome. so right now the uh, so the the assistants are here and they're getting the B roll. So we're oh okay. So yeah yeah. So we're what is this weekend ties up a documentary that I've been working, You've been working with. On. Uh, it's kind of like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Um, it's, how, <laughs> it's how Frizzy got his Emmy and, okay. uh, from Mr. Rogers. So uh, it's still through like a PBS. Well, uh, I, what we're doing here is I, something about Demotion Derby. I, about 15 years ago, I heard Mr. Rogers is quite the – he's not just a normal Mr. Happy-go-lucky Mr. Rogers, you know, easygoing guy. I guess he was pretty American – badass basically <laughs> well i mean you got to be a risk taker to be in the show business uh, well, no i guess he was like ex-military dude mr rogers i think uh well that's what is he wanted to bring some uh yeah peace yes to a world that he saw yep. in chaos yeah um and he was had a good support crew and staff around him and uh it happened it started in pittsburgh it did oh okay yeah okay. why that was that's a relationship there. that's okay. that's how that's the so his the production co the production company that put him on is the local channel and okay. it still is a good running production company awesome and uh, so awesome. that's what we're working with awesome. we're working with on the out with that company just it's just a little something that 
shows this moment that happened in Demolition Derby. Yeah. You know me. I'm always yeah. trying to I know be a you, part of something. You, you know? dabble in everything. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you dabble so. in or you got, you got your Well, we got up. all this crowd here, so I was like, why not bring some celebrity in? So yesterday right, we brought right. in Colin. <laughs> Yo. Hey. And uh, and I I just love Demolition Derby, and I think it's a cool way to, you know, you know, you know me. I know you sour. Just got to try. I, I try new ways to. Uh, so the story is that uh, it, I don't know how much because of music and like right. when you're supposed to release these things but oh okay yeah it's yeah, yeah. if it goes well then we'll have a, like a little cameo appearance in a, like a music video and and there's mention of demolition derby wow so i'm trying to get it in hip-hop culture right uh just just a little taste demolition oh, they, derby d- definitely de- definitely definitely the, the hip-hop the hip-hop culture is in a lot of stuff well, a lot of a lot of motorsport stuff. You yes. know, people don't realize. Yes. I mean, these guys are car buffs. Yes. They're car f- gurus. They're they're uh-huh. car. You know, they're. Uh, there's a Chrysler cl- club, like, but it's like the new type of Chrysler, uh, which is, like, in the city of Pittsburgh, like, little style, like. I don't know if it's Magnus, but like Trail Hawks and stuff. There's like oh yeah, there's the like ra- the street race. Uh, yes, street race club. The Trail Hawks. The, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The they demons, w- the demons, the <laughs> challengers, the demons, the red eyes, the track hawks. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So we have uh, two tunnels here in the city of Pittsburgh, and the the other one that's a little longer, the Liberty Tunnel. They rip it. Ah, uh, yeah. It just yeah. sounds so beautiful. Getting tossed. <laughs> yeah, that's you stuck at the other end. I, uh, I don't think track shot knew that was happening. Look. Thank you, Track no, Shot World. I, I, I set it down there. I, I go, there's Did a you? guy stuck at the other Look, end. He just, <laughs> <fell down. laughs> he just stuck, yeah. Let yeah. me see who said this. Jessica Dittilio. <laughs> Tillo. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We saved fun. it all. I hope that forever I can remember your name and <laughs> it's all saved. And I don't know how to pull it from there, but I'm going to figure that out. And Ryan Wood, we're going to make you viral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that Ryan Wood? That's that Ryan stuck? Wood. Yeah, yeah. that's our guy. Take him out. Here he is. He is. Here holding his boots. <laughs> he's like he's lost. He's lost. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Ryan. He's a hitter. Yes, definitely. He's a hitter. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a lot of we're all talking social media and stuff and stuff like that. I'm big. My biggest. I can't say I'm. Well, social media is Facebook and stuff, but YouTube to me is is YouTube. You know, that's mm-hmm. it's. But uh, with that, what you're talking about with the hip hop culture and everything else in the street, the street, street guys and everything else, there's a lot of YouTube videos mm-hmm. covering that, the Trailhawk groups and, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I like it's pretty. I cool. like just thinking about um, you know just modifying car in any way. You yeah. know what I mean? Daily just, driven, daily driven exotics is yeah, another I mean, one. Those guys just they modify supercars and hypercars mm. and beat the heck out of them. <laughs> That's so and just cool. in daily driven. That's what they, they is daily driven. I love and, that uh, stuff. I do. I love car culture. Uh, you know, I like airbags. I like low riders. I like yeah. you know. What I mean, I like yeah. fast cars. I like old cars. Yeah. I like old tractors. You yep. know what I mean? I, yeah, yeah. You know, Anthony. Sorry, I was I was wanting to show you something sour. S- sours. <laughs> Sours, oh, I got it right. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong JK. one. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I had some news that I knew that uh, you would appreciate. So we got, so while you're looking at all, we got the track clear. Right. So we're going to, we were anticipating a scraping, an adjustment, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But so basically we got the super stock feature coming up, and I'm just going to run down real quick who we have. Um, we got Devin Allen, the 989.4 out of Lima, Ohio. We got Brady Allen coming out of the 11795 out of Lima, Ohio. We got Mike Barr, 44 out of Carlton, Ohio. Sean Cooper, which is one of the Reapers, 14C. Jared Dawson, 515 out of Hamburg, PA. Scott Dravenic. How do you pronounce that? Dra- Dra- Dravenic. Dravenic, I thought so. Scott Dravenic, Jr., 283, out of Columbia Station, Ohio. Zach Duncan, 14Z, out of Rural Valley, PA. Brian Hendrickson, he was just out here in the compacts and put on a show. He was another Reaper coming in in a 7X out of Marlboro, New Hampshire. Evan King, Easy e 15, out of Cataragus, New York. John Linke, 34. Kenneth Mecklenburg, 102, out of Jamestown, New York. Zachary Matalone, 66, out of St. Clairsville, Ohio. 
Jake Jackson Penchek, 54X out of Dunkirk, New York. Alex Prill, Mad or Reaper, 814 out of Ugly, M Michigan. Dale Randall, 45 out of Avoca, New York. He was a he was a Reaper. Royce Schroyer, 25 out of Hinman, PA. Chance Smith, yep. 727 Mercer, PA. He's got some groceries under that. Uh, Mel White, he's another one, 511 yep. Indiana, PA. And then rounding it out, it's Dustin Woods, number three out of Hillard, Ohio. Awesome. And it looks like they're not going to scrape the track. To, they want to keep it moving. They want it, the, the rain has kind of subsided, so they want to keep it ball rolling. So here people, we go. This is this is this is one of the ones we've been waiting for. Yes, I'm, I'm a V8 guy, so. Oh yeah. And these guys are going to rip rip snort it pretty good. Donation. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, buddy. Howdy. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah? What's your name? Ryder. Ryder? What you got going on? Don I'm, give I'm doing a donation for um, Trashings for Kids Cancer to San Filippo. Awesome. Awesome. That is cool. Thank you. That's pretty Much cool, that donation. You're welcome. We're really appreciative of that. Oh, look, you got to take a picture of Josh Decker. We got Josh up there. We thank you for your donation to yes, San Felipe. Go a long You're way. Welcome. Go a long way. Every little bit helps for sure. It, it definitely does. Where are you from? Oakland, Maryland. Oh okay. yeah. What do you think of the show so far? Good. Pretty good. Are you a compact guy or a, or a full size V8 guy? Full size V8. Oh, oh you're yeah. my guy. Oh, you're my guy, buddy. There you go. There Knuckle you go. Pound. That's awesome. That's awesome. You got so, a favorite driver? Two. Two? Mel, the uh, 511 Mel White and Scotty D. Drevener. Man, you got some ringers. You got some good guys, man. Good guys. Mel White, he always puts on a good show. He's a good driver. Yeah. How you think he's going to do? Good. You think he's going to do real good? That's awesome. That's awesome. What do you think of the show so far? Good. Yeah? Except for the rain. The rain kind of put a bit dinger in it, a little bit of a damper. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice now, though, huh? Yeah. Perfect temperature, not raining. Tra track looks good, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's sprinkling a little bit. Yeah. Just a little mist out there. Mm -hmm. they, uh, did you go truck or treating last night? Yeah. Did you make out pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, big bag full. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite candy? Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> oh, Tootsie there Rolls. we go. Yeah. There we go. That's awesome. <laughs> I like those, too. You ever had the ones that are different flavors, or you just like the chocolate ones? Chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice. Look at this guy. He's losing his britches. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I tell you thank what. you for coming up here, and thank you so much for your donation. You're welcome. Yeah. You got, you got any, anybody you want to give a shout-out to? No. No? You don't want to thank Mom and Dad for bringing you? No. No? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. right. But, hey, uh, much appreciated. Josh, Spinning Wheels, that whole group, I'm sure, appreciates the donation, and no matter what it is. And definitely Jeremy and Jody, and that, and they really, really appreciate it, I'm yeah. sure. Thank you. So, but You're thanks welcome. a lot, man. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay. All right. I hope Mel does good for you. Okay. All right, buddy. See we'll you. talk to you. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't know how I spit I was like, you know this kid? <coughs> That's cool, though. That was cool. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, nice donation. We're about to see some nasty cars. Yeah, and he ripped off two favorite drivers, Mel White and Drevenovich. Yes. Yeah, I'm I mean, the ass man. <laughs> I like the ass man. I got to build him some wheels nice for the Bash for Cash last year. <laughs> little, little kitty. Awesome. Oh, so sour, right quick. What I want to show you, big news for us, it's track shot. Over 10K. We broke the 10,000 barrier of the TikTok. Congratulations. I know you're at like 400 million, but hey, we're coming, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, big deal. <laughs> little steps, little like, steps. I did that breakfast. <laughs> I love it, man. I love your passion. I love you bringing the raw demolition derby to the people. And uh, that's what we do.
I know we do all the skits and stuff, but you make sure we keep it real with all the good good and great content. Thank you, Anthony, for uh, oh, yeah. doing that for us. That's us. But yeah. Go team. Go I'm team. Scene. I'm excited for this because this is a totally the other side of the spectrum with these guys. They're going to be moving and grooving because of yeah. horsepower. Oh, yeah. Not because they're lightweight and front-wheel drive. These guys got some drive training. But are they going to use them? Yeah. Do you expect this to be? <coughs> I'm 45 minutes. This is 10K to win, right? I mean, I, it's it's big money. It's big money. I thought so. And uh, the the compacts was big money, too. Yeah. And that's why Alex is saying he was he was really pumped about the pace they, they did. So All these right, here guys, we go. I think it's going to start. I'm glad I didn't say it because it would have proved me wrong. I was going right. to say it was going to start out like a banger and then it was going to slow down a little bit. The only, only guy out there I know is I, I recognize is Dustin Wood, the number three. Where's Iceman? I think uh, it's his dad. I didn't pay much attention to the list. I'm sure I knew a lot of them, but thank you. at 2, 283. Oh, he's right there in front of us. Right on the back side of that lime green and gray car. Oh, okay. It only takes one guy. Well, he's down the other end right now. That would be... Uh, can't get his car number yet. You know, I feel like you're always, when you watch these shows like this where they start out this way, and they're 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 just like fighting for position. Alex. And I feel like it just that one guy. This could this could escalate quickly. Yeah. It's so it could go from lame to nuts. Yeah. It's <laughs> Alex moment. Prill, one of the reapers out of the heats down there, making a lot of noise. So did did he bring everyone in, or or the reapers hanging out, or? For what I see right now, everybody's in. Okay. I'm assuming that, but the barrier's still open at the other end. That's true. So I, I don't think they're all in. Prill might have been just the first one at the... I count 14 cars. Yeah, there's... Okay, so I count 14 cars. There's 19 cars all together, and there's four Mad Dogs marked, or four Reapers marked. Yep. So I'm assuming one person didn't make the feature, and we've still got four Mad Dogs hanging out. Yeah, because Dale Randall's not in yet. Because uh, if you get to this level, Prill's right here, so one of them oh, is in. one of them's in then. When you get to this level, it's rare to see a driver not make a feature. For whatever reason. Well, they've made, they pretty much all made their way down to us. Yeah. Thank you. I keep waiting. I've, I've watched enough Dead Man Derby to know that TJ's He's lurking somewhere, waiting to go out and warn him. Oh, uh oh. We got two guys working the Whoa. front door over here on the bank. Looks like the 54, I can't tell, it's hung up. Yeah. The strategy looks like to be go a long ways here, right? Hey, 
Ben, can you turn that number turn that number one up a little bit? Turn up number one. Yeah, I can I can hardly hear you guys. How about that? There we go. Thank you. No you were, problem, buddy. You were gone. It's still faint, but it's better than it was. Oh yeah, there's a lot of horsepower. Yeah. Ah, oh, Josh Decker's just getting pounded with mud. <laughs> Look at all this mud. Hey Ben, is number five on that box turned down? Five is, yeah. It's down? Yeah, a little bit. You want it up? You turn, no, turn it down. Turn five down more. Even more. I think that helped. I, I was, I'm hearing a lot of motor noise. I think the mic was still. I'm hearing a lot of ton of motors. Yeah, I was thinking the mic was magnifying the, the, the fatty mic. No. It's just a lot of horsepower yeah, at Dead Man Derby. Just a lot of motor. I mean, oh, he looks coming in. Through. He's a refill. Justin Wood taking the shot. Did he just come in? Yeah, here we go. Oh, these are all the Reapers. Yeah. There comes another one. These guys are backing him. Yeah. Wow. Now we're doing it. Not this one. Now we're here comes one in head first. And they're going after oh, him. Oh, right after right him. Right off him. Yeah. That's Prill went after him again. Who is that, the number 45? Sorry, Dale, Randall. Dale Randall's in 45. 45. Dale Randall. Dale Randall. He's from up my way. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Uh, Coma, New York. Yeah. Thank you, Ross Bergman. I got your message. Can you see that? Ross Bergman out of Michigan. Appreciate it. Heck yeah, Demolition Derby. We love Derby. We're going to have Brian Hendricks in here. That's in the green 7X car. Even the Reapers aren't really pushing the pace too much now. Well, I think one of them already broke down. Got a red flag. Red flag. I was watching last night, and they did that. Really, it was a, and they were trying to get somebody's attention with that green light. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm behind you, and it's all <laughs> over your firewall. <laughs> like, I, you can see it. He, you know, no, not at all. Yeah, with that green laser. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, they're uh, trying to. It's pretty to break out. It's still pretty. It's pretty effective. I used to always want to run a visor on my helmet back in the day because uh, they would be up on the wall, and I could put my head down just a little bit and play dumb. Yep. You ever get your visors stuck up in the? Uh, I've heard I've heard horror stories of that. Get them stuck up up in the roof. In the yeah, room. yeah. I've heard no, I've heard horror that. stories. <laughs> I've also heard horror stories about them coming down on fingers on the stairwell and oh, this yeah. load doing some serious serious damage. Isn't this a cool sport? Look oh, at this yeah. dude in the 45. Yeah. Open face helmet, wheel shot after wheel shot. Just He's living his best life, if you can say that. That's Dale right. Randall. Oh, yeah. I was about to just say that. That's so cool. I'm glad he pulled up in front of us. He don't care. He's, he's got going. the old school turtle shell on. Yes. Yeah. He's laid back like the Fonz. That's Remind from, me of the Fonz. That's from... The old Snyder brothers up in Bath used to run Dent and all that, the Mopar guys. Really? Doug and Danny Snyder, they always wore the, the turtle shells. 
Wow. It's this New York's deep in demolition dirt, which I mean, a lot of people probably don't know. Demolition Derby started in New York. That was with Speedway, right? And uh, people just don't know that. But it, it, it's deep in New York in Demolition Derby history. I almost think Doodle, I almost think Doodle wore a, a turtle shell helmet, too. Do you, do you remember Speedo? Yeah. The movie, was he in New York? Or he, came, he came to New York once to run. Really? And they ran him over. Really? Black, buddy, Black Rock Speedway. No kidding. Oh, no. wow. My buddy Ryan, if he's watching, he loves Speedo. Oh, I think Prill, Prill's the only one out. Well, Prill and Hendrickson. These guys are throwing, throwing the clumps over this way. Yeah. Looks like it, you're seeing a lot of the STAs out there. Yeah. I'm seeing quite a few STAs in 25. Okay. Ooh, they got a hold of the front of this one pretty good. <laughs> yes. Woo. Is this 44 car right here? Is the yeah, ripped 44, completely? Mike Barr. Is it ripped completely loose from the firewall? It's just attached to the core support? It's, it's driver's fender from this angle. That's the one they had down here against the wall. Yeah, that's our guy, Dale Randall, out there just putting it in. Yeah, you can't see it from there, but it, it, I may be wrong, but it's... That's something body panels completely missing is something you see <laughs> in the most wanted class. Yeah. <laughs> Not in this class. Yeah. They gotta hand it to them, they're doing work. They are, they're getting in there. <clears throat> yeah, they're they are. Work. Uh yeah, I'm right. I'm right, Ben. You get a chance, look at that 44. Yeah, he's going to the other end, but you'll see him turn maybe this way. I don't know that I would risk that. Oh, sweet. Uh-oh, this Mel's left front tire gone. Yes, it's completely gone. Not even on the car anymore. Uh-oh. Melvin White in a 5.11, missing the left front. Okay. Does someone gotta go pick that tire up? Yeah. Oh no. Sorry guys, that phone, my phone was ringing and it said Patty Clark and I thought, oh, it's gotta be an emergency, like he's listening and something's quit working or something. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, track shot. Yeah, yeah, track shot right oh, now. track shot. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, right right now? I'm like, yeah, right now. Okay, just call you later. Oh, that oh. Mel Weiss wheel? Yes. He's had bad luck with flat tire, front flat tires with yeah. this weekend. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was gone pretty quick. Like it was hanging off the rim. And then to see it off the car. Well, that'll actually help out if it's actually off the rim. Did you guys notice the CD player laying on the bank? Yeah, that popped out of a most wanted fine art car. It must be a pull-out version. And when he backed up and hit a guy, it flew right straight out at him. <laughs> so it had a red flag. He pulled up and he handed it to one of the guys on the wall. Wow. I'm that's that's, cool. that's funny. That. that is funny. That is funny. I tried to radio on my car. I was like, ah, come on, radio. It yeah, never it works. It never, ever, never works. There wasn't a horn in it either. I wanted to be up below the horn. Uh-oh. Fabry almost went down. Is that Fabry there standing on the bank? Yeah. Flying? No, doubt. Right, laughing right there. That's oh, right here. I went down again. Oh, he's going. Yeah. He's trying to get the camera on him. <laughs> he's like, I'm done. 
TJ out there getting on him. He goes down right now, Ben. I got him. What's that? Yeah, you got him? He That'd be a good TikTok. He, yeah, I know. That's why I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> that's sweet. Oh, just listen to those cars. Oh, yeah. You love it, don't you? There's only like two of them steaming out of the whole group. Oh, mouse. That's, I mean, it's really in the dirt. He might be in a little trouble now because it dug right in. Yep. That's, I, when he's pulling out, I watched the much. Duncan trying to get my hand there. You know, just hypothetical, Ben. How much accumulated horsepower do you think is on that track right now? There's how many 19 cars? Yeah. 19? 100,000. There's probably an average, so five. I don't have my phone. I got mine. Give me the number. 500 times so 20. Do, do uh, 19 times, 19 times 425. 19 times what? 425. 8,075. So I'm figuring an average of 425 horse averaging on 19 cars because some of them are more, some of them are less. I was thinking, I was thinking 500 as an average. So, and I'm not an engine man by any means. But. Oh, good shot. So that's you know, our guy. You, you can you can say collectively there's 10,000 10,000. Power on the track right now. Easily in the limited wealth class. Oh, yeah. Easily, easily. You know, I love when I meet people, especially now traveling. Like when I went to New York, I had to take my helmet with me. And so I carried, I had to carry it on the airplane. And all people were like, I was sitting down, like, what's, you know, talking. And they like, they have no idea about Demolition Derby or the level that it's at. They all think it's redneck, knock the windows out, and go. We just, there's 10,000 horsepower in this one. Yeah. I mean, there's not. Duncan stuck on the wall. I hate that. What's the worst? Trying to have to communicate something with the official. Uh huh. They're Every trying to get Duncan to quit. Yeah. They're going to have to make a red flag here. Yeah, they got a red uh, flag. Uh, yeah. <coughs> we always joke about it, but. That one was a bit much. Oh, TJ's on. Okay, there. He's, he's, he's got to stop him. Yeah. Woo! Oh, Josh Decker's calling for the headset. Yeah, they're still getting. They're, they're still doing business out there. They're getting it done. This guy down here, he's got his air cleaner kind of sutting, not on the carburetor. Guy up here against the wall. That might be. Is that our friend forty four?
honestly, this is just my opinion. I would have made that guy back up that they just broke the stick off that they've been trying to shut off for the past minute. Yeah. yeah. Because he drove in there and that guy, that I would have made him back up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because that guy's in a pickle now. That's put 66 in a real jam. Yeah. Literally. 66 but, and, and 11,795. Oh, oh yeah, that helping him drive out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. That 54, 354 car behind it, whatever it is, is missing the front wheel. No driver. Oh, they're going to make sure he can get out. You know, same way they are. Uh, this 11,795 probably, I guess they're going to let it. Great. Good call. There you go. There goes, uh oh, that oh. that wall's getting a lot of people. That was Fabry again. <laughs> He's having a tough time on that wall. Oh yeah. All right. It's eleven seven ninety five. He's he's in good shape, Brady Allen. He's out of Lima, Ohio. Oh yeah, that's the all for him camera right there. Good angle there, Alex. Yeah. We were talking about horsepower. I'm gonna bring Critter on. He's an engine builder. Let him chime in. What's happening? Hi, buddy. How's it going? We're just having a conversation on uh, guessing on how much horsepower all together is out there on the track right now. How many cars are still running? There's nine. Well, at the start, there's 19 cars in this heat. I would probably average that by about 500. About 500, because I I did an average of like four and a quarter. So I guess we're not too far off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure there's a few that's got a little more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told them the limited weld class is coming up a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. Got, they got a major amount of groceries under the hood. Absolutely. <laughs> so, that's for certain. You know, like Chance, Chance's car. Oh, you know, yeah. Chance, Chance has got crazy horsepower. Well, of course he does. And yeah. the Allen boys. What's that? Allen boys, the two black yes. and gray. Yes. They got some horsepower. Yep. And then uh, Iceman, Iceman's got some groceries, I'm sure. Yeah. I think he's got a real good motor. And I think he's still out there going. I haven't seen him in a while, but. Yeah, he's coming yeah. our way. Yeah, he's right over there, I think. And I know number three, Dustin Woods, he's got a nice power plant as well. Yeah. And then this, uh, yeah, Allen, you said the Allen's, yeah. 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 Easy, I mean, King, he's, he's got a good, He's got a good power plant, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I was kind of surprised. Only one Reaper come out swinging. Right. And then he he came went swinging back at him. Yeah. When they were coming in. Yeah. I want to say King won it last year, if I remember right.
Yep. Chess match going on here, huh? Yeah. Uh oh. What's going to retaliation here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it got a tie rod over here on the right side of Freebie's car. Yeah, it looks like it. It's jingling pretty good. Yep. Yep, yep. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Alex has got the best view down there now. They're all down to his end. They moved to right. the other end of the track. Now, oh, Chance and Freebie are still down here, though. Oh, yeah. Chance has been up at the other end there for a while. He's finally oh, come of, down here. One of the Allens, too. Oh! Number 25, that's Roy Schroer. Nine eight nine four. that's Devin Allen. Seems like they brought the fight down to Freebie, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, sure did. He found himself in the corner. Yeah. I think they're they're planning to stack them in. Freebie's playing it cool though. He needs to get out of that corner with that bad tie rod. Yeah, it's not sucking him right in. Yep. Because believe it or not, it's 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 crowned, so it's they taper into the into the tires. Oh, he got out of there. There you go. He got it in a wheel. Atta boy. Yeah. Uh oh. Nine eight car. That right front's down on the nine eight nine four. That's Devin yep. Allen's right front. Oh yeah, he just now, lost there it all together. Red flag. Just lost whole wheel. You know it. So it looks like TJ's talking to Dustin here, the number three car. They, uh... Oh, a bunch of, I think the crowd has turned into some lawyers. Yeah. I think they're arguing a case out there. Right. Greasy. Yeah, you got... They, uh... His no, crew is arguing for him and everybody else arguing against him. <laughs> Freebie's actually pretty good because you know he's he's got that car in between him so he can work it a little bit, but Yep. I would I'd I'd blister out this side. Cause what he's gonna do, he's gonna he gonna pinch that car, watch. Might as well. That's the that's the second time. Yeah. yeah. He's 
saying to the official, Freebie's pulling out in front of me. Oh, a lot of conversation with the officials Devin, out here. Devin Allen lost a uh, right front wheel. Yeah, they, uh, that's what that red flag for was picking up. Uh-oh. That's uh, Brady Allen just, out there. Just they just putting. timed out Freebie. Yeah. What do we got, about eight or ten left? Oh, uh, yeah, probably around eight. Oh. Well, you don't, you don't know what the politics are, but if they don't start working on chance, he's going to be there. Yeah. yeah, his car looks pretty solid. Yeah, Brady Allen's looks good. The 11, 795 right here. He's lowered in chance too. Yep. Oh yeah, he's got the back end looking good. Well, it's starting to twist now. As we yeah. go past a minute ago, it was pretty straight. That might have been a little test bolt because you might come down next time and take him for a ride. Right, like right here. Oh, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll go back to back with you, too. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His front wheels were exposed right there. Uh, he's pretty much, Devin, in my opinion, is pretty much running his guide block. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's guiding him where he wants him. Just like her, we always used to hear the term out when we first went out to, Josh and I went out to Blizzard Bash and stuff, got talking to them guys in the team atmosphere. A couple oh. of them are like, it's just like herding cattle. Yep. You know? Ooh, Easy E came in with a good shot on the front of 37. Oh yeah, blasted. It's it's down to this group right now. One, two, six now. Yeah. Possibly five, because they got 37 driven right into the tires. Yeah, he's hung up, ain't he? So we got, where's three out of Ohio, too? Yeah, so we got Ohio versus with PA in New York. Yeah. Three Ohio guys, one PA, one New York. Man. They're coming. Yeah, he's stuck on a tire. Uh-oh, somebody's That's hung up uh, down John, there. John Blinky. Oh, the number three. Dustin. Oh, they're working over chance now. They are yeah. now. Oh, they're going to tell him to mix it up. Yo. Hmm. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? All right. Oh, they're yelling, break it. Go, go, you gotta make your rounds. Yeah, I think uh, knuckle pound, everybody. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. made it to the top five. Okay, now let's turn it up. Right. We all don't like each other. We all gotta hit each other now. That's that's the thing of the caliber of shows like this is you all know it. Everybody knows everybody. Oh yeah. yeah. Been racing together for years. Yep. Helped each other in the pits to get out here. Yeah. And it's at some point it's it's gonna get it's coming you know like, like it's yeah two brothers you know they're they're not you can say all you want to say you know that's Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's wow. definitely got some horsepower in yeah, that. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know it. Yeah, he's got him in there where he wants him. Yeah, Chance's car looking real strong still. Uh oh, easy ease down the other end in a bad spot. Yeah. Oh, he got him sideways. He scooped him. Yeah, yeah. he sure did. Now he's, now he's stuck. He's stuck right underneath the frame rail. Oh, there he's out. Go. Going there again. Nope, they've got him hung up now. There he got out. Yeah, he's he's scooting back and forth. Oh yeah. Now, no. He got out. Sure did. Kinda. Oh, our, our boy Frizzy showed up. Did he? He's right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Get him on in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to see who's going to win big, big money in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. Exactly. You're down to one and five drivers taking home a big fake check and a little big check. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa. What a shot. You really you can really see it like this is like a pitcher's duel. You know what I mean? You can yeah. see when the front tire becomes exposed and you're like, oh, 
Yep. You know, you, oh, everybody yeah. sees it. You're like, oh no, oh no. How have you? How did you get here? <laughs> Real good chess match, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. There's plenty of good cars out there. You know, because these, they're st they're mixing it up good, in my opinion. Yeah. They could be out there tapping and, oh, and yeah. pushing. They're mixing it up. Oh yeah. There we go. Going for a ride. Yeah, but he's starting to go down now. Oh yeah. The nine eight the nine eight nine four, is he actually making contact? I haven't been really watching him. I guess you just did on oven. I staying competitive. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. They keep splitting all this action up. There you go, now his front wheel's exposed. Will Dustin hit it? That wagon's starting to go down too, the back Oh yeah. Back. yeah, it looked like it was starting yeah. to go down. The passenger side is a little bit. Chances car still looks real good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he gets a shot that he wants. He's definitely going to do a lot of damage because it's it's a lot left in him. They're definitely getting it. Fifteen looks good too. Oh yeah, Evan uh, King, yeah. Yeah, it's a little car. Uh-oh, I think the 9894 Allen, Devin Allen, I think he finally uh, got himself hung in the track. Yeah, he's stuck, isn't he? 
Come on now, get out of there. There, there you got a little friendly tap. Yep. Back in the game. That's a little two for one right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> that was buy one, get one. like TJ's got his eye on Dustin. Yeah. Uh-oh, Chance is coming up in there. Yeah, there's Chance. Yeah, I've been wrecking with Chance's dad since high school. Yeah. Casey. Yeah. yeah. Good times. It's the point now, nobody wants to make the wrong move. Yeah, because they're probably out there like, why won't those other cars just die? <laughs> you know? Right. Like, still going. Yeah, I like watching when they climb right over that back rear wheel and the car just jumps way up in the air. You're like, oh, yeah. oh, no. Don't go there, don't go there. <laughs> Duck again. Will, will he get help this time to get out? Not did he yet. get his, did he get his stirring? No, he's stuck in the he's stuck again. Yes. All right, we're down to four. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. He got him stuck. Uh-oh. Oh. They're both stuck now. Well, they broke off the 9-8, nine, 9-4. Nine, oh, all right. Now they're going to isolate the wagon. He just got to get, yeah, they're going to keep him over there. He got to corral that wagon. No, oh, Chance smells Blood in the water. Get a chance. But not if Evan King can. Well, chance oh. come from the other side. Get in there. Uh 
Uh, I'll, okay, he's back in the game. That's oh, all right. Tank Not even stuck. Right there. As bad as it sounds, that was teamwork. Yes, it is. Oh, did they count him out? Yeah, they did. They're, they're shining a light on him. Wow. He ain't stopping. I don't know. But maybe that light was a different. I don't see. He's got the light on. I don't know what right. he's doing. Oh, he's done down there. Yeah. Yeah, he's sitting down there now. Dustin Woods, Evan King, and Chance Smith. Yep, yep. We're down to the last three. Super stock feature, buried alive four. And it's been a good one. Oh yeah. Whoa. Now the shoe's gonna be on your other foot for a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> now, you think? Yeah, now it's going to be who can keep steering, I feel, and not get hung up on somebody. All right. There you go. Chance is pl plowing them into the – go ahead and keep that on the floor, my man. Oh. That's how you keep it from doing that. It's no pressure. It's end of the night. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, he's in the soft stuff. Fans will love that last hit. Oh, he's getting he's getting a flat right rear on the wagon now. Yeah, it's been flat a while, but it's starting to come apart now. Yep. Yeah. Then the front of Chance's car is finally starting to turn up a little. Yeah, he did a lot of work to the front of that, that's for sure, from the other day. They managed to keep it solid for a long time. But Evan King, that the rear rails are still straight, right? And that, that rear bumper is just oh, pretty it's, level. Yeah, it's nasty. He's getting ready to start ripping steering off that wagon, I think. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let's have him see. Chance, this is it. Had him stacked up there.
one all fairness, I'm surprised he hasn't got on them yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, mm -hmm. Get hung up now. My guy is finished. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Here comes Uncle Bill. Battery change, charger. Oh yeah, Josh Decker's got the headset on. Yep. Uh, is the wagon not moving? All right, there it is. Yeah, look how that straight it still, is. still looks real. It nice. is just, that's the cleanest looking thing out there. Take the derby away from them. You're gonna make them go get them. Oh, he just let them. Yeah. So patient these drivers are. Oh, you have to. I would have ruined point. all my equipment twice. Yeah. Been on the trailer already. <laughs> <laughs> My mentality is the reason why I have a, I don't have a, a ton of wins. Because I get to this point, it'd just be, 
I'm happy with a top. Well, I shouldn't say that because it's a lot of money, but I'd get bored and just send it. So do you think he's going to stop it soon? I would. I would think so. He's getting antsy. Everybody's getting antsy. Right. Right? Well, he's got a limited weld feature coming up that's going to be just as intense, and then he's got another 30 car feature. Yes. With most modern fine art. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's. We're stoked. We're just all like pacing, waiting to put helmets on. Are you in the next one too? No, I'm just disappointed from my first experience. Okay. That, but I had a great time. Gotcha. O only need one disappointment for the evening. <laughs> yeah, Greg already took my car back to Canada. He's halfway back to Canada with my car. Ah. He's 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 more upset than I am. I don't know what happened. You put your foot on the brake, you try to shift her, it didn't move. I don't know. It moved later on, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But I had the red flag to try to figure it out, and it didn't get sorted, so I was like, getting out, jump on track shot, hang out with you guys. There you go. Yeah, they're booing boo yeah. birds. Yep, it's coming. I don't know if you can hear the whispers from the crowd. Oh yeah, the boo birds. <laughs> like yeah. Sour said, the boo birds are out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. one here because you got three quality builds three quality drivers yeah like 60 gallons of gas between the three of them right <laughs> so we could be here for a while if they right. want to if, if, if they want to well you know as well as I do the throttles are going to get opened up as soon as they see a shot that they really like in their weight. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, 100% agree. Once, some, once they see something flex or move the way they, way they want it to, then it, it's on. Yeah, they'll be blood in the water then, won't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that and they see you don't want to come bonsai in the back of that wagon because his gas tank protector is wide open so that's the last thing they want to do is go in there and bonsai and pull the gas tank apart you know so they're, right. they're trying to be strategic yeah Birds are back. A whole flock of bluebirds is yeah. going over right now. They, yeah. <laughs> they are in the right. V formation. Uh -huh. they're, they're, they're migrating right now. I like the passion of Demotion Derby fans. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I have a good idea who's up there booing, too. And I like that family. Let's go. <laughs> there we go.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes King. Got him. They got him sideways. Oh. Woo. There we go. He made it all the way to the motor, Chance did. Guess what's going to happen right now? Yep. He, Chance is hung up on that guy. Yes, he is. Yep. And his front end is exposed. And there oh, it is. gonna come in and tap him. Yeah, just keep stacking him up there. Yeah, Chance is stuck. Oh! Flag is fired. There we go! I didn't see that coming. No. And now Dustin's just gonna let throw that wagon. Now the party started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't even see the driver. Now the front bumper is higher than the front wheel. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have a hard time hitting the wheel with the bumper that high. They were just green light fans. What are they doing? Junk back there. Oh, that, that rear wagon rails are nasty right now. Oh yeah. Oh. belly a little bit that yeah. wagon is. Chance trying to peek around that trunk. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, he's up on top of the tire now. Uh-oh. Not all three of them. Oh, okay. Keep going, Chance. You got him worked off. Hey, he's got to come up. Alan turned off. Three there. Woods got to come up and make a hit. Oh, there we go. Guys, we saw something go flying over the stands over here. A piece to go flying up over the stands. Is that a chunk of the tire? Uh-oh.
right, Chance. Is he going to stuff them both in the corner here? He's got that wagon buried right now. Yep. Wagon stuck. Ooh. Yeah. That might be interesting. Tranny. Yeah. I'm steering. Broke the rear loose. Yeah, I think you're right, Ben. Yeah, I think you broke the rear loose. Watch. You can't see it quite chucking yet, but. It's definitely, I think, shifted. I think he's got training issues. Yeah. Great shot. There. Yeah, he's got him hung in there. Now he is. Uh oh. He's it. The the. Rear frame rail stuck right around the hump yep. plate. Great driving, great patience. But you think you heard booze before the heat? Yeah. Wait till this. If Evan gets the checkered flag. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Because Josh, didn't he win last year? He won last year too, right, Evan? Easy E? You know, I don't, I don't I remember think that. He, I think he did. I think he did. Because remember, they booed him, about booed him out of the place. Might as well, might as well throw the check because the deuce yep. is cooked. <laughs> Come on, kids, get out of there. Tell you what, great patience. Oh yeah. oh yeah. That was a driving clinic. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Great job of them guys. You're gonna have uh, uh, yeah. Come on, right? Yeah, as soon as Josh Decker okay. does his interview. Does the interview? I'm gonna jump up. I gotta find one of them cupcakes. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll throw them on here as soon as you get off. Yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah, 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 yeah. I right. ain't eating all day. All right. <laughs> He's up for some fun, guys. Go get a break, my man. Guys, down here looking at this car straight as an arrow up in, in the nose. Oh, wow. Absolutely straight. Mm -hmm. so, so the corner of the bumper is stuck behind the door and the tire here. So Chance got just stuck in there by two inches. Oh man. Two inches got him in here. I'm sure Alex will get a picture of that, but. That's sweet. <laughs> you guys seeing this? Yeah. Yep. Awesome, brother. Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's get a good with the champion. Oh, dude, I'm sure you're exhausted right now. First, tell everybody the name of the champion after a great battle. Evan King. Man, are you the best king and driver in the family? Because that, that was amazing. I got, I got 115, he's got 210, so. 
Man, okay, so let me ask you, dude. You guys were in battle for a long time. There was times where I felt like it was two on one, maybe, right? Were you feeling that, or what was your gut out yeah, there? Yeah, because it kind of went two on one, them two on one on me, one of me two on one on them, and just I can't believe this. Fantastic battle. Is there anyone you want to thank? I'll let you go and celebrate. Who do you want to thank? My girlfriend Joslyn, all these guys standing here behind you. I couldn't do it without these guys. I just can't believe it. Congratulations, brother, for a congr great, great oh. win. And Billheim for the best fucking motor you can put in a derby car. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Thanks. I want to get Chance, guys. I got Chance down here, too. Yeah, get him. See how he... Oh, okay, so brother, is. man, what an ending there after a crazy battle. You guys were battling forever. Are you exhausted? I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, what caught you up there was just maybe two inches of the corner of this bump. I know. It happens, but, man, I love seeing Evan win, you know, but uh, that just means bigger and better next year. Dude, it was very fun to watch because, like he was saying, there was times where it was two-on-one on you, two-on-one on, on him, two-on-one on, on, uh, on everybody else. So it was fun, fun to watch that, right, the battle, because you guys battled – fairly for uh, for a long time yeah absolutely uh that's like the allen boys you know i went up to them told them awesome battling with you yeah. i love the dog fights you know what i mean absolutely. i love the battles so never run away from them so i encourage it so uh, who do you want to think who do you want to think before you go home man oh man first uh everybody i don't know there's just so many people uh my dad personally he has been there little story we we didn't make the out of the heat had to go to the Concy. Yep. Car's been tore up twice, so it's a miracle that it even made it down to the end. So I knew I had to change the driving style a little bit. But uh, way to go, Chance! If it wasn't for him and uh, Jake and some of the other guys helping here and there on the car all weekend, man, I wouldn't have got it done. Uh, Jenna, uh, my my fiance and my mother, uh, they, my mom and her, they uh, they cooked. We got Airbnbs. So they made sure we were good all weekend. Yep. So, uh, but. That's what it's all about, man. I Family. absolutely love it. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. That's a great run, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. That's awesome, Josh Decker. Yeah, no, I just um, get excitement, right, after a battle like that. I'm ex I would be exhausted, probably pass out. These guys, like, they're like, eh. <laughs> just, they're just eh. out there working. I'm getting old. I don't have the, like, chances. I, could, I have my hand on him. He's, like, jacked. I can see. It's like, man, this is jacked kid. <laughs> yeah. He's a big dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, I had enough of being out in the rain, not going to lie. Well, so, come on up here and hang out. Yep, yeah. I'm going to turn this over. All right. Oh, you got Frizzy up there. Yes. Okay, rock out. All right. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> All right. Hey, you've been patient, Frizzy. Yeah. Welcome to the mic. Welcome hey, to the Motion Derby, my man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. This feels like how it's supposed to look. Epic rain, a little mud. You know what I mean? A little yeah. blood, a little fire in the background. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like the energy out here. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that you coming through here, man. Yeah, yes, sir. Can oh, they've been, like, diving in this mud puddle today in front of us. Word? Like, <laughs> dude, it's been, a, it's been a wild day of just epic fun. Yeah, I hope yeah. somebody got that in slow motion. No, they did. They, that's pretty crazy. So, wow. Uh, what we got here is we, we just watched the Super Stock feature, and we got one more 80s limited weld, and then it's the most wanted fine art class oh, ending man. the night. Oh, man. And uh, we're excited you're here. We sent uh, your film crew over to the corner there, and they're getting interviews from drivers and nice, stuff. Nice, nice, man. Nice, yeah. Yeah, we got we to gotta definitely, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's all about the culture, so we got get to get the culture on there. All right, we're watching some replay here. This is mine. I'm mm -hmm. Wow, Jesus. Yeah, good job. No, that was that was a battle. Yeah, right here he came in hot right at the beginning, Hendrickson. That's I mean that's how he started it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tough. So this derby's been three days, my man. Three wow, days of has just it? smashing. Yeah, we're down to the last two heats of three days of demotion derby. Four hundred and fifty eight pre registered cars. Four hundred you said what about my mom? Four hundred and fifty eight <laughs> <laughs> pre registered cars. Wow. We smashed bro. a lot of cars this weekend, man. Woo. We really did. There's been a lot of truck and trailers been here all weekend, and uh, it's pre been pretty, pretty dope. You know, like yeah. they say, the tires can tell a story. You know what I mean? Uh -oh. oh man, they've been taking a beating. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ben's eating. Oh, good for him. Good for him. All now, right. so you, Frizzy, you were here last or earlier this year, in uh, was it May or April, Where and you got started. to entertain the crowd. 
and uh, jump up on the uh, the, the on, car at the yeah. end of the night. So uh, I know that we're pretty pretty stoked for that tonight. Yeah, man. You know, it's grand opening, grand closing. Always say like this is where nice. it started. For nice. Me, you know what yeah. I mean? So this is walking back here after all the adventures we've had and all the places we've gone. This is this is pretty awesome. It feels like home. Yeah. What uh? What what, what do you got coming up, my man? Man, well, you know, um, November 1st is my birthday, right? right. So, Every what, 72 birthday. hours thing. And Wednesday, and I'm uh, releasing my new albums, uh, Popularity versus Success will be everywhere um, where music is sold and streamed on November 1st on my birthday, which is great. <laughs> nice. Um, nice. So, I'm really excited about that. My new single drops. So, we're just, you know, getting everything. I'm touring around, press all day, you know, and then getting ready for the big symphony show coming yeah. on yeah. November 8th at Heinz Hall, man. It's just, it's it's been a grind. It's been rehearsals on a different level with the symphony and you know just getting ready to sell this place well, really do yeah yeah they have them. this is a big deal yeah right? he's, yeah, he's, yeah 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 he's has when you had the symphony that's what yeah, i'm saying yeah. <laughs> number one symphony in the world all doing my album success which Dude. is crazy so if the album comes out on the first and then people will be able to come to heinz hall to hear a, a brand new version of it with the whole symphony choir we'll have over a hundred musicians on stage wow congratulations thank man, you, man. Thank yeah, that's yeah, tough to do on its own yeah. right just to pull that off is yeah. tough Really, only Jay-Z has done it. Jay-Z, Nas, mm. um, only a handful. Metallica. Metallica, right. Exactly. Sting. Right. You know? So you are in. Uh, we're said. blessed to be in your company, man. Oh, man, man. I'm just happy you Congratulations. Yeah, when yeah. you make it so high up in rock star level where they have the symphony playing yeah. your yeah. stuff, that right? is That's a crazy. bucket crazy. list item for a musician, I'm sure. Losing my mind, man. Yeah, I bet. So is, so we're, our, we're is this something that's streamed live, or are you doing it and no, then releasing it? Yeah, no, we're, well, so it's a one-night-only event live. Um, I'm not allowed to say on camera if oh. it's coming out. Understood. I'll tell you, it's I'll tell fine. you when the cameras come off. I just, you know I mean? I, we could flood it with derby guys. I don't know if that's what you want. Oh, we I mean, that's what I want. Oh, guys. yeah. I mean, we want, that's one of the things that's been great about this is the whole point of this show is really bringing people out to the symphony that haven't been. Um, I know even for me just being a young black kid in Pittsburgh, you know, I didn't go to the symphony my first time until like last year until they invited me. Nice. And I grew up in Pittsburgh. So, mm -hmm. you know, growing up in the hood and seeing that a lot of people haven't experienced that, that's one of the things that I love about Most Wanted Fine Art Class is that it's brought derby life to the streets of Pittsburgh, to Garfield, to Wilkinsburg, yes. to Homewood, right? Yes. So that I want to return that favor and, you know, bring the derby world out to the Heinz Hall. You know, I, I know Most Wanted <laughs> is going to be in the building, but Word. all the amazing fans in here, all the people I've grown relationships with, I really want to get everybody out to come down to a show. And also, I said, I made sure that this show has no dress code. Nice. So, you know, usually you have to wear a suit to go in there, but I'm like, where would you want? You can come in a onesie if you want to. i got to tell you this. Uh, derby drivers don't have suits. That's I think I might be the only one. That's a <laughs> right. Uh, right? Yeah, right. Sour, well, I'll well, tell you. Well, 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 Sour got a jacket on yeah, right now looking real smooth. <laughs> right. You know well, I, mean? I just had all these derby drivers at an art opening. You were there. Yes, I was. It was er beautiful. Earlier, so that was pretty cool. We've been just – that's what we've been doing is we've been – Bring in the art world just on the edge of Demolition Derby, and uh, we appreciate you guys keeping us with us. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but, yeah, your crew, uh, Frizzy, has reached out to us and been able to hook up the Most Wanted Car Club with some seats. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, absolutely, man. Um, absolutely. So anybody in the Pittsburgh region that wants to see Frizzy, at, is it Heinz Hall? It's Heinz Hall, baby. Heinz wow. Hall. Yeah, man. Heinz Hall. Dude, November 8th. That's this that's a Wednesday, two weeks from now, man. We we right on the cusp of it. That's and, right. Uh, I'm really excited to Good show everybody you. what I can't wait for them to hear the albums, but I'm I'm really excited for them to see this show. We we put a lot into this thing, and it it should be something special. I just was in Forbes magazine last week, talking about everything. Uh, one of the new songs on the album, Jason's heard it. I think he heard it like a month ago when we had to oh, yeah. we had to send it to, to Sony. But he's in it. I mentioned him in the song. Ooh, oh, uh, man. Sorry, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, you know, I haven't you know. told you. I've been, you know, when, I've been when, trying to keep it in my pocket. Oh, boy. You get to hang out with legends <laughs> like this, especially art legends. You got to say their name in the song. You know, Jay-Z, Sam, Picasso. I yeah. got to say, I got to say Jason. You know what I mean? I'm so, Word I, up. I Word up. Gotta, and I got to be a work of art at the amazing uh, at the art show at Blue Steel. Yes, you did. Awesome, you were, got the hood of your Durango that you ran at the Iron City oh, yeah. Nationals. Yep. Yeah. Frizzy is also, people, if you are just meeting Frizzy for the first time, he's also a demolition derby driver. <laughs> he's am. driven in the most wanted class. We set him up to win. We put him in a Durango. We yeah. put him in the big boss one, painted it all gold because this guy loves gold. Gold And he went out there and just <laughs> ripped it up. Went and great. what he's been doing this season, I'm going to give you a shout out and oh. thank you, oh. is I painted a one-seat Trek fire suit for this man, <laughs> and he wears it on stage. 
love it. When he's performing. Ah, so when it. I see him wearing his Demolition Derby yeah. one-piece fire suit on stage. <laughs> now, he wears it the right way. He's got the top completely <laughs> off. He's completely <laughs> shirtless. So the women are just throwing everything at him. <laughs> but I can tell that I had once made painted that fire Super suit. Cool. So uh, I'm sure that's something, man. Yeah, and man, uh, we appreciate <laughs> I love it when I see you up there. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Demolition Derby on great big stages yeah, and huge, i appreciate man. you help selling it no first, i appreciate it man it's just a work of it's literally a moving <laughs> it's work of cool, art man. it's pretty it cool is. i love that suit i remember when he did it I, it's hard <laughs> for me not to perform with the helmet on too the yeah helmet. i was like I was, you know <laughs> i can't awesome. really i lose my peripherals but i'm with it yeah i look cool on stage that's all i need <laughs> you know right yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm doing a, I'm doing a thing with Nickelodeon later on next year, and I'm, you might see me wearing it then. I'm oh, awesome. that's sweet! And you know, you've had a heck of a run on morning TV, my man. Amazing, man! I just on morning TV now. We got evenings coming up, and NBC, ABC. Just shout out to all of them showing a lot of love, man. It's it's, it's beautiful when you know you work hard in your career and you you get the recognition not only from the world but from the city you grew up in. Now, I've been riding his coattails for about six <laughs> years. I'm wondering what you're doing because I'll ride your coattails. I'm starting to like too. I might ride behind yours. You know uh, what it is? I'm riding his paintbrush. That's what I'm. Yeah, doing. yeah. You know what I mean, I got I got full witch. I'm on I'm on that mug like a broomstick. You know yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> like, like Harry Potter. There it is, you know. It's uh, it's so cool too. To like, I've made so many new friends within the derby world you know oh yeah you have fans immediately immediately man they, they and like some of them are the biggest drivers ryan wood brady morgan they like yeah they are some of your big fans and they're they're just beautiful people and, mm. and you know that's one of the things i like to preach about thank it's you about the derby world you thank know I mean? you yeah man can i say that a lot of people just think we're a bunch of woodchucks and i love the i love that we're like i love everything that sour does and brings to derby and because it's yeah. like it's the only reason our, our, our people don't know about you is because we haven't showed you. I right. mean, as soon as we bring you in, our, our family, we're a community. We're a family, yeah, right? We, we dig each other. If, if we're, like, helping each other, we're in. Big and I, I really appreciate you saying that because my dad would say we're a bunch of hillbillies, but we are, <laughs> but we also can do other stuff too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. you, know what I mean? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think that's one of the things I always think. Like, people know a, a rocket shoots into space, but they, how, they forget to talk about how it keeps people alive. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, so it's, it's a beautiful thing to come here. And I, I even had preconceived notions when I came through. Like, you know, you see it on TV. You yes. see how people are moving and grooving. And you don't really get a chance to really get to know the personalities because you're seeing the cars crashing. And when you come here and you talk to everybody, you see the hard work and sweat that goes into it. You know, going to Sickles' uh, garage and getting a chance to sit down and see, like, mm. you know, and also see the, the losses, too. Like, what you know, how much yes. money goes into this, how much yes. investment, how much time. and Heart. How much, Right, and they love, yeah. they love these cars. Yes, and also yeah. seeing how the relationships, the love, you know, yeah. the couples that work on it together, families. You know, right. So you see people always being like, you know, me and my girl, we sit down and we watch Netflix together. It's like, well, they build cars. Yeah, they do. You know what I mean, like they so build it as a family, as a family, man. So uh -huh. it's just, it's it, you know, it's. I'm glad that you recognize that, and that's something we try to tell people when they first meet us and they first hear about Demolition Derby. Yeah, uh, it's. It's a really good vibe of like just people who are really you know we're we're genuinely interested. Yep. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 absolutely. And uh, and, and I, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, again with the hookups, Frizzy, I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> All right, I've been like I was I was trying to say he's been on morning TV so much. <laughs> I've been blessed to be on Saturday TV, which is edited. It wasn't until this man right here. <laughs> this man gave me my first. Live, live morning TV oh, appearance. Yeah, appreciate, Thank you, bro. You appreciate it. You killed I've been, it, too. I, I thought I was going to fail. I'm glad I had Never. all those Saturdays in the <laughs> bank where they edited me out and got me, so I got to learn. Then I was lucky I could just nail it, and you and Daisy Jade took off from there, and man, I was just very thankful. You killed it, man. That you uh, even <laughs> gave me a small effort. So I wasn't ready. Like It's 7 a.m. morning shoot. You know what yeah. I mean? We got to get on. You got to get up morning at 4. Morning TV starts, you yes. Get up at 3. Really. <laughs> Real early, yep, or, and you got to look fly because right. you know everyone else. Yep. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so I, I'm always appreciative of that. Uh, oh man, I, that 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 opportunity that you provided we, we for me. We family, man. man. We family. I'm gonna get. Uh, Jason did a really dope in the beginning of this to send out the announcement on Frizzy Day, which is weird to think that Frizzy Day is coming back up now. Um, a, a custom frizzy logo. My logo I have, you did like an art style of it. Mm -hmm. Not something that I'm probably going to end up getting tattooed on me. Nice. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Because it's it's this is a, a cool. lifetime thing, and this is something I want Definitely. my kids to know. And, Definitely. You know, I want to start seeing it in different places to really make it a thing. And uh, 
I like it when people collect sour artist tattoos. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. We got rad, to. Man. You know what I mean? We got to. Now, let me ask you. Sour was saying that next year. Now you're on. You're you got stuff going on right now, so you couldn't derby today. Right. But is it true? Is the rumor true that you're looking to run cars all over America and and people? Let's build a car, for, and then you, we'll bounce you around the country. Yeah. And then, yeah. okay, let's team up here because you could have Frizzy at your house, and I then need, Frizzy runs a car at your I house. I need that. Huh? I need that. Yeah. Oh, we'll he he can follow us with track. Imagine shot we live. go to Hotlanta, then we go to Chicago, we then we go it. to uh, exactly. California. We need a track stop, shot live reality show of it, man. We, mm-hmm. t- you know what I mean? Like for real. Like, uh, like you we, know, we need all new characters, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eventually, one thing I want to do, I think. You know, obviously, I, I, I wanted to run today. I was supposed to run today. And because of the symphony show, we, you know, my, the team, the, the label stepped in. Like, we can't risk you of having course, a limp on stage. But uh, cause the boys, <laughs> them boys be hitting, hitting. Um, they be hitting like Tina Turner. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you ever need a stunt double, I'll jump in for you. I like that. Yeah. I, mean, I can Every notice time, that. I'll I know that. All I got to do is get you a fitted. We yeah. locked in. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But one of the things I think I want to do next year, especially with me touring, I'm doing a lot of overseas, a lot in Germany, a lot in China. Is I would love to to you know run a derby somewhere internationally. Yes, to represent oh, wow. the most wanted fine arts. Yes, class. yes, yes. So it's think, dangerous overseas, though. We're not. No, he's they're fine. Not he's sending, fine. You are we're fine. not sending you. him in banger racing. His team <laughs> said to me, because I'm like, look, he's a natural athlete, and she looked at me. She's like. He's a rapper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Don't let it fool you. <laughs> yeah. I know that you're putting in har- him in harm's way, and he's out here playing catch with the football before I put him his helmet on. Yeah, uh, they, was <laughs> on me. they was on it. It is funny, too, because, like, you know, I'm a big dude. I'm in the gym every day. I'm, I'm 230 pounds, must abs, all that stuff like that. I'm 6'4", 6'5". I'm a big guy. I am an ab. He's right, but, like, now I'm a brand. So, the, right. so they're like, yo, I don't care how well you can fight. I don't care how big you are, like. No. I was like, oh, all right. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Like, it was like one of those conversations that didn't have a comma in it. You know what I mean? can't wait for the day. I, that's me. Where, <laughs> where that's, I have a brand. Right now, I, I get thrown into harm's way. So. <laughs> but you come out alive. I like that. I you know do. I do. I do. I like that. You out here looking like looking like a handsome young Jesus. Uh, that's here, right. you know I, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that, sir. Make my day. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Well, well, I'm excited that you're going international and stuff because, like, that's actually a dream. Just so you know, I don't know if you know this, but in derbying, there is kind of, but derbying is America, really. Demolition Derby is really I learn, I'm learning that. I learn that a lot. They yeah. do have them, but, like, I'm with you. It's always been a dream for all of us, like, to go to England, to go to Germany, to go to Holland and yeah. smash a car. Right. So, please, go do it for us, man. We'll well, be watching you. Well, that's the goal. You know, I think that you guys have created a brand. Jason has created a brand, especially in America. That we can get enough sponsors together to, to make this move and to use yes. my name and my face to help yes. facilitate that situation and let them know that, you know, we're bringing a superstar over. This is a big thing. And really start doing it kind of like how monster trucks are, right? They take yeah. them and they go places kind of like how, you know, Fast and the Furious franchises, drag racing in Tokyo and Germany. And dude, all these dude, can I be the constant dude, Larry? Can I, do some, please, can I have some role in here? <laughs> uh, to, CFO, man. COO of <laughs> the International <laughs> Demolition Derby. Oh, man. Yeah, I, got it, man. Look, I love what you're saying. Uh, right? Yeah. Right, right. This so, is some executive director stuff. Are you, <laughs> like, I hope you're writing this stuff listening. down, Josh Decker. I'll, I'll go back I'll, and rewatch I it. I want it. You know what he's, I mean? he's unretired at this moment. He's, his interest is peaked. I see it. So it's like, you know, it's it, and also art is, you know, art, music is a universal language. It's art all around the world. People appreciate art all around the world. So why can't we have a derby car take a picture in front of the Louvre? You know yeah. what I mean? Right? Like these places that. Oh, that we, is a dream of mine. That's what I'm saying. So, we, you know, <laughs> luckily I'm in a space in my career where, you know, I'm, I'm making big calls and people are answering. So I really right. want to make sure that I take this and show everyone here that, like, I, you know, my th- I, I, I want to thank them with actions. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we want to show up with truck and trailers deep. Oh, deep. We want yeah. deep. We want to <laughs> take up the whole that. street <laughs> like we did in Vegas. Absolutely. We want to run awesome. the strip in Vegas <laughs> with some derby cars. If they can F1 Vegas. They can derby Vegas. Oh totally. yeah, disrespect. I need that. I want. I can't. I want people putting the cars on on carrier planes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. like, oh, like that should, yeah. That would be so sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. There. Yeah. Putting them hot. Put yeah. some big heavy metal American muscle on a cargo plane. Now we've put you in. You've been in the most wanted. And again, after after this thing, but I think we need to get you in like a crazy car, like one of those classes that were just out there. Like you just battle in there for. I'm with whatever. Yeah, I'm with whatever. I'm, I'll I'm, talk to your agent. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. hit, yeah, hit the. I'll up, put insurance know? on you. What if I put insurance on you? You know what? Then, then Treat me like Kim Kardashian's. Ass, I will. Man. You know what I mean? I put, will. It, put insurance <laughs> on me. I'm with. You know because like especially seeing the hype, <laughs> <laughs> the hype of everybody when we shot. It, you know, TJ and the crew put some GoPros in the car. Yeah. 
You know what yep. I mean? They, they, yep. it, it really, we really got some dope shots. Uh, yep. QSI did a drone in the sky during the shoot. Like, uh, it was real. It you was got real. a good crew around you that caught some really great footage. And, yeah. like, so today is the culmination of that footage. It really is, man. It's really That's pretty good. We had a plan, and I know TJ riding in my truck is like, Sour, we love that you stick to the plan. We right. gave you a plan, Sour, and you just kept on it. Yep. You That's didn't let us up. You didn't quit on us. And you just made sure the plan came through, and yep. here it is. Yep, that's how we you talked mean. a year ago. Yeah, on, and that uh, for your birthday, right? For my you, do, you <laughs> chose. Now, two years ago, you chose. I'm going to learn Dutch for your thing to do for a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 365 <laughs> days later, now you're 700 days later from Dutch. Right. Speaking how do you us. feel? I feel good, man. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel fresh. You know what I mean? You know? I'm stretched out. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm ready to go. It's, it's right. It's that's the fun part about the sit down. The thing about sitting down and having that first meeting with you, and not knowing too much about Derby Light besides the commercials <laughs> on Paramount Plus, you know what I mean? And uh -huh. like, and now being like to go into a car and and mm -hmm. have to breathe and like, you know, I had the fans while I was in the car. I never forget some of the amazing fans were like talking to me through the car. Yo, Fritz, turn this, dude. Like they was dude, they <laughs> were coaching. They you. were yeah. coaching. And yeah. you were. I'm gonna give it to you. The rest of the drivers. Gave you tons of respect. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you it's not going to be like that anymore. I don't want it. <laughs> All right, you got that first rookie they, respect. Right. They gave it to you. Right. They let you have the shots. Yes, they didn't they did. crush you. And you went out there and just turned wheels and looked good went, doing it. I went crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> did. Put on extra baby oil that day. Just like, yeah, days, you know yeah. what I mean? You, you did so good. Yeah. yeah. So it's exciting. And so I can't wait to get back out there and really represent not only the class but the culture. And really, like, you know, continue to make some some amazing fans and to see the Derby people in the audience at these different shows going on. What well, we definitely appreciate you uh, giving, us a, giving us a little corner of your platform, oh, a little man. shine <laughs> on what you got going on. Your platform is so large, and uh, you, man. you know, giving us a little space. So that's, that's something that we really appreciate. And, uh, you know, Demolition Derby is a pretty loyal fan base. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah, and so we, you know, so we we are appreciative that you're out there trying to tell Sony music about us. Yeah, you know? I got to man. I, <laughs> That's I, pretty I, cool. Yeah, man. I can't. Yeah, wait. I, I gotta get. I gotta get. A, I gotta get a sour original chain or something. You know what I mean? Like I gotta get like the logo he made of me, or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, a cart, like a spray painted cartoon drawing of me. Something. Yeah. Something. I gotta get like the jeweler yeah. to make it into a yeah. charm. I gotta do that. So we. Oh yeah, yeah. I like this. I like oh, this. I like this. I like it a lot. No. Oh, we're, we're moving into some Demolition Derby. Yeah, real oh, quick. here we go. If, if you guys don't mind, we're going to go into. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> limited <laughs> Weld. If you don't mind, let's get back, get back, to, get back to the culture. We're a good yeah. Okay, so Limited Weld. 80s Limited Weld is coming out next. Who do we got? Harold the Hammer, 78. Harold Humphreys coming out tonight. Jake Chilson out of Pennsylvania. Darren Corder in the 25D. Mike, Mad Mike DeFrisha is out here, folks. He says he's going to light it up in the 2R. That's an orange Vic he's in tonight. Nice. CJ Fitchett in the 46. Jim Bob Crest in the 20. 107 is Nelson Lurie. Ryan LaTourette, the national heartthrob in the rampage. Stephen Martin in the instigators. Josh Orendorf. Josh Orendorf in the 54C. He's going to be good. Bill Orendorf in the 14. Matt Repko in the 21R. Caden Rice in the 677. Ronnie Roach in the Eliminator. Ralph Rosenberger in the 84. Butter. Yep. Wayne Shook in the yep. Butter Car. Just won a car club right there. Noah Silba in the 1.8R. Sam Smith in the 06. Sam Smith in the 66. Father, son, Jake Somersecki in this 19J. Xavier Tate in the T8. John Turek in the A55 and Nikki Bobby in the 36X. I see some Tennessee, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, Maryland, and ten did I say Tennessee? Yes. And Tennessee, West Virginia, a lot of, I mean, just all over the map in this one. We love it. Limited weld 80s, folks. Now, I think this is just going to be concussion central. You think so? Frizzy, we're not going to put you in this class. This is the one yeah, that, that you lose brain cells I, in I this one. I don't want it. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, this one, I, we'll skip I, you out of this one. Yeah, I think I'm keep them out of the <laughs> minivan rumble, too. Out of the minivan rumble, yes. All right, there's a list. <laughs> Two-person two extreme, that one can get really nuts, especially in San Filippo. Well, and here. We got to get him a, I want to get him a win. 
You know, we got to get him a win. W. Yeah, we need to get him a W in the most wanted. We I'll got him out there. Now a W. I need that trophy. Man. Yes. I'm a, I'm a trophy ho, too. Me, too. I'm, I'm Good a, for you. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I mean? You guys are natural <laughs> wannabe winners. Yeah, <laughs> we're going like, to get you one. Uh -huh. I can't do the participation trophy, or I can't do, like, the flag. Well, I, I want it. him to win in a Chrysler, Josh. Let's make this happen. All right? I, oh. want him, I want him to represent Detroit. Like, boom. Dude, you know Chrysler. I got your That's back. That's what I drove up here. You know I love them Chrysler. I oh, do. I know, I know what you're driving. I'm your boy, man. I'm your boy. I'm like, I got I, you on this. Let's get him a 300M in the most wanted clash. Just the RT boosted. <sighs> nasty. We're getting him a track hawk in the <sighs> most wanted class. Let's make this happen. He can do that. We need to make this happen. We'll go to Co Copart and get that track hawk and just yeah. blast it. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that in my life. That's what I mean, or that R Magnum. Yes, I agree. Now, folks, this class, they're calling it limited weld, so these are harder cars than we saw in the last class. Now, I don't really? Know if, uh, yeah. Well, they got to be. It says limited weld. That was called super stock. Yeah, but Chan Smith was in it. I would think he'd run the hardest class there. Yep. Maybe possible. I don't know. The names screw with me sometimes, so you're probably right. I don't know. People could message <laughs> me, but I'm not looking at my phone, so I won't answer you. Nope. I'll look at it on when we're done in South Dakota. <laughs> 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 on my way to Skinny's house in Kansas. And Derby, if you're listening, you know, Frizzy, where do we find you? Where could they, like, go follow you or like you just to show that Derby is following you? How would you know that we were listening to you? So it's just it's Frizzy everywhere, F-R-Z-Y. Um, everywhere, just you know, when you get to this level, they, 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 they the social medias look out. They just give you your name. That's they, funny. They're always trying to crush us over here. Yeah, no, they no. let you just float out here. Even though you're a big dog. At this point, everybody buy, paying for everything anyway. Um, right. <laughs> well, because okay. I'd like our people to go to your pages. So you're saying Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, um, Facebook, Google, TikTok, TikTok. Okay. Uh, uh, what do they call it now? Twitter X, right? Yeah, go uh, like what? What platform do you use personally the most? I probably say it's Instagram, man. I'm an Instagram fan. All I really right. like that. So hit over to my Instagram at Frizzy. Bam. Please, Coach. people, do it right now on your phone as yeah. we're listening. Let's just let him know. Get a wave of him so he knows, like, we're at least yeah, listening. Yeah, man. Follow me. Send me some. I'll probably follow all y'all back, honestly. Awesome. Because I love to watch the work of it. And also, the, the link to the Heinz Hall show is uh, is right there. Be man. careful. You need to vet some of us. All right. <laughs> Let's derby. Here we go. Sour, I can see already that you are right. This class is a little bit lighter than the class before, just by the front bracket. It seems like it, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, I misspoke. It seems less, less creased. A little lighter. I think we can put Frizzy in this class. I think it'd be all right. Mad Mike DeFrisha told us he was going to just send it tonight. Oh, Mad Mike DeFrisha put on the best performance ever at Bluegrass Bash a number of years ago, the weekend before Vegas. He sent it repeatedly, and I've always commented and told him that it was a Hall of Fame performance. I've seen him have a couple. I remember one night him and Steve Siopa battled at uh, Keystone. Keystone Nationals. Man, you Keystone Nationals used to be good. Remember old Bill was, Lockwood shows? I loved them. I've only ever been to one. It was my first time ever to oh. a big derby. I went there with uh, Dane and uh, Smith Metalworks. I miss them. I miss them. That was back when I had my 16 passenger van. Let's get back. Bo should become a promoter again. Wouldn't that be something? Who? Bo Lockwood. Yeah, man. Also, shout out to the butter car. I don't know who oh, I love butter. Is, but yeah. I love me some butter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Butter's in the car club. I yeah. painted the other side of the car like Pittsburgh pop artist. Oh. Uh, not Andy Warhol, but who's the other guy? He's still alive. Um. Burton Morris. Oh, yeah, yeah. Burton okay. Morris. So I painted the other side of Butter's car to match Burton Morris's popcorn. So you made all that popcorn on the bottom there? Uh, no, this side's Kai Devenich. The well, other side is mine. Kai killed it. Yeah, good job, Kai. They high-fived him after this. Yeah, shout out, Kai. Way to raise my cholesterol with the artwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love Butter. Uh, well, love, and, love, and, love and in Derbian, Frizzy and Derbian, 
when we say somebody's like butter, it's because their car's soft. So he's oh, soft really? like butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's joking on himself right here. Tell him, tell him I think he's smart. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought he was calling the car butter because all the other drivers are toast. Yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We got a professional rider with us. <laughs> bars. <laughs> we got bars, man. Bars. <laughs> They're already calling people out. I was going to say, okay, so the green laser was because no one could hear. Yeah, the, and, the they're, alarm. and they're they're telling you the green laser usually means you are done and yeah. they need you to stop. And sometimes, Frizzy, they're trying to pinpoint a specific driver to let them know something, uh, so they'll point it right in your eyes. So it's, Gotcha. Yeah. They're it, like saying, you, stop. Yeah. Gotcha. So what they're doing right now is whenever a bumper falls off, and pick they're terribly bumper. heavy, they're not. Yeah. You might be able to pick it up. <laughs> but Josh Decker and I would need help. No, I'd ask somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, they're heavy because they're loaded. I'm about to say they loaded up. Huh? <laughs> yes, they are. Like a Taco Bell burrito. Mm -hmm. Who sells the bumpers? Ken? Uh, Ken Kiskadden. Ken Kiskadden sells awesome Kenny bumpers. That's a dope name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kiskadden. I've been mispronouncing his name for years. Kenny Kiskadden, one of my favorites. He's been very patient with me. Shout out to his mom, man. Yeah, right. That was a yeah. great idea. It rhymed good. It yeah. didn't it? it Literation. Did. We love Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll knock people's brains loose. His name is nice, but his foot is not. <laughs> yeah, he's got a power plant for sure. Yeah. Hammer got the uh, sweet. Um, I love neon, that kind of paint job. Yeah, I love neon, those. Uh, yeah. It looks like the sign at the bar. That's Harold Humphreys, the hammer. Yeah, is yeah. The San Filippo Cup champion, America. Number 78 is the champion of the Cup of all the Northeast. Oh, word. That is our Cup champion in that white and pink. That's why we're good commenters. See how we yes. set things up? Well done. Gosh. Good. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Sauer. <laughs> Mike DeFrisha heading straight towards us. Oh. There it is. <laughs> He's going to jump right over these tires and end up from the trailer. Here we go, here we go. Oh no, butter smoking. Oh, Butter takes a big shot on the top side of your screen from that one. Uh, thank you, everybody at home who is watching and watching our comments and helping us on our YouTube page. Man, that sounds good. Yeah, Woo! it's nasty. That's your boy. Here comes Mike, coming in hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That motor just rings in your ears. Yeah, it does. Just on the rev limiter. Again, thank you at home, everybody who's watching and commenting on our YouTube and Facebook pages. John Turek in the A55 looks good out there. Oh, yeah. Eliminator, Ronnie Roach. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, them things is coming. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you got to have your head on a swivel out here. Everybody's Heinz Ward. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's Heinz Ward. And you Yo, know that's, that's If not, uh, there's a the guy that played for uh, Baltimore. 
Ray Lewis. Yo, Ray Lewis. Oh, everybody yeah. 52. Heinz Ward everybody and Ray Lewis out, out here, here, man. Yo, I feel like there's a couple <laughs> Greg Lloyds, too. You know what I mean? Yo. A <laughs> couple Harrisons out here. Right, just blasting away. Look at that, man. Wow. You see how much momentum it takes for them to even stop? Yeah. Jesus. There's a lot of weight behind these cars. Just so real quick, packing. America, if you just lost us on Facebook, we hit our eight hours on Facebook. So Congrats. we lost our stream. Every time you get to eight hours streaming, they cut you no matter what. We forget about it every dang time. And then I say, Bill, stream dropped. And he looks at me and he says, eight hours. And it's like, ah. Okay, well, that's right, there's nothing I can do. But we're on YouTube now. Well, we got it back on Facebook. It just right. He just restarts it. Bam, we're good. So you should be back. Um, I got a bunch of messages there. I know a lot of people saying. We're good, and that's how our production works. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. Well, we got red flags. People are driving. There's people still running off the track. This is. Okay. He's calling for somebody, TJ is. Wow. Just making sure Uncle Bill doesn't die in there, carbon monoxide. Hey, salute Uncle Bill. Salute him. He can't you know what? Thank you. Track Shot Live is a bunch of us trying to just make it happen together as a team. And with Bill having our back each and every weekend, we ask Bill a lot. We ask him oh. to hang out in mud. Yep. We ask him to stay in some hotels that are questionable. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I well, have him staying at my mom's house. You know that. Well, he stayed at my mom's house twice now. I have a little. He stays in uh, yeah. my side side room at my my, my mom's. That's awesome. I, I really, I treat Bill like family, and uh, we salute him. I salute Alex Vasco. Always on tour with us too. Give the camera a shake, Alex, so America can see you. Well, right. Bill, switch the camera. Oh, never mind, <laughs> Bill. Bill, well, well, it's funny because I came around this corner because I wanted to tell Bill something, but he was sleeping. He had, he was just straight because Ben's got the heater on in there. Oh yeah. And Uncle Bill is straight sleeping. All right. Well, if they go back to Alex Vasco Cam, give us a sh shake on the camera there, Alex, so that way you can say hi to everybody watching, all thirty thousand people. Thank you so much, everybody. It's so great and wonderful that you stick around with us on your Sunday night. Dude, on watching Friday Demo's night. Derby. Friday night, I seen we were well over fifty thousand views on really? Friday night. We had twenty four thousand, I think it was on one. It was either Facebook or YouTube. Twenty four thousand in the morning, we were over fifty thousand on Friday night. Dang. Yeah, that's we why in, where you, That's why I invited you, bro. Uh, hey, no, I know. We're not going right. to see your numbers, no, but hey, we're no, going to. We're going to. I'll take all numbers. No, oh, man, that's no. how impressive that is. Like that's, that, those are good numbers in live stream. Them numbers, heck yeah, that's for a live Those are good. Even are they good? In live stream. <laughs> Well, we get there. Well, it's because we've we've grown where we're on so many platforms now. And we're on Twitch and, and TikTok, Facebook. I think it's working. You guys have really grown it with the social media. Um, I'm a little too hillbilly to grow that side. No, you're not. You're excellent at Facebook and sharing to all the groups, Josh Decker. Thank you. I'm your one and only like in every single group. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so I'm watching you. I know you're working and not at the bar. Thank you. Or you're working from the bar. <laughs> so everybody knows we got one more class after this. The second most one in fine art is going to be the last one. Oh, the yeah. Night. And then we move into Rizzy. Rizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. We are, we are so thankful that this is flowing just perfectly. That's what we do out here, man. It's going just perfect. Back in a Hammer's car, tucked in real nice there. Right. Thinking him a lullaby here. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Bang. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, this Bubble Lincoln right about, here, this I, red and white I was one. I say, who's looking like a Ghostbuster Seven, car right now? Yeah, 74, that. 14, I think, actually. 14, Wild Bill, Bill Orndorff. Orndorf. Yeah, Wild Bill Orndorff, man. Wild Bill. That's the red and white car right here. Uh, Back end is completely legend. straight. A legend from his area. Derby Queen 89. I spray painted that a few times this weekend. Salute, shout out. We've had some great guests this weekend. 
Yeah, for the last have. track shot live of the season. I think we did very well. I hope, I hope fans and TJ and everybody's happy and proud, just like this heat. The instigator, Martin, coming in hot. Good shot on Hammer. Uh-huh. Yeah, you think we can send Frizzy out in a diplomat in this class? No, <laughs> no, no diplomat. No, we'd have to send him in a Ford? Yes. I think I can. I think I can handle. I'm ready. I, 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 I like. I like the drama. You know what I mean? You're you're sponsored by Ford. Yes, I am. We need cop cars. Ask I told him. Oh my car. gosh, I want cars. that. Yeah. Tell Richard Baz that you need a cop car. I need to tell Baz. I need a. I need a. Yeah. yeah. Let's make sure we. You cut. want an old cop car? I need this audio right here. Bazzy, number one dealer in Pennsylvania. 1998 to 2011 Crown Vic, I Mercury Marquis, or Lincoln Town Car. All right, you Nancy, want. you heard it directly, man. I need that. We cut this clip just for you. Let's I need go. that. Let's go, Bazzy. Yeehaw. I want when I hit when I hit the horn, I wanted to play the cop song. <laughs> bam, boy, bam, boy. What you going to do? They have a mini class. You can run your Mustang. That's oh. true. <laughs> That's true. Wow, big hit from the instigator. Oh, wow. Look at, look at the smoke come out of that one. Jeez. Yeah, Jim Bob Gress. That's he, in a 20 car. He's a coming in baby hot. in the manger. Still coming in hot. Damn. Jim Bob, send it. Running that square body Vic. That's our guy, Jim Bob. He's disrespectful. He must owe him money. <laughs> the way he hit him, he owe him money. Right? Wow. Uh-huh. Or as the boys say, he did he take my mom out to Roadhouse? That car's got a little damage to him. Yeah, yep. I mean, a little love. Yep. Uh huh. A little love on him. All business. Ah. Oh, the instigator, Martin, coming in hot, really oh. good. Put a good stick. Oh, oh, oh! Get off the court! Ah. Oh, he did. Wow, he wasn't ready. He yeah, the, dude, his face hit the windshield. I think he ate the steering wheel, I man. I think his face hit the windshield. We're, like, looking at him. Hold on. He says he's okay, he says but. He's okay. I think he, that's he, his natural instinct kicking okay. in. He was chewing on the steering wheel there for a minute. He might leave this thing looking like a hockey player. <laughs> he, yeah. <laughs> so, you gotta, it happens. You got to keep your head on the swivel. I've spit out my teeth. It happens. But I, there go, there go, butter. Leave him alone, butter. Him. Leave him alone, butter. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh. Yeah. No. Hammer. Hammer. The young floor. Oh, man. <laughs> Hammer in here. Well, yeah, he totally hammered it. The disrespect. Wow. He shelled. Wow. Butter. Now he's trying to get it refired up. He yeah, really he's said that's he not going nowhere. Him right there. That's not going nowhere. Oh wow! That was that, that. I need that on the highlight. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see that on the replay. He hit him so. <laughs> in the sequel, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. He will not be in the sequel. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's awesome. I think Harold broke his steering though on that big hit. Good. But he drove there. it like New York. Definitely. Yeah, That's, you see, you follow someone in, much like Danny Ogden did. When will you want to send it like a pro, you send it like Danny Ogden. There it is. <laughs> oh, did we got fire back there? It's actually, it's actually it's a, a fire. It's a fire. Right. They got a, they're, they're staying warm off the track. There it is. They're cooking hot dogs over right. there. But if you're talking about the car with the actual flames coming out of the hood, yeah. that happens when the car stalls. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, Josh Decker, but that's when – fuel is kind of being burned off in ah. there. So what you want to do when that happens, if I'm correct, is you try and start the car with your foot on the fuel and it'll suck that fire hopefully down back into the car. Yes. If not, your e your evening is over. I like that. In dramatic fashion. I like that. You know, <laughs> you know what we need to do? Well I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm sit down with Sour and talk. I, I would love to do maybe like a 10 little quick two minute Instagram like series of the, the science of Derby life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as Professor Derby, I wouldn't count uh, myself as yes. the guy of all knowledge, 
but I do know how to find knowledge, so I'll call Decker and Ben and anybody else who I feel could answer the question. Yeah. Robbie from Simple Solutions. I think that'd be amazing. Uh-huh. Our guy, uh, Casey Smith. I think uh, our buddy here in the 2R, Mad Mike's frame rail, is kind of starting to show underneath the door there. It is. It's starting to give us a little underboot. Yeah, yeah right. A little good. underboot right yeah. there. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he really is an instigator, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody didn't, somebody didn't love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him a funny. hug after this. I'm going to give him a straight That's up funny. with <laughs> eye contact. You know what I mean? I uh, love it. You're fine. I love it. You're, we all appreciate you're, you. I love it, man. <laughs> you know, this is what it's all about. Enjoy. I, want, I want the listeners, all 50,000 of them in here right now, to feel this. Definitely. Definitely the love. Yeah, I like that instigator. Versus Eliminator, nose the nose, both trying to get refired. Eliminator just catching a little bit of gear. Come on! Oh! oh. oh. Orador oh. coming in and eating. Them. Oh, there we go! Refired Martin. He made back. a competition hit. Oh, Butter just slid right back into our view. Butter. Come on, Butter. Field has kind of moved away from us. Oh, oh, Butter hit the Vin Diesel drift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, about, it's about family, Butter. It's about La, family. La Familia. La Familia. I like that. <laughs> I took Michael Tix and his son to uh, all the spots in Fast and Furious in L.A. It was pretty cool. That's cool. We went on a family trip. And, uh, you know, we went and got a soda at Toretto's, you know, all that stuff. We went to the house because it's, like, right on the same street. How is it that you know every national landmark in the entire country? I don't understand. Every city we go to, you're like, you know, you have ten <laughs> things to do that are. Uh, it's because I'm frugal, aka broke. <laughs> so I go and see the cool stuff that I can afford to do, which is the free stuff. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I make. That's what we do. Uh, if you really care what we do, when Rowdy was real young, we used to go to the richest part of every city. And we go to the playground and imagine what it was like to be rich in that part of the city my <laughs> wife and I would do. And just imagine in Seattle, oh, look at these $3 million houses. Rowdy, go beat up them kids. <laughs> Let's peace out. <laughs> Sour, I love that. <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That we we have we just we do the same stuff as a family on our vacations. The other thing we do is we always go to the Goodwill in that same richest neighborhood and uh, buy their junk their junk clothes. Louis Vuitton and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming in at Oh, it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Last year they almost jumped a car right into our lap. Oh, did they? I don't. I, I don't know, I'll put it past them. Anymore. I call that a Santa Claus. That's what I call that. I call that a Derby Santa Claus. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what Get a Bob gift. Bob Grease out there. Right, what a <laughs> gift. Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> oh, oh, I saw some sparks come out that one. Oh, yeah. Where's, where's he at? Where's my buddy? He's right here There's in your butter. face. There's your butter. Face. They're toast, Butter! <laughs> Uh-oh. Butter got some spark. There. I think his motor's shifting. Oh, no. I think uh, I saw his oh, no. headers kind of kicked to butter the right. Butter, get it together. On the last one. Oh, no, already. Butter, get it together. He already I, he I, broke I, off. No, I can hear the music. I can hear the Rocky music playing. Oh, <laughs> uh, you there, had a good run. Here come the comeback. You had a good run. He's out there thumbs up on the other team members. Good job. Oh, 20. Matt. 66. Oh. That's uh, 66. Smith. Sam Smith. Good job, Sam and Smith. And he is not a singer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll he say is not a singer. Not your counterpart. Not my, not my guy, Sam. Maybe. You ever perform with him? No, not yet, but we're talking about it for Saturday Night Live. Shut great. up. And but you're I, here on stage with us? That's I'm, what I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Can I be there? Right? I will just go outside New York and night? park my derby car out front of 30 Rock. Oh, my God. If you go there, okay. we will show I up with a derby, derby car. car. Remember, I will remember, build a derby car. Everybody what? here to Jason City here, as soon as I announce SNL, I want that derby car outside 30 Rock. I am going to light Listen, it up and catch it on fire. I live three hours from the city. Oh, word? Yes. Oh, you there then. That ain't nothing but some gas I'm money. your boy. Let's go. 
that we're going to catch a car on fire out front of 30 Rock your that, night on Saturday Night that Live. That would be so Trust epic. Trust me. Let's we're going to ruin it for you. If they don't think I'm not going to wear my hood, I'm going to ruin it for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's Winston, ladies and gentlemen. That's our, that's that's we only know one way. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Derby. <laughs> we will ruin all your equipment. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Much like these guys out here. J12 out there. Oh, that red and white uh, Lincoln rear end finally folded and packed in perfectly. I think J12 is Chilson, I think. La Tourette still out there. Sam Smith, the one hammering on it right now. Mm -hmm. Some Hit of the it, heaviest Sam. hitters from PA right there. Who, who's the J12? I'm not sure. I don't have J12 on here. I believe it's Chilson. Cool. What, what's happening when the motor starts sparkling, crackling? Is that something that's happening? Like uh, air, uh, air getting in between well, the header and uh, Most of the time, that's what it is. Your stack is becoming loose, and air is getting sucked up between your stack and your motor, and that's what you're seeing. Especially if you see it on a one side. Um, yeah, it's usually sucking air. Could be carburetor. Jockey in for position here. Rampage. Did you hear that Saturday Night Live? Saturday Night Live, I heard it. I, it perked my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm the closest derby driver you know to New York City. Okay. On the second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. I'm, I'm with Within five minutes of Decker. Yes. <laughs> right. I've been driving so many times to your house, Decker. I'm like, why do you live so far I know, away? I know. I owe you a lot. <laughs> drives. But really, um, I'm being East car. Like, we can make things happen. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to hold you to it because Jason knows do. me. We don't, we don't do maybes. With we me. like to hype. Yeah, we don't do maybes. You need a we, certain kind of car? I'm your guy. I'll we, find we, it. We bring hype. We got to do that. We bring hype. We bring energy. We bring big dudes and beards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna eat so much New York pizza slices. Oh, I love this <laughs> in the city. Yeah, it's great pizza down there. The real Italians. I'm not gonna lie, but anywhere in the Midwest, your pizza is not pizza. I went to Kansas. We went to Kansas. I asked Hunter. We're looking through Google. I'm like looking at the pictures. There's no good pizza. I'm like, what's the best pizza place oh, in Kansas? Oh, bit it. Oh man, Ooh, big cool. boy down. Yeah, that <laughs> big was, boy down. That was sexy though. I like me a wet big boy. <laughs> big boy down. Yeah. He went tumbling. He's gonna, he's gonna be that, cold that, the rest yeah, of the day. That, that little part <laughs> there is eating up so many people today. Look, you All know right, you, we're you, back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're okay. in here. Yeah. You know you fail hard when you get up and you look at the ground like it did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what was that? What was that? That was that was gravity, my guy. I'm Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're down to six, possibly seven. <clears throat> I'm enjoying looking at our tent from a weekend of just mud being flinged on it. I have to clean this tonight. See, look, jamming in my look, car. Real quick, y'all talking about pizza. My, yeah. my girl Nicole, aka Cold World, aka Confessories Rex. She uh she real Sicilian here. She was talking about good pizza. She liked that pizza. She was talking about the, the square slices on the corner. She asked me what we know about real pizza. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I, so you know, would you say that New York pizza is some better? of the best? Yes, New, I think New York. I've, and I've been all over the country. I am biased. I'm mm. from New York, but mm. New York is the best pizza. Or Jersey. Ooh. Or Jersey. Ooh. Um. All right, all right, Nicole. I'm expecting a text from you. Tell me what you think. I'm I, expecting a text. Nicole, I went to Kansas and they told me the best pizza was Pizza Hut. I was oh, very upset. Oh, I was if very upset. If you didn't start running and smack dude, them in the face dude, with a dude, running start. Dude, I asked four times. <laughs> give me another name, anything. But but my other choices were Domino's. It was like, ah, oh, wow. Oh. I ate You're enough like, cardboard in my life. I'll pass <laughs> on I it. ate enough cardboard in my life. <laughs> All right, Chinese buffet maybe. I love uh. Chinese buffet. I love <laughs> Chinese buffet. Sour, can you see this one right here on our right? That's, is that 107? 107. 107. Oh, it's Nelson. Lorari. Salute, Fabry built. He looks real good right now. Nelson looks good.
J12 is Josh Orndorf. Oh, Josh Orndorf. Oh, duh, duh, of course it is. Josh Orndorf. Yeah, I don't have his. They have his number or something else. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's from Justin Smith from Elkton, Virginia. He's there by beside my uncle Nick in Elkton. Since I don't have to buy these cars anymore, everybody, that was my honey no, hole. No, don't, don't. You, you still <laughs> stop. I was just gonna say, no, no. X that, Bill. Five second delay. It. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it away. No, you're not. My 20 year. You said someday I should get down there. Please, I might get down there. I want you to live there. Yeah. I think it'd be really good for don't you. Don't tell anyone. I think Virginia Derby would be in your blood, my man. Yes, I agree with that. That's where New Yorkers go to retire. <laughs> you know, the famous uh, world doesn't know that you're like a scrapper family. You know, it's like in your, you don't look much fit scrapper. I didn't want to turn wrenches, so they put me in the auto body. Understood. So they gave me a paint can. I wasn't as patient. I was, I would get frustrated quicker. Painting a car is tough. They put me on silver. Ugh. They're like, you're going to learn on the hardest thing. You're going to learn to surf without fins. Ugh. That's tough. Yeah, and I had to match. You were, like, hand sanding and stuff? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, every truck was front-end damage, full total collision, you know. Ugh. So it's just fender door hood. And you're cap, not even working cap. on good stuff, right? You're working on big trucks? It, yeah, it was just yeah. super duty over and over again. But I didn't do it for very long. I did it long enough to know I would want to do something else, And which is I just had to change the can. Right. <laughs> right. Nicky Bobby in the 36X. You know what I want? Has anyone ever derby with an old or like a used race car, like a NASCAR car? No. Um, no, because a lot of them, they pull all the strength out of them for weight. Oh. So they're like really paper thin as far as structure. That makes sense. Um, we have seen people paint them like them, so you you would it would look dang close. That, I, I know people, there's a few people that managed to get some NASCAR motors. Yes. Because, see, I would love to have Ricky Bobby's car out here. Like, I, I want that remade. Like, I want I the Wonder the think Wonder he Bread was car. here Friday. Dude, Wasn't Ricky phone. Bobby here on Friday? Yes. Uh, we have a Facebook. There was a guy that made one. Okay. He's going to the phone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's going. He, I got he wants to prove something to you, Frizzy. But it's true. And he, the guy, who was he? Because he did so good. Oh, I my God. It was he good. He did the hand thing and everything. Like, I don't know what to put my hands oh, on. I don't know what to do with my hands. It's all yeah, fun. yeah. No, he had the outfit. Yeah, look at that. Oh. This is yesterday, I think they forgot this is it. This yesterday? They, they, yeah, right here. Where was he at, here? Here. Yeah, right outside. He does the hand thing and everything. Oh, he does it. He, but <laughs> 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 I need his phone number. Hell, yeah. And his address so I can steal that whole outfit. That is amazing. <laughs> it was funnier than heck. <laughs> That's Derby right there, That's right? Someone just showed up like that. I wanted to do it, man. Dad, he did it first. That's awesome. That's sweet. <laughs> He's talking into the fire. I'm on fire. Is he doing the fire? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they had me on that derby track, butt naked, running around. <laughs> Straight derby cars and, 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 and dick out. That's what's happening. Uh -huh. Look at him. He's hilarious. That's great. <laughs> right? We like it when people help us write the story. We got to. And man. that guy just showed up. No one asked him to do it. He oh, just no, showed, he just showed up? Swear to God. And, and, and we saw it and jumped and filmed it. So it just worked out really funny, you know? Dang. Yeah. Too funny. Too that's, funny. That's amazing. <clears throat> if anyone knows a young man that shot that, send his name to Frizzy because yeah, he's please. famous now. I need that. I need that. Yeah. I'm gonna repost that. Yeah, you got he to. He about it. to get some proof. You got to. Yeah, that's awesome. I might, I might have, I might have a friend that works for Will Ferrell. I might have to send that to him. That's awesome. That would be awesome. We might have to do that. <laughs> oh, they gonna give him a sandwich? Uh, Lachi hey, crunch. Oh my good. Oh, that rampage. Yeah. Yep. A lot to ride. I think we're down to our final four. Yeah, we are. We're working them down. Then most wanted fine art is our last one. Ryan. Lots of rat. to rat. That's a fun name to say. Yes. Ryan is from my area, and he's extremely good. He wins all the county fairs in northern Pennsylvania. Is that Troy? Um, no, he doesn't win Troy more over a little bit more east. GDS. He hasn't beat me in a minivan yet. That's true. Hasn't beat That's you in a true. minivan in no, Troy uh, yet. He would probably whoop us, though.
Yeah, we had uh, Colin Ray here yesterday. So we keep you guys keep dancing around each other. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was really happy to see you guys come back and provide some consistency of the uh, rock stars we bring out here right. to uh, right. do some demolition that derby. Hang out with much, us. That shows how much, as the kids say, Riz, y'all got. You know what I mean? Like, y'all got some pull. Me and Jay, I want people to know, like, me and Jason ain't just out here doing this derby thing on derbies. Like, we got, like, five group chats going. Like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, I had rehearsal. I came from, I did an amazing thing with Children's Hospital. Um, and I was there all day, and then I had rehearsal with the symphony. And my schedule was booked out, and no matter what, I made sure I made it down to the art show, you know, to show my boys some love and to celebrate him. If you go to my Instagram right now, you'll see a post um, of the art that uh, that he made of me from the hood of the car. Let me, like, me and Jason are friends in real life. Yes, it's, yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, ain't, yes. this ain't just when the key ignition turns. <laughs> right. Um. Let me ask you, could you add me to one of those group chats you're in just so I can say I was in one? Oh, you you? Got, I won't say yeah, nothing. Yeah, you got, not a question, you got an iPhone, right? Yeah. Okay, we can get you in there. We yeah, you I won't there. say nothing. I just want to tell no, people. You gotta, you gotta, no, I'm with You got to come with the gifts and the memes. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? Our meme all right, game is all right. crazy. Right? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you know? Our I'm meme in. game is crazy. Out here. <laughs> right, right? Be part of the fun, Josh Decker. I love it. Now, Josh has always been asking me to add him to the group chat. Yes. Chats. Well, I don't have any friends, so it's like i got to beg to be part of things. You think you had a group chat for six months without me? <laughs> that hurt. I didn't know. <laughs> it hurt when the boss wasn't involved in it. <laughs> well, we didn't know how it was going to play out. That's true. We uh, had no idea how it was going to play out. Oh, great question. Yeah. Uh, TJ wants us to figure out who the Reaper, who's the heavy out of this one, who was the heaviest hitter at the whole thing. Dog. Oh, shout out, to, shout out to the legend TJ did, man, in the building right now. He, he's here. That boy look good in purple. I mean, okay. he's he's shouting you out, TJ. That boy look. Who, who's the butter. Reaper? It is. It yeah. Got, who was the? It, it gotta be um. It, it the gotta, hammer. The it hammer. gotta be hammer, yo. I hate to make it stereotypical because I feel like with a name like that, he gonna win. He always wins that though. That's does what he? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you know butter. who I want to say what about butter. You know who I want to say. I want to say butter. Good. It gotta be butter, man. <laughs> that red and white Lincoln was. Stomping. I can't believe it's not butter. If he don't win, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> I like butter too. <laughs> I like butter too. Locked up front tire on Josh Nelson. Decker told me I was supposed to be impartial as a track shot live representative. Don't ever listen to anything I say. Because I used to just pick a winner, and they would, I'm like, and he's out. And he would win. <laughs> Remember those old days? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and he stalled for a loss. Fatty was now, joking that he did a he did a shout out today, and all of a sudden his phone started blowing up with shout outs. And I'm like, oh yeah, we know how that goes. I go, yeah. If you do one, then the phone just starts a dinging and chiming. Yeah, yeah, you got me. You got me. I don't know. I'm going between Hammer Butter and the Red and White Lincoln. The Red and White Lincoln. That the Bubble Lincoln. Uh, G uh, Billy Orndorff. Yeah. I don't know. Sam Smith was stroking Sam there Smith for a minute there. Sam Smith was stroking people. Yeah. I hope he doesn't come back and ask us because he's looking at me and there's too many. I'm gonna. I know. I was like, I hope he doesn't come back. He looked right at me when I I'm said. I'm just gonna play like I do. Okay. What's that? We don't have a good answer. I mean, we got a list of five or six. I mean, we got Mad Mike DeFrischi, of course. Orendorf. We liked Orendorf. Instigator, we were loving for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, he hurt he some earned, people. Definitely earned a name. I, I like Instigator. I could be talked into anything by anybody. I'd have to see the tape at this point. Someone have to make make the tape for me. I want to I want to shout out my Dizzy, my girl, my love. She watching right now. She's in here going in. Oh, you you shared the link? Yeah, yeah, I shared the link, man. To Thanks, put it bro. out, I had to put it all out there, man. Thanks, bro. My Dizzy out here watching. Shout out. We got it going on. Word up. Dual, Everybody on Instagram, roll. Frizzy, F-R-Z-Y. Yeah, man, follow me out here. We in here. Tell man on his post. Boost that algorithm. Show what Demolition Derby is about. 
Josh Decker does that for me. He boosts the algorithm. So is the we gotta Postman do it. and we Car gotta blast Club. It we out, do it as man. a group. That's what I was doing. I'm on my phone while right. I'm doing this blasting it out. We appreciate everybody who likes and shares. Josh Decker has the most likes and shares of anybody in Demolition Derby. Thank you. Collectively, hands down, no one gets as many as Josh Decker. You always say that, but I actually don't agree. But I love that you say that. Well, it's because the algorithm only shows you to me. Okay. <laughs> I like that. We show it to each other. I right. love that. I, I love that. My phone is just like, Decker, Decker. <laughs> Mine sour, sour, sour. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, just, but I, I, I'd like to hit the care button. So yes. I, just care. I like <laughs> the care. care. I like you the care. You care, care, right? The care. care. I, I care. I care that you shared that, bro. The like is overused. We need to go to the care. I like I the care, too. And a lot, I use the love a lot, you know, but I'm yeah. Italian. I'm Italian. Uh, I use the love in the uh, group chat. <laughs> Derek Sarah's watching. Derek, I saw that clamshell you pulled out of your back there, and what do I got at my house? I'll trade you everything I got for that car. All my cars for that one. There it is. I, I'll give you my Hot Wheels car because they can't get my gold Mustang. You got a gold Mustang? Yeah, shout out to Ford. They gave it to me for winning the Emmy. What? I'm telling Wait, you. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> step back. Step back, my friend. You were given a car. Yeah, I was giving. I'll show you. I was giving a gold Mustang. That's why I was saying we could wreck a Mustang. I know. It's, I know this guy's backstory. Yeah, he knows. Wow, everything, man. For wow. Trying not, for I, try, I try to be as like. Yeah, he's know. on it, man. Jason's on it. Wow. I, for, yeah, I, I try to be as humble with what we're doing at my man. Are we I trying to? Say, say, <laughs> he's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's an Emmy. Like, this guy's for cars real. coming Emmy, to him. And he's like, yes, an Emmy, an Emmy. Yeah, I got a Guinness record. Guinness World Record. How many? How many hip hop rappers have Emmys in this world? Three. That's it. Me, me, Common, and uh, and Childish Gambino. That's it. Ice T don't have one. Nope. How L, 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 all cool, them years one. on? Because see, special Law and Order special victims has them, but not as an individual. Now that's some BS. That's a. He, he needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He, he does. Needs one. Him and Coco. Yeah. Oh, Coco need to be in everything. Right. <laughs> but no, I, that's the only thing I say, man. If we're gonna, if there's someone being left out of the Emmy Hall of Fame, we got it. Yeah, we got to fix that. Ice T. Get out. Yeah, that ain't nice. no hoopty. No, that's a nice car. Yes. <laughs> Dude, good Dude, for you. The Is good. that a five-speed by chance? Yep. Can I drive that? Absolutely. Can. Yeah. Can yeah. I just drive that? That looks. I'd like to, I'd like to cruise no, I, had to get, I had to get used to a five-speed. I never drove this. Oh, yeah. I was Red like, why, why is there five? He was like, you'll find out. They, was like, they also gave it to me. They were like, have fun with your Sunday car. I was like, what's a Sunday car? He was like, you'll find out. And then, of course, I get it, so I'm driving it everywhere. And then – uh. I had to put gas in it, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm just going to put, like, 20 in it real quick. You know what I mean? Just throw that in there. That seemed like, boop. Like, it didn't even move. Yeah, 20 actually went backwards. No, nah, man, but that type of car with the, all that Hemi in there, I was, he was like, yeah, it's going to cost you at least a hundred buck fifty to fill it up. I was like, yeah, I'm only going to drive it on Sunday. That's <laughs> it. I'm going to Sour's house and back. That's it. <laughs> no way, dude. That 5.0 is sweet. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's a good motor. And, then, I, I, and I, then Porsche gave me the, uh, the Porsche 911 for the uh, – for the um, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Shoot, yeah. Yep, I saw I'm, that. One of my new sponsors is IA a suit uh, with Steve Madden in, in New York. When we did the shoot for uh, for Laramore's for the billboard, they gave me the 911, which was crazy. He was like, You want to drive that around? I'm like, Nah, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drive it. Well, you got insurance. Nah, I'm good still. I'm cool. Dude, I'm, the, the nicest thing anyone ever gave me is a sponsor is a bumper. <laughs> so I'm a little behind you right now. Uh, you're giving me goals, though. But we won't hang out. You're giving That's, me goals, we're dude. We're going to be hanging out. That's why we're going to have to hit you with that. I, on there. a real note, though, you're going international. Yeah. You were you had an Emmy. Yeah. You were given vehicles because you how great of you did. You yeah, know, man. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. And you're about to have a symphony played behind you. Yeah, it is. And, Dude, uh, these are some yeah. big like just as Thank as a man. Yeah. These are some really big deals. I appreciate it's, it. Most man. people would love to hit one. I that's what I was thinking of one. in my life, man. Just being very blessed, and you know, I grew up on East Liberty Boulevard in, in Pittsburgh. Uh, nice. And uh, they're naming it Frizzy Boulevard now. Dude. Which is crazy. Dog. Come on. Yeah, man. I got a day named that. I got my own holiday in Pittsburgh, uh, which yep. is where we announced the Derby Life on January 11th. It's Frizzy yep. Day. Threw the first pitch out. This Not, is awesome. I'm yeah, new, he threw I'm the, the first new, pitch at the At the Pirates, Pirates game. Dude. New Eaton Park cookie. The smiley face cookie is my favorite. Tell them the, tell them the, uh, the little facts specifically about the Eaton Park cookie. The, the fan can handle this. Which one? You're eating park cookie. You're oh yeah, the, uh, first. Yeah, first, first. Uh, not only black, but like rapper to have a eating park cookie. And it was cool about it too. Is it's like it's the you know they call me the king of the city, so it has a crown on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. I have to show you a picture. It's, it, it was amazing, and we donated 100 percent of the funds for all the cookies to Children's Hospital as well. That's one thing I do whenever I do something for Frizzy Day. When I broke the record, um, you know everything we're doing with the Derby goes to charity. 
you know, it's just the responsibility of that. With great power comes great responsibility. Damn yeah, right. And you want to do good things with good. With, you have to do good things after you get to a certain point. Well, that's right? how you. That's how you create a legacy. I think. Right. Damn, yes, like, dude. That's how you create a. Yes. Legacy, you know, and, <laughs> and real power is making others powerful. If I'm, if I'm the only one out of my friends that are rich, I'm not rich. For you know Z. I mean? Well, this is why you're getting it. Okay, good. I just love all the things that you're saying. Well <laughs> right. done, dude. This is why you're getting it because you you you, you understand it's bigger. Thank you. Good. Man. Well said. Appreciate well said. It. Yeah, just trying to just trying to make a difference, man. And a lot of people don't put these things together in their whole lives. I'm finding that out. You know what I mean? I'm finding that out, and I think that's one of the things that's like that really is humbling. Like me, make me and Jason, meeting you, meeting everybody out here. Like I'm addicted to information and hard work. Right. I love being a student. You know, yeah, I love yeah. I love the feeling of perfecting something. But in order to get that feeling, I have to be a novice. I have to accept being a novice. And that is the most humbling feeling you can be. And I think the thing that brings us closest to God, the thing that makes us created in God's image is that we are creators. So we create these cars. We create these moments. We create these videos. You know, we're but we're also, but, you know, more than anything, we're creating connection. And that's what I'm here for. And I'm seeing a lot of people on tracks. So I follow me on Instagram right now. Thank so us. If you follow me on there, please leave a comment so shit, I can dude. shout you out on hell. here. Yeah, yeah, I'm on your Instagram right now, oh, liking yeah. <laughs> it as we speak. Yeah, man, because I'm your, I'm your boy. Yeah, man, I got you. Get them numbers. Y'all see it right now, man. My last post was out here shouting out the goat, the god, um, you know, young sour. That's why I say in the song, I, I say, uh, I went from staying in my lane to demolition derbies. Love it. You know, and uh, you know, what up, sour? So it's like it, it's it's really letting people understand that like there's depths to this thing. I want when somebody asks me what I want, they're like as an artist, like what do you want? I'm like I want everything. <laughs> Love it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, yeah. you, thank you, man. You gave me one of the biggest things in hip hop a person can get is, like I mentioned, man. Yeah, it's gonna. It really I, I, get it, big, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's gonna deal. be on every. You're like, almost as like much as Trump. Brand right? new yeah. grills. Yo, we had to like, make him a vow, man. We like, had to make like, Jason. It's a like as if Johnny Dang just gave me some grills. He's like, I, I made it to the cannon. That's Pretty awesome. Sweet, man. What's going to be what's going to be fun is that that song is, is we're performing that song with the dirt with the symphony. It's, it's one of, I can't tell you when it is, but it's one of the most epic songs for the derby. I mean, for the derby, for the symphony. Uh-huh. And uh nice Freudian slip. When love, I'm, love right. It. <laughs> love it, bro. <laughs> when I uh when I um <laughs> but one of the things that's going to be really fun is uh, I'm shooting a video, we're shooting a video for that song in New York. And when I um when, what I can't wait to do is go on tour with this with these albums and have that moment where I come to that line and I stop and I let you know Fifty to eighty thousand people say "What up, Sour?" in the song because that's part of the thing. Yes, that's I want that to be his ringtone. That's what I, that's the goal. His ringtone. I know. <laughs> I know. We won't put that on. I'm iTunes. making my ringtone. No, I already, I already <laughs> knew it was going to be my ringtone. Yeah. I already knew that it's going to be the front. If you don't mind, it's going to be. I'm going to change the beginning of Cash on the Hood. <laughs> that's yeah. gotta be. It the, gotta the, be, man. The, the Cash on the Hood theme song. It gotta. Gonna, be. Now, did I hear you say that part. you call yourself? They they call you the King of Pittsburgh. The king of Pittsburgh. Well, we call him the Mayor of Pittsburgh. Word. <laughs> yeah. That's him, why, that's he's why the we mayor. This shit, it makes perfect sense. In our, in my opinion, you can't get much done if Sour don't know about it in Pittsburgh. Listen, you Sour, know. Sour like yo low key to Don. Like you, come yeah, to him. exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, you like yo Sour. I heard somebody <laughs> moving tires. He's like, sit down, let me talk to you. Like, no. And Sour keep the same tone. That's what make him scary. Is he always got the same tone? That's how Al Pacino was, dude. You know what I mean. I'm with, I, a lot of people don't know, but Sour makes moves in Demolition Derby behind the scenes, right? Sour, him and I know it. Yo, Sour listen, makes moves. I'm saying I, that. I, oh. I, I do my best. I try not to do the, as yeah. much bragging. I'm trying to get Sour to make. I'm saying this live on TV so that if somebody do this before us, you know they stole it from us. Go, go. I'm trying to get Sour to draw um, like a like a, like a a frizzy Sour Patch kid, right? I got so you. So I can, like, start the branding of that on a T-shirt. I got and it's you. like, you know what I mean? First they're sour, then they sweet. You yes, know what I mean? Yes. And it's like, I, I want a whole Sour Patch car, but it's like a, a, his face or my face as a, as a Sour that. Patch kid. I, oh, I, we're, we're a whole gang. We're, we'll do it. We're a whole gang, gang, man. We'll gang up. And I'm get, and I'm sour, sour Patch gang. And I'm going to get Sour Patch to sponsor. Watch. Watch watch, watch these moves we're going to be making next year. I love this. I love sour. this. Sour, let's, listen. Eminem Mars, look out. We're coming. Tell, for, it's coming, man. <laughs> yeah, man. This is what I like. This is the kind of talk. I like I like to talk about the moves we're about to make yeah. where we can transition to keep doing what we're doing but elevate what we're doing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Bringing more talent, more product, more production. Like, you know, I mean, I, that's what I want to see. And I appreciate you guys. And I knew when you got up here, I knew I was like, Josh Decker, you got to get up here and hang out with me. I'm, we're frizzy. I'm glad. I need a Decker shirt, man. Dude, done. 
Listen, <laughs> I need a Decker shirt that's in the same logo as a, as a Home Depot Decker. Done, dude. Done. Done. Boy, I like here, that. My boy out here laying wood. You know what I'm saying? Like my this. boy I out like here. This. I mean, I need I everything, like man. This, we out, dude. man. It's just, it's just fun, man. It's just yes. a great move. I call them, I call these talks smooth criminal talks. You know, in the in the video everywhere Michael Jackson walked, it, it lit up on the under. Mm-hmm. That's what we do here. Everything, everywhere we step, it lights up. So we don't have to tell people where we're going. Do it. You know. We need you to hang out with us more. Right. Yeah, we out here, man. <laughs> you're, Mark, you're pitching way better than I am. Hey, right hey, you're look, doing real good work right look, here. We're trying, to do, we're trying to pitch a perfect game. That's yeah, what we you, are, you are. You, know? you are. But this is, I mean, this is fun. This is great. You see it raining out here. It's epic. Right, yeah. It is. This is Demotion Derby. Is this is end of the season Demotion Derby. Yeah, and what we're going to do, if you don't mind, what we're going to do is we're going to run a couple commercials. Yeah. Um, right. Let us chill out a little bit. We're going to run a couple commercials, America, a couple more left. we got one more heat to go. Sour's Most Wanted Fine Art. And then frizzies up. So I'm going to get all my commercials out now so you guys will be live the rest of the night. Fill up your drink. Sit back in the recliner. We still got more to go. Uh, Let's get it. Let's the last get it. heat of the season Woo! for Track Shot Live is coming up next. Here we go. Bill, hit us with some commercials. Let's pay some bills. Pay some bills, Bills. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's sleeping. Hey, Bill, we go. might have to wake him up. All right, we're going to do, we we do I think, our own ads. All right, okay, Indy CNC, we're, we're thank you so much. <laughs> Without you guys, we ain't nothing. That's right. Thank you, JA Sour Heating and Air Conditioning. I love you guys. You guys help me sponsor the Great Stone Bro Fair. Jeffy's Fab Farm, always doing great work, making parts. Kelly O's, again, sponsoring Great Stone Bro Fair. Thank you so much. Without you guys, I wasn't able to pull that off. Hold on. Bill's ready for a commercial. I'll keep reading this stuff. You Is, know me. Can Bill hear us? Can he hear us? Bill, can we go to a commercial? We just need a break. We worked poor Frizzy. We about to we about to take five. Thank you for tuning in to Track Shot Live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what and we're gonna then do. I'm just going to wrap the whole bit, Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to just yeah. freestyle this. Like any of it's hot. Uh, <laughs> it's like you might have to go call Bill. That's what we are doing, man. Nice. Oh, we got a thumbs up. Go. Oh, we got a thumbs up. Any of them? Give me any of them, Bill. We out of here. Bumper. That's his car. That is not. Is that a stock bumper? That's stock. It's aluminum. Is that stock for yeah. this year? What year car is this? No, that's not stock. I'll be reporting <laughs> this for sure. Yeah. It comes stock with this bar? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to go talk to the officials. I'm heading right there. I'll be back. Yeah. They're going to start respecting me. I'm going to get my respect. That's all I'm saying. I'm tired of this. Talk to me like they think they know who I am. You got a problem, bud? I didn't think so. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right. Well, we're just out here making sure safety is the number one key here, San Filippo 7. Some good cars here. They're like some heavy cars. There's nothing stock about these ones. I'll tell you that. Coming through! Coming through here! Coming through! Coming through! I'm on hot pursuit! I'm in hot pursuit! This is 
Excited to be here at Sam Filippo 7 Smash. Who am I standing here with? John Kluckner. I told you. I told you I'd be back. I told you I'd be back. Fatty T Justice is here. Where's the bad attitude at? I'd like to speak with the bad attitude. That's what I'm here for. Come on over here. We got Damage Inc bad attitude now listen ma'am i've drove around this property several several times and you're the only one here with a bad attitude what's the deal <sighs> honestly i don't know i've had it forever it just is it a woman thing maybe it's a redhead thing redhead woman yes okay so what class you're running bone stock v8 is this stock it is 100 percent. is that stock. a stock bumper yes sir is that a stock chain you said stock ma'am and I am 110% by the law. What about that piece of rebar you added there? Is that stock, ma'am? Protection. Safety. Yes. It's not negotiable, folks. That's it. And it does not take a day off. Well, yeah. I hope you give a little bad attitude out there and the best I of luck to you. Try. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. All right, folks, we're just trying to make attitudes great around here again. <laughs> we're going we're to start with her. This is where we're starting. A red-headed woman. If we can change her attitude, we could save the world. John Kluckner, I tell you what, how far did you come from, bud? About three hours away. There it is, and uh, you always drive kind of that Mad Dog style, don't you? you Got to junk stuff. Oh, uh, that's exactly it. It is so sweet. I always love watching you run and everything like that. Wait and it's a just... second, there he is. The... I got him. Help. I got him. I got him. I got him. Get 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 him. America, you're safe. I got him. I've been looking for years for this guy. Get in the car. Get in the car. I said, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Five years I've been chasing this boy and I finally got Hey! 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 Well, I gotta find my car. All right, this is Fatty T. Justice. I've been chasing Mike Ticks for six years. I caught him today. He might have got away this time, but I will catch him again. Where'd you go? We did the uh, derby. Ow, my head! You want to do a derby? Hey, Derby World. This is All For Him Racing Videos, where derby never ends. We have people come up and ask, what is All For Him Racing Videos? And the answer is a YouTube channel dedicated to growing the sport of demolition derby in a positive and fun way. Our passion is to show the next generation this sport and capture the memories for generations to come. We're just trying to show that you can be a Christian, do crazy and exciting things like Demolition Derby, and just spread the word. We have traveled all over the country filming events all while meeting many great people, hearing amazing stories, seeing the passion for this sport, and falling in love with the Derby community. We have grown to be the largest Demolition Derby channel on YouTube across the world, with millions of views within our large library of videos. We love what we do and can't wait for what the future has in store. We always want to be a place for positive, exciting, and action-packed derby videos. Thank you, Derby World, and enjoy the videos. What's going on, America? Your boy, Decker. I got something special for you. Where am I right now? Pittsburgh.
Pittsburgh in the city of Pittsburgh and I'm on a special location, Sours Art Opening. Now really cool, if you guys pan here, all the art cars, if you are friends with Sour, you get to have your cars painted. We call them art cars. So if you have a car that you wanna paint, you can be part of our most wanted car club, which I'm part of. Now, let's get rocking in here because I think this is really cool. I know what you're saying. Decker, what does this have to do with Demolition Derby, right? Nothing, nothing. This is something that's close to sour and we wanted to bring it to you guys and maybe just expand a little bit your brain a little bit. So let's go in here. Let's look at some art that's all sour did. It's some cool stuff in here. So Bill, let's follow us in here. We'll let sour rock with you guys. Now, just like you guys are thinking, I've never been to an art studio, right? I haven't either. Today's my first day. I'm kind of loving it. It's just how easy it is. All this stuff that you're going to see, sour made. So let us find this old guy over here. Check this cool thing he made out. Folks, right here, 64 Imperial Girl. So you know, you know I like this one myself. If I could afford this, I would buy it. 64 Imperial Girl, cool. Take a look at all these cool things he painted. All right, Sour, here's our boy. Okay, so Sour's busy, everybody, right now. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I caught him in the middle of it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna jam you up. Can you just go around real quick and show museum piece everything you have here? Because uh, we're excited to be here, right? Derby guys are coming. There's a bunch of people coming. So go ahead, tell everybody what we got. All right, thanks, Josh. Uh, so, hey, this one here was whenever we went to the Plaza Hotel in Vegas. Do you remember going to Vegas? Do you remember going to Vegas, Josh Decker? All right, so we got the Stern Dirt, we got the Plaza, we got some murals from the Plaza. So this one's sold, everything's going really well. This is what we're taking to Miami. This is our Art Basel piece. This is a 1964 uh, Chrysler Imperial that I got from Smith Metalworks. And then this is a 2009 Chrysler minivan that I got from Steven Sickles. So the Demolition Derby world really helps me out, so, along with my uncle, J&J &J Sauer. All these bumpers come from wrecked trucks in Texas. So uh, once I get the bumpers, I then take it to my good friend Andy Warhol's nephews, the Warhollas, and they own giant equipment and they run it over with their excavator at the scrapyard. You didn't know Andy Warhol's family was scrappers. He came from a scrap and so Sour family, Warhol family, Pittsburgh, we got it all together. We make the stuff that they scrap, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you something else. Check it out. Skin Dog. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of this. This is that car that I tagged in Seattle with the wagon on it, and uh, it just sold. How great is that? Uh huh. Then this is Kelly O. Sponsor of Demolition Derby. This was during the Iron City Nationals. This is an actual photograph. So she just got this painting too. So that's our man Shoke driving the car. That's our buddy Gerardo from Mexico. Got the car club here. Here's Breeze. There's Tommy. Yeah, and uh, Leech is over here in the corner. You guys, you feel good about this? You want to go to another room? Or you want to walk back here? Walk. Let's go in this room here. There's some more artwork there and giant sculptures. More of the car club. Yay. All right, so you're seeing a theme. It's called Peace After Destruction. So Demolition Derby, uh, I'm trying to make a metaphor for it. So these are peace doves, but as you know in Derby, you kind of find your peace when you're smashing your car. So the metaphor, hopefully resonates well with our Demolition Derby community and anybody else who's ever been. So a little of this, as an artist, I have to talk about war-torn countries and that we're at war and like man's inhumanity of man is not uh, something that we can live with. And as an artist, we kind of have to talk about those things. So this is my way of talking about that and me attempting to solve the problem, even though it I probably can't be solved with this one painting, but the idea on a micro level is that uh, maybe pe some peace after destruction and uh, perhaps we can move on from there. But I really like this stuff. The chrome is so you can see yourself in it. So while you're thinking about that, come on, let me show you a few other things. So over here, we've got some other metal and this is again, some wheat paste. So this is a nice barn. And uh, so this is an earth symbol. Uh, this is one of the first symbols that humans ever made. So I feel like 
farm is how you sustain life and I have the earth symbol with the sustaining of life so you're like what are all these little squares well my demolition derby nerd friends went to Kansas and they didn't go over there with a can of spray paint so they spray painted squares on their tires that way they would know that they're the squares out there on the track so this is my little friendly reminder to my square friends that they're everywhere isn't that fun that was in Kansas I think Decker won that. Did you win that derby? Did you even place? Ha! <laughs> Scene. All right, America. Now, you know, you know us. Not only are we friends, but we get to be friends with each other's family, right? Now, it's always the wives, the sisters, but today we got something special. We got sours. Mom, now we're, she doesn't know we're coming, so let's see. Now, Sour, I don't know if she's game planned or yet, but ma'am, hi, how are you? Josh from Track Shot. Hi, how are you? My name is Mary Sour. I am Jason's mother. What a privilege it is to be Jason's mother. Yes, oh, yes, exactly. Okay, so tell us a little bit, tell us some like secrets or some things that would make him embarrassed. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. No, okay, okay. I'm no, sorry. no, 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 I'm not going to do that because Jason is a fine young man. He is, actually. We love him. Actually, he's great. Do you do you get to watch him when he goes across the country? Do you see that he's like in Washington to California to Miami to New York? It's it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, I am. I'm very proud of Jason. He's yeah. done, he does fine. He does well. Yeah. He does, but he makes you work his apparel table, huh? Yes, he does, and I'm glad to do it. I'm glad to do it. Are you interested in anything? We have some <laughs> items here that you might be interested in. Perfect. Oh, see, she's doing a great job. That's why I see why Jason puts you in the spot. You're very good at it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've done it a few times. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. We're enjoying ourselves here. It's a pretty cool thing because, you know, for Derby Guys, uh, uh, art gallery is not something we're used to. So it's kind of cool that we're bringing different worlds together today, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is kind of an unusual combination it is but jason has put us kind of streamlined it for all of us right that's good i'm glad yeah. i'm glad put that art degree to work yes <laughs> absolutely well, okay america hey sour's mom i think is pretty cool maybe cooler than sour but don't tell them later america <laughs> There we are. Hey, we're back, everybody. You. We're going to be calling the last heat of the 2023 season of Track Shot Live. It's MWFA Heat 2, buried alive for deadmanderby.com. We are with Emmy Award winning Frizzy yeah. and Cannonball Derby Park. Grammy and Award winning Cannonball. Can Grammy Award winning Cannonball. Is that Cannonball. higher than Emmy? Which Depends on what your career is. I don't care. They're both. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, you know I mean? Uh, well, I mean. I think they're both great. Also, right? I'm on yeah, the, I'm well, I mean, what's one. the three one? That's the also, EGOT, that's right? The EGOT. I'm on the board of the Grammys. I'm up, I'm up for one this year. So I have no idea what. Uh, that's like the Triple Crown in horse racing. I think, yeah. You know, like I think they're all the same. They're all <laughs> just like you. You get there, you're. They're all really hard to get. Yeah, but they don't give them out. They don't give them out. You can't pay for that. That's oh, true. Man. What about this? All right, so everybody's been waiting all day all to day. run this heat. We started this morning. 5 a.m. City of Pittsburgh. We have a watch party going on in Garfield. We have a watch party going on in Dormont. So I know there's people still watching and ready for the last heat of Dead Man Buried Alive. You know, Anthony held it together three full days. Yeah. Vendor and Track Shot Live. Uh, Jerry carried the vendor part on his back while I was doing this. You know, oh, salute to Jerry. Salute to Jerry. And his, po and his blue polo. Yeah, I mean. He followed out out here. That's right. He's hauling my spray paint to Blizzard Bash. So salute Cannonball Derby Parts. Moving my spray paint to Blizzard Bash. That way I am taken care of. And I appreciate you guys taking care of me. Oh, yeah, man. We're yeah, next good. week we are. I, we leave Tuesday morning for Rapid City, South Dakota. He leaves oh, tomorrow man. morning for Rapid City, South Dakota. Like, this is the big three right here. It goes Buried Alive, Boom. Rapid City, Boom. Blizzard Bash. Dang. Triple Crown, Grammys, Emmys. Oscars. Blizzard Bass, South Dakota. Yep. <laughs> Emmy, Dead Oscars. I, I like that. Grammy. Tony, Tony. Yeah. It's the Triple Crown. The Triple Crown. I like that. Y'all are here moving and grooving, though. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. That's what it is. That's oh, the EGOT. That's the EGOT. I'm on my way. You're so smart, Sour. 
Sour be out here on them Google links, I wa- man. I watched the numbers, bro. <laughs> he teaches me so much stuff. I watched. Track, track shot, what's <laughs> going on, y'all? What's going on? I see y'all popping. Y'all hit me up on the Instagrams and the yeah, Twitter, Yeah, 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 yeah. The Sour y'all. Patch kids, they're the already Patch, on that they already thing, on man. That. The, in- yeah, the I mean, messages already came through. Reserve your Sour Patch shirt now. It's going to be something special. It's coming. I'm going to stay on him about it, too. It's going to be a frizzy, sour collaboration, man. It's going to uh-huh. be dope. Anthony's got a drawing he's trying to get me to pump out, too. Look, we're yeah. going to spell sour the right way. Forget S-O-U-R. We don't do that no more. That's how kids spell sour. That's sour. right. Sours. Our sours got E's in them. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Linky, it's sours is That's right. Sour is okay. We got it. All right, so we're out there. Our boy T.Y. from Garfield is going to be out here in a trailblazer. Let's go, T.Y. So we're going to have Leach in a Crown Vic. Kai is in a Subaru. Uh, your cousin Todd, what's he in? He's in a Jeep, right? He's in a Jeep. Yeah, what about Breeze? Breeze paid his uh, entry, and then his car died like seconds later after he paid his entry. So Breeze donated to the Dead Man Derby Fund. Uh, bless his heart. But, yeah, we got him a car. I got him a Hyundai. We were like, this thing runs. We drove it from the back of the shop to the front of the shop. And yeah. The motor blew up. Oh, no. Life's funny like that. And then we couldn't, then that was like, you know, half a week ago. So we never really found, we found a car, but we never found the time to, because we had all this other stuff going on. See, that's what I'm saying. I got to get me a nice car so I can drive up to the clear, go see Tater real quick. Shout out to Tater. Everybody watching out here, my my young tots, and the young tots that come in the future. (laughs) We out here. But they clearing this whole thing up. Yeah, so uh, because they use street tires, much like what's on your Mustang, Yes. Uh, they're not going to get as great traction out here in the mud. So the promoter, being uh, one of the best in the country, has a track crew here that is one of the best in the country, providing a competition surface specific for this level of Demotion Derby, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, right? gotcha. Back me up, Anthony. I'm listening. I'm listening. I agree. <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering right here how, how much rain we've had. Inches wise, but it said one quarter of an inch <laughs> 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 between eight a.m. and nine a.m. Well, but uh, we we did it. We did it. We held it down. We probably painted thirty cars out here underneath three tents oh, yeah, for three straight days. Um, we met so many great people. In so many, so many lovely people. In the rain, you paint them in the rain. Well, we were under tents. Yeah, but the first day you would you were still working around it. I just yeah. I don't know how you do that, man. Uh Hardest working man in different uh, uh, Derby. You know who our working, triple man. crown would be? It would be Jason Sauer, Alex Vasco, and Robbie Crittenden. Yeah. That would, be our, that would be our 2023. We should do it. We should do like a pre, like a triple award crown. called the Triple Crown. I like that. <clears throat> I'm in for that. Well, we got – there's a lot of people who deserve nomination and awards. It's a great team here that makes Demotion Derby yeah, but work. It's for your me. time to shine, buddy. Just take it. I, well, you always you pour guys it out are all, on all your friends. Yeah, man. Well, you guys are always Just giving me it. compliments and like whatever. I, <laughs> I care. I do care, but like you know, if you're gonna give it to me, I'm gonna try to pass it around. The only thing that I'm gonna say bad about you, Sour, is I've, I'm here. I'm in your backyard, the Pittsburgh area, and I have not seen Jr. I've called him ten times. Stopped by his house. My man is MIA. JR is a legend. He be out here with them. He with them girls. Dude, That's what dude. Uh, yeah, he knows JR. I love JR. This is JR's biggest <coughs> fan. Like, I oh, would. Word. Uh-huh. You know Robin Big? You remember that TV show? Oh, yeah, I love Could Robin Big. Did you see me and JR? It's like the reverse. The reverse. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> if you guys at home don't know, how old is JR? 80? Uh, I think he's 80 years old and 80 pounds. <laughs> yeah, he's 80 pounds. <laughs> well, I'm 40 years old and 300 pounds, and we are BFFs. <laughs> I love that, yo. I love they it. They picked JR. him up in a Cadillac and took him for a ride. <laughs> this guy fell asleep. JR, uh, JR, JR was asleep. <laughs> they, he lied on me. <laughs> I heard him when you asked. It right. was a good time. They took him to Stone Bro and, like, made him a star. Yeah. And, uh, he oh, <laughs> he was asleep in the wheelchair during the national anthem, which is one of my – like, they're That's belting the out. the move right there. They're, 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 the music is blasting. And he's he's asleep behind uh, Pete Hansen's wife. I'm gonna I'm, I might push the limits, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Whenever you ask Jr., did you smoke all Frankie got cigarettes? And he said, I tried. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I saw him, him and Frankie guy were like hiding behind the sign that we have behind yeah. us, smoking cigarettes. 
on stage. <laughs> Somebody, I don't remember who it was. There's a girl there, and she got my attention because Jr. was in there. He was sitting in one of your wheelchairs. <laughs> and I guess she thought he like you know he really needed it, and he fell asleep. And she thought she's like, you need to check on your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, he's sleeping. They're running cars. They're derbying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that that wheelchair is his best friend. I just put him in it. <coughs> but he he was like, he came to out of the wheelchair and then wandered to the front of the stage un, without anybody watching him. <laughs> like, the derby cars are blasting away at his feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> he is one deep breath away from falling <laughs> into the Listen, pit. America, I wish. <laughs> I know you guys at home don't get it and don't understand our laughter, but. If if Jason Sauer started a TikTok for Jr., the the guy could, the old man could, uh, it just he he's, he would go viral instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he is. He's got all the one liners old men have. He does. Uh, we helped him out with a new one because he's always this side of the dirt. So we went to Stephen Sickles' house a few days ago, and Stephen's putting together like these three hearses part of his uh, you know his garage, and uh, so we're like, oh, Jr., you're on this side of the hearse. And, uh, you know, it took him a while because he's like, what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? And we're like, no, no, this side of the hearse. And then he's like, oh, That's I get it. it. There it is, buddy. So it's, I'm lucky to have him as a good friend. He's been my friend for like 15, 16 years uh, since 04. So I guess 20 years now he's been my friend. And um, I'm always, he always reminds me that he's my oldest friend. And uh, not to be critical or not to be like too personal, he reminds oh, yeah. my <laughs> wife that uh, he knew me before her. <laughs> <laughs> She's always like, he's always reminding me. You probably like, let her know, like, you know I mean? was here before you. I was before. <laughs> the, young, the young savage that I was. My guy, my guy always has my back, no matter what. No matter what we're doing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. He is. Yeah, and he rides a bike. He, he comes up. He takes the bus up uh, from East Liberty down okay. there by your boulevard. Yeah, it takes that 89.8 at Garfield. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So Frizzy Boulevard is Frizzy a Boulevard. half a block from JR's house. He really? lives off, off of Frizzy Boulevard be, behind uh, AutoZone. Yeah, it's crazy to ever get a street named after you. That's yeah, that's pretty I'm cool, sure, man. man. And still be alive. Now, do you <laughs> are you allowed to? Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Congrats. Yeah. Um, are you uh that's where we're from that's big deal that's a big uh, deal yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So liberty boulevard is one of the biggest streets in the city i bet it is Long. Yeah, well, um do you have a plan for this year's frizzy day that i do man that i do is it's gonna have to do with the, the bust you know the cover of my album success Oh, and yeah, yeah, it's at the airport, right? Yeah, yeah, they made a stone bust of it. They're going to be putting it in the airport this year forever, which is crazy. It's Congratulations. <laughs> oh, 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 they playing, they, they playing uh, Baby Got Sir Back? Sir a lot. I'm sorry. Seattle. A lot. I got hung up and watching them scrape the track here. And look at this. It's almost, it's dry. Yeah, they finally, after all day, <laughs> they, they finally. down to the bottom. Which wow. scares me because now it's going to be really fast for our friends. Yeah. Dear friends, hold on. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're nothing they're but the biggest hitters in the most wanted game but in the, this area of the country are, are swinging, swinging big cars tonight. There's a steady drizzle, so it's going to it's gonna. All right, good. Good. I care about everybody's safety. Yeah, that's what's first. I care about them not getting blasted and, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I thought for sure I was sitting sideways during the most wanted class right at the very beginning when he, when temperature is hot. And I thought, oh, my goodness, because I was, like, passenger side of the car exposed. I was like, I am going to get creamed. I'm like, you're in the wrong spot for this car not to find drive. Yeah. <laughs> What's like, you so out scared. there? Do you know? No, it's operator air. That's all I can say is I, 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 I know how to shift the car. You put a put foot on the brake and you, like, but the. The car wouldn't come out of drive, man, or park. It wouldn't come out of park. Oh, I hate that. Oh. So it stalled for some reason. Normally those cars don't stall. It stalled. I put it in park. I started it. In that moment, it wouldn't, and it really wouldn't rev either. So I don't know. Wow. It's it's operator error. It's me. Yeah, every time I've watched you run, that's like the third time I've watched you try to run, and you it's been bad luck. Uh, I did so good in Maine that I could take the rest of the year off. Oh, that's right. I, I got I mean, second I in Maine in a Pathfinder that would not quit. Yeah. 
I want you to know, that Pathfinder performed the way I like to derby. I like to derby a certain way. The same way I got to drive at River City Rampage where I run the Mad Dog yeah, is how I like to drive all the time, which is I like to s hear the rev limiter of the car mm. yeah. and then just try to shift through it. Just let her go. <laughs> That's probably why my caliber broke. Yeah. <laughs> probably. The Dirt Dodge is like, we did not. <laughs> we did not design this car for that type of. That type of abuse. Yeah, yeah. This is not a getaway car. <laughs> you need to upgrade to our RT selection <laughs> if you're going to use as a getaway car. Right. I wonder <laughs> if some of the, the folks that were around and you know, like designing the Roundback Wagon or anything like that originally ever got to see those cars derbied and like, you know. The designers of the got car. To see the, the end life of their car, and uh, I bet you, I bet you, there's probably a unique clique of car designer that finds demolition derby super interesting. There has to be, right? Because their be. careers are all about how these cars bend. Yeah, and like just like demolition derby drivers and artists themselves, we're investigative beings. Yep, we like the science of this effort. Mm. We like to know what we're doing. We want to be better at it. So mm -hmm. you know, I know there's got to be someone out there. And exactly, I want to wreck a Tesla X in the worst way. Tesla. <laughs> yeah, I, it was I'm, the has first. Has anyone ever brought a Tesla out here? No. I don't think so. No, no there's no. been a few of us that brought. Prius is, but no full on. But there's no reason why, like, some once we get the upper levels, like, I think you could probably run. I don't know how long it would last because under a load, like, because now the car is going to be super heavy because it's going to be full of batteries. But I guess you can make it one wheel drive because it's, you know, that electric motor is one per wheel. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. The egg. Yeah. I never I'm sorry. That. I got the peanut gallery over my shoulder here, sending me videos of me pulling up my pants and stuff. We, we, we like a little crack. Sometimes what, you what guys. What are we, four? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, Jason? Is that They what got another say? joke in their Is pocket? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're Is doing? Is what we're doing? My boy got we're, how about my, this time we do it a little better? My boy got kicked <laughs> out here. Man. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I think we're nearing the last here swipe go, here, right? man. They, they don't understand that if I come, Garfield's coming with me. That's uh, right, buddy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh -huh. my, they don't my know guy. That, now they're looking at us, and they don't know that we've been talking about them for the last three minutes. They don't I, know. I, I teach them the word both again. You'll have to watch it. Trackshotlive.com. <laughs> find it on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. No, no. And Twitch. We're on Twitch now. Twitch. We're new. Are we on Twitch? Yeah. We, Dude. We are Twitch, I Snapchat, love I love Instagram. Me some, I love me some Twitch, man. You on the Instagram? I have the track yeah. live Instagram. High five, Sour. Keep it because that's one less one I want to deal with. <laughs> I got you. But I got yo, you. Dude, I only the, make a couple posts the from Snapchat, there. The Snapchat. You guys at home, you all have blown. I'm serious. You blow the Snapchat up. I, I don't use Snapchat. Never Derby really people have. love Snapchat. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, man. I love me some dude, Snapchat. They do. You got a Snapchat? Oh, yeah. Heavy. Uh, right oh, yeah. Now. Of course. Just Never with, mind. Hey, up. It, I know you're a rock star. <laughs> That's it where you get you, it. Uh, when it tells you Snapchatters at it or whatever, last night I opened it here. It was 703 while we were on the show. Wow. Yeah. Well, let me do this now. To hey, there's oh, there's our Todd. ABC and C. Yeah. Oh, there, I'll read it down here. We got Terry Abaddy, number 19, Grady Bensey, 111, Cody Cesarino, number 5, Aiden Crone, 60, Avery Says, 69, Kai Devenich. 24, Matthew Eskridge, the 1229, Richard Fazenbaker, the old man, 48, Rob Fisher, 29, Tristan Gad, 10, James Grimm, 87, Jonathan Heilman in the age 15, oh, Brandon Leach, Car Club, 412, Josh Malencia, 24, Brian Mansfield, 7X, Dave McAdams, 918, Claire McMullen, 7X flat out, Andrew Myers, 73, Daryl Myers, I painted that, 732. Brandon Kenny, 12. Andrew Stano, 92S. Jay Urso, 187. Ty Weiss, 5.9. Cody Coltlin Wilson, CR13. Dave Wilson, 517. Donald Yannick, X16. T.Y. McClellan. T.Y. That's right. Project 53rd. That's our spot in that's Garfield. Where, that's our boy right That's there. our block. Ryan Wood to 67W and Brady Morgan. 
Oh my God, Ryan Woods from Polk, PA? That's pretty crazy. I, I know that place very well. Now, which one's Leach? Is he in that Crown Vic up there? It's already pre ran? Uh, it's not pre ran. Oh, Leach not. is the in a nice right here. Crown Vic. Right here to the right tower. Uh, yeah, with the, the back, back sticking out. out, it says MWCC. And where is, uh, let's see, T.Y., is he in the Rocktoberfest? He's Rocktoberfest. He's in the Kelly O's car. Oh, is he? Kelly O's Rocktoberfest. Okay, T.Y. T.Y. is Kelly O's sponsor driver this evening. Who are we missing here? Uh, we're missing Kai. Kai did not paint his car. He's got a 24 on a Subaru. He thought if he didn't spray paint his car, which is the irony is, he, he thought he could hide out here. Good luck. All right, so shout out TJ. If it wasn't for Minnesota, TJ would have had the record. TJ has, uh, I believe, 59 most wanted cars. They came here. Congratulations to him. Hey. Uh, beat Decker. Beat Decker. Decker had 47. So is TJ in second officially? Until I know better, TJ is in second place with 59 cars at Buried Alive 4. Congratulations. What's the, what's the most? Uh, what's the record? 111 with Michael Tix just three weeks ago. Oh, I know. Uh, you know anybody that finished good in that one? You did so good. What place did you get? Third. Yeah. I've you did so good. You got... This guy got third place out of 111 cars. Jesus. So we had 111. So we had him five rows deep. Jesus. Like, and the track was probably a little bigger than this because we There's had. There's El Camino. How many cars are in this heat? Uh, looks like 29, if not 30. You guys watching at home, you see that. That's something new I've never seen ever. The stock class for sure is in El Camino. That's sweet. Like a metric, that's probably 80, I don't know, 82, 83. It meets the standard. 1980 or better, no half-ton trucks. Well, Dodge Durango V8 is the biggest thing up. we run in this class. I know people get worried about running against that Dodge Durango V8. I'll tell you what to do. You hit it in the front wheel as hard as you can. Yeah, that's all it does. Lays it right over. And then that big behemoth, this guy knows about driving to Durango. Yeah. Once the tire goes out from underneath it, it's not as tough anymore. But when it's full, got all four tires under it, you don't want to be licked by it, that's for certain. Dude, before I forget, uh, you, Pittsburgh, uh, Ryan Wood's out here. What's Ryan Wood in? What the number? 67W. Uh, I don't know where he's at, but earlier he stopped me and told me he's got something on the side of his car, and I can't remember what it said, but his uh, – Super good buddy in Pittsburgh there, 16 years old, he said, uh, battling some cancer. Bad, just just came out or whatever, and he said he's running for him tonight. So he oh, wanted man. me to make sure to say something. He's a Pittsburgh boy. so yeah, Shout out to that, man. Shout out. <coughs> shout out. I, it's I, the I, biggest biggest heat of the night. Most cars in one heat. Man, Yo, look right here. That. Look at our man Bill. Yo, track shot live. Photo shot. Also, I'm seeing all the followers from TrackShot come on Instagram. It's just Frizzy, F-R-Z-Y. But if I didn't know y'all was doing Snapchat. So if you on Snapchat, I'm going to be Snapchatting live, shooting some Snapchat of the, of the whole meet. So come with me. It's just Frizzy, F-R-Z-Y on Snapchat. Come, let's, let's hang out, man. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes. Yeah. I'm gonna do you all on, I can You on Clubhouse, that. too? Yep, just Frizzy. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's another group. Jeez, you guys got to quit. All right, Sour. You got to count this it down. This is it. You got to count it down for Skinny. <clears throat> we're going to send it Send it for Skinny. So, let's guys, go. we're going to go 3, 2, 1, let's derby whenever they start counting down. All right. From five, four, three, two, one, let's, let's derby. derby. I just Here realized this is the last team of the year for track shot. Here we yes, go. it is. Let's the go. Last track, track shot, shot live. live. Check out that 517 little escort wagon. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's old school. Right? Oh, 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 oh. oh. I think that's an escort wagon. I'm pretty I like yeah. that he got the mystery machine back. Uh-huh. Okay. Look at this. You got the windshield wipers going. There it is. <laughs> I love when, it. That's when you know you clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. I wish that I could see it. Heilman setting up. Good shot in the wagon. Keep going. There's Indy Heilman CNC. collecting bodies behind us. Oh, Indy CNC right in front of us, front wheel oh. drive. They're slinging mud They're all slinging over mud. us. Oh. Heads up on the mud, everybody. This is great. They making it. This rain. is Kai. Kai made it down in front of us. Good job, Kai. He's here in the there Lonely 24 in the Subaru. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, oh there's the El Camino with a good oh, shot. He's, oh, Kai oh, he's getting driving. buried in the corner. Kai, get out of there. Oh, he's driving. All right, Leach is over here. We're 
T.Y. trying to make his way up to us. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go, T. Everybody's doing good. They're doing way better than I did. I failed so fast. I got one shot in before I operator air. I love it, everybody. Sorry there. I was I'm trying to get someone to film for me here. <coughs> this heat's turning out to be pretty good. I need some for TikTok. Yeah, we are. Where's old Todd at? He took off. He, he likes to try to be a mad dog, and this ain't the track for it tonight. Yeah, he is. Hey, there's Lee. Red dog. Okay. okay, we red flag. Red flag. All right, everybody. Uh -oh, everybody. Uh -oh. All right, they got him shut down. Yo, good job, everybody. Feeling safe? How we doing? The track's looking good. Yeah. Yo, yo, this is sweet. You know, I, I was really excited about being up here at most wanted class. I want to try to do it up some of it earlier too, but like now I get up here, I, I, I don't, like it's easier for me to talk during the other heats, but this heat I'm all wrapped up in. Oh yeah. Got a little two door explorer down here. Can't see his number. Buick. Just trying to look for some odd stuff. I wonder where the El Camino is at. Let's go. The El Camino already snuck off. Oh, he did. Yeah. I like seeing. Oh, hey, there he goes. He's, he's up there. He's still moving. Oh man. Smoking but moving. He's smoking. T I think Ty's got a right front down, but he's he's still got, got he's it, still T. getting you traction. It, he's doing fine. As long as he makes competition hit, he'll be fine. He's a veteran. He, this is his 12th derby for T.Y. Oh, McClellan. Oh, wow. So if you're watching from home, I know he doesn't tell you at home, but my man's been in 12 derbies. My boy out here in the double digits. Now, is, am I wrong? Is, is it a T.Y. that he's got like a second and a third and no first? Isn't that right? Isn't that yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No first he's for T.Y. Right down the wind. He's got uh, – He's got five top fives out of 11. Wow. But he's also got three first outs. So he's as bad as me or as terrible as me, like father, like son. You're great at record keeping. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at record keeping. <laughs> but I know because we drove eight hours for that 16 seconds. Yeah. And then eight hours oh, home. Oh, that was at River City. The Salute Toast Promotions, I was in Columbus. Indiana. Oh, okay, okay. I was not that Toast one. Promotions, one of my very first true believers in the most wanted class. Thank you, Vince Olivas Olivas. TY still spinning tire. Come on, TY, Let's get a little T. bit. You got it, Grip T. something, buddy. Grip it. Make a hit. There it is. That's there a touch. That's that's a that, counts. that counts. That counts. That counts. He's still in it. Come on. Brady Brady Morgan has not made his way in front of us yet. I don't know. He must be out just smoking people. I've got to wonder where Ryan Wood is, so he can't see him. He's probably, they're probably out the other end just whooping up on each other. Man, this Halloween car, 69, has just done so well. That's Avery says. Oh, we got Thank the, you so spider, much for putting some effort in making your car look sweet That's for beautiful. Halloween weekend. That's beautiful. Oh, and just took wow. received a front end shot. Wow. We got a red flag. Red okay. flag. Okay. What was that? Did anybody tell? Bumper or something? I assume. Yeah, bumpers. Nope. Ah, uh, Kai's getting out. Bummer. No. Yo, Damn. crowd's saying there's a fire. Crowd. All right, Kai's out. Ty still in. You know, it's so cool to look out and see all these different, all the different automobiles and stuff. And yeah, was this Kia Soul right here in front yeah. of us? What is I can't that thing? Oh, uh, no, that may be a Camry. No, no, the bread box in front of oh, us, yeah, the blue no. one. Yeah, probably so. I don't know if it's actually Soul has a different side window, right? I don't know. 
That might be an XB. But we were derbying in New York. I can't think of the boy's name, but he's the one that ran the round back wagon that you painted one of our metal cars like. Mm-hmm. And uh, I turned and looked up, and I realized it was him, and he was out there in a Dodge Omni. <laughs> like from 1984. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I hope someone brings a citation with that sideways radio one day. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Does not disappoint. All right, all the officials are getting back all on right. the train. You, you see our boy T.Y. rocks a football helmet. I'd never noticed that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's his move, man. I'm going to start calling him EA Sports. My boy <laughs> is in the game, man. <laughs> yeah. My boy is in the game. Uh-huh. I got people asking about our derby announcement, so I'm, like, getting the links right now. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody that wanted to donate for Saving Christmas, December 16th, MWFA. It's 5217 Hillcrest Street, Pittsburgh, PA, One. 5224. One more time. 5217 Hillcrest Street, Pittsburgh, PA, 15224. Just look up Most Wanted Fine Art. My inter- my address is on the internet with my phone number. And uh, just ple- if you want to help out, gift cards to Target um, because that's the closest. Right, here we go. Let's go. Thank you for everybody. I love y'all. Yeah, gift cards to Target, color and books. Finish that out, Sour. That's oh, yeah, coloring it. books, uh, art supplies, basically anything from a 12 to 17-year-old, 10 to 17. We were trying to give them gift cards so they can just get what they need yeah. or what they want. You know what I mean? Like, we're here to help out. If you're in town, Frizzy, we'd love to have you at the Christmas party December 16th. It's a Saturday in Garfield. Yeah, let me know. I'll be here. Hey. I'm, doing, I'm doing an event on the Leech. 15th. Leach is coming to see us. Oh, okay, let's go. Where's he at? Right behind the 517 here. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow. They are. They it's are. The 517. They are. There he demolition. is. Look at it. Yeah. 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 He's pumped. Oh, he's he's pumped pumped punching up. the ceiling, he's man. He's pumped up. He's still feeling it. He's in oh. it. Oh. Oh, that was some love. That was a love tap. He's Look at him. It. He's looking back at us. Yeah, oh, yeah. He knows up. what he's doing. He's hyped up. T- go. Get him. Go hit T.Y. Keep him in competition. Oh, <laughs> that's beef. That was a beef hit right there. Oh, Hyman coming in. Jonathan Howman, you want you want to know you know he's out there. Is that him in the in the black? Yeah, black with the pink stripe. He came out once in a high top Astro and really whooped up. Wow. <coughs> it was the tallest tallest van on the track. All right, well TY's moving. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh. oh, he's coming. Come on, TY, inch it into something, Uh-oh, buddy. Oh, this this explorer coming in. A T.Y. Oh, oh, he got smoked. Hold on to your football helmet, young oh, man. Oh, look at that spark. You see those sparks in the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Pikachu car is still oh, he's running. Oh, pissed. It's car now. Look, he's pissed. Red flag. Red flag. Oh, his car stopped. His Sour, car. I love this class. Yeah, it's fun. It's like it's like partying with your friends. And I would have never thought, and I mean, I have been a diehard demolition derby fanatic my entire life, and I would have never thought that this was possible. If you told me this 20 years ago, you're an idiot. <laughs> 10 years ago, no way. And then. Ah, uh, Leach is getting out. Yeah, he was pissed. Good job, man. You're the champion of our hearts, Leach. He's pissed, man. Yeah, he is. He killed it, too. Mm, that was his first time running a big old Vic. That's his second time he ever ran a V8. Somebody like it. Somebody film him because he's probably going to fall. He's hopped up. <laughs> Keep your helmet on, Leach. <laughs> Keep your hands out of your pocket. <laughs> it was entertaining. <sighs> Did my heart to my... There's still so many people out here that they have a chance of winning. Well, I told you the story, Sarah, when we were in Seattle. I, we were, I think we were at dinner or whatever, and I was telling you about being up here watching you last year at this show. And there was no mercy, and you were jumping up and down. They just cheering for everybody because it was your class. I, well, I mean, it's our class, Anthony. Yeah, it's our class. It's Demolition Derby's class. I appreciate you all jumping on board, but it's our class now. There's nothing I can do about this train. It's left the tracks. <laughs> it is. We can't stop this ocean. Wow, great hit there. Yeah, yeah, this bread box just that? keeps moving, getting Ain't good it? hits. Yeah, Explorer. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I, I would love to call these numbers, but I can't see them. 
They, if they have a roof it's sign, that it's that smoky. It looks like Batman's smoky, coming to beat up bad guys right now. We're kind of lower at an angle. I, well, someone said out there, he, they go, if the roof sign looks really nice, they've been in Derby for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, because it was from a rookie that was, like, looking at the field. Uh-oh. Our boy T.Y. has not moved in an inch. They pointed him. They're pointing at him. Oh, I think no. They, I think they called him out. Dang. Good run. You beat Leach. T.Y. wins the, uh, the most wanted uh, team who lasted longest. Barely by a second, though. So at the Christmas party, he'll get to have bragging rights for the rest of the season. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I want to see who's getting their head shaped. Brady Morgan or Ryan Wood? Now, what's the what, what's the deal with this? Who gets a loser? Head shaved? Loser gets oh, their head shaved. Oh, loser gets their head shaved. I guess. Oh. Ryan Wood already brought the Clippers. Dude, Ryan Wood. I, I went earlier and got some pizza and was eating some dinner. And uh, talking to Todd, Ryan Wood comes in talking to me. It's cold here. It's raining. He's getting ready, to, all pumped up to run. He's in American flag like shorts. <laughs> yeah, like he's like training. He's in the warm up room. <laughs> Todd Der Derby's in shorts. I was like, dude, you're in shorts and you're gonna Todd go shovel derby. snow in shorts. <laughs> One of those guys. Yeah, that's Todd. Andrew Myers still out here looking good. Daryl Myers in the 732 in this van. Daryl knows how to win. Daryl's been winning in an Explorer for quite a while. So I know it's going to come out here. Heilman's going to eventually tangle with Myers. And oh! Oh, yeah. That's, that's a nice that, shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. Red flag. Red flag. So much junk and carnage on the track. Look at this little wagon in front of us. That looks like something you would have ran, Anthony. What's that? This Whatever this little wagon is in front of us wagon. with the roof rack. If, if I, unless I'm mistaken, from where I'm sitting, that's an escort wagon. That's a, Isn't that you? Yeah, I ran escorts a lot. But I was, I was the body style before that one. Yeah, you're a probe guy, huh? I, uh, I love those, uh, the escorts back. Of course, that was all we could afford. Yeah. You know, like the Pinto guys were like the ones that had the money. Like now when you see somebody roll up in the wagon, you're like, they got money. Like, you know, around back. That's how it was back then. They're like, they're, they're really good. We, we had Chevettes and Dodge Omnis and whatever we could run. Derby in Kentucky. Look at Pikachu just looking at us right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pika, Pika. <laughs> that was back. Like, back then, it was a true four-cylinder class was like a 98-inch wheelbase or less. Yeah. So, it, you had – and it was true four-cylinder. But those those days are long. And gone. we're back to Derby. Skinny, if you're listening, we miss you and love you, bro. Shout out Skinny, man. Oh, yeah. A lot of jockeying for position right now. It sure is. You're afraid to send it to. You know, this derby is a lot harder to call, too, when you're, when you're watching it because you're so used to the same, you know, Ford or Lincoln or or whatever. And here you like, you, you just, no idea. No clue. You look up and you're like, Fierro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What won the first time? Honda Accord. MW Heat won. Honda Accord wins it all. So anything can win. That's what I was Remember in. we watched a, a pickup truck yeah. win. I was in the Honda Accord in uh, Minnesota. Third place. Third place. It's like I'm hanging out with somebody who won Dent anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was 20 years ago. i tell you, he ever tell you he let me hold the dent ring? Really? Yeah, I held it. That's nice. That's sweet of him. Uh-oh, almost a rollover there. Really climbed right up on the hood. I know you're into Pikachu, so every time I see it pull up, I'm like, Frizzy's into Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, that little Corolla or whatever it is, like early 90s, late yeah. 80s Corolla is still looking. Well, it was until that van got I, It's over. weird, man, because it's so smoky, you really can't see nothing, he but I also love it. it. He was looking Yeah, I mean, I like, I that. love it. Yeah. That, yeah, that front end's still straight. He's driving a good derby. Who's that? This is the guy This little looks like a Corolla or Nissan Sentra over here from the late 80s, early 90s. Oh, yeah. Black car backing up. Oh, yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, it's Maybe Blair. a Corolla. Man, this Howman with a quick hit. Nice. Can you imagine those guys out there like I'm sitting here cold and rainy and like I'm getting the sniffles and, and all that. And they're out there getting rained on, sweating like crazy. Adrenaline all pumped up. Pumped up. In the mud. About to shoot a mu frizzy music video. Yes. Yeah. What's the name of that song? Is that stuff that you can say or? What, which one? The one you're doing the video to? No, this is a new one that's on a new album. Oh. Uh, we're doing a lot of like fun stuff. This is gonna be a fun video. Now, didn't you say, Frizzy, at, at Stoneboro, you doing something with a symphony or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, uh, at Heinz Hall, November 8th. No, that's coming up. So that's that coming up, yet. yeah, two yeah. weeks, man. It's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be a big show. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to, I wanna get as many, you know, I know a lot of Derby people are listening. I want them to head over. If they go to my Instagram, they'll see the link. I want them to buy tickets, come out. I want to bring the Derby world to Heinz Hall. I Absolutely. think that'll be a beautiful thing. I was I was on there with Decker, and you remember when Metallica did with the symphony. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is, this is what we're doing. <laughs> that'll be cool. This is who you're sitting with. Yeah, man. Yeah. Big, with. big deal. We make a history, man. This is huge. 100 people on the stage at one time, the most infamous venue, you know, one of the most infamous venues in the United States. With cool. the number one symphony in the world, man. This is crazy. And they doing my music. It's That's wild. Sweet. You know, like, Frizzy's done a lot. Yeah. You know, it's working, right. man. Working yeah. on the Getting legacy. It. But then you're like, I think about, but I know somebody that won Dent. <laughs> 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 and you got third in Minnesota, so oh, yeah. everybody has accomplishments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting, I'm sitting in, in Dunbar, Pennsylvania, watching one of the biggest demolition derbies of the year with Track Shot Live. That's an accomplishment. Yes, you know, it buddy. Shout out to everybody that's watching us, man. Oh, oh wow. He nice. gave oh, him nothing yeah. but butt cheeks. That was full <laughs> butt cheeks right there. <laughs> it's straight up. The back of that van almost made it all the way to the windshield. <laughs> Tough cars out there. Someone's on the clock. I, I see TJ yeah. counting down somebody. They're, yeah. not, they're not hitting. There it goes, getting smoky again. Looks like they got a clean, clean area to operate on the other side of the track. Oh, Tucker, good shot. Well, uh oh, might have stalled with that shot. I believe so. Wow, they're they're trying Hanging to in they're there. trying to I think they're trying to shut Tucker down. Someone's getting the flashlight. That's the thing about this class; it's so quiet too. Yeah, yeah. You can hear the metal crunch. You That's can hear I, the people yell from. The, you can hear Leach punching the top of his. It's orgasmic. <laughs> it's orgasmic. In New York, I could hear. I couldn't now. Now in uh, uh, Minnesota, there's so many cars out there that I couldn't. Here. But in New York, I could hear Decker announcing pretty much the whole time. It's pretty sweet. It's a different experience. It is. Way different. It's a little bit different than what you're normally used to with the header sticking out. Yeah, it just, that, you know, that just takes over all your senses. All right. All for him. Got the angle for us. Alex Vasco. Thank you, Alex. Also, thank you to uh, Fueled by Haters. I know that, uh, oh, my gosh, I'm drawing a oh, You can hear him. You can, you can hear him, Nick. like, trying to make it around that corner. Yeah. Uh, Dang, that's crazy. Nick's been filming with Fueled by Haters for us, so too, working with Uncle Bill. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Nick. Fueled by Haters. Check those guys out on social media. And our new friends, Mafia TV and yeah. Critter. And oh, Red Flags, Red Flags. Red Flags. All right, we're down. 
We're probably down to the last five here. I'd say, right, it's, there's so much cluster going on. I, I, it's like when somebody moves, it's like looking at a, a painting when the eyes move, <laughs> when the eyes follow you. Right. Oh, here they come. They're walking off, man. They're hugging each other, showing each other love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, now, I'm, now I'm jealous. I watch how easy they get out of their cars. That's a struggle for me. I'm still I'm still trying to do that sexy. It's hard to get hey, in. Hey, Sarah, I'm going to get Ben in here. Okay. I'm going to let Ben finish it out. Finish it out. Anthony, yeah. thank you for a great 2023. Thank you, great, man. man. See Rizzy, you, bro. Pleasure hey, to meet you, buddy. Hey, the goat, man. I, I got to get OG Anthony, in I'll here. see you in South Dakota in like two and a half days. Yeah, I'll be there at man. noon tomorrow. In two days. All right, guys. All right. All right, ben up? Host. What's up? We're finishing this up. Yeah, you're on uh, with right. Frizzy, if you have not met yet. Frizzy. What's going on, man? Nice What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as nice well, dog. You. Heard a lot of good things. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, Appreciate that's it. awesome. But, uh, yeah, you were, uh, yeah, you, you brought you into Stoneboro, too. You hung yes. out of Stoneboro. Yes, man. We've gone to a couple different places now. Seems I think like you had dope. a real good time. Oh, it was real good out there, man. <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fucking fun, man. Yeah, that's yep. awesome. Yeah, we had him driving uh, a Durango at the Aaron City Nationals. Oh, sweet. Beautiful. Yeah, sweet. yeah. So he's got Derby... Derby he's got experience. Some seat time. He's I'm got out here, man. Little seat yeah, time. I mean, got himself a sweet fire got, suit. He's, he looks yeah, cool. Yeah, I got it. some tire streaks going on in my, in my history. <laughs> I'm feeling good about it. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, it went really yeah. well. Yep, yep, yep. What do you this, think, buddy? This you loving it? so far. For, yeah. Yeah, for. Uh, right, we back at it, green. green. One bag of street tires, so we're, we're doing good. We are. They're, we got uh, how, how many Myers are still in it? You got some guys still in it? Car club's out like Car usual. Car club's out. Oh, I see Wait. Leach got hung up up here. Yeah, he, got he did. Hung up. Yeah. He got boxed and in. Kai, up. Kai landed right there. And T.Y. over here in the Rocktober, Kelly O's Rocktoberfest. Okay. They all, at least they hung out in the same spot. Yeah, yeah they made it yeah. further than I did. Yeah, so yeah. they can pick on me at the holiday party. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all ended up at this end. Yeah. Well, I told him to drive down there so I can watch him. Okay. All right. See, well, this is what I did. Okay. I drove down here so I could hang out with Shot Live. All right. I know where the camera's at. <laughs> <laughs> it's not by me. It's ever by Alex Vasco. Oh. Alex, can you shake the camera for everybody? Shake it for 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 uh, America. Shaking for so, America. Sometimes he shakes the camera. Let, let us know that he he's listening. We appreciate him <laughs> going to all these derbies all across America. Yep. Thank you, Alex Vasco, putting in the time and effort. For a great season, my man. He's coming to uh, South Dakota with us too, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's in the track shot live tent too. Epic. Yeah. Yeah, we know we brought all the stunners in the game. Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Yep. We're coming to a gold rush and blizzard bash. You know, uh, we're coming in strong. Left the old guys at home. Took all the young guys. What are you talking about? I'm the old guy, dude. I know I'm the old guy. No, well, <laughs> you and I and Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We ruined. We ruined the curve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bill and I qualify for AARP. I don't think you do yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, Not yet. I'm still on the wrong side of 40, but I'm still in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll be a good time out there. You guys are going to experience a great time. Oh, yeah. Who we got? We got 732 left in That's, there. That's uh, Andrew My or Daryl Myers. Uh, C G, G or C13? CR13, maybe? Oh, yeah, CR13. Colton Wilson. Yep. And we, uh, I'm not sure about the rest uh, of them. Heilman's over there somewhere, but I haven't seen him moving in a minute. See the pink? See all the pink? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. haven't seen him moving in just a few seconds. So I assume he's digging in the seats. And then we got a. Uh, it's a brake light. It's, yep. It's a brake light. It's been confusing me, too. I'm like, oh, no. It's brake light. I'm trying to figure out the other roof sign, but we got, it looks like there's four in it. One, two. Oh, yeah, there's Heilman right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong band with pink tape. There are some ringers in this heat. Oh, yeah. That? That's why T, uh, TJ planned for this heat to be none but ringers. Okay. That's why he put me in the other heat. All right. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, Jar Jar Binks, you're in heat one. Looking out for I, I'm the, uh I'm the comic relief. Yo, hey. <laughs> looking out for it. He wants to make sure you're. I'm happy I was even in Star Wars, so whatever. <laughs> must, make sure, must make sure I'm painting fingers. Stay healthy. I like the CR15 at the uh, roof sign. It's pretty sweet. 
but definitely for They're the limping. It's limping now, though. Yeah. You can hear it like, bup, 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 bup. It's the only negative side of these. Once they hit limp mode and they start putt putting, it's like, eh. Yeah, you I know, know you love your V8. We're out, we're out here and the power wheels are hitting harder than some of these guys when it gets to a certain point. <laughs> right. But they yeah. die pretty quickly, though, within, yeah, it's within like, a minute or it's two. It's like they hit a wall. And, and, it's, like, like, okay. and it's two minutes, of da, 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 yeah. and that's it. Yep. <laughs> but Bill says we're going on, uh, this could possibly break the record for for uh longest day longest day longest streaming day yeah wow. yeah we're past eight hours and, uh, we're in a 10 uh, hour streaming day or something uh, the other well, one be a part of it what it's competing with is when uh we came here years ago when frankie guy had the, the, the show yep i was here for that we were up in the booth that yep then. yep yep we had the uh, guys from utah here a long time ago Long. I like, is that rear window wiper rear on? Rear window wipers on. Yeah, yeah. No rear window. With no rear window, he's exactly. Just, he's waving it's, at people. He's just waving back there. That's just yeah. clever. Yeah, waving it's, at people. It's funny to see the little details. Yeah. Again, things we don't see in the classes we saw tonight. Oh, you could Rear be. window uh, wiper. Could be <laughs> nice and leave the washer fluid hooked up back there. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah, really but, mess with people. Oh, yeah. Especially this guy up here to 69 that left the windshield in. Yeah, he was looking for some washer fluid. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He couldn't see nothing. No, they took my windshield out for me. They were afraid I was going to have a muddy windshield. Yeah, you took mine out, too, when I ran. Yeah, Boy, it's, I think that 732 is a Honda Odyssey van. It sounds like a Honda motor. How many we got? It looks like there's three left. Oh, no, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's another one tucked in there. Is there? Yeah, he's hiding. One in the there little cut, one in the cut. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Bow. Oh. They just found him. So many things to clean up, buddy. Can't wait. I got cars to move to Steven Sickles tonight. Yeah, Can't yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah. There's uh it's it's gonna be a cleanup crew. Oh, it's, it's still early, it's only ten thirty. Yeah. My struggle is going to be getting uh -huh. the trailer out because we put it in here with Skidster. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's Skidster. probably before the mud wall was here, too. No, it was here. Oh, okay. I came in through the gate. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how we did that one time. We had to come yeah. in real wiggly. Yeah. Came through the gate. They already had the wall up. Yeah, we're getting down there. I give it yeah. I give it about eh, 10 more minutes. Ooh, the exploder gonna make it less. Yep. <laughs> oh wow. Nice shot, Daryl. It's time to come in from the rain. Get it over with. Yeah, this CR thirteen, he's he's uh he's trying to hide out down here and survive a little longer. All right, we're down to three. Here we go, yep. and then there were three. The Nissan finally quit. Oh, we got it. Yeah, Colton's got to find his way through traffic here. And yeah, make a quick. competition hit, and he's out. They've called him. Man. They caught him. He ain't paying attention, though. It's he's, a rat. He's playing the game. If you don't look at him, he can't see you. Don't <laughs> know what I mean. He's doing that. You don't see me. I'm invisible. Yeah. Hear no evil, see no evil. <laughs> oh, he's he seen it. He yeah. Not, he's not happy, but. Yeah, he didn't make it over there in time. Hey, you know what? Out of, what, 30 cars in this heat, he made it down to fourth. Not bad. Nope. Congratulations. Against. Explorers and minivans and Subaru Foresters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Honda Odyssey vans are supposed to be pretty brutal. That's the only first place I've ever got in my life is out of a Honda Odyssey van. Yeah. 
they're supposed to be the they're supposed to be pretty they're pretty nasty, tough yeah yeah they, a lot of people say don't waste them in this class save them for the van class yes put a good bumper on them and yeah woo. but daryl came to win a trophy so exactly he's hey i'm i'm bringing the i'm bringing the honda Explorer's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, man. yeah, the Explorer's a tough car. He's got a, it's a Tudo. The skinny would say a Tudo. Skinny. Tudo. Yeah, I haven't had a chance. I gotta say it's All right, here we go. We're at full send moment. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is how we finish people off. Oh, it is. wow. Good shot. Nice. Good clean shot. Wow. That was, yeah, that was disrespectful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's not much left for this car. This uh, car here is about uh, to take one more. Yeah, here you go. Boom, and that Malachi crunch on both of it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Taking a beating. Those two are eventually going to go off on each other. Oh, <laughs> the car won't quit. No. Yes. Myers, good shot. Are they both Myers's, one an Explorer and one in the van? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they run Explorers. Right. So yeah, oh yeah. they probably had an extra couple. Figured they'd give everybody else a chance and one run a van and one run an Explorer instead uh -huh. of both Explorers. Yeah. All right. He's giving a, giving a guy a chance. To break his stick, but he's not gonna. Here we go. Oh boy. Nice. Somebody's sent it. Sending it. They did. They definitely got in there and deleted some stuff because otherwise it wouldn't rub that high. No, definitely. Otherwise, that'd be the ultimate be soccer mom band that, that, right that, that, there. Yeah, yeah. It'd be just popping off. Pinning off the limiter. Good thing we got our monitor so I can see it. You did good, Kai. Car club starting to gather, ready for music video. Oh boy. Here we go. Go time, huh? Here we go. Awesome. Show never ends. Nope. Even at the end of the show, we got a show to talk about the show that showed. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pillow talk on any day fiance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Turn him around. Turn him around. End it headlight to headlight. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go nose to nose. Let's finish the season the perfect way. Right, that's where the slop's at. So if he gets him over there a little more to the right, oh yeah, something might happen where he might not get out. Boom! That yeah, was he's a good got one. he's got some European racing slicks on the front of Baldinis. Nice. Baldinis. Baldinis. Yep. All right, here we are. They're about to go nose to nose. Come on! Oh no! Nope. Well, not yet. He don't want it. He, he doesn't don't want, want that it. smoke. Well, willing to trade back end shots all afternoon oh, with that. all day long. Uh oh. Oh! Wow. That just you can hear it just <laughs> pop. Wow. You can hear that from Alex. Look at the back County. of the, Look at the back of this explorer. Wow. All of Fayette County heard that shot. <laughs> Roll up nice. Look at the parts just hanging off the uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Stalled? Stalled? Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. The Explorer stalled. Wait a minute. The Explorer stalled. Oh. Oh, this could be it. No, nope, refires. Oh, he's back. Back like he never left. He might have had to collect the squirrels. Yeah, huh? Squirrels might have got a little yeah, jumbled that, up there. That might have been like, yeah. yeah. Back to counting. Oh. Man, number of hard shots. Yeah, they are. I like when the parts come flying off. Oh. 
He's had oh, enough. We're doing we track go. shots. He wants to see him when he hits him. They're out there having fun. Yes, That's what are. it is. Yep, they're going to put a show on at the end. That's uh, all that matters. They're out just last two drivers just like, yes, I can't believe my car is still running. Exactly. So cool. Uh oh. Daryl hasn't moved in the last five seconds. Daryl hasn't moved. I hear him banging. You hear it? Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tranny must be Tranny let loose. Tranny or oh, CB. No. He's bouncing. He's saying, hit me again. Put a show on. Damn. Nice. Yeah, we'll fold you up. You asked that. for it. Yep. You shall receive. There you go. Red flag. There we go. Congratulations. There it is. Wow. Exploder for the win. Awesome. Andrew Myers with the win. Woo. MW Fate number heat two. I tell you what. What an ending to a three day epic show. Wow. That's right. All right, Frizzy, tell them how they can find you, get up there and start. Get, run around, like go run that way that we get up on this catwalk. Okay, around this way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, man. Well, it was good, it was good meeting yeah, everybody, man, seeing everybody on Track Shot Live, man. You guys are amazing. We got to go out here and, and, and have a little bit of fun and cut up a little bit. But, um, yeah, it was a beautiful time, man. Thanks for having me. We hanging out. It's a good look. Anytime. Love you, bro. It's a good we'll look, man. I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Right, man. Everybody that was following me, Frizzy, I'll be following y'all back. I'll be liking. I'll, you know what I mean? Hit me on the DMs. It was good, man. I want to see who's watching. Awesome. I was doing it big. Thanks, Ben. All right, man. I'm out here. I'm out here. All right, man. Good right, seeing you Sounds again. good. Good seeing yep. you. All right, Sour, the legend. All right, I'll love you, you buddy. A little bit. All love right, you, see you in like eight huh? seconds right yeah, out there. Ben and, our, well, ben, ben and I are going to close this down. Oh, okay, yeah, close yeah, it yeah. down. Holla. Yeah. Ben. What do you think, Great Sally? season, buddy. Yeah, it was. Love yeah, you so much. We're good. Frizzy, thank you so much. Great, great one. Yep. All right. We're going to get out of here. Thank you, Uncle Bill. Thank you, all of our sponsors. You want to sponsor Track Shot Live next season. Get a hold of Fatty. Uh, get, a hold of Fatty. get a hold of Fatty, 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 and Michael Tix. Yep. Yeah, please, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Thank we, you so much. Yep. And uh, I got to give big thanks and shout out. Thanks to the family, number one. Let me come out and do it. Number two, thanks. Big D, Damian Davis up there uh, for the use of the trailer to keep Bill dry. Big shout out, Skin Dog. I miss you, bro. Um, and uh, can't wait to see you again, man. And uh, everybody. It was a great show. Thanks for watching. Tune in. You're going to see a lot of social media stuff coming up, as we're saying. These guys are going out to Gold Rush. They're going to they're gonna do some epic stuff out there to help Sam basically pull vault into the next next millennium, pretty much, like we mm -hmm. did years ago. And uh, I tell you what, yes, it's been a great season. I enjoyed watching you guys all season, even though I couldn't be there. Um, 2024 sounds like you guys are gonna bang it out pretty good and and, and uh, have a lot of returning shows but uh, I'm gonna quit talking now so Bill can close this up and we can get this wet stuff all packed up and headed home so 2023 20, dead yeah. man four buried alive buried four. alive dead man in the books in the books thank you everybody peace out have a great happy holidays Christmas all that help Absolutely. us save it you know yep Thank you. Peace out. Man, hunting for TJ. I'm going to need somebody to help me, that's for sure. I'm gonna, yeah, this place is way too big. Wow. Hey, uh, hey, buddy. Buddy, did you, you have a little too much last night? Uh, I'm looking for some help. You're a big fella. I'll tell you what. Here, buddy, when you wake up, there you go. All right. Great fella. I think it'll be just fine. Yeah.
Tuesday. I haven't seen Thank you, man. All your life. You seen TJ anywhere? I better go. <laughs> all day, Mike. Can't keep the pace. See how the whistle you know? Mike. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Oh my god, Mike. All right, America, so we're just finishing up a one another wonderful weekend. Great action here at Dead Man and we're closing up and Fatty, you know, I see or uh not fatty. Whoa, bud. Yeah, actually, whoa, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, you just look a lot like this guy that I've I tell you what, I hear this fatty's a good looking feller. I haven't seen it, but I hear All right, but anyways, myself. right now, let's get to the, the, the task at hand here, to be honest with you. We ain't got, I mean, it was a great show here, Buried Alive, but the perp got away. Not proud of it. It happens. Um, I did deputize, um, what's your name? Uh, Mike. Mike, I think is his name. Uh, found him on the berm earlier. He had a rough night. But, uh, yeah, the perp got away. So just to let you guys know, we are heading to the next town. Um, if anybody does see the dead man, please let me know. You seen him? I have not seen him, actually. All right. Well, I'm not wasting no more time with you. I'm going to get on the hunt, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next city. We'll see you, America. We're out of here.
lost in the feeling. I just need a win. I'm going off. I know it's time to make a change, and I can take the pain. You yeah. wanna sink or swim? I'm gonna go down swinging. <laughs> Everyone had to be mature, you be butts and nuts, and then there's Bobby. Fucking Bobby. Bobby don't like us. <laughs>